Martial Universe. Chapter 751 to Chapter 800. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 751, Unique Devil Region. The Unique Devil Region was situated in the middle of Eastern Xian Region. This region was considered as one of the most well-known areas in Eastern Xian Region. The Great War during the ancient times was too distant of a memory for the people now and they did not know the backdrop of that earth-shaking battle. However, they were aware that countless experts from the ancient times died within the Unique Devil Region. Hence, many alluring ancient treasures and inheritances were hidden in this extremely dangerous land. Even during a typical day, the area around the Unique Devil Region was always bustling with people. Although the Unique Devil Region was extremely dangerous, there were still countless experts continuously visiting it. After all, in this world, the allure of treasures was sufficient to cause one to be unable to resist and forget about death. Outside of the Unique Devil Region, there were many cities. Amongst them, the Unique Devil City was the grandest one. As it was a chaotic place filled with all sorts of people, the city did not have anyone managing it. However, in any place, as long as there was a large group of people, there would naturally be rules being born. Regardless of whether it was an open rule or an unspoken one, one must naturally obey them in order to survive. Hence, this unique devil city, which supposedly belonged to no one, had its own unspoken set of rules and managed to survive on its own order. When the large group from Dao sect gradually entered the unique devil region, they were also able to see that there were quite a number of people flying across the sky and rushing over from all directions in the sky. Everyone's destination was clearly the same. Since it was an extremely grand event in Eastern Xian region, there was no need to even mention about Great Sect Competition's ability to attract participants. It is truly spectacular. A admiration flashed across Lin Dong's eyes when he saw this scene. Although he had experienced the Hundred Empire War and it was quite a large event, it was clearly inferior when compared to the Great Sect Competition. After all, during that Hundred Empire War, a Six Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner was already the top participant, while in this competition, that cultivation level was merely the entry qualification to participate. We have already entered the Unique Devil region. It is likely that we will reach the Unique Devil City soon. All of you will know what is called spectacular when we reach that place. Ha! Huh. Pang Tong laughed from beside Lin Dong. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He lifted his eyes and looked into the distance. Ever since he had entered this region, he noticed that the color of the ground had turned dark black. This color gradually became even richer as he extended his sight. In the end, it was as though the distant sky had become extremely dark, causing one's heart to feel pressured. This dark color caused Lin Dong's heart to feel somewhat uncomfortable. He had obtained some memories left behind from the ancient times before. Therefore, he was aware of just how frightening and evil these unknown dark creatures were. No one knew just what was hidden within this grand ancient battlefield. While Lin Dong lowered his head and fell into a deep thought, large groups of people flew past them rapidly. This continued for around 10 minutes before an enormous mountain appeared. After which, an earth-shaking noise suddenly spread across the sky. Lin Dong lifted his head after being disturbed by this noise. Soon after, he saw a seemingly endless black city in his sight. The city was just like an ancient black dragon that stood in a lonely manner and emitted an ancient and icy cold feeling. Human figures entered and left the sky around the black city like a locust swarm. A monstrous and deafening noise also swept out from it and covered this entire area. This is the unique devil city. Pang Tong pointed towards the enormous black thing, parted the corner of his mouth and laughed. Follow me into the city. The unique devil city is chaotic and has all sorts of people. Everyone should be careful. Standing in front of the group, Chi Lei warned them in a stern manner. After which, he exchanged glances with Chen Zhen and the other hall chiefs. Only then, did he rush out and led the large group to fly into the enormous city. Although the human figures who had arrived around the unique devil city were just like locust, it was still rare for such a large group of people to enter the city all at once. Hence, the Dao sect group attracted the eyes of the entire place when they approached the unique devil city. Ah, are they from Dao sect? Even they have arrived. They are indeed one of the eight super sections for mysterious life stage experts leading the group. This is quite grand. They are not the ones participating in the great sect competition. Instead, it will be a fight between their disciples. During the last competition, it is rumored that Dao sect suffered quite a heavy loss. Even their most outstanding disciple back then died in the hands of Yuan Gate. To be honest, those fellows from Yuan Gate are truly ruthless. That's right. The grudge between Yuan Gate and Dao sect is very deep. I wonder who will be able to gain the upper hand this time around. It is likely going to be Yuan Gate again. The reputation of the three little kings in Yuan Gate is extremely well known. It is likely that no one amongst the Dao sect younger generation members can compete with them. Some time ago, there was a pretty renowned newcomer in Dao sect. He seems to be called Lin Dong and he even defeated Yao Ling from Devil Seal Mass. I have heard about this matter as well. However, Yao Ling cannot be compared with the three little kings in Yuan Gate. 
In any case, there is going to be a good show during this great sect competition. Private conversations swiftly spread over the entire place and some of them also landed into the ears of the Tao sect's disciples. Immediately, their eyes became a little furious and gloomy. Darn the Yuan Gate. If I fail to kill a few of them during this great sect competition, how can I be accountable to the juniors from Desolate Hall? Jiang Hao's expression was dark and solemn as he gritted his teeth and said. Quite a number of Tao sect's disciples beside him nodded in agreement. Lin Dong curled his mouth. It seemed like the enmity between Tao sect and Yuan Gate was quite deep. It was likely that they would not pass by each other peacefully within the unique devil region should they meet. Chi Lei and the others had indifferent expression in contrast to these outraged disciples. They were not overly concerned. Their expression suddenly changed when they led the disciples and walked inside the unique devil region. They turned their heads and looked towards another part of the sky. Some hurried rushing wine sound also appeared from that spot. After which, a similarly large group of people appeared in front of their eyes. They are. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes and looked into the distance. There were quite a number of people in that group as well and they were all wearing grey robes. Moreover, a dark and stern ripple was being vaguely emitted from their bodies, involuntarily attracting one's attention. The people from Thousand Puppet Sect. Pang Tong softly said. Oh. Lin Dong's brows were lifted faintly. The Thousand Puppet Sect was also one of the eight super sections. However, their method of fighting was exceptional. Moreover, they were extremely troublesome to deal with. That was because every Thousand Puppet Sect's disciple possessed a life essence puppet. Since he had a puppet before, Lin Dong was naturally clearly aware of this. Do you see the person right in front? If I am not mistaken, he should be the most outstanding person amongst the Thousand Puppet Sect younger generation members, Demon Gui Li. Demon Gu Li. Lin Dong's eyes looked over. All he saw was a man standing straight behind two grey-robed elders. It was a grey-clothed young man with an indifferent expression. A greyish-white color appeared on the young man's face. Moreover, the dark and cold ripple that was vaguely emitted from within his body was also unusually powerful. Clearly, he had reached the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. It is rumored that his life essence puppet has also been refined to a grade 9 soul puppet and it is not inferior to a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. We must be careful if we meet him in the future. A surprised tinge flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Grade 9 soul puppet. Putting it in this context, this fellow could basically use two to fight one when battling others. It appeared that the grey clothed young man sensed something as well when Lin Dong was looking on him. His eyes, which contained a greyish hue, shot over indifferently. It appeared as though there was a trace of dark and cold feeling vaguely penetrating through the air and engulfing him. Chi. Lin Dong's expression was calm. An invisible mental energy spread apart and directly expelled the dark and cold aura, which felt just like maggots in one's bones. A trace of devouring power was adhered to his mental energy, which directly devoured all the dark and cold aura, which was difficult to deal with, before expelling them. Huh. That grey clothed man's expression changed only when his dark and cold aura was being devoured. A surprised expression flashed across his face. This dark and cold aura was something unique to their thousand puppet sect. Once it wrapped over someone, it would cause that person to feel a great headache. However, that disciple from the Tao sect was actually able to resolve it so easily. Interesting, it is unexpected that Tao sect actually has another outstanding person besides Ying Xiao Xiao. The grey clothed young man laughed softly. Immediately, he slowly withdrew his gaze. Let's go. Two grey-clothed old men in front of that grey-clothed disciple exchanged glances with Chi Lei's group. They did not say anything as they waved their hands and led the disciples from Thousand Puppet Sect into the city. After they reached the city, Chi Lei also led everyone and headed towards part of the city. Everyone in the surrounding sky looked at these two super sects, which had arrived in the city. After which, they rubbed their hands together with an eager expression in their eyes. A grand event in eastern Xi'an region was finally about to begin. No one knew which party would be able to come up on top. Chapter 752, Conflict Under Chi Lei and the other Hall Chief's lead, the disciples from Dao sect stopped at the western side of Unique Devil City. After instructing them to be careful while outside, everyone was allowed to proceed with their own activities. Although they were large in numbers, the Unique Devil region was quite chaotic and it was filled with all sorts of people. Hence, there would definitely be some shady individuals who were not afraid of offending a super sect. After traveling for many days, Lin Dong originally wanted to quietly train for a while. However, Ying Huan Huan had immediately come looking for him. He was unable to endure the latter's constant coaxing and pestering, thus, he was left with no choice but to follow her. Just as they were about to leave, they met Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan. Ying Huan Huan's eyes carefully dodged Ying Xiao Xiao's when they met. The latter glanced at her with a half smile before turning towards Lin Dong. What a coincidence, we are also going out. Let's go together. Additionally, the treasure seeking district in the unique Devil City is very interesting. I am sure that Junior Brother Lin Dong will be quite interested. Treasure Seeking District 
Lin Dong was taken aback. Unique Devil City is near Unique Devil Region and there are often many many treasure hunters entering Unique Devil Region. They would find quite a number of treasures. However, most of these treasures are already broken. Of course, they are also some ancient objects that no one can recognize. If one has extraordinary insight, one might be able to spot some gems amongst these objects and gain a great reward. Ying Xiao Xiao explained. I heard that there was once someone who found a pure Yuan treasure in the treasure-seeking district. After which, that person who sold him the treasure felt quite displeased and even attacked him in jealousy. Soon after, this issue grew out of hand and a bloody battle erupted. It is rumored that the entire unique devil city was disturbed and a great number of unfortunate individuals were implicated. Pure Yuan Treasure Lin Dong was a little dumbstruck. Such an object would be considered as a treasure even in a super sect. Hence, he never expected that it would appear in this place. No wonder the seller would feel upset. Seems interesting. Lin Dong gradually recovered his senses. Rubbing his chin, he laughed. Some interest had indeed rose within his heart. He subsequently said, all right. We will head to the treasure-seeking district for a stroll. The treasure-seeking district was located at the northern district of Unique Devil City, and it was one of the liveliest districts in Unique Devil Region. The treasures that appeared in this place were quite decent. Of course, the prerequisite was that one possessed sufficient Nirvana pills. When Lin Dong's group entered that treasure-seeking district, the loud noise from the area immediately surged over like floodwaters, causing one's eardrum to feel a piercing pain. The treasure-seeking district was extremely vast. Even though this was the case, Lin Dong could still see a frightening human traffic on the spacious streets. There were quite a number of enormous flat and smooth stones within this treasure-seeking district. A light barrier covered these stones. Some individual that seemed to be stall owners were seated within them. Various unique and strange things were placed in front of them, attracting the attention of the passers-by. Ancient Martial Arts, Stroking Cloud Great Thousand Palm It is definitely comparable to a high-grade soul martial art and it only costs 8 million Nirvana pills. Soul Returning Pill A holy pill for healing one's injuries. As long as one still has a breath left, it will allow one to be completely revived to the pink of health. 7 million Nirvana Pills Lin Dong's group wandered around in the treasure-seeking district. Upon hearing the various cries from all around, Lin Dong could not decide whether to laugh or cry. At first, they were attracted by the cries. However, they soon discovered that those so-called ancient martial arts were merely ordinary soul martial arts, and the medicinal pill only possessed a tiny healing effect. Only its name sounded mighty and domineering. As a young lady, Ying Huan Huan enjoyed a place like this. Her body was just like a butterfly as she fluttered across the streets. Her dark black ponytail was flapping with the vigor of youth. A rather attractive sight. However, as the four of them gradually ventured deeper into the treasure-seeking district, the number of stalls slowly decreased. Moreover, the items that appeared caused shock to surface on even Lin Dong's face. The items deep within the treasure-seeking district are the genuine ones. Those who dare to hawk their wares here are all fairly skilled. Beside him, Ying Xiao Xiao explained when she saw Lin Dong's shocked expression. There are quite a number of super sect disciples here. Wang Yen suddenly said in a faint voice. Lin Dong's eyes scanned his surroundings, and he indeed discovered quite a number of humans wearing sect badges on their chests. They were all quite young and there was a similarly prideful expression on their faces. Clearly, they were the disciples sent by the various sects to participate in the great sect competition. Lin Dong merely glanced around randomly before withdrawing his eyes. He leisurely walked around and continued to observe the mysterious items that had appeared on the surrounding stones. While Lin Dong was paying attention to the two sides of the street, he faintly sensed a commotion to his front. He raised his head, and saw that there was a group of people huddled together in front of him. Faintly, a young lady's clear and angry voice could be heard. Lin Dong, Ying Xiao Xiao, and Wang Yen were momentarily startled when they heard this voice. Their eyes looked beside them, only to discover that Ying Huan Huan was no longer at their side. Immediately, they frowned slightly and quickened their footsteps as they walked towards the gathering crowd. When the Lin Dong trio entered the crowd, they coincidentally saw a young lady with a furious expression on a face. In front of her were three young men with mischievous smiles on their faces. They were holding a jade green hairpin. Meanwhile, a powerful energy fluctuation was vaguely emitted from it. It was clearly quite a decent soul treasure. What happened? Causing trouble again? Ying Xiao Xiao frowned slightly as she glared at Ying Huan Huan. I did not. I was clearly the first to see this soul treasure and had even agreed on a price with the seller. However, these three bastards suddenly interrupted and snatched the hairpin. Ying Huan Huan spoke in a manner as though she had been wronged. Lin Dong knitted his brows slightly. He looked at the three of them as his eyes quickly found a familiar badge on their chests. His eyes immediately narrowed, Yuan Gate Disciples. 
Beside him, Wang Yan's expression immediately darkened when he heard this. He slowly took a step forward. Wang Yan? Ying Xiao Xiao? As the two most famous Dao sect younger generation members, the expressions of the two Yuan Gate disciples immediately changed when Wang Yang and Ying Xiao Xiao appeared. After which, they turned their eyes towards the man beside them, whose smile was slowly receding from his face. From the looks of it, he was clearly the leader. Ah, Wang Yan, I had thought that you had been expelled from Dao sect. It is unexpected that you can still participate in the great sect competition. The man frowned slightly. He had a flippant character. He could not resist teasing Ying Huan Huan earlier when he saw her pure and alluring manner. However, he had never expected that she was a member of Dao sect. Although things did not turn out as he had expected, he did not panic. Instead, he merely sneered at Wang Yan. This fellow is called Jiang Tao. He is no ordinary individual and is one of Yuan Gate's eight sole generals. I did not expect to end up meeting him here. Ying Xiao Xiao softly introduced him to Lin Dong. Another of the eight sole generals. Lin Dong eyebrows lifted slightly. He had originally thought that the other party was merely an ordinary Yuan Gate disciple. It was unexpected that this person actually possessed such a status. No wonder he did not panic when he saw Wang Yan. Return that goods and get lost. Wang Yan's eyes were dark and solemn as he slowly said. Heh <laughs> in this place, as long as an item hasn't been paid for, anyone can buy it. Who are you to ask me to get lost? Jiang Tao's eyes turned cold while he laughed in a strange manner. Since you are not going to get lost, we can only beat you until you do so. Wang Yan slowly gripped the heavy sword on his back as his lips parted into a smile. He revealed his set of eerily white teeth as well as his killing intent. Are you going to compete based on numbers? Go ahead and try. Jiang Tao laughed coldly. He clenched his hand as a jade piece shot out. Finally, it exploded in midair. The brilliant fireworks transformed into a Yuan Gate badge. Swoosh swoosh. After that light symbol appeared, quite a number of rushing wind sounds were immediately heard from the sky. Numerous figures swiftly rushed over towards this place. Clearly, they were all disciples of Yuan Gate, who had seen the signal. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Ying Huan Huan was clearly also being angered by Jiang Tao's domineering manner. A similar signal jade piece in her hand also shot towards the sky. Swoosh swoosh. As the most lively place within Unique Devil Region, there were clearly quite a number of Dao sect disciples present as well. Hence, when they saw the Dao sect light symbol in the sky, their pupils hardened before they immediately dragged their fellow disciples, who were still shopping for items, and made a beeline towards the place where the light symbol appeared. After the members from both parties arrived, a large empty circle was formed in the area. From the looks of it, even before the great sect competition could begin, these two super sects with a deep grudge were already about to fight. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The sound of wind being split was continuously transmitted from the sky. After which, numerous figures quickly landed from the sky. Finally, they appeared on two opposing sides. Within a short couple of minutes, over a hundred figures stood onto both sides. This lineup caused quite a number of people to be quietly speechless. Both parties were indeed worthy of being super sects. The treasure-seeking district was chaotic and filled with various individuals. However, the commotion caused by this event was quite major. Immediately, many gazes of amusement shot over. Lin Dong observed this tense scene as he frowned slightly. Just as he was about to speak, his pupils suddenly shrunk. He abruptly raised his head as his eyes turned to the sky. A wild and violent rushing wind sound had suddenly halted at that spot. After which, a powerful figure wrapped in a bright lightning glow descended from the sky like a lightning god. Finally, he landed in front of the Yuan Gate disciples. Huh, Wang Yan, a loser like you actually dares to ask my Yuan Gate disciples to get lost? Come come. You managed to escape with your life last time. This time, let me see if you still have such luck. An extremely arrogant and loud laughter rumbled and echoed in the area after the lightning figure appeared. Wang Yan's expression turned completely dark when this voice sounded out. He stared at the figure as a voice that contained a murderous desire seeped out from between his teeth. Little Thunder King, Lei Qian. Chapter 753, An Eagle. Lei Qian. When he heard Wang Yan's eerie voice, Lin Dong's pupils immediately hardened before he turned to look at the sturdy figure, not far from him that was covered by a flickering lightning glow. Was this fellow one of the three little kings, Little Thunder King? Ying Xiao Xiao faintly wrinkled her eyebrows. With a wave of her jade-like hand, a meter-long green sword appeared in a flash. At this moment, a guarded expression was present in her eyes. Oh, looks like your Dao sect is much stronger compared to the previous time. No wonder you guys are getting more and more arrogant. The lighting glow surrounding the sturdy figure standing in the front of the Yuan Gate disciples started to withdraw. In the end, it completely scattered, revealing a rough face. 
Currently, a completely unrestrained look of insolence was on this face. He stared mockingly at Lin Dong and the rest as he smiled and said. There were faint and indistinct tattoos that seemed like lightning on Lei Qian's body, which gave off an exceptionally wild and berserk fluctuation, causing people to cast sidelong gazes of fear at him. Wang Yan's expression was dark, while thick murderous intent surged deep within his eyes. However, just as he was unable to resist and was about to move, a jade-like hand descended on his shoulder, preventing him from doing so. Lei Qian, keep your Yuan Gate members in check. Don't allow them to act like hooligans and annoy others in a despicable manner, setting Xiao Xiao as her eyes turned icy cold. I feel that our Yuan Gate disciples are very well behaved and there's no need to manage them. However, your Dao sect disciples should be the ones who need to exercise restraint and quit acting so arrogantly in front of our Yuan Gate, replied Lei Qian as a sliver of ridicule appeared at the corner of his mouth. Upon hearing his reply, rage and fury instantly filled the eyes of countless Dao sect disciples. Just because of this item? Lei Qian turned around and took the brilliantly sparkling jade hairpin directly from Jiang Tao's hand before casually saying, How about this, if you all are able to snatch it from my hands, not only will I foot the bill, I will immediately ask them to leave this place. How about that? A sinister chill appeared within Wang Yan's eyes as he grasped the black broadsword tightly in his hand. Just as he was about to take a step forward, he was once again stopped by a hand. He tilted his head and frowned as he looked at the owner of the hand. Let me handle this, said Lin Dong as he smiled at Wang Yan. Both Wang Yan and Ying Huan Huan were startled for a moment, before both of them frowned. Although they did not question Lin Dong's strength, Lei Qian was no ordinary individual. Lin Dong Ying Huan Huan was frightened by his reaction and her jade-like hands quickly grabbed onto the corner of Lin Dong's shirt, don't be impulsive, I don't need that hairpin. This young lady, who was previously rather indignant and would recruit other senior and junior brothers to help her in a scuffle, had a panicked expression within her big black eyes when she saw that Lin Dong was actually planning to take on Lei Qian. I shouldn't have caused any trouble. As he gazed at the small face of the young girl that felt somewhat wronged, Lin Dong unknowingly slightly taken aback, before a radiant smile appeared on his face. Extending his palm, he rubbed in Huan Huan's head and said, This isn't about the hairpin. There are some matter that are inevitable and cannot be avoided. As his words faded, he looked towards Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan before softly saying, Leave it to me. Be careful. Seeing the faint smile on Lin Dong's face, both Ying Huan Huan and Wang Yan hesitated for a moment, before they finally nodded their heads. Slowing stepping forward, Lin Dong finally walked to out from the group of Dao sect disciples under the focus of innumerable gazes from the surroundings. Right now, this area had obviously became the focal point within the treasure-seeking district. Yuan Gate and Dao sect were both super sects that held great power and prestige. Furthermore, there was a deep grudge between both parties. From the looks of it, it seemed that there was going to be a good show to watch today. At a nearby district was a pavilion. At this moment, there were two figures on the upper floors of the pavilion who had cast their attention in the direction where the group of Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples were. The two figures were a man and a woman. The woman was in front while the man stood half a step behind. This minute difference in position obviously indicated their difference in status. Between the two of them, the most eye-catching one was naturally the woman. Dressed in a white blouse and skirt, her fine black hair showered down till her slender waist. Her skin was akin to snow and she had a pair of picturesque eyebrows. Although her face was covered by a veil, her faintly discernible figure still caused one to be unable to tear away their gazes. Her aura was proud and aloof and if one was to look up to her, she would seem like the Ice Queen within the Moon Palace, like a goddess that had arrived in the mortal realm, a beauty that was capable of causing the downfall of a country. Such beauty in such an aura, other than Ling Qingzhu, who else could it be? Beside Ling Qingzhu, was a handsome man. A faint smile filled his face, while unconcealed admiration and infatuation filled his gaze when he occasionally glanced at her. At this moment, the two of them had cast their gazes towards to the district in a distance. When they saw Little Thunder King Lei Qian appear, their expressions changed a little. Hee hee, even Lei Qian has arrived. Although Dao sect has Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan around, they will likely not be able to deal with him, said the handsome man with a smile as he watched. The people of Yuan Gate are still this domineering, said Ling Qingzhu in an indifferent voice. The handsome man nodded his head before saying, I wonder if Ying Xiao Xiao or Wang Yan will take action, hmm? Before his sentence was complete, he suddenly exclaimed in surprise before he stared somewhat in shock at the thin figure that had walked out from within the group of Dao sect disciples, who is that? Upon hearing his words, Ling Qingzhu looked up lightly as her eyes casually swept across the figure in the distance. In the next moment, her moving gaze instantaneously froze as an unprecedented astonished look appeared on her typically expressionless face. Her gaze was tightly fixed onto the, the figure in the distance, while her red lips gently parted. Her pair of jade-like hands, which were akin to lotus roots, slowly started to tighten due to the churning emotions in her heart. This figure was not unfamiliar to her. 
In fact, it could be said that it had left a deep imprint in her mind. Ling Qingzhu knew that perhaps she would forget many things over her life, however, she would never forget this figure. Five years ago, on the peak of that small great Yen Empire, that dialogue between them still reverberated within her mind till this day. When Ling Qingzhu heard that familiar name after the end of the Hundred Empire War, the shock within her heart was something beyond her imagination. That abnormally delicate and frail youth from back then had actually managed to walk step by step to such a stage. She clearly knew Lin Dong's background. In the past, even someone like Ling Langtian was able to easily oppress him in the ancient tomb. The him at that time was perhaps just an existence that was akin to Ant in the eyes of many. It was because she was clearly aware. They explained the level of shock she felt when she knew that Lin Dong had stepped into the eastern Xian region. She knew how much effort that delicate but abnormally determined youth had to put in to reach such a stage. In a period of five years, that immature and feeble youth that she previously knew had truly emerged from his cocoon. That year on the mountain peak, she once said that the two of them would never meet again in the future. It was also that same year that the youth left his parents and started on his journey with a marten and a tiger. Nobody knew how much he had experienced and nobody knew how many times he hovered at the gates of death. One year ago, she had suddenly heard that foreign and yet familiar name again. The youth at that time had used his own way to catch up to her. Right now, the youth that had undergone a complete metamorphosis had now reappeared in front of her. Furthermore, he could stand proudly in front of her as one of the most outstanding younger generation members in Eastern Xian region. Ling Qingzhu gazed at the youth that had walked out from the group, as the red lips under her veil pursed tightly. The youth had used his own hard work and effort to finally refute the firm opinion she had about him. The current him was no longer that young wolf that spared no effort to run along the path of the strong. He had already transformed into an eagle as he soared into the vast skies. The current him was no longer afraid of the halo around her that made him unable to look straight at her. Ling Qingzhu gently took a breath of air, before quietly staring at the thin figure walking towards Lei Qian. Since you have arrived at this place, let me see exactly how far you have come. Chapter 754, An Amusing Exchange Under the attention of the surrounding onlookers, the youth slowly walked out from within the group of Dao sect disciples and stood at a position not far from Lei Qian. There was no fear on the youth's face. Instead, a smile had appeared. Who is he? Numerous people in the surrounding crowd were somewhat shocked as they watched Lin Dong walk out. They had originally assumed that the person to take action would be either Ying Xiao Xiao or Wang Yan. After all, amongst the Dao sect disciples, only the two of them were qualified to cross blows with Lei Qian. It was clear that the youth before them was not someone they recognized. Wang Yan, letting a newcomer do your dirty work. Do you think that I'm a merciful and benevolent person? mocked Lei Qian after he shot a glance at Lin Dong. Upon hearing Lei Qian's words, the Yuan Gate disciples behind him started to roar with laughter while they shot ridiculing glances at Lin Dong. Dao Sex Lin Dong, please treat me well, said Lin Dong with a faint smile as he cupped his hands towards Lei Qian. Lin Dong? Upon hearing this name, it was obvious that Lei Qian was startled, while the roaring laughter from the Yuan Gate disciples immediately died down as they shot astonished looks at Lin Dong. From their appearance, it was obvious that they had heard of this name before. He is the Lin Dong that defeated Yao Ling, exclaimed Jiang Tao in shock. So you do have some reputation. Lei Qian was slightly startled, however, he regained his wits in the next instant. With a faint smile, he extended his hand. At the center of the palm, was the jade hairpin that was emitting a faint fluorescence. I am somewhat interested in you. Since you want to stand out, I'll give you the opportunity to do so. As long as you are able to snatch this from my hand, what I've said previously will still stand. Lei Qian's eyes were glued onto Lin Dong, while the corners of his mouth pulled back slowly to form a chilling arc, however, I have to remind you that if I, Lei Qian were to take action, I will definitely not show any mercy. In the case whereby you are beaten to death or crippled by me, you can only count yourself unlucky. Hearing those words, Lin Dong merely smiled. However, an icy cold chilling intent started to surge out from within the depths of his eyes. As the two stood and stared at each other, the surrounding onlookers immediately retreated and formed an expansive circle with the two of them within it. In the next instant, innumerable curious gazes focused on the both of them. Everyone wanted to see what methods the new disciple from Dao sect would use to snatch that hairpin from Lei Qian, one of the three little kings of Yuan Gate. Lin Dong, please be careful, said Ying Xiao Xiao somewhat worriedly as she stared at Lin Dong's back. Lin Dong gently nodded his head. Soon after, he no longer hesitated and took a step forward. In the next instant, his eyes suddenly turned serious as boundless Yuan power swept out from him. His figure transformed directly into a shadow and shot straight at Lei Qian. From the looks of it, he was actually going to confront Qian Lei head on. He's courting death. Looking at Lin Dong's action, a few Yuan Gate disciples immediately started to laugh and comment sarcastically. 
Lin Dong's strength was merely at the 7 Yuan Nirvana stage. Even if his combat prowess was extraordinary, Lei Qian was much stronger than Yao Ling. Evening Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan and the rest wrinkled their brows upon seeing Lin Dong's actions. However, they did not say anything. They had a rather good understanding of him and knew that Lin Dong would act thoughtlessly. Since he had chose to do things in this manner, he must have taken everything into consideration. Chi Chi As the shadow rapidly grew larger in Lei Qian's eyes, a cold grin appeared on his face. In the next moment, a resplendent lighting glow appeared once again on his body. The Berserk Yuan power fluctuation that erupted was far stronger than any ordinary 9 Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner. You are quite fast. It's a pity that such a thing is useless against me. Words of ridicule rang out from Lei Qian's mouth before his face suddenly turned chilly. Taking a step forward, the resplendent lighting glow fluctuated wildly before transforming into a lighting lion head on his fist that raised its head and roared at the skies. Thundering Lion Fist Lei Qian's fist rumbled forth, immediately causing a deep lion's roar and the sound of thunder to spread outwards from his fist. A lighting glow fluctuation that was visible to the naked eye swept forward, causing the ground to instantly crack into a web-like network of fissures. Lei Qian's attack was quite vicious and he did not have any intention of going easy on Lin Dong. If his fist was to connect, even a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert would suffer serious injuries. Swish. Both of them were extremely quick and violent. In less than a breath's time, the two figures collided violently like two meteorites. In such a collision, it was obvious that Lin Dong would be in a disadvantage since Lei Qian's fist was sufficient to completely wreck him. However, facing this absolute disadvantage, not a trace of panic was present on Lin Dong's face. His black pupils were still calm and limpid without showing any signs of being disturbed. The berserk lighting glow from the lion fist grew rapidly in size within Lin Dong's eyes. Just as everyone's hearts were abruptly raised in anticipation, a strange smile appeared at the corners of Lin Dong's mouth. His hand suddenly formed a weird seal before a fluctuation started to erupt. Just as the thundering lion fist was about to hit Lin Dong's chest, it strangely froze. It merely froze for an instant, however, when experts fought, an instant was enough to determine the victor. Swish. Just as the glowing fist was about to condense, Lin Dong's body had flashed past Lei Qian's like a phantom. Bang! Just as the two figures crossed each other, an unusually low and stuffy sound suddenly rang out. In the next moment, the pupils of the innumerable people in the surroundings instantaneously contracted. They were overwhelmed with shock that had crawled out from the depths of their eyes. This was because they saw Lei Qian's face suddenly turn red after the two figures crossed paths. In the next moment, an incomparably enormous force exploded on his chest, causing him to fly backwards. In the end, he slammed heavily against a gigantic boulder. The frightening force caused the entire boulder to shatter into pieces. The entire place was deathly silent. The originally mocking expressions on the Yuan Gate disciples instantly turned sluggish. They stared blankly at the peculiar scene before them. They simply could not understand what had occurred and the two figures crossed paths with one another. The one who should have been sent flying should have been the brat from Dao sect. This. Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan and the rest were all similarly stunned by this sight. Even they had no idea what exactly had happened in that instant. The originally explosive fight appeared to have been stifled by this strange situation. Amidst the deathly silence, one gaze after another that was somewhat overwhelmed in shock moved and focused on the skinny figure that had crossed by Lei Qian. At this moment, there was not a single injury on his body. It was as if the berserk fist of Lei Qian had not even touched his body. Bang! Lei Qian's sorry figure climbed out from the rubble a distance away and stood up. One could see a dark red palm print on his chest, while a furious and malevolent expression had replaced the previous expression on his face. His eyes turned scarlet as he stared at the figure in the distance before roaring, I, your father will tear you apart today. As he roared, his figure looked just like an enraged wild beast as he charged straight at Lin Dong. His fearsome murderous aura made the skin on one scalp crawl. However, just as he had charged a dozen steps forward, he suddenly froze. That was because he could see Lin Dong, who was at a distance away, extending his hand towards him. Within his hand, was a jade hairpin that sat safely while faintly blossoming with radiance, as if it was continuously ridiculing Lei Qian while it sparkled. That hairpin had already been snatched away. Every surrounding onlooker could not help but involuntarily open their mouths a little wider while the Yuan Gate disciples' eyes were wide like a drowning individual with a face filled with fright. As a breeze blew past the area, rolling up some dust which floated away, it left a group of dumbfounded people. Originally they had assumed that it would be a brilliant match. However, it had ended in such an amusing manner. Such an ending had obviously exceeded everyone's expectations, including Lei Qian's. Therefore, when he saw the hairpin in Lin Dong's hand, an incredulous expression appeared on his face. You should pay up, said Lin Dong casually as he shot a look at Lei Qian while playing with the hairpin in his hand. 
His voice slowly spread, causing this entire area to turn even more quiet. At a pavilion far away, the deep and clear eyes of a cold and gorgeous lady slowly revealed a shocked expression at this instant. Chapter 755, Nice to meet you. What, is going on? Within the pavilion, the handsome man had a grave expression on his face as he stared at the deathly silent area in the distance before muttering in bewilderment. It was obvious that even he had failed to realize what exactly had happened in that previous exchange. He used some special means and froze Lei Qian for an instant. In that instant, Lin Dong evaded his attack and gave a palm attack to him before snatching away the hairpin. Said Ling Qingzhu in a soft voice as she stared at the youthful figure in the distance with her clear eyes. The expression on the man's face changed slightly as he was simply unable to believe that Lin Dong was able to do so many things in such a short moment. His speed and judgment was truly astonishing. This Dao sect disciple is truly not simple, muttered the man with a grave expression on his face. He knew that if he was in Qian Lei's shoes, he would likely be in an even worse state. Ling Qingzhu's slender eyelashes fluttered as she gently blinked. Her eyelids covered the sliver of complex emotions that surged out from within her eyes. That scene from before that happened in a flash was sufficient to shock many people. This was especially true for her since she knew about Lin Dong's background. The shock that she had received was undoubtedly even greater. Who would have thought that the youth from a branch family in such a low rank empire would actually be able to reach this stage today? Perhaps the strength that Lin Dong displayed today was not sufficient to cause Ling Qingzhu to be terrified. However, his progress was enough to cause emotions to flood her mind. That immature and weak youth had eventually accomplished what he had declared in the past. Ling Qingzhu gently bit her lips with her pearly white teeth. After a while, even with her quiet and cold temperament, she was still unable to resist as she softly sighed. It was obvious that her tranquil lake-esque state of mind was now thrown into disarray by the familiar figure that had once again appeared before her. Such a thing rarely occurred to her. Furthermore, it had occurred again because of the same man. Please pay up. As Lin Dong mockery filled voice echoed across the now deathly silent area, an incredulous expression appeared on everyone's faces. In the next moment, gaze after gaze could not help but to focus on Lei Qian. Right now, his expression was fluctuating, while the dark look in his eyes was so rich that it could not be erased. The Little Thunder King, one of the three little kings of Yuan Gate, was actually made a fool of in this place. In the previous lighting quick exchange, even Lei Qian himself could only feel his body freeze for an instant. In the next instance, a palm attack had viciously struck his chest. From start to finish, he had not even made contact with the corner of Lin Dong's clothes. This was undoubtedly an utter humiliation for Lei Qian. You're courting death. The fluctuating expression on Lei Qian's face finally condensed on the sinister side. He roared in a low voice as he stared at Lin Dong with anger erupting from his eyes. The members of Yuan Gate truly have no morals. They can't even keep the most basic promises, said Lin Dong with a faint smile. Upon hearing these words, quite a number of the surrounding onlookers nodded their heads. As spectators, they were clearly aware of how the entire matter had played out. The deal was initiated by Lei Qian himself. If he failed to make good on his own promise, he would definitely seem a little despicable. Furthermore, he was a disciple of the strongest sect in eastern Xi'an region. Even though no one dared to mock him due to the prestige and might attach to the Yuan Gate's name, their ridiculing gazes caused Lei Qian and the Yuan Gate disciples' expression to turn unnatural. Fine, I admit defeat, brat. You better pray that you don't meet our Yuan Gate after the Great Sect competition begins. Lei Qian sucked in a deep breath to suppress his raging emotions, before he suddenly said to Lin Dong in a menacing manner. Lin Dong gave a faint smile. Upon seeing his appearance, the anger in Lei Qian's heart almost reached a point whereby his head was about to explode. How many Nirvana pills? Lei Qian forcefully turned around, refusing to look at the smile on Lin Dong's face, that would likely drive him insane. With a gloomy expression on his face, he looked towards the a boulder where a middle-aged man sat under a light barrier. He was the owner of the stall that was selling the hairpin soul treasure. With great enthusiasm, he had watched the fight between Lin Dong and Lei Qian from start to the end. It's not expensive. Six million Nirvana pills said the middle-aged man in grey. When he looked at Lei Qian's gloomy expression, there was not a single trace of fear in his eyes. Instead, he had a grin on his face. Bullshit, when I heard you discussing the price with her previously, it was only three million Nirvana pill. Jiang Tao instantly exclaimed in rage upon hearing the man's words. The middle-aged man in grey lazily shot a look at Jiang Tao and ignored him. As someone who was able to survive in Unique Devil City, he was definitely capable. Although Yuan Gate had a domineering reputation, it did not intimidate people like them. Lei Qian stared darkly at the middle-aged man in grey. However, in the end, he did not explode in anger. With a jerk of his hand, a lighting glow that contained a frightening amount of force appeared and shot viciously towards him. Bang! 
In response to Lei Qian's attack, the middle-aged man merely smiled. Boundless Yuan power rushed forth in his palm, before he sent it colliding against the lighting glow. As the lighting glow scattered, it transformed into a silver Qianquan bag. Oh, many thanks, sweeping his gaze across the Qianquan bag in his hand, the middle-aged man gave a faint smile before speaking. Lei Qian's eyes focused a little as he shot a look at the middle-aged man. Without the slightest intention of saying any other unnecessary words, he turned his body and coldly shot a look at Lin Dong, I hope that your Dao sect will not be as useless as the previous time, if not. Go! As Lei Qian's gloomy voice sounded out, he promptly waved his hand and led the gloomy Yuan Gate disciples and pushed their way out of the crowd. Rapidly disappearing into the distance, they looked as if they were fleeing with their tails tucked between their legs. Mighty Senior Brother Lin Dong After the Yuan Gate disciples left, celebratory noises immediately erupted amongst the Dao sect disciples. Quite a number of them were extremely excited. After all, numerous small-scale and large-scale clashes had occurred between Yuan Gate and Dao sect over the years. However, they rarely managed to gain the upper hand. Hence, after Lin Dong thwarted Qian Lei this time, they all felt joyous and excited. Lin Dong smiled. Promptly, he turned around and tossed the jade hairpin in his hand to Ng Huan Huan and said, Here, treat this as a gift from me. Ng Huan Huan carefully received the hairpin as her face turned slightly red. Raising her head, she sent a sweet smile towards Lin Dong. Her lovable appearance was unexpectedly different from the little sprite she usually was. Such formidable means, you have hidden yourself very deeply, said Wang Yen as he walked over, his voice contained amazement and a rarely seen excitement. Lin Dong smiled while shaking his head. Just as he was about to speak, he suddenly turned his head and slightly raised his line of sight as if he had sensed something. As he looked at the top floor of a distant pavilion, he saw a quiet, cold and aloof figure dressed in white clothes appear within his sights. At that moment, the smile on his face slowly started to stiffen. Though they were a distance away, two pairs of eyes met in midair. Instantly, both their bodies froze, while a complicated expression surged in their hearts. Lin Dong's movements was obviously discovered by Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest. As they followed his gaze into the distance and spotted the quiet and cold figure, the expressions on their faces slightly changed. That's Ling Qingzhu from Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace. As expected, she the leader for the great sect competition this time. Said Wang Yen in a soft voice. As he stared at that beautiful figure, a fluctuation appeared even in a heart like his that was already somewhat numbed. That lady is truly bewitching. She has completely bewitched countless genius from various super sects in Eastern Xi'an region. However, up till now, no one has managed to move her heart. Wang Yen smacked his lips before suddenly realizing that there was something amiss about the surrounding atmosphere. In the next moment, he seemingly felt an uproar spreading out from around him. Raising his head, he saw that the beautiful figure in a white snow-like dress had unexpectedly floated over from the pavilion. Under the attention of the crowd, she gradually descended in front of Lin Dong. The cheering noises from the Dao sect disciples spontaneously came to a halt, as all of them stared in amazement at the most famous female younger generation member in eastern Xi'an region. Under the crowd's attention, she finally landed in front of Lin Dong. Without saying anything, she quietly stared at Lin Dong with her clear and cold eyes. This scene caused the surrounding atmosphere to turn exceedingly strange. Under that strange atmosphere, Lin Dong sudden took a deep breath and smiled. In the next moment, he extended a hand towards Ling Qingzhu as a complicated laughter rang out. Nice to meet you. I'm Lin Dong from the Great Yen Empire. Chapter 756, Meeting Again After Five Years Lin Dong's laughter had a somewhat complicated flavor to it as it echoed across the somewhat quiet treasure-seeking district. Soon after, quite a number of people looked towards the hand he had extended towards Ling Qingzhu, and were all momentarily stunned. Did this fellow not know just who was standing before him? She was one of the most dazzling younger generation member in Eastern Xi'an region. Countless young geniuses from various super sects had tried everything in their power just to make this beauty smile. However, not a single person could get close to her to this day. Yet, this fellow actually extended his hand in such a manner. Who did he think he was? Of course, they were not the only ones who felt so. Even Wang Yen, Ying Xiaoxiao, and the rest were stunned by Lin Dong's actions. If she ignored him in front of such a huge crowd, wouldn't he end up making a fool of himself? However, Lin Dong completely ignored the various strange gazes from around him. His eyes merely contained a trace of complicated feelings as he quietly stared at this beautiful lady, who seemed to have become even colder and prettier as compared to five years ago. The scene from back then once again surged out from deep within his mind. It was as though it had occurred yesterday. Ling Qingzhu's clear eyes were also staring at Lin Dong. His young face no longer possessed the same childish glow from back then. Moreover, when he looked at her, his bright eyes no longer avoided her own. This was because the current him had the qualifications to ignore the dazzling halo around her. It was an exchange of of gazes of equals. Ling Qingzhu's eyelashes gently blinked. 
She was aware of just how much effort this young man before her had put in over the past five years in order to reach this stage. Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace, Ling Qingzhu. Her quiet lake-like eyes finally rippled slightly at this moment. After which, Ling Qingzhu extended her delicate hand in front of those numerous stunned eyes and gently shook Lin Dong's hand. The touch between the two of them was as cool as jade, while unease flowed under that calm surface. The touch of their hands was as icy smooth as jade, while a coldness appeared to seep into their bones. At this moment, the sunlight was scattering down from high above in the sky, appearing just like a light pillar that wrapped around the two. This scene was somewhat dazzling. However, their gentle handshake merely lasted for a moment, before both parties simultaneously withdrew their hands. Lin Dong could sense the surrounding gazes instantly turn searing hot after he withdrew his hand. It appeared as though they wanted to pierce thousands of holes into his body. Congratulations. You have accomplished what you promised back then. Ling Qingzhu withdrew her hand into her sleeve. Her hand was curled slightly and appeared slightly moist. After which, she looked at the young man before her and softly said. I was wrong. Lin Dong mouth parted into a smile. To make a prideful lady like her utter such words, the sense of achievement that he felt was even more pleasant than having forced Lei Qian to withdraw miserably earlier. Don't worry, I do not dare to say that statement yet. Lin Dong smilingly said. He could vaguely sense a powerful ripple from within Ling Qingzhu's body. That fluctuation was even stronger than Lei Qian's. Clearly, there was still a gap between the current him and her despite his best efforts. If you say it, it is likely that you will not be able to participate in the great sect competition. Ling Qingzhu replied in an indifferent manner. However, the fluctuation that flashed across her clear eyes quietly revealed that she was indeed a little affected by his words. The onlookers were all baffled by their conversation. However, the two of them understood it very well. Both of them clearly knew that if Lin Dong was to utter those words now, it would end up causing a frightening commotion. Lin Dong would also likely become a thorn in the eyes of many young genius from various super sects. This was obviously neither the time nor the place to display his youthful arrogance. Perform well during the great sect competition. It is not easy to deal with Yuan Gate. Ling Qingzhu was clearly not accustomed to speaking for so long with a man in front of such a large crowd. Hence, she merely softly spoke those words before turning around and to leave. I will find an opportunity to utter those words. Lin Dong suddenly said as he watched Ling Qingzhu turn around. You should say it after you are certain that you can keep your life after saying them. Ling Qingzhu's body paused. After which, her toes pressed gently on the ground. She immediately turned into a ray of light that quickly rushed off into the distance. After Ling Qingzhu's departure, the eyes of this entire district immediately gathered on Lin Dong. Although the conversation between the two of them was completely baffling, it seemed to imply that this was not the first time that Lin Dong and Ling Qingzhu had met. Moreover, their conversation indicated that they did not have a simple relationship. There was something fishy between the two of them. Some looked at each other and formed a conclusion that caused them to feel extreme displeased in their hearts. He is actually acquainted with Ling Qingzhu. Wang Yan muttered in shock. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded slightly. She glanced at Lin Dong's back in a peculiar manner. After which, she turned her head and looked at the young lady beside her, who had suddenly turned mute. Are you alright? Ying Xiaoxiao softly sighed within her heart. It was likely that quite a number of young ladies would feel deflated in front of Ling Qingzhu, who was outstanding in every aspect. The young lady gently shook her head in front of Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes. Soon after, she lifted her lips. She raised her head, her large eyes staring at the spot where Ling Qingzhu had disappeared. After which, she turned her head and softly said to Ying Xiaoxiao, I will become even more outstanding than her. Ying Xiaoxiao was momentarily startled. When she looked at that young lady's bright and beautiful face, she seemed to see an icy blue hue rising in the latter's eyes bit by bit. Ying Xiaoxiao was somewhat taken aback. It truly seemed as if the young lady before her would undergo a complete metamorphosis one day. At that time, it was likely that she would become even more dazzling than Ling Qingzhu. Big Sis believes in you. Ying Xiaoxiao did not know where this emotion sprouted from. However, she was clearly quite pleased when she saw that Ying Huanhuan did not feel dejected because of Ling Qingzhu's appearance. Immediately, she rubbed the young lady's head and softly laughed. Ying Huanhuan laughed sweetly, while the icy blue hue within her eyes quietly disappeared. However, it was likely that even she herself might not have sensed that in the depths of her pupils, jet black had slowly started to merge with that icy blue. Due to Ling Qingzhu's appearance, this young lady, who typically went with the flow, seemed to have awoken the pride deep within her bones, and this caused certain changes within her to accelerate. At this moment, Lin Dong had also withdrawn his gaze. He immediately inhaled a deep breath of air. The meeting five years later was not as explosive as he had imagined. The two of them had calmly looked at each other and conversed in a calm manner. After which, they had parted in a similarly calm manner. However, this was good. Lin Dong smiled. 
Although the current him was completely different compared to five years ago, he was still not very stunning in the eyes of Ling Qingzhu, whose eyes were already used to seeing countless geniuses. The reason the latter had displayed such emotion was likely because of how vastly different Lin Dong's status and power was now compared to five years ago. Although the unexpected occurrence back then forced the two of them into an absurd situation that caught them both off guard, Lin Dong was not foolish enough to believe that a lady like Ling Qingzhu would swear her undying love to him because of such an incident. A proud phoenix like her would never be retained by even the most gorgeous sycamore tree. Lin Dong turned around and saw those strange gazes that Wang Yan's group were directing at him. He involuntarily coughed dryly and spread out his hands. You know her? Wang Yan involuntarily asked. He felt like he was speaking too much today. It was as though he had completely changed from his usual quiet and lonely self. However, he had no choice. The feats that Lin Dong had accomplished today caused him to involuntarily speak a little more. We met once five years ago in Great Yan Empire. Lin Dong gently nodded and said. Wang Yan, Ying Xiaoxiao, and the others exchanged glances. They clearly did not expect that the two of them had met five years ago. However, there should have been a huge difference in status between the two of them back then. Yet, they had still met. The group wondered just what happened between the both of them. From the looks it, it was obvious that it was no ordinary meeting. Let's go. We should also head back. Lin Dong did not dwell on this topic. He immediately waved his hand and was just about to leave when his eyes drifted towards the stone within the light barrier, where the grey-clothed middle-aged man was at earlier. At this moment, there were over a dozen light clusters on the stone. A powerful fluctuation was being emitted from those light clusters. Clearly, they were powerful soul treasures. However, Lin Dong's eyes did not linger for long on those light clusters. Instead, his eyes shifted and finally landed in a corner. There was a somewhat dimmer light cluster at that spot. The light cluster contained a palm-sized dark red damaged copper cauldron. The stone talisman within his body seemed to ripple when Lin Dong's eyes landed on the dark red damaged copper cauldron. That fluctuation was extremely slight, but it was still detected by Lin Dong. Immediately, his eyes focused in an unnoticeable fashion. In the next moment, after a slight hesitation, he lifted his foot and walked forward. He did not hide his intention as he held the copper cauldron in his hand. Immediately, he lifted his head and smiled towards that grey-clothed middle-aged man. What is the price of this object? Chapter 757, Does He Want to Die? The middle-aged man atop the stone was obviously startled by Lin Dong's question. Shortly after, his line of sight fluttered to the dull red damaged copper cauldron in Lin Dong's hands before he asked with a faint smile, Oh? Why are you interested in it? I gained an interest while browsing. Lin Dong chuckled. He naturally knew everyone here was extremely experienced. Although they did not know exactly what every item fished out from Unique Devil Region did, they were very vigilant. After all, there were cases where items which looked broken, actually turned out to be invaluable treasures. Hearing Lin Dong's reply, the middle-aged man narrowed his eyes a little, before sending his penetrating gaze towards the dull red damaged cauldron. Only after quite a long while did he slowly retract his gaze. He had already done a lot of research, and only after he failed to uncover anything unique about them, did he choose to hawk these items. This was especially the case for the bronze cauldron as there was not the single bit of fluctuation within. Therefore, it was definitely not a pure Yuan treasure which had its brilliance concealed. Do you know what it is? As the middle-aged man was wrinkling his forehead, Lin Dong waved the bronze cauldron in his hand, before asking him this question. If I knew, perhaps I wouldn't even sell it, said the middle-aged man with a smile. How much is it? asked Lin Dong once again in a soft voice. The middle-aged man hesitated for a while. Promptly, his eyes faintly sparkled before he replied, 10 million nirvana pills. After he spoke, an uproar emerged among the Dao sect disciples behind Lin Dong, as they stared at the middle-aged man in anger. This fellow did not even know anything about this item, yet he actually dared to quote such an outrageous price. Sir, aren't you a little too greedy? asked Lin Dong while he faintly wrinkled his brows. The prices of the items that we sell here, especially those of unknown origin, are quite high. That is because we have to shoulder the burden if a seemingly useless item turns out to be an invaluable treasure. The middle-aged man shrugged his shoulders and replied, you have to consider my point of view as well. If this item truly turns out to be a gem, how much blood will I vomit then? As if there are so many invaluable dirt-covered treasures covered in this world, said Lin Dong casually. He did not wish to say anything more. After hesitating for a moment, he took out a Chinkuan bag. However, after he took out his Chinkuan bag, his hand stiffened as he suddenly recalled something. All his Nirvana pills were used by Little Martin to deploy the Great Array. Although Ying Huan Huan had also volunteered her Nirvana pills, Little Martin only took enough pills from her to supplement the quantity that Lin Dong lacked. Therefore, the current Lin Dong was basically broke. Just as Lin Dong's body stiffened and he started to feel awkward, a jade-like hand gave a soft wave, throwing a Chinkuan bag at the middle-aged man dressed in grey atop of the stone. 
Receiving the Chinkuin bag, the middle-aged man gave it a glance before looking at the slender and elegant young lady standing behind Lin Dong. Following that, he sent a smile towards Lin Dong and said, You have good luck with women young man. Lin Dong tilted his head and looked towards Ng Huan Huan as he smiled, Thanks. Proper behavior is based on reciprocity replied Ng Huan Huan casually. Her big eyes shot a glance at Lin Dong before retracting. From the looks of it, the young lady seemed a little upset. Lin Dong gawked faintly before replying with a single, Oh. Standing up, he conveniently kept the dull red damaged bronze cauldron into his chinkun bag, before smiling at Ng Xiao Xiao and the rest, we should leave too. After saying that, he took the lead by turning around to walk away. At his back, the Dao sect disciples also flocked and followed behind. Ng Huan Huan looked at Lin Dong's back before her pearly teeth bit her lips. A sliver of complaint seemingly flashed past her eyes, however, it was at this moment that she was dragged along by Ying Xiaoxiao. When Lin Dong and the rest returned to their inn, they saw Qi Lei, Chen Chen, and the other two hall masters standing there with stern expressions on their faces. Behind them were quite a number of Dao sect disciples. Upon realizing that Lin Dong and the rest had returned, all of them clearly heaved a sigh of relief. Did you guys clash with members from Yuan Gate? asked Qi Lei in a low voice with a frown as he stared at Lin Dong, Ying Xiaoxiao, and the rest. Lin Dong helpless nodded his head and was just about to speak when Qi Lei opened his mouth again, I heard that you managed to force Lei Qian to back off. Lin Dong gawked. This piece of news has traveled really fast. Slightly hesitating, he nodded his head again and said, I used a little trick. Huh, just like I told you. How can this brat be that easy to deal with? He has a belly filled with tricks and even Lei Qian would not be able to easily deal with him. Right after Lin Dong replied, Chen Chen could not resist and started to laugh. His laughter contained an unconcealable satisfaction. Lin Dong and the rest stared in astonishment at the four headmasters who had suddenly started chuckling. Looking at their appearance, it truly seemed like they were not here to lecture them. Well done. Although you have to consider the big picture sometimes, those despicable scoundrels do need to be taught a lesson, said Chi Lei with a smile as he rubbed his chin. In response to this scene, the only thing Lin Dong could do was to dryly laugh twice. The great sect competition has yet to begin, yet you guys have already clashed with Yuan Gate. If you think about it, when you guys meet again in Unique Devil Region, there will definitely be quite a few clashes. At that time, all of you will have to be careful, said Chen Zhen as his face started to turn serious after laughing. Yes. Lin Dong, Ying Xiaoxiao, and the rest all nodded their heads. They knew that there was a deep grudge between them and Yuan Gate. In addition to today's incident, the number of conflicts that would arise when they met in the future would definitely increase. Okay, you should all go and have a rest now. The Great Sect competition will start in two days. During these two days, you all should restrain yourselves and not cause any further problems. Unique Devil City is a chaotic place filled with all sorts of individuals. Don't cause any unnecessary trouble, said Chi Lei with a smile as he waved his hands. Yes. Upon hearing his words, all of the disciples nodded their heads before scattering. This brat is truly full of surprises. Lei Qian's body has likely begun to produce life qi already. However, he was still forced to back off by Lin Dong. Looking at the direction which Lin Dong and the rest had scattered, Qi Lei could not help but mumble his thoughts. This little fellow has quite a few tricks up his sleeves. It is not so easy to deal with him, said Chen Zhen with a smile. However, we cannot be complacent. Lei Qian is the weakest amongst the three little kings of Yuan Gate. The little Yuan King and little Spirit King are the more problematic ones. Before the great sect competition begins, we should warn Lin Dong and the rest to be more careful, said Qi Lei while shaking his head. Upon hearing his words, the smiles on the faces of Chen Zhen and the other two hall masters turned slightly restrained before sighing softly. The three little kings of Yuan Gate were indeed formidable opponents. They did not know whether Lin Dong and the rest would be able to handle them if they were to encounter them in Unique Devil Region. They could only hope that they would not suffer the same disastrous loss as they did in the previous Great Sect competition. Night fell and gradually enveloped the enormous Unique Devil City. Meanwhile, the clamor during the day gradually started to die down under the cooling night breeze. In another corner of the city was an expansive courtyard with quite a few individuals shuttling back and forth. This was the lodging area for Yuan Gate in Unique Devil City. Currently, there were three figures within a quiet courtyard located deep in the large compound. One of them was the Little Thunder King, Lei Qian that had crossed blows with Lin Dong previously. In front of Lei Qian, a handsome man dressed in white robes reclined on a patch of grass with a leaf was hanging out of his mouth. With his hands placed behind his head, he lazily watched the night sky. After a long while, his gaze fluttered before he shot a glance at Lei Qian and said, I heard that you were forced to run with your tail between your legs by a new Dao sect disciple in the treasure-seeking district. I was merely careless and was hit by that brat. In a real fight, I'll crush all of the bones in that brat's body within ten moves. Lei Qian frowned before he coldly chuckled. 
Heh, you are the only one capable of losing a sure bet, am I right boss, said the man in white with a grin on his face before tilting his head to look behind. There was man dressed in green sitting quiet with his legs crossed. If one was to talk about appearances, he would definitely not be as elegant as the man in white. However, he was well worth a second look. His pair of eyes were prominently long and narrow, giving him a very favorable look. At this time, his head was bent downwards as he slowly wiped the iron sword in his hand. It was as if he did not have any interest in the dispute between Lei Qian and the man in white. If you feel that you have been disrespected, go and take back your face by yourself during the great sect competition. You will meet him there eventually, said the man in green while focusing on the iron sword in his hand, before giving a faint smile. His smile looked like the edge of a sword. The debt will naturally be claimed. Said Lei Qian with gloom filling his eyes. He suddenly said, in addition, that brat called Lin Dong seemed to have met up with Ling Qingzhu today. From the looks of it, they seem to be quite close. Right after he said those words, a smile that was not a smile appeared on the man dressed in white, before he tilted his head and looked towards the man dressed in green who was wiping his iron sword. The speed at which he wiped the iron sword suddenly slowed down, before he faintly wrinkled his eyebrows. In the next moment, he raised his head and looked at Lei Qian. As if he was talking to himself, he muttered, does he, want to die? After his soft voice rang out, a gale suddenly swept across the courtyard. Instantly, the ground was sliced to pieces by dozens of deep slashes which depths cannot be measured. When they saw this scene, Lei Qian and the man dressed in white looked at each other, before they shrugged their shoulders. It seems like the Dao sect will suffer a bloodbath during the upcoming great sect competition. Chapter 758, Burning Sky Ancient Stash Over the next two days, the population in Unique Devil City soared at an extremely terrifying speed. Not only did members from the eight super sects arrived one after another, but even members from other renowned factions also hurried over. In an instant, the interior of Unique Devil City was completely packed with countless experts, causing it to become extremely chaotic. Chi Lei and the rest had clearly tightened their control amidst this chaos. Hence, most disciples from Dao sect had to quietly remain at their inn to train and had no chance to go out to stir trouble. Although Chi Lei's group did not forcefully restrain Lin Dong and the other top disciples, they repeatedly instructed them to be careful in order to guard against a sneak attack. Currently, Unique Devil City was extremely chaotic. Should any problems occur, it was likely that even the four of them would have difficulty handling it. Lin Dong was also clearly aware of the current situation within Unique Devil City. Hence, he quietly remained in his room during these two days despite not being grounded and he seldom headed out. Lin Dong also took advantage of the peace that came before the eminent great battle to study some other things. For example, the strange copper cauldron that he had recently obtained. Lin Dong was seated on a bed within the quiet room. At this moment, he was holding the damaged copper cauldron which he had bought from the treasure-seeking district at a high price. He frowned slightly while his eyes continuously swept across it. Asterisk sigh asterisk. This continued for half an hour before Lin Dong involuntarily sighed. He rubbed his somewhat teary eyes, while his face was filled with dissatisfaction. Earlier, he had tried various methods to study this dark red copper cauldron. However, he did not manage to discover anything special about it. The material of this copper cauldron was not unique and there was also the absence of any energy fluctuation within it. Lin Dong was certain that this thing was definitely not a soul treasure. It seemed like his dream of finding a great steel had been dashed. Something's amiss. Lin Dong played with the copper cauldron in his hand as he muttered to himself. When he saw this thing for the first time, he clearly sensed the stone talisman within his body trembling gently. The stone talisman only displayed such a reaction when it found an extraordinary object. Lin Dong frowned. He placed the dark red damaged copper cauldron in front of him. It was possible to see some chaotic drawings on the surface of the copper cauldron. Perhaps it was because of the erosion over the years, but these drawings were extremely faded. Hence, Lin Dong was unable to obtain any useful information from them. This copper cauldron, just what is its use? Lin Dong felt his head ache a little. A long while later, he finally gave up and shook his head. As he was preparing to keep the cauldron into his chinkuan bag, his eyes suddenly drifted towards the light in the room. Immediately, he was stunned for a moment. After which, his eyes narrowed. This copper cauldron, seems to be lacking a flame. This thought flashed across Lin Dong's mind. He hesitated for a moment, before he looked at the damaged appearance of the copper cauldron. It did not seem like it could endure the heat. Should things take a turn for the worse, his 10 million nirvana pills would be wasted. If it ends up being broken, then so be it. However, Lin Dong was not an indecisive person. After hesitating for a moment, he clenched his teeth. With a grasp of his hand, a cluster of fierce nirvana flames rose from his palm. This flame could be formed by anyone who was a nirvana stage expert. Chi. Lin Dong flicked his finger. A wisp of flame entered the copper cauldron at lightning speed. After which, the flame was swiftly released. Soon after, Lin Dong could see that the copper cauldron was starting to melt. 
Immediately, his face turned slightly green. It seemed that his idea was indeed wrong. Moreover, based on its damaged appearance, it was possible that someone had already tried this method. However, it was likely that they had realized that it was useless midway, and hence stopped. Lin Dong shook his head in disappointment. He had finally lost all interest. With a wave of his sleeve, he threw the burning copper cauldron into the brazier in the room. After which, he slowly shut his eyes and began cultivating. After Lin Dong had entered a state of cultivation, the copper cauldron began to melt at an increasing pace. In the end, it even turned into liquid copper that dripped downwards. The dark red copper liquid increased. In the end, the copper cauldron was completely melted down. The Nirvana flame had also scattered due to the exhaustion of Nirvana Chi. Only some slowly flowing dark red copper liquid remained. Buzz buzz. Numerous dark red lights suddenly shot out from the copper liquid while it flowed. Finally, they intertwined with each other in the air. Seated on the bed, as if he had sensed something, Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes suddenly opened. He was somewhat dazed as he watched the dark red lights intertwining in the air. This. Lin Dong was startled when he saw this scene. After which, he glanced at the completely melted metal cauldron, and only then did he come to a sudden realization. One must completely destroy it before one could find what was hidden within. Could this be considered as, without destruction there can be no progress? However, one would require quite a great amount of courage in order to go through with such an act. If it was not because Lin Dong was completely disappointed earlier, it was likely that he would have difficulty personally melting the cauldron into liquid copper. Before Lin Dong, there was likely others who had also tried this method. Ultimately, that person lacked the endurance or the heartlessness to see things to the end. Regardless, the current Lin Dong was exceptionally pleased. This outcome that he had haphazardly reached clearly exceeded his expectation. However, what is this? Lin Dong's joyous eyes contained some uncertainty. He stared at the lights crisscrossing each other in the air. Those lights entwined with each other. Finally, they appeared to have formed some strange lines and pictures. That appearance, it seemed to be a map. A map? Lin Dong's eyes focused slightly. Immediately, a thought flashed past his mind before his mental energy whizzed out. It captured an image of the map of light and stored it in his Naiwen palace. After Lin Dong had done this, the bright red lines began to shrink before finally agglomerating into a dark red palm-sized light token in front of his eyes. Lin Dong extended his hand and the dark red light token landed in his hand. His eyes glanced over it and he was able to see a picture of a flame spreading across the light token. There were four unusually ancient flaming characters vaguely present on the picture. Burning Sky Ancient Stash Lin Dong stared at the four ancient flaming characters. After which, he read each word out loud. In the next instant, his eyes suddenly brightened. This copper cauldron actually hid an ancient treasure map. Excellent. Lin Dong lips parted as he laughed. Although he was unaware of what this burning sky ancient stash was, it was likely not an ordinary treasure trove since it was located within unique devil region. It would not be surprising even if such a place had a pure Yuan treasure. Although the trashy item did not turn into a treasure, the appearance of this ancient treasure map had completely made up for it. The value of an ancient treasure trove was definitely comparable to a pure Yuan treasure. He did not lose out in this transaction. The ability of the stone talisman did not disappoint Lin Dong. After entering Unique Devil Region, I can discuss this with Senior Sister Xiao Xiao and the rest. We can look for this so-called Burning Sky Ancient stash together. Lin Dong fondled his chin and muttered to himself. After all, the current situation was different from when he had entered the ancient battlefield back then. He was no longer alone and there was now a large group of fellow disciples who were willing to follow him. He alone was also unable to stomach an entire ancient treasure trove. It would be better for him to share it with his fellow disciples. At that time, their overall strength would increase and it was likely that they would face a lot less trouble. Lin Dong quietly smiled when he thought of this. He carefully kept the light token into his storage ring. This object likely a special function. Otherwise, it would not have been hidden so well. After resolving the secret of the copper cauldron, Lin Dong clearly felt extremely pleased. However, he did not stop here. Instead, he mused for a moment before he suddenly clapped his hands together. A light glow appeared in his hand and transformed into an extremely obscure and complicated light formation. This formation was so mysterious that it caused one to be dazzled. Even the current Lin Dong was unable to see through its mystery. This was naturally the ancient universe formation that was within Lin Dong's body. The ancient universe formation had greatly contributed to Lin Dong's ability to contend against 9 Yuan Nirvana stage experts with his 7 Yuan Nirvana stage strength. It was because of it that Lin Dong was able to merge Yuan power and mental energy together to unleash an even greater power. However, ever since Lin Dong had obtained it, he had not discovered any other uses besides merging Yuan power and mental energy. Nevertheless, over this period of time, Lin Dong had realized some facts after having quietly studied it for a long time. The ancient universe formation could merge energy when it was rotated clockwise. 
However, if one was to rotate it anti-clockwise, Lin Dong discovered that the ripple from the ancient universe formation would undergo a complete change. At the same time, that fluctuation also possessed quite a shocking and miraculous effect. That was the power to split. Clockwise would lead to merger while anti-clockwise would lead to separation. Lin Dong smilingly watched the slowly rotating ancient universe formation, while the corners of his lips lifted. He was aware that this discovery would definitely aid him tremendously in the upcoming Great Sect competition. Chapter 759, Gathering of Monsters As the explosive atmosphere in Unique Devil City seemed to reach an almost crazed state, two days finally sped by. As the first ray of sunlight pierced through the clouds and illuminated the land, a frenzy undoubtedly erupted throughout the entire Unique Devil City. Ear-piercing wind sounds continuously rang through the skies as figure after figure rushed to enter Unique Devil region like screaming locusts. At a place not far to the north of Unique Devil City, the ground had completely transformed into an extremely gloomy darkness. A smell that caused one's soul to feel uncomfortable spread out from the ground. Unique Devil region was enveloped by an extremely frightening array that originated from ancient times. It was said that this array was created by the combined efforts of many elite experts of that era, and that this array had sealed this piece of land for countless years. However, there was nothing in this world that could withstand the erosion of time. Although this array was extremely terrifying, under the passing of time, a few broken holes that appeared. Thus, people are able to enter from certain points. The outskirts of Unique Devil City was one of these points. This was a stretch of black plains. At the end of the plains, traces of distortion had appeared, a clear indicator of where the plains ended. Right now, there was a huge crowd that blotted the skies above the plains. Hurried wind sounds continuously sounded out in the distance, clearly expanding the already frighteningly vast crowd present. Swoosh. A large group of figures shot forward, before finally appearing at a place around a thousand meters from the spatial protective screen. Revealing their appearances, they were the Dao sect disciples. Lin Dong and the rest were naturally among this group. Truly a magnificent sight. Floating in the air, the group looked at the vast endless crowd surrounding them, before they involuntarily smacked their lips. This was undoubtedly a grand occasion for Eastern Xian region. The only words that could describe this scene would be vast and mighty. Feeling rather shocked, Lin Dong nodded his head. Amongst the figures that blotted the skies, he could sense that there were quite a few obscure and powerful auras. One could tell that there were crouching tigers and hidden dragons amongst them, however, no one knew how many there were. Sure enough, the great sect competition was a gathering of monsters. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the skies, before suddenly coming to a rest on a group of figures far away with long swords on their back. Their bodies gave off swift and fierce sword chi. It was so sharp to the point that it seemed able to pierce through the world. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the group of figures before focusing on the front of the group. There stood a man who did not seem to look anything special, however, the sharp aura from his body caused even Lin Dong's pupils to shrink a little. Those are the sword sect disciples. They are headed by the most outstanding person amongst the sword sect's younger generation. Known as sword fanatic Xue Ling, he is also at the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. It is rumored that he has successfully learned the sword saint arts of the sword sect, and his attacking prowess is extremely fearsome and ferocious, just as Lin Dong's gaze landed on that man, standing beside him, Ying Xiao Xiao opened her mouth and explained. Oh, said Lin Dong as he faintly raised his eyebrows. He had heard of the sword saint arts. It was reputed to be a powerful martial art that was not inferior to the sky emperor scripture. The people in white on the left as well as the people in yellow not far from them are the disciples from divine sect and symbol valley respectively. This time, the most formidable younger generation member of Divine Sect is a girl called Shui Wan. As for the disciple leading Symbol Valley, he is called Mao Shan. Both their mental energy capabilities have already reached the Nine Seal Heavenly Symbol Master level. Their attacking methods are intangible and unpredictable, making them extremely hard to deal with, continued Ying Xiao Xiao as she pointed towards two different spots. Following her finger, Lin Dong turned and saw a girl in a white dress standing gracefully in front of the group of figures dressed in white. She looked rather refined, however, her most distinguishing feature was her snow-white hair. As a gentle breeze blew past, her hair was akin to snowflakes fluttering and dancing. Majestic and incorporeal mental energy undulated around her, causing even space itself to distort a little. Lin Dong's eyes rested on the girl named Shui Yan for a short while, before turning to the direction where the Symbol Valley members were located. At that spot, stood a youth wearing a large yellow robe. The surface of his yellow robe was filled with strange and weird symbols, while light faintly blossomed from it. From the looks of it, this yellow robe was actually a fairly powerful soul treasure. Furthermore, the mental energy fluctuations from his body were not the least bit inferior to the white-haired girl. Nine Seal Heavenly Symbol Master Lin Dong faintly smacked his lips. His mental energy was merely of the Six Seal Heavenly Symbol Master level, and he was quite weak in comparison to the two of them. After all, Lin Dong had spent more time on Yuan power than mental energy. The people over there should be from Great Desolate Palace, right? After sighing, Lin Dong looked towards another direction, where a group of burly chaps stood. 
Many of them had exposed arms, while the veins on their bodies were like dragons. Undulations radiated from their bodies like a great flood, causing them to look as if they were human-shaped demonic beasts. After sweeping his gaze across their bodies, Ling Dong's eyes came to a halt at the front of the group before gawking slightly. At that spot stood a rather thin man. As he stood in front of the group of intrepid giant bodies, he looked just like a kid. Such a contrast was extremely comical. Naturally, the startled expression on Lin Dong's face only lasted for a split second before dissipating, as he noticed the looks of respect the burly chaps gave to the thin man. Yup, that thin man is the most senior brother disciple of Great Desolate Palace, Wu Hong. Don't look down on his physique. His physical body has been already trained till an extremely intrepid level. It was said that there was once a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert that challenged him whose defenses were directly smashed by a single punch. Even his Nirvana golden body was completely broken, causing him to sustain serious injuries, setting Xiao Xiao while nodding her head. As expected, this is a gathering of monsters. Replied Lin Dong with a faint smile. To be able to become the most outstanding member amongst their peers within their individual sects, these people have truly proven their talent and capabilities. This great sect competition was truly going to be very interesting. Ying Xiao Xiao nodded her head and was just about to say something when her expression suddenly changed. As she gazed into the distance she said, the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace members have also arrived. Lin Dong also raised his head and looked towards the direction where wind sounds were present. After a few breaths time, a large group of figures appeared in the sky. Following the appearance of this group, the air above the plane started to grow restless as fiery gazes converged one after another on the front of the group of Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace disciples. At that spot was a beautiful figure in a white dress akin to snow. Treading on a green lotus, and with a quiet and cold temperament akin to a fairy descending to the mortal realm, she was indeed Ling Qingzhu. As Lin Dong gazed at Ling Qingzhu, he involuntarily rubbed his nose. When she appeared, he noticed that a great half of the most outstanding disciples from the various sects had all turned to look at her. Within their gazes were unconcealable admiration. Looks like the words that Ling Qingzhu had said two days ago was indeed not a lie. Eh. As Lin Dong's gaze swept past Ling Qingzhu, he suddenly exclaimed in shock. His surprised gaze had stopped at a spot behind Ling Qingzhu. He had spotted the figure of a familiar young lady, it was Su Ro. Currently, the young lady was wearing a light green dress. Her face no longer had the previous timid look and a smile had appeared when she conversed with the senior and junior brother disciples around her. Looks like the young lady who had to pretend to toughen up while being reprimanded by the Lin Dong trio had finally grown up. In the distance, Su Ro who was talking to her senior and junior brother disciples seemed to have sensed something. Raising her head, she turned towards the direction of Dao sect. In the next moment, she spotted the gentle smile on the familiar face that was looking at her. Big brother Lin Dong. Su Ro gawked for a moment. Soon after, pleasant surprise and an excited smile appeared on her face. In the next moment, she waved at Lin Dong without care for the surrounding gazes. Looking at the exceptionally pleasantly surprised Su Ro, Lin Dong gave a faint smile in response. Su Ro's action were obviously discovered that the Dao sect disciples beside Lin Dong. Gawking for a while, they proceeded to look at Lin Dong in worship. Why did everyone know this guy? Your networking seems to reach rather far and wide. Setting Xiao Xiao before she involuntarily shook her head. She looked to Ying Huan Huan, who was currently chatting with Qing Yi. She looked as if she was not aware of what was going on, however, Ying Xiao Xiao could discover a subtle change within her gaze which occasionally fluttered to a distant place. It was obvious that she could not completely ignoring this matter. A friend that I got to know during the Hundred Empire War, explained Lin Dong with a smile, before shooting a look at Ying Huan Huan who was still refusing to speak to him. He secretly felt helpless, this little lady's sulking capabilities were indeed rather exceptional. At the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace area, Ling Qingzhu was slightly startled due to Su Ro's actions, before asking in a soft voice, Do you know him? Yes, if not for Big Brother Lin Dong, during the Hundred Empire War, me and Elder Brother would have likely not reached the Hundred Empire Mountain, replied Su Ro with a smile as she nodded her head. Big Brother Lin Dong is formidable. It was obvious that he came from a low-rank empire, however, he managed to become the champion of the Hundred Empire War. In the end, when the western Xian region attempted to capture the ancient realm, he forced our enemies to retreat by summoning three wind lighting tribulations. Su Ro's face was filled with the color of worship. Seeing this, some of the male disciples around her felt slightly jealous. That was because they had never seen her reveal such an expression during her time in Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace, where her status was high like the afternoon sun. Ling Qingzhu gently nodded her head, her eyebrows drooped slightly as she suppressed the slight fluctuation that flashed past her eyes. It seems like he had quite a few extraordinary experiences over all these years. Lin Dong gradually withdrew his gaze from the location of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, before turning his head towards another area in the sky. In a soft voice he spoke, the people from Yuan Gate have arrived. As his words faded, the expressions of the Dao sect disciples behind faintly sunk. They raised their heads and fixed their gazes on a particular spot in the sky. Swish swish. 
Under their gazes, hurried wind sounds quickly rang out as a black mass of figures burst in like black clouds in a rather overbearing manner, before finally appearing at a spot that was nearest to the spatial distortions. When this large group of figures appeared, Lin Dong's attention instantly went towards the front of this group of Yuan Gate disciples. At that position, three figures stood perfectly straight. An aura that rocketed through the skies slowly erupted from them, causing the expressions of many people to change. The three little kings of Yuan Gate, the most outstanding existences amongst the younger generation members in Eastern Xi'an region. The three most highly regarded individuals in the great sect competition had finally appeared. Chapter 760, Tit for Tat Hundreds of Yuan Gate disciples formed an orderly formation in the air. The majestic ripple that exuded from their bodies gathered together, causing a muffled thunder to resound in the sky. It was a sight that would cause eyebrows to be raised. Three figures stood at the very front of all the Yuan Gate disciples. The auras from these three may not be as impressive when compared to the combined presence of the hundreds of people behind them, but they were as imposing as three large mountains that stood in front of the Yuan Gate disciples. No one dared to underestimate them. Lin Dong's eyes had also narrowed slightly due to the appearance of these three figures. He had once met the Little Lightning King, Lei Qian, amongst them. Therefore, his gaze directly looked towards the latter's left. There he saw a handsome white-clothed man that was holding a foldable fan. The fan was flapped slightly, giving him a graceful and scholarly appearance. However, the waves of powerful fluctuations seeping out from him allowed one to understand that it would be extremely foolish to treat him as a helpless scholar. He is the Little Spirit King, Ling Zhen. Ying Xiao Xiao Soft said. Her face was somewhat solemn as she stared at the white-clothed man. Lin Dong nodded slightly. His eyes had also become quite grave. He was able to sense that this little spirit king, Ling Zhen, seemed to be even more dangerous than Lei Qian. Yuan Gate was indeed worthy of being the strongest sect within the eastern Xi'an region. It was possible to see this just from the gap between the disciples from the various sects. However, the strongest of the Yuan Gate three little kings are not these two. Instead, it is little Yuan King Yuan Tsang. Ying Xiao Xiao's eyes were a little complicated. Her voice seemed slightly hoarse when she uttered this name. It was clear that the name gave her immense pressure. Lin Dong nodded quietly. Soon after, his eyes looked towards the spot between Lei Qian and Ling Zhen. A blue-clothed man with an ordinary appearance was standing there with a smile. His appearance was not as fearsome as what Lin Dong had imagined. However, countless gazes were gathered on the blue-clothed man while he smilingly stood in front of the Yuan Gate disciples. That ability to draw attention was not any weaker than Ling Qingzhu's. Lin Dong glanced at the other super sections. The monsters from the various sects would have a somewhat unnatural expression when they looked at Yuan Tsang. Caution flashed across their eyes. Their demeanor clearly indicated that they were extremely fearful of him. From this scene, even Lin Dong had no choice but to admit that the Yuan Tsang's presence was indeed powerful. The leader of the three little kings lived up to his reputation. The blue-clothed Yuan Tsang turned his head under the focus of those uncountable gazes in the sky. After which, he threw his gaze towards the direction where the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace was located. Of course, to be specific, it was towards Ling Qingzhu, who was standing on a green lotus. Haha, <laughs> this time around, it is indeed Ling Qingzhu who is leading the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace. If we end up meeting in Unique Devil Region, I hope that Ling Qingzhu will hold back a little. Yuan Tsang looked at Ling Qingzhu. That face, which was not handsome but still nevertheless attractive, involuntarily broke out into a smile. After which, he gently laughed. It must be said that this Yuan Tsang was a man with great charm. Although he was not really handsome, his demeanor when he spoke caused one to appear to be bathed in the winds of spring. Without realizing it, the caution within one's heart would gradually weaken. Martial brother Yuan Tsang is joking. Qingzhu does not have that ability. Ling Qingzhu lowered her long eyelash in response to Yuan Tsang's words and softly replied. After uttering those words, Ling Qingzhu's eyes secretly glanced towards the distance without anyone noticing. It was the direction where Lin Dong currently was. Qingzhu is really humble. If you go all out, even I might not be able to easily obtain victory. Yuan Tsang laughed. After which, he withdrew his eyes a little. He turned his head and looked towards the direction where the disciples from the Dao sect were located. The moment that Yuan Tsang's eyes looked over, Lin Dong was able to sense the bodies of all the Dao sect disciples behind him being momentarily tense up. Even the Yuan power within Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan's bodies involuntarily circulated in a more hurried manner. Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan, haha, all of you can be considered to be acquaintances. Yuan Tsang smilingly looked at Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest as he spoke. The expressions of the Wang Yan duo sunk slightly. Although Yuan Chang's voice was gentle, they could sense the surging dark and cold bloodthirstiness beneath the surface. Yuan Tsang once again smiled after seeing the expressions of the Ying Xiaoxiao duo. His eyes eventually paused on Lin Dong, as those long eyes of his narrowed a little. I have heard that the champion of this Hundred Empire War has rejected the invitation of my Yuan Gate and entered Dao sect instead. 
Now that I look at it, your Dao sect had indeed managed to gain quite a lot. Yuan Tsang smiled. His voice paused for a moment before continuing, this may be good as well, rather be the head of a chicken than the tail of a snake. Yuan Tsang's laughter immediately caused the eyes of quite a number of Dao sect disciples to be furious. These words were saying that Lin Dong was only able to be a leader due to the weakness of their Dao sect. If Lin Dong had went to their Yuan gate instead, Lin Dong would only be ranked last. This fellow might appear amiable but his words were like needles hidden within cotton, piercing one until even one's bones would hurt. The original clamor in the sky had also become silent at this moment. Those members of the various super sects were watching the scene. The grudge between Yuan Gate and Dao sect was extremely deep. Everyone present was aware of it. However, they did not expect that hidden sparks and turmoil to appear the moment they met. However, from the looks of it, it seemed that Dao sect was unable to beat Yuan Gate. From the area where the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace was located, Ling Qingzhu brows knitted together slightly. She glanced at Su Ruo beside her. The latter's small face was covered with worry. Clearly, she was also aware of the gap between the disciples from Dao sect and Yuan Gate. Chicken head or snake tail. It is too early to come to a conclusion now. Lin Dong's expression did not contain the slightest fear in front of the many gathered gazes from all over the place. He laughed, back then, didn't my Dao sect senior Zhou Tong also beat your Yuan Gate's three little kings till one was killed, one was injured and one had fled. Some uproar was stirred in the sky when these words were spoken. Quite a number of people had shocked filled faces. Clearly, they did not expect that Lin Dong actually dare to clash against Yuan Tsang. Arrogant fool that does not know your limits. Don't tell me that you dare to compare yourself to Zhou Tong. Lei Qian laughed coldly and mocked. Even Zhou Tong had difficulty escaping from being killed by my Yuan Gate. The little spirit king, Wang Ling, who was holding a foldable fan, said with a smile. A sect master of Yuan Gate can lower himself to attack a disciple of Dao sect. This has indeed caused others to be dumbfounded. Lin Dong laughed. Ling Zhen and Lei Qian frowned slightly when they heard these words. The smiles on their faces turned a little unnatural. The Zhou Tong from back then did indeed only possess the status of a disciple. However, he had ended up forcing the sect master of Yuan Gate to intervene. Only then was he killed. This matter had ended up attracting some hidden ridicule, causing the reputation of Yuan Gate to be damaged. It could be considered a sore point in the hearts of their disciples. During the time that Lei Qian's expression was gloomy and could not help but wish to say something, Yuan Tsang in front of him waved his hand. His long narrow eyes contained a small smile as he stared at Lin Dong. However, the smile was filled with a dark and intense chillness. Looks like we have not put your Dao sect disciples sufficiently in their place over these years. Yuan Tsang curled his mouth and smiled. Immediately, he shook his head. His eyes were like that of a snake as they swept over all the members of Dao sect. He softly said, in that case, all of you should pray for yourselves during this great sect competition. His voice did not reveal any overtly vicious words. However, the ill intent could be clearly heard by everyone. Something should not be said till the end. The smile on Lin Dong's face withdrew bit by bit. Both of his eyes vaguely contained a dark glow surging within them. Under his sleeves, his fists had also tightened. He was aware that he would have to really go all out during this great sect competition no matter what. You are bold. I like that. When the time comes, I will say these words to you once again. Hopefully, it will not be the last words that you hear in your life. Yuan Tsang laughed faintly. After which, he slowly withdrew his eyes. His fingers were crossed and placed in front of him. Lei Qian and Ling Zhen, who were familiar with his character, revealed a cold smile on their lips when they saw this. They were aware that such a moment was when the murderous desire within Yuan Tsang's heart had reached its peak. Clearly, Lin Dong had already provoked a murderous intent from Yuan Tsang. Dao sect was truly unlucky. Lin Dong also withdrew his gaze when Yuan Tsang did so. He turned his head to glance at Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest. Their faces did not show even the slightest dissatisfaction because of his earlier provocations towards Yuan Tsang. Instead, quite a number of them had icy cold stern expressions. Can that Yuan Tsang be considered the strongest person amongst the youngest generation of the Eastern Xian region? Lin Dong inquired softly. Ying Xiao Xiao thought for a moment after hearing this. She immediately shook her head and said, there is one person who is not weaker than him. Who? The first on the sex wanted list, Ghost Mask Chen Gui. Ying Xiao Xiao said. Chen Gui? Lin Dong frowned. It was clear that this was the first time he had heard this name. He is not a disciple of any sect. Moreover, he cannot even be considered someone from the Eastern Xian region. This person appears and disappears like a ghost. An ordinary person would have difficulty finding his traces. It is rumored that he had once exchanged blows with Yuan Tsang but Yuan Tsang was unable to emerge victorious. From the side, Wang Yan opened his mouth and explained. So it's like this. 
Lin Dong muttered to himself. It seemed that this eastern Xian region was really filled with many hidden experts. He wondered whether Chen Gui would appear during this great sect competition. The unique devil region is about to be opened. Ying Xiao Xiao suddenly said while Lin Dong was deep in thought. Lin Dong raised his head when he heard this. He saw some ripples start to appear on the spatial barrier in the distance. This unique devil region was about to open. While the unique devil region was in a state where it was about to open, two rays of light flashed past the sky 500 kilometers away at lightning speed. Junior sister disciple, there is no need to be too anxious. We will make it in time for the great sect competition. The two rays of light were positioned one behind the other. The light figure behind suddenly paused for a moment, before speaking somewhat helplessly. That light figure was revealed the moment it paused. There was half a ghost mask on his face, giving him a somewhat eerie ghost-like appearance. Who is as slow as you? There is no need to follow me if you do not wish to go. I can go by myself. However, that light figure at the front did not slow down because of this. Soon after, a clear young lady's voice was emitted. Immediately, her speed suddenly quickened as she rushed towards the horizon. That ghost masked person involuntarily laughed bitterly and shook his head when he saw this. He could only follow behind quickly. The conversation of these two echoed in a faint manner. Is junior sister disciple looking for someone? Who is it? Is that person, very important? Uh, uh. However, you will know just who that person is after he is found, uh, but I will likely end up being scolded once I find him. You should be a little smarter when the time comes. Otherwise, I will tell teacher that you failed to protect me adequately when we return. Even teacher is reluctant to scold you, he, ugh, all right. Chapter 761, Unique Devil Region, Open Ripples suddenly appeared on the distorted space above the vast dark plains. A rather frightening fluctuation was faintly emitted from the distorted space. The sea of people on the plains had once again become restless due to this change. Numerous incomparably fiery hot gazes stared at the distorted space. Those familiar with this scene knew that this was a sign that Unique Devil Region was about to open. As one of the renowned danger zones in eastern Xian region and due to the great ancient array that locked it, Unique Devil Region was basically sealed almost all the time. It was impossible for an ordinary person to barge into it. However, with the flow of time, holes had appeared in the large array. This caused the seal to be greatly weakened every few months. This moment was the best opportunity for countless number of treasure seekers to swarm in. Just like this very moment. A frightening ripple spread across the sky at a shocking speed. The spatial barrier that stood between the sky and earth in the distance also became increasingly distorted. One could vaguely see through the distorted space and see the unusually dark land behind it. A dark and cold ripple spread from it. It is about to open huh? Lin Dong's eyes contained some wonder as he stared at the distorted space. He was actually quite curious about the great earth-shattering war that had occurred in this place. Perhaps he would be able to learn more about that ancient great war in this place. Just what unknown beings were those peak experts of the world fighting? Our auras must be linked when we enter unique devil region later. Otherwise, we will be separated. Ying Xiao Xiao looked at the increasingly distorted space in the distance. After which, she turned around and spoke with a solemn expression. Understood. The many disciples from Dao sect replied in a low voice upon hearing this. Immediately, their expressions became a lot more tense. It was likely that they had all heard about the dangers within unique devil region. If one was to be sent alone to certain dangerous areas within that place, it was very likely that one would end up dying. Are we going to head back the same way when we leave? Lin Dong suddenly asked. There is a formation deep within Unique Devil Region. At that time, the eight Super Sect Disciples will gather there from all over the place. Ying Xiao Xiao became quiet when she spoke to this point. She continued, moreover, once we arrive, it will also likely be the time when we will exchange blows with Yuan Gate. During the last Great Sect competition, Senior Sister Disciple Wang was killed by Yuan Gate because she was protecting the Dao Sect Disciples as they withdrew from the formation. By the side, Wang Yan's hands were clenched until they emitted a creaking sound. A kind of crazy violence surged within them. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He extended his hand and gently patted Wang Yan's shoulder. After which, he asked, is it not against the rules to do anything within Unique Devil Region? Even if, one kills the other party's disciple? The Great Sect competition is not a peaceful sparring match. This is an unfeeling training ground. Therefore, no one will hold anyone else responsible no matter what tactics one uses within this place. Of course, hatred will naturally accumulate. Ying Xiao Xiao laughed softly. So it's like this huh? Lin Dong muttered to himself as his eyes narrowed slightly. His appearance did not allow anyone to be aware of just what he was thinking within his heart. Buzz buzz. While Lin Dong was conversing with Ying Xiao Xiao, the space in the distance had become extremely distorted. After which, the space suddenly exploded and a vortex was formed. 
Swoosh. The moment this vortex was formed, the sound of rushing wind immediately tore through the skies. Countless figures whizzed out like locusts from all directions. Finally, they turned into a torrent that was thrown into the distorted vortex. Following this huge activity, those super sect disciples also moved at this moment. Compared to those surrounding chaotic human figures, they were undoubtedly more orderly. Majestic Yuan power whistled and directly wrapped around all the disciples within their respective sections. Finally, they transformed into a large ray of light that charged into the vortex. We should also get moving. Ying Xiaoxiao took a step forward when she saw this. A soft cry resounded clearly beside the ear of every Dao sect disciple. Understood. Wave after wave of vigorous Yuan power immediately spread from the bodies of the many disciples after a united response. Soon after, the Yuan power slowly merged, transforming into a light cluster that encompassed everyone. Let's go. Ying Xiaoxiao waved her hand as she immediately rushed out. Lin Dong, Wang Yan and the large group of Dao sect disciples immediately followed closely behind her. All the Dao sect disciples were wrapped under a rich light, making it seem as though they were one body. Finally, they entered that rotating vortex under the attention of many watching gaze before completely disappearing. An endless sea of people rushed into unique devil region after the Dao sect disciples. Rushing wind sounds continued to resound across the plains. Chi Lei, Chen Zhen and two others in the sky above Unique Devil City gradually withdrew their gazes as the Dao Sect Disciples entered Unique Devil Region. After which, they exchanged looks with each other. They could see some graveness and an unknown emotion in each other's eyes. I wonder how they will perform if they face Yuan Gate again this time around. The strength of those three little kings of Yuan Gate are indeed quite strong amongst the younger generation. Chi Lei spoke in a low voice. There is no need to belittle ourselves. The disciples of Yuan Gate are strong, but those little fellows from our Dao sect are not useless either, moreover, this time around, our Dao sect also has a little monster following them. Chen Zhen laughed faintly. That fellow, can indeed be considered a monster. Before we left, sect master told us that the greatest variable of this great sect competition would be Lin Dong. Sect master has only said such words twice in a hundred years. Once was due to senior Zhou Tong, while the second is due to Lin Dong. Chi Lei smiled when he heard this. Immediately, he sighed emotionally. This time around, let's watch and see what methods this little monster will use when facing the three little kings of Yuan Gate. Haha, <laughs> I am looking forward to it. Chen Chen and the other three looked at each other. The solemnness in their eyes had relaxed a little. However, at this moment, it was likely that even they could not imagine that not long from now, their anticipation would end up erupting in a bloody manner that would shake the entire eastern Xi'an region. Blackness spread over the ground and finally extended to the edge of one site. It was as though the sky had become extremely dark, causing one to feel rather oppressed. This land had once experienced a most desperate earth-shattering battle. This place was also a dark desolated plains. From time to time, some extremely ear-piercing roars could be heard from far away. Those roars did not contain any life force, instead, all they contained was an extremely pure desire to kill. Swoosh. This desolate plain was quiet for a long time. Suddenly, countless cracks appeared in the sky. After which, many light figures rushed out from those cracks. A moment later, they broke the desolate silence of this place. A large bright light suddenly shot out from these cracks that permeated the sky. Finally, it landed on the ground. The bright light scattered, revealing hundreds of figures. They were the Dao sect disciples led by Ying Xiaoxiao and Lin Dong. This is unique devil region huh? Many Dao sect disciples could not help but observe their surroundings after they landed. Clearly, they were very curious about this dangerous place which they had heard much about. Most people will be randomly transferred by the vortex to the various edges of unique devil region after entering it. Therefore, if our luck isn't bad, it is likely that we will not meet with Yuan Gate too soon. Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes swept around before speaking. I. Lin Dong also nodded slightly when he heard this. They still had things to do within this unique devil region. It was indeed not good if they met with Yuan Gate too soon. After all, they were in no hurry to resolve their grudge. We should get moving first, be careful. Lin Dong's eyes swept on the surrounding land. Just as his words were uttered, his pupils suddenly shrunk. His foot suddenly stomped on the ground and a frightening energy swept apart. It directly shook the ground, causing a crack to form. Under that crack, over a dozen ferocious pitch black monsters covered in sharp black thorns revealed their large and bloody eyes. Swoosh swoosh. The surrounding land suddenly collapsed when Lin Dong discovered these monsters that were hidden underground. Immediately, countless extremely sharp large black thorns penetrated out from the ground and pierced towards the Dao sect disciples. Quite a number of Dao sect disciples were caught off guard by these ferocious attacks that had come moments after they had landed. However, it was fortunate that there were some outstanding disciples with swift reactions. Immediately, vigorous Yuan power swept out and rushed to block the black thorns that violently pierced towards them. 
Ying Huan Huan was similarly caught off guard as she dealt with these formidable attacks from the underground. However, the number of attacks aimed towards her were clearly great in number, causing her expression to change slightly after forcing back a dozen monsters. She watched as razor-sharp claws reached for her from underneath the crumbling ground, while a surprised cry involuntarily emerged from her mouth. Clang. The instant she cried out, a figure had already appeared in front of her in a ghost-like manner. Immediately, his leg rapidly thickened, turning into a green dragon leg that angrily kicked downwards. Bang bang bang. The land crumbled due to this kick, causing the Dao sect disciples' faces to become ashen as they saw a myriad of black monsters with large scarlet eyes surging out like an erupting tide from the collapsed ground. Devil ants, how disastrous. Ying Xiaoxiao's group gazed at the black sea of monsters as their expressions gradually became grim. It was likely that they did not expect that they would end up encountering these troublesome creatures the moment they arrived at Unique Devil Region. Chapter 762, Mysterious Life Bone Beads The land shook and continued to collapse. Those man-sized black monsters surged out like floodwaters. Sharp claws and teeth flickered with a cold glint that caused one's heart to feel fear. A vague but extremely powerful energy fluctuation was emitted. These monsters clearly possessed an extremely great power. However, those from Dao sect were clearly not the only ones who were attacked by these monsters called Devil Ants. Soon after the commotion here, some exclamations was also heard from a distance away. After which, some miserable screams sounded out. It was likely that someone had already been killed. In an instant, this area of the black desolated plains had become extremely chaotic. Bang bang. Lin Dong held the black tree in his hand. Fierce and violent force unfurled as it danced. It directly slammed into the charging devil ants till the bones all over their bodies were broken. Although his attack was ferocious, the devil ants were also unafraid of death. They continued to charge over from all directions. Their numbers caused Lin Dong to frown deeply. After their initial panic, the Dao sect disciple began to display the strength of a super sect. They cooperated with each other and blocked the devil ants attacks. However, some people still ended up being injured. Fortunately, their lives were not threatened. These devil ants are great in numbers. Moreover, their flesh is extremely thick and hard. If we drag it out with them here, it is likely that we will be eaten by them once our Yuan power is exhausted. Ying Xiaoxiao knitted her umber black brows when she spoke of this point. She muttered, however, why have they appeared in the outer parts of unique devil region? Normally, devil ants will only appear in the more central middle areas. It is very difficult to break free. Lin Dong watched the densely packed black sea of ants and felt a headache. It was unexpected that they would end up encountering such a troublesome situation the moment they entered Unique Devil Region. The dangers of Unique Devil Region did indeed live up to its reputation. If he was alone, it would naturally not be difficult to escape. However, he clearly needed to protect the other Dao sect disciples. Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan also frowned. Their eyes flickered as they continued to think of a plan to escape. These damn things. Why are all of them heading my way? While they were frowning in deep thought, Ying Huan Huan's shouted as her small face turned a little green. The eyes of Lin Dong's group drifted over when they heard this. Sure enough, they discovered that those devil ants seemed to be continuously charging towards Ying Huan Huan's location. The sharp claws and teeth that could easily tear the Nirvana golden armor of a 6 Yuan Nirvana stage expert were aimed at all vital points from all directions. This. Lin Dong was slightly startled. Soon after, his eyes faintly flickered. These devil ants did not possess great intelligence. However, their target was unusually clear. Ying Huan Huan was not the strongest within this group of theirs. Yet, why were these fellows so fixated on killing her? Could it be that through their instincts, they had sensed that Ying Huan Huan was the most dangerous in this group? Lin Dong knitted his brows. Although Ying Huan Huan was a reincarnator, she had clearly yet to awaken. He did not believe that these low intelligence beings could discover this extremely hidden identity of hers. However, if it was not because of her status as a reincarnator, then what was the reason? Lin Dong's eyes flickered rapidly. In the next moment, his pupils suddenly shrunk. Other than her reincarnator identity, Ying Huan Huan seemed to possess something that they did not, it was her sonic attack capabilities. Huan Huan, use your sonic wave attack to hypnotize them. Lin Dong's body moved and appeared beside Ying Huan Huan. The black tree was swung violently, smashing a couple of devil ants into slime. At the same time, he spoke in a low voice. My sonic wave hypnosis can be completely ignored as long as one's mental energy is a little stronger. Ying Huan Huan was startled momentarily as she replied. These things does not possess any mental energy. They might be terrible beasts to others but they do not possess any ability to defend against you. Lin Dong said. When he smashed these devil ants into pieces earlier, he was able to sense they did not possess even the slightest bit of mental energy within their bodies. Ying Huan Huan hesitated for a moment before finally nodding her head. Immediately, she waved her hand gently. 
An emerald-like ancient jade green zither appeared with a flash. Her fingers gently plucked the strings and gentle zither music swiftly spread while accompanied by a strange fluctuation. Bam 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 bam. Just as the zither music appeared, Lin Dong and the rest immediately saw that those originally fiercely attacking devil ants had slowed down. In the end, they directly fainted with a crashing sound. Everyone was momentarily stunned as they watched the ant tide that had originally caused them to fall into a dangerous situation, become so helpless against the zither sound. It was indeed true that everything in the world had something that counteracted and neutralized each other. Who could imagine that this ant tide, which Lin Dong and the rest did not dare to get entangled with and could only retreat in response, would actually be completely defeated by Ying Huan Huan's zither music. Go! Lin Dong, Ying Xiao Xiao, and the rest sighed in relief. The latter let out a soft cry and led the group to quickly leave this dangerous place. Big sis, there seems to be something underground. However, Ying Huan Huan suddenly spoke hesitatingly just as they were planning to use this opportunity to leave this place. Oh. Lin Dong, Ying Xiao Xiao, and Wang Yen were momentarily startled. Their footsteps also slowed. After which, they threw their uncertain eyes towards Ying Huan Huan. Ying Huan Huan knitted her brows slightly. Her hand suddenly swept past the zither strings as a sonic wave directly erupted from it. After which, everyone watched as the black ant tide that had surged out from underground acted like a large hand being opened, revealing the black soil below. The ant tide separated, revealing a large brown rock deep within the ground. At this moment, there were a couple of figures seated on the rock. Those are. Lin Dong's group were startled as they gazed at the figures seated underground. After a closer inspection, they discovered that they appeared to be some mummified corpses. Lin Dong, look at the dantian of those corpses. Ying Xiao Xiao softly said. Lin Dong's eyes looked over. Immediately, his pupils shrunk. He could see a cluster of white light at the dantian of those corpses. Within these white lights, there seemed to be a pill-like object stealthily rotating. A kind of majestic life chi that caused one's expression to be slightly altered was emitted from it. This is, the mysterious life bone bead? Damn, these mummified corpses were likely experts at the advanced mysterious life stage or even the perfect mysterious life stage. Emotions also rushed out on Wang Yan's face at this moment. His low voice contained rich shock. Mysterious life bone beads. It would only be gradually formed when the life force within the body of an advanced mysterious life stage or perfect mysterious life stage practitioner did not scatter after dying. It contained a rather vigorous life chi within it and possessed a great allure for those who are at the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. If one was lucky enough, one might even be able to use it to touch the door of the mysterious life stage. This thing would definitely be extremely rare in the outside world. Unexpectedly, they had come across it after having only just entered Unique Devil Region. Even Lin Dong's eyes had a fiery hot expression surging within it when faced with such a treasure. No wonder an ant sea of such a scale had appeared in this place. They were here for the mysterious life bone beads. Ying Xiao Xiao came to a sudden understanding. Shall we take them? Wang Yan looked towards Lin Dong and Ying Xiao Xiao. The latter two exchanged glances, before lightly gritting their teeth and nodding. Since they had found such treasures, there was no reason to easily give them up. Ying Huan Huan watched the three excited individuals, and hesitated for a moment. As those large eyes of hers observed the corpses, unease flashed across them for some unknown reason. Swoosh. However, just when the Lin Dong trio had made up their mind and were preparing to take action, an extremely deafening sword whistling sound suddenly appeared in the distance. After which, everyone from Dao's sect was startled. They saw a bright light surging in the distance. The light directly transformed into an enormous light sword, while an ear-piercing sword whistle spread outwards. Immediately, it tore through the sea of ants with shocking speed and appeared in the air above Lin Dong's group. Members of the sword sect Lin Dong's eyes immediately narrowed when he saw the light sword that had suddenly appeared. Haha, <laughs> I was wondering why a sea of ants of such scale had appeared in the outer parts of Unique Devil Region. Turns out that it is not without reason. The light sword in the air gradually dimmed, revealing a large group of people. A grey-clothed man smilingly looked at Lin Dong's group from the front of the group. After which, he rotated his eyes and stared at the corpses on the brown rock with fiery hot eyes. The many Dao sect disciples also revealed a cautious expression in their eyes due to the arrival of the sword sect disciples. A mighty Yuan power fluctuation faintly emerged. The grey-clothed man looked at Lin Dong's group. His eyes flickered before laughing, I am Xue Ling of sword sect. Ha, huh, friends from Dao sect, shall we divide these mysterious life bone beads equally? Chapter 763, Unexpected Occurrence Xue Ling Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest frowned as they watched the sword sect disciples that had suddenly appeared. It was unexpected that these people would also be sent to this area. Moreover, from the looks of it, they also possessed some means of dealing with the sea of ants and were aware of the commotion on here. Lin Dong's eyes drifted over the group of sword sect disciples. 
He discovered that amongst the Sword Sect disciples, other than Xue Ling, who had reached the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage, there seemed to be one other disciple who had also reached the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. This strength might not be considered weak, but it was still a little inferior when compared to the lineup of their Dao sect. However, if both parties were to really engage in an all-out fight here, injuries would be unavoidable. This situation was something that neither party wished to see. Lin Dong's eyes turned towards Ying Xiaoxiao. The latter was also in deep thought. However, from the looks of it, she did not desire to come into conflict with the disciples from Sword Sect here. After all, they already had a bad relationship with Yuan Gate. It would become quite dangerous for them if they ended up becoming enemies with the other sects. From the air, Xue Ling smilingly looked at Lin Dong and Ying Xiaoxiao, who were in deep thought. He was naturally aware that the strength of the Dao sect disciples were stronger than their own. However, he was also clearly aware of Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest's concerns. Therefore, his tone did not show much fear. Allow them to go and take the mysterious life beads first. Ying Huan Huan suddenly arrived behind Lin Dong while he and Ying Xiaoxiao were in deep thought. After which, she softly spoke in a voice that only the both of them could hear. Lin Dong was momentarily startled when he heard Ying Huan Huan's voice. He glanced at her. At this moment, the young lady's bright and enchanting large eyes were flickering with a little fox-like cunningness. Although Lin Dong did not know why Ying Huan Huan would say this, he still nodded after a brief hesitation. Due to Ying Huan Huan's identity as a reincarnator, he was aware that the latter senses were likely even sharper than his own. There are four mysterious life beads in the corpses below. Each of our party shall take two of them. Lin Dong raised his head and spoke towards Xue Ling in an indifferent voice. Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest were startled when they heard Lin Dong's words. They exchanged looks with one another, however, they did not voice any objections. Ha, huh, it is indeed nice to talk to brother Lin Dong. Our sword sect disciples will remember this favor. Xue Ling was also momentarily stunned by Lin Dong's decisiveness. Immediately, joy surged out from his eyes. He unceremoniously extended his hand as sharp sword aura swept downwards and directly transformed into a light hand. The hand grabbed at the white lights within the two corpses' dancions. Lin Dong's lips moved slightly when Xue Ling acted. A soft voice was transmitted into all the Dao sect disciples' ears, everyone, be careful. Many Dao sect disciples' hearts were immediately stunned when they heard Lin Dong's voice. Immediately, the Yuan power within their bodies began to circulate as golden light surged over the surface of their bodies. Clearly, they had activated the Nirvana golden body. Swoosh! The light hand containing formidable sword aura entered the underground like lightning. However, before the light hand could grab the two corpses, an extremely obscure fluctuation was suddenly emitted from within the corpse. Lin Dong's pupils suddenly shrunk when that fluctuation was emitted. Soon after, he inhaled a deep breath of cold air as he saw the four corpses abruptly open their eyes. Blood red surged within those shrunken eyes, while threads of black air lingered over them. They did not possess any emotion. All they had was an extremely pure desire to kill. Chi. The four corpses suddenly raised their heads and violently swung their skinny withered hands. For black light symbols swept out and directly blasted apart the light hand that was rushing over. Moreover, the remnant force swept out like lightning and attacked the sword sect disciples in the sky. The sudden change had also caused the expressions of Xue Ling and the other sword sect disciples to change slightly. Fortunately, they reacted quickly. They hurriedly activated the Yuan power within their bodies when the black ripple swept over. After which, they unleashed their attacks. Green Yuan Sword Finger Several hundred sharp sword auras whistled out simultaneously, and collided against the black ripple from all directions. Immediately, a low explosion continuously resounded across the sky. Grug. Those four black demon symbols clearly possessed an extremely frightening power. Hence, despite the sword sect disciples utilizing their numbers advantage, the expressions of some of the disciples quickly turned pale, and they spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. Clearly, the injuries that they had suffered were not light. There was something amiss after all. Lin Dong and the other disciples from Dao sect had stunned expressions as they watched this scene. Immediately, they rejoiced within their hearts. Fortunately, they were not the ones who had acted first, otherwise, they would be targeted instead. They are actually demon corpses. Ying Xiaoxiao's face contained shock as she gazed at those four red-eye corpses deep underground. She immediately inhaled a breath of cool air as she muttered. Demon corpse? Lin Dong was momentarily startled. There are quite a number of experts from ancient times who had fallen here. After their deaths, their corpses were eroded by the demonic chi of unique devil region and ended up turning into a demon corpse that is no different from those demonic monsters. These demon corpses' strength might not be comparable to when they were alive, but their combat capabilities are not to be underestimated. It is likely that every single one of these four demon corpses is not weaker than the little thunder king, Lei Qian. Moreover, they are not afraid of dying and will never stop once they begin to attack. Stronger than Lei Qian, huh? Lin Dong pupils shrunk a little. 
He immediately became decisive as he spoke in a low voice, let's leave. We do not want the mysterious life beads. Although the mysterious life beads were a rather rare treasure, this was only the case if one was alive to enjoy its benefits. Faced with four demon corpses with a half a foot to the mysterious life stage strength, they would definitely suffer many deaths and injuries even if they relied on their superior numbers. That price was not something they could afford. Go! Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan also gritted their teeth and endured their reluctance. They waved their hands and the many disciples from Dao sect rushed upwards, before flying away. A zither sound had once again spread when the Dao sect disciples rushed upwards, blocking the ant tide that was now surging over. Senior Brother Xue Ling, the people from Dao sect are leaving. Those sword sect disciples were stunned when they saw that the Dao sect disciples were actually fleeing. After which, they turned their eyes towards Xue Ling at the front. We will also leave. We cannot deal with these four demon corpses. Damn it, why are we so unlucky? To have met such troublesome things after only just entering unique devil region. Xue Ling clenched his teeth when he saw this. He was also decisive. With a twist of his body, he immediately led his group to withdraw. As the two parties separated and retreated in unison, the four demon corpses underground slowly began to stand up as though they had just woken up. Their bodies moved and appeared on the surface. Scarlet eyes swept in both directions. Soon after, two corpses flew upwards and chased sword sect disciples. A red flash appeared in the eyes of the remaining two as they gave chase in the direction where the Dao sect disciples had fled. A large cluster of light rushed across the dark desolate plains. Some of them would occasionally look behind them. This is bad. We were still targeted. Wang Yan's eyes hardened when they drifted behind him, and his expression changed slightly as he said. Two demon corpses have followed us. Ying Xiaoxiao's face was also somewhat grave. Two corpses huh? Lin Dong curled his mouth as his eyes flashed. These demon corpses were comparable to an expert like Lei Qian. Additionally, they did not feel any pain and did not know fear. Once they started, they would not stop until they died. It was extremely troublesome to deal with them. What should we do? They have locked onto us. If nothing unexpected occur, they will likely continue to chase us in this manner. Ying Huan Huan also bunched her eyebrows together as she said. Lin Dong frowned. A moment later, he suddenly asked softly, Senior Sister Disciple Xiao Xiao, if you and Senior Brother Disciple Wang Yan were to join hands and are aided by all the other seniors and juniors present, will you be able to finish off one demon corpse? Ying Xiao Xiao exchanged glances with Wang Yan after hearing this. After which, she nodded and said, we should be able to deal with one of them. However, there are two demon corpses following us. I will lure the other one away and deal with it. Lin Dong gritted his teeth and said. Alone? Ying Xiao Xiao was startled. Although Lin Dong was quite strong, the demon corpse was a troublesome enemy that even someone like Lei Qian would not be able to deal with. Lin Dong might have been able to cause Lei Qian to suffer a slight loss in Unique Devil City, but the current situation was not a bet or spar like back then. The demon corpse will not be bothered by face like Lei Qian. Lin Dong nodded. He had many techniques that could not be displayed in front of the Dao sect disciples. His concerns would diminish if he was alone. Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan were quiet. Clearly, they were worried about Lin Dong luring the demon corpse away by himself. Let me follow you. Ying Huan Huan suddenly spoke softly while Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest were silent. I have brought the heavenly phoenix Sither with me this time around. These demonic monsters might be strong, but they are weak against sonic wave attacks. I will be able to help you suppress it. The young lady looked at Lin Dong with her bright and enchanting large eyes as she softly spoke. Huan Huan is right. Her sonic wave has a substantial suppressing effect towards these demonic monsters. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded in agreement when she heard this. This, all right. Lin Dong hesitated for a moment, after which, he finally nodded under the gaze of those bright large eyes of the young lady. He had many techniques that Ying Huan Huan was already aware of, and both of them could also be considered to have a tacit understanding. Moreover, from the looks of the situation, it was likely that this little miss, who had just ceased being angry, would not let it go so easily if he did not agree. Let's go. Having made their decision, this large group of theirs also slowed to a stop in the air. After which, they turned around and looked into the distance. There, two black lights that were accompanied by an endless murderous aura, were rushing over. Chapter 764, Bitterly Fight Against the Demon Corpse Swish The black lights rolled in from the horizon, bringing along a thick murderous aura and appeared not far ahead from the Dao sect disciples. With the appearance of the two demon corpses, the group was able to take a clear look at them. The demon corpses' bodies were extremely dry, as if they did not hold a single drop of moisture in them. They were so dry that they looked withered and skinny. Their black skin seemed to shimmer faintly and looked as if it was made of fine iron. Murderous aura as high as the heaven spread out from the demon corpses. Their deep bloodshot eyes were devoid of any human emotion. 
These ancient experts had already been invaded by the demonic Qi and were now human-shaped demons. Lin Dong gravely looked upon the demon corpses advancing towards them. He leaned over to Ying Xiao Xiao and said in a low voice, We'll act according to the plan. Be careful. Yes, you guys be careful too, Ying Xiao Xiao nodded and replied. Lin Dong nodded and said nothing more. With a flick of his finger, a sharp gust of wind formed from Yuan power violently shot towards one of the demon corpses. Roar. Hit by Lin Dong's attack, the demon corpse swiftly let out a low roar. Its bloodshot eyes suddenly intensified as its body promptly transformed into a ray of light and charged towards them. Let's go. As the demon corpse rushed over, Lin Dong leaned over to Ying Huan Huan and gave a low shout. His figure first rushed out, and both of them transformed into rainbow light, flying towards the other side of the desolate plains. Behind them, the demon corpse was in hot pursuit, deeply intent on killing them. Dao Sect Disciples, get into formation. Seeing that Lin Dong and Ying Huan Huan had drawn away one of the demon corpses, Ying Xiao Xiao's face turned grim. Without further ado, a clear shout rang out from her mouth. Instantly, thick Yuan power bloomed outwards in the area. Two streaks of light flashed across the expanse of the sky. Around ten minutes later, they finally landed on the desolate plains in succession. They turned around to face the demon corpse which was close on their heels. I'll face it straight on. You be careful, Lin Dong gazed at the demon corpse, which were nearing them like a tarsal bone maggot, before leaning over to warn the young girl next to him. Yes. Ying Huan Huan nodded lightly and immediately sat down cross-legged. With a wave of her jade-like hand, the fiery red heavenly phoenix zither once again appeared in a flash. A fluctuation slowly emitted, and in that faint moment, even Lin Dong seemed to be slightly moved by it. The phoenix on the zither seemed to be about to fly out from it. Clearly, Ying Huan Huan had not skived on her training with regard to the heavenly phoenix zither during this period. She was now obviously more skilled and familiar with it compared to before. Phew. Lin Dong took in a deep breath. Soon after, he made a grasping motion with his hand as a black tree branch flashed and appeared. At the same time, green light flooded out and both his arms and legs immediately materialized into dragon form. Against such monster, Lin Dong did not dare to be careless in the slightest. Boom. As Lin Dong materialized into dragon form, the black light had already reached him in a flash. Without any warning, razor-sharp claws, bringing with it a radiating black light, pierced towards Lin Dong's chest like lightning. Clang. Lin Dong took a step forward, Yuan power gushing forth like a tidal wave within him. Savage-looking dragon arms waved the black tree which was as heavy as a mountain, clashing again and again with the demonic corpse's strange claw. Clear metallic clangs rang out. A circle of invisible energy undulated outwards from the point of contact. In the very next moment, the ground collapsed in the blink of an eye, large cracks spreading outwards like a spider web. Energy undulation swept outwards from the epicenter as Lin Dong's figure retreated over ten steps. Both his arms were slightly numb and his heart sank. Although the demonic corpse's strength fell short of its past glory, its physical body had actually grown much more ferocious under the corrosion of the demonic chi. Every part of its body was a lethal weapon. Slash, slash, slash. Lin Dong was forced backwards. Yet the demonic corpse left him no time to take a breather. Black light flashed forward, sharp and quick like a black sword, thrusting towards Lin Dong's vitals with every stroke. In response to the no-nonsense aggressive offense of the demonic corpse, even Lin Dong panicked momentarily. For a time, Lin Dong was completely suppressed. Dong. While Lin Dong was suppressed, a clear zither note rang out, soaring like a phoenix's song. A majestic red sonic wave swept towards the demonic corpse and slammed into it heavily, forcing it back several steps. As the sonic wave made contact with the demonic corpse, the sonic wave melted into countless strands instantly and began invading its body in a frenzied manner. Under the corrosion of the sonic wave, the murderous aura surrounding the demonic corpse weakened substantially. Its offense also started to mellow compared with its earlier aggression. Taking advantage of the moment, Lin Dong recovered his posture. His eyes narrowed as he strode forward, green light shimmering on the green scales on his dragon arm. The black tree became a flash of black, lashing out at the body of the demonic corpse with tremendous strength. Boom! The fierce strike threw the demonic corpse several feet backwards, leaving a deep track on the ground. What a tough body. Despite having batted away the demonic corpse with swing of the tree, Lin Dong's face remained grim. The strike felt akin to hitting the hardest steel that ever existed. Even the body of a Nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert was no match for the toughness of the demonic corpse's flesh. Desolate Demon Eye As he watched the demonic corpse pick itself up from the ground again without so much as a pant, Lin Dong's eyes grew sharp and cold. Seals changed and a demon eye materialized between his eyes. An immensely destructive gray beam of light shot out and slammed violently onto the body of the demonic corpse. Boom! The demonic corpse was blasted off the ground again into the distance. 
Yet, before it could pick itself up again, a massive ancient palm slammed downwards onto it with astonishing force. Great desolate imprisoning heavenly hand. The ground collapsed and cracked apart, leaving deep giant pits on its surface. The demonic corpse was slammed deep into the ground. Yet, Lin Dong's eyes turned even grimmer as he looked on. He could feel that the demonic corpse had still not taken much damage despite his aggressive offense. This thing was like an unkillable monster. The soil on the ground burst open as a black figure climbed out from below. Its deep-set and blood-red eyes sent chills down one spine. Lin Dong's face was black as he stared at the demonic corpse. Just then, he shifted his gaze downward slightly to a white light shining at its Dantian region. It seems like that was its Achilles heel, but the layer of dry black skin guarded it like an impregnable fortress. I can only hit where it hurts after I weaken its defenses. A sparkle flashed in Lin Dong's eyes, which narrowed a little. Huan Huan, can you restrain it for a while? Lin Dong's head tilted in Huan Huan's direction as he asked in a hushed tone. Barely. But only for a very short time, Ng Huan Huan gritted her teeth in reply. Taking a deep breath, Lin Dong clasped his palms together and a thick glow began to radiate from them. A formation of light seemed to appear. Roar. The demonic corpse roared deeply again as the light formation materialized in Lin Dong's palms. In a flash, its body sprung towards Lin Dong like a streak of black light. Dang. At the sight of the demonic corpse's movement, Ng Huan Huan gently bit her lip as she began strumming swiftly on her zither, her slender fingers a blur over it. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. As the zither strings were strummed, streak after streak of red sonic waves burst forward, entangling the demonic corpse all over in an instant. Demon suppressing tune. Ng Huan Huan's fingers froze all of a sudden. The countless strands of sonic light waves formed highly mysterious and strange musical notes that stuck to the body of the demonic corpse, suppressing it by its sheer weight and force. Crack. Unfortunately, the restraining effect was rather limited. As the demonic corpse struggled with all its might, the notes began to crack and were on the verge of shattering. Ng Huan Huan's face turned white as a sheet of paper. Yet, she stubbornly bit her lip and refused to release her grip on the zither, leaving drops of blood from her fingers on the zither strings. Crack. Cracks spread all over the musical notes and they finally shattered completely. A deep moan escaped Ng Huan Huan's throat and blood appeared at the corner of her lips. Swoosh. With its restraints broken, the demonic corpse's blood-red gaze fell on Ng Huan Huan. Immediately, it changed its target and shot towards her with murderous and savage intent as a strong gust of wind followed in its wake. Ng Huan Huan stared at the demonic corpse as it shot towards her. Her face fell. She poised herself to play the heavenly phoenix zither again, yet, as her fingertip landed on the zither string, a figure materialized before her in a flash like a phantom. Disintegrate. Lin Dong's eyes were cold as the light formation in his palm extended to five feet and began spinning counterclockwise without warning. At the very next moment, an indescribably strange and undulating beam of light suddenly burst forth from it. It slammed into the dantian of the demonic corpse at an astonishing speed. Bzzz bzzz. After the beam of light hit the demonic corpse, the strange black skin of the corpse began to disintegrate at a shockingly rapid pace. Unbelievably, its impenetrable defense was being completely broken apart at that instant. Swoosh. Lin Dong's figure shot forward at this moment and appeared before the demonic corpse in the blink of an eye. He jabbed his dragon arm forward, penetrating the demonic corpse's abdomen with ease, then pulled it back at lightning speed. There was now a ball of white light in his palm, a pill rapidly spinning within it. Boom! With the ball of white light out of its body, the blood-red glow in the eyes of the previously murderous demonic corpse faded away. With a stagger, the demonic corpse collapsed onto the ground without so much as a breath left in it. Phew! Seeing that the demonic corpse was finally beaten, Lin Dong sighed a huge sigh of relief. He turned around and looked at the young girl with a ponytail, a trace of blood hung from the corner of her lips. Involuntarily, Lin Dong felt an ache in his heart. Do you really need to push yourself so hard? It won't kill to ask for help, you know? The young girl lifted her fair hand and silently wiped away the trace of blood on the corner of her lips. In that moment, she looked uncharacteristically sweet and quiet in contrast with her usual bubbly demeanor. Hugging the ancient scarlet red zither, she lifted her chin slightly and laughed. Well at least you won't think I'm your burden this way. Beside the demonic corpse, the youth who had just fought a bitter fight stood stunned as a complicated look appeared in his eyes. Chapter 765, Controlling the Demon Corpse Ng Huan Huan looked at the dazed young man beside the demon corpse, as a charming smile once again appeared on her pretty face. After which, she waved her hand towards Lin Dong. Hey, have you become stupid? Be careful of the demon corpse, it might get up again. Lin Dong was neither able to laugh nor cry in the face of her words. He immediately said, I have never said that you are a burden. 
Moreover, it is likely that it will be me who will be a burden to you in the future. Ying Huan Huan possessed the secret identity of a reincarnator. Although Lin Dong was not too knowledgeable about this, he was able to tell that Ying Huan Huan's strength would be quite terrifying once she awakens. At that time, it would truly be difficult to guess who would be the real burden. Ying Huan Huan blinked her large eyes. Although she did not understand why Lin Dong said this, she smiled and replied after some thought. If that day ever comes, you can be rest assured that I will not blame you for holding me back. I will definitely protect you. Ying Huan Huan involuntarily covered her mouth and laughed in a lovely manner after saying those words. She had probably imagined the scene where the usually strong Lin Dong would end up needing her protection. It would definitely be quite a humorous sight. Lin Dong shook his head helplessly, and did not continue this topic. Instead, he turned his gaze towards the cluster of white light in his hand. The white light felt quite warm. A thumb-sized pill was spiraling within the white light, while mysterious life qi was slowly diffused from it. Lin Dong could sense the exalted presence of this life qi, as well as its endless vitality. Is this the mysterious life bone bead? Ying Huan Huan walked over at this moment and curiously watched the light cluster in Lin Dong's hand. I. Lin Dong smiled and nodded. His luck was quite good this time around. If the sword sect disciples did not come and drive away the two demon corpses, it was likely that they would be forced to flee. After all, just dealing with a single demon corpse was already this vexing. If they were faced with four instead, it would practically be a disaster. Whether or not the sword sect disciples would be able to deal with the demon corpses that chased after them was not something that Lin Dong even bothered to consider. The other party had gotten involved through their own violation. Although Lin Dong did not have any intention to harm them, he also did not feel the inclination to lend them a hand. Lin Dong observed the mysterious life bone bead in his hand. After which, he kept it inside his storage ring. His eyes suddenly swept over the demon corpse that had collapsed on the ground. He mused for a moment before squatting down, and touched the demon corpse's finger. The corpse felt hard and ice cold. Its body had clearly reached an astoundingly strong level after experiencing the demonic qi's corrosion. Its degree of resilience was likely even greater than that of Lin Dong, who had practiced the Green Heaven materialized dragon skill. What is it? Ying Huan Huan was momentarily startled when she saw Lin Dong's actions and asked in a somewhat puzzled manner. This demon corpse's physical body is frighteningly strong. Isn't it a pity to leave it here? Lin Dong pursed his lips and said. Such a demon corpse body is what those fellows from 10,000 puppets sect like the most, as they are able to refine it into a powerful puppet. However, we do not have such a skill. Additionally, this demon corpse is very unique because it is filled with the demonic chi of unique devil region. If one was to casually refine it and the demonic chi enters one's body, one's mind will be immediately eroded. Ying Huan Huan said. Refining it into puppet huh? Lin Dong's eyes flickered for a moment. Although he had once possessed a puppet, there were all complete products that he had picked up. Therefore, he naturally did not possess the ability to refine a puppet. However, if it was about controlling this demon corpse, such a deed might not be completely impossible for him. I will place my Yuan spirit into the demon corpse. This should allow me to control it, right? Lin Dong raised his head and spoke to Ying Huan Huan. His thoughts were not complicated. The current him had already successfully agglomerated a Yuan spirit. If he placed his Yuan spirit into the demon corpse, he would be able to rely on the Yuan spirit power to transform this demon corpse into a puppet-like existence that was under his control. No way. The demon puppet has an extremely strong demonic qi within it. An ordinary person would not even dare to refine it. If you place your Yuan spirit in it, your Yuan spirit will immediately be eroded by the demonic qi. What difference will it be from seeking death? Ying Huan Huan hurriedly said. Her face suddenly changed when she heard these words. That is only for an ordinary Yuan spirit. Lin Dong smiled slightly. He immediately extended his hand as a palm-sized Yuan spirit figure surfaced on his palm. Numerous black light patterns suddenly appeared on the surface of the Yuan spirit when it appeared. These light patterns vaguely formed an extremely mysterious symbol. At a glance, it appeared like a black hole, and devouring power was quietly emitted from it. This is, the devouring ancestral symbol? Ying Huan Huan looked at the black symbol that had appeared on the surface of the Yuan spirit before speaking softly. From the looks of it, she was not exceptionally surprised. It was likely that she was already aware that Lin Dong possessed the devouring ancestral symbol through certain means. I. I have the devouring ancestral symbol protecting my Yuan spirit. Regardless of how strong the demonic qi of the demon corpse is, it will not be able to erode me in any way. Lin Dong smiled and nodded. This was also why he had the confidence to place his Yuan spirit into the body of the demon corpse. He would naturally not dare to do something so foolish if he did not have the devouring ancestral symbol. With the devouring ancestral symbol, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Ying Huan Huan sighed in relief. Only then did she nod her head. Help me stand guard. I will give it a try. Lin Dong's eyes were somewhat excited. The ferocity of the demon corpse was something that he had personally experienced. 
Its ability to withstand physical attacks caused even himself to feel an incomparable headache. If it was not because he reversed the ancient universe formation and activated the disintegration force that he had discovered a while back, it was likely that he would not be able to break such a powerful defense. Therefore, this demon corpse would become quite a great fighting strength if he could control it. Okay. Ing Huan Huan replied. After which, she quietly withdrew. Lin Dong sat down in front of the demon corpse. He first calmed down the Yuan power fluctuation within his body. After which, his expression gradually became solemn. With a thought, the Yuan spirit on his hand swept out and entered the demon corpse from all its forehead. Chi Chi. Following the entry of Lin Dong's Yuan spirit into the body of the demon corpse, the originally quiet corpse also underwent some sudden and unusual changes. Wave after wave of black demonic chi erupted from the demon corpse. After which, the demonic chi frantically swept towards its head. A circular golden light was emitted from that spot. The black demonic chi continuously surged out from within the demon corpse. Finally, it wrapped around the golden light and began to erode it from every possible spot. The golden light clearly began to show signs of swiftly weakening in the face of this erosion. Humph. Lin Dong's eyes sunk when he saw this scene. He cried out coldly within his heart as the seal formed by his hand changed. After which, a black symbol surfaced from within the golden light. It turned into a circular black hole that protected the Yuan spirit within it. Sizzle sizzle. The demonic chi was immediately being forcefully swallowed by devouring power the moment it came into contact with the slowly rotating black hole. However, the demonic chi that was swallowed caused Lin Dong's expression to change slightly. This was because he discovered that such demonic chi did not benefit him in the least. Instead, it would taint his pure Yuan power. Immediately, he forcefully annihilated the demonic chi when using the devouring ancestral symbol. The devouring ancestral symbol was just like a perfect defense that protected Lin Dong's Yuan spirit in an impenetrable manner. The demonic chi began to slowly scatter after seeing that its erosion power was useless. After which, it once again entered the demon corpse. A strange feeling began to surface within Lin Dong's mind after the demonic chi withdrew. Immediately, an order was issued from his mind. The demon corpse that was lying on the ground suddenly opened its eyes, shocking Ying Huan Huan. She only sighed in relief after seeing that the demon corpse did not attack. From the looks of it, it seemed that Lin Dong's method had worked. Lin Dong's eyes were boiling hot as he watched the demon corpse, which had stood up once again. At this moment, the eyes of the latter was no longer scarlet. Instead, they were faintly gold. The murderous aura had also diminished greatly. You've succeeded? Ying Huan Huan carefully asked. It seems so. Lin Dong's mouth parted into a smile. A thought passed through his mind and the demon corpse quietly stood by his side, appearing like a loyal guard. This is truly a great haul. Lin Dong's eyes were burning hot. Compared to the mysterious life bone bead, being able to control the demon corpse caused Lin Dong to be even more excited. After all, this was readily available combat strength. This thing would be able to help them shoulder quite a bit of pressure when they faced Yuan Gate in future. Shall we return to where Big Sis and the rest are? They might have trouble dealing with the other demon corpse. Ying Huan Huan was somewhat unable to endure the fiery hot gaze that Lin Dong was using to look at the demon corpse beside him. She frowned a little as she said. Okay. Lin Dong's eyes became slightly focused when this topic was mentioned. He was aware of how troublesome it was to deal with this demon corpse after having exchanged blows with it. Although Ying Xiaoxiao's group had the numbers advantage, if they failed to immobilize the demon corpse, an ordinary disciple would not be able to endure its attack. At that time, they would definitely suffer quite a great amount of injuries or deaths. Let's go. Lin Dong did not dare to be slow when he thought of this. He cried out softly before his body rushed out, while Ying Huan Huan followed closely behind. The demon corpse also followed behind them like a shadow. Chapter 766, Harassment Maintain the formation and seal it. Do not allow it to escape. Hundreds of figures were suspended above a certain area of wastelands. They appeared to have formed a kind of mysterious formation. Majestic Yuan power swept out from within their bodies, transforming into a large light array that sealed off the middle area. At this moment, a black demon corpse was within the middle of the light array. It was frantically struck the light formation that had formed. Its enormous strength directly shook the light formation until numerous ripples appeared. Swoosh! The broadsword in Wang Yan's hand furiously hacked downwards. An extremely formidable sword aura whizzed out and violently smashed onto the demon corpse's body, the wild and violent power directly sending the latter flying. Finally, it bounced off against the great formation light barrier. The demon corpse immediately climbed back up despite suffering such a heavy blow. There was merely a faint white scar on its body. Damn it, its defense is too strong. Wang Yan's expression was somewhat ugly when he saw this situation. This strike of his was one that even a 9 Yuan Nirvana stage expert would not dare to receive directly. However, it was practically powerless against the demon corpse's body. 
Ying Xiaoxiao's expression was grim as she stood beside Wang Yan. By relying on their superior numbers, they had indeed managed to trap this demon corpse. However, their attacks were unable to cause much harm to it. Moreover, it did not know fear and was clearly a killing machine that did not tire. If they continued to exhaust themselves in this manner, it would clearly be disadvantageous to them. After all, they could not possibly use all their time to contend against this demon corpse. Focus the attacks. Ying Xiaoxiao pondered for a moment before waving her hand and issuing a command. Currently, their only option was to first weaken its defense a little, and use even more people to launch attacks in the hopes of being able to break this demon corpse's defenses. Senior Sister Xiao Xiao, we seem to have been discovered by others. Just as Ying Xiao Xiao's command sounded out, Qing Ye's expression abruptly changed as he said. Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan's eyes hardened when they heard this. They raised their heads and found quite a number of rushing wind sounds suddenly appearing in the sky a short distance away. Soon after, numerous figures began to appear in their sights. Human figures swiftly arrived in a nearby area in the sky. At a glance, their numbers seemed to be quite large. There were around a hundred or so of them. However, these people were clearly not from the same faction. They were scattered in small groups and seemed like a small-sized faction within eastern Xi'an region. Normally speaking, such people were even more troublesome to deal with. After all, the strength of such independent individuals were naturally quite substantial. Moreover, most of them had experienced many scale life and death battles and could be considered to be rather troublesome. The pressure of a super sect would naturally be much weaker against them. There were four figures standing in the empty air in front of the large group of people. These four were middle-aged. Their faces were thin, while a glint that could not be hidden flickered in their eyes. They were clearly all experienced individuals. Demon Corpse Huh At this moment, their eyes were watching the demon corpse that the Dao sect disciples had trapped a short distance away. Immediately, their gazes shifted and paused on the demon corpse's Dantian. A faint white glow was being emitted from that spot. The pill that was rolling within it immediately caused the eyes of quite a number of people to become boiling hot. Mysterious life bone pill, what a treasure. These fellows are quite lucky. A man with a hooked nose stared in the distance with fiery hot eyes, while he licked his lips and said. These must be the Dao sect disciples. A red-robed man beside the hooked nose man frowned slightly as he looked at the large number of disciples some distance away and said. They are quite strong. Ha <laughs> ha, the Lu Tao, whom others calls the Crimson Demon Hand, is actually frightened by these young and inexperienced Dao sect rats? The last man, who appeared to have some kind of dry patches on his face involuntarily mocked when he heard this. Ku Gu, you should stop making sarcastic comments in front of me. What have I, Lu Tao, not experienced before? The red-robed man laughed coldly. Are you not interested in the situation before you? The dry-faced man smilingly asked. From the looks of their situation, they are clearly unable to deal with that demon corpse. If we intervene, we will end up rescuing them. It is likely that they will show gratitude towards us. That red-robed man smiled in a sinister manner. However, they are large in numbers. A person behind the red-robed man said. They are merely a group of naive fellows who had lived under the protection of their sect. How can they be compared with our people, who have followed us into deadly battles every day? At that time, if they understand the situation, we will allow them to leave. If they do not, we can only teach them a lesson. The hooked nose man laughed. There was a disdain that could not be hidden in his voice. Go, let us take a look. That man known as Crimson Demon Hand Lu Tao, waved his hand and led the large group to slowly approach the area where the Dao sect disciples were located. When they moved, the Dao sect disciples, who were watching them, became a little tense. A cold light surged within the eyes of Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan. Everyone, my Dao sect disciples are currently dealing with a demonic monster. In order not to be implicated, I hope that everyone can keep their distance. Ying Xiao Xiao threw a glance towards Wang Yan. The latter also became cautious. After which, she raised her head, looked at those people and spoke in a low voice. Haha, <laughs> from the way I see it, you seem to be having a hard time because of this demon corpse. Why don't we help you deal with it? You Dao sect disciples still have to fight with the other sections. Don't waste your effort in such a place. That dry face man laughingly said. Ying Xiao Xiao's eyes sunk when she heard these words. Her eyes swept over the four people right at the front. After which, she discovered that these four were actually at the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. From the looks of it, they could be considered to be a chiefs of small groups. Truth be told, such a person was even more troublesome to deal with than those large factions. They did not even possess a base of operations, and would change their locations after each battle. Even if they angered Dao sect, Dao sect would have to spend a great amount of effort if they wished to capture these people. Although Ying Xiao Xiao was aware that these people would not truly dare to murder them, they would definitely not hold back when it came to harassment. My Dao sect disciples will naturally deal with this demon corpse. There is no need for all of you to intervene. If you are smart, immediately get lost. Wang Yan did not have Ying Xiao Xiao's good temper. 
Upon seeing that these people had come with ill intent, his eyes became dark and cold as he warned in a low voice. A cruel aura suddenly swept out from within his body when he said these words. The black broadsword in his hand flicked with a densely cold light. Heh, what arrogant words. Lu Tao and the three others' expressions changed when they saw this situation. They immediately laughed coldly, although you, Wang Yan, managed to take a second spot on the sex wanted list, you were probably still playing in a corner when we first entered such a world. Why don't you come over and try? Wang Yan's eyes were dark and cold as he took a step forward. His expression were unusually vicious as he stared at these fellows. He was aware that as long as one was to soften even a little against such people, it would definitely be a case of give an inch, take a mile. All the Dao sect disciples' eyes were filled with fury. It was likely that they would have already attacked and killed all of these fellows if they did not need to maintain the formation to seal the demon corpse. Humph, you dare to be arrogant in such a situation? As long as we break the formation, this demon corpse will be freed. At that time, your Dao sect disciples will definitely suffer many deaths and injuries. Lu Tao spoke in a venomous voice. His tone was very threatening. Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes became slightly cold. She gently gave a hand sign. Seeing this hand sign of hers, a hundred people from the three hundred Dao sect disciples immediately withdrew from the formation and moved to stand behind Ying Xiaoxiao. Their eyes were coldly locked onto those people in front. From their stance, they did not have any intentions of giving in. Heh, what resolve? Lu Tao's group looked at the hundred people that had stepped out and the now slightly weaker light formation. His expression had changed a little. It was likely that he did not expect that Ying Xiaoxiao would actually dare to oppose them at such a time. Since this is the case, don't blame us for not being courteous. The eyes of the hooked nose man were dark and stern. Soon after he gave a cold smile. He stepped forward and majestic Yuan power came sweeping forth. Finally, his hand fell downwards and prepared to attack. Swoosh. However, when his hand was about to fall, a hurried rushing wind sound suddenly appeared a short distance away. Subsequently, a light figure came flashing over in a ghost-like manner. In a flash, the figure had already appeared above the head of this hooked nose man. After which, a black shadow that was accompanied by an unusually wild and violent force smashed down ruthlessly. Who? This sudden attack caused the hooked nose man to have a change in expression. His fists tightened as bright golden light formed a gold light shield above his head. Bang! Without bothering to reply, a black tree branch heavily landed on the light shield, instantly blasting it apart. After which, the momentum of the tree was not reduced as it once again landed on the body of the shocked hooked nose man. Ugh! A mouthful of fresh blood was directly spat out from the mouth of the hooked nose man. The latter's body also shot downwards. Finally, it formed a large pit on the ground. Who? This split second attack caused the expressions of Lu Tao's group to change drastically. They hurriedly raised their heads, only to see a skinny young man appearing with a flash a short distance away. He held a strange black tree trunk in his hands. At this moment, this young man was staring at them with abnormally ice cold eyes. Soon after, his lips curled as a voice that contained a dense killing desire spread. A group of unsightly trash actually dare to target my Dao sect. If you do not get lost in ten breaths time, all of you will die. Chapter 767, Information about the Ancient Treasure Stash Lu Tao's group gazed at the young man who had appeared in the sky. Their expressions changed a little when they felt the cruel aura that surged from the latter's body. Their hearts were already a little uncertain despite daring to attacking Xiao Xiao. After all, Dao sect was one of the eight super sects of eastern Xian region. For them, it was undoubtedly a true titan. Although someone with nothing to lose would emerge victorious in a fight, if Dao sect was angered, their fury was clearly not something that they could endure. Therefore, they did not dare to have any thoughts of killing the other party and snatching the treasure since the beginning. At the very most, they would attempt to make these young Dao sect disciples afraid of them under the encouragement of their greed. Through this, they would end up gaining something. However, they did not expect that these seemingly young and naive Dao sect disciples to be so ferocious. Each one that appeared was more ferocious than the previous. Earlier, Ying Xiaoxiao's group had at least properly talked to them. However, the fellow who had just appeared, had directly tossed out such unreasonable words. Brat, aren't you too arrogant? Lu Tao coldly laughed. They were rather much older than Lin Dong's group and had gained some reputation over the years. However, Lin Dong act of throwing such ruthless words towards them at this moment caused a fury to appear in their hearts. However, Lin Dong completely ignored their cold laughter. After ten breaths, he finally slowly raised his eyes, which contained a surging murderous intent and said, Ten breaths time is up. A black light flashed and appeared behind Lin Dong the moment his voice sounded out. Finally, it transformed into a demon corpse and stood behind him. Demon corpse? Many exclamations were heard when this demon corpse appeared. Evening Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan and the rest had shocked faces as they stared at the black figure behind Lin Dong. 
After which, they involuntarily looked towards the demon corpse that was trapped within the light array as they started to breath a little more deeply. They were truly unable to imagine that Lin Dong had not only dealt with the demon corpse that was chasing them, but had even taken control of it. Liu Tao's group looked at the demon corpse behind Lin Dong with shocked eyes. They immediately inhaled a breath of cold air. Everyone could not help but take two steps back. Ha ha, brother, please do not be anxious. We are only passing by. The expressions of Liu Tao's group had transformed in an instant. They exchanged looks with each other before they hurriedly cried out in embarrassment. Their bodies carefully pulled back while they cursed quietly in their hearts. Could it be that the current younger generation of these super sects was already this frightening? Get lost. Lin Dong gazed at the fellows whose expressions had changed. He did not have the mood to tangle with them. Immediately, his eyes turned cold as he snapped chillingly. After hearing this snarl from Lin Dong, Lu Tao's group no longer dared to be furious in their hearts. They hurriedly nodded and led their subordinates to turn around and flee. They were not fools. Given this situation, they could forget about getting a share of the reward. Moreover, if they angered such a monster, it was likely that their group would suffer serious injuries and deaths. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest watched as the group, that had previously pestered them endlessly, flee dejectedly at this moment. All of them involuntarily felt somewhat helpless. It was likely that they were speechless in the face of such characters. Are you alright? Lin Dong turned around after frightening away those fellows. The icy cold cruel aura on his face slowly disappeared. He smiled at Ying Xiao Xiao's group and asked. We're fine. It is just that we were a little unlucky. One would normally not meet such irksome fellows. However, they were quite strong. 4-9 Yuan Nirvana Stage. Ying Xiao Xiao spoke somewhat helplessly. They are all some old and experienced fellows in Eastern Xian region. It is not surprising for them to possess such strength. Lin Dong smilingly said. After all, those four from earlier were all middle-aged. After having trained for so many years, it would not be overly strange for them to possess such a strength. Lin Dong, this demon corpse of yours, you have refined it into a puppet? Wang Yan's eyes were surprised and could not help but ask as he watched the demon corpse that was following closely behind Lin Dong. I have used my Yuan spirit to control it. Lin Dong smiled and said. Ying Xiao Xiao's and Wang Yan's expressions changed slightly when they heard these words. It was likely that they clearly understood the risk of such a method. However, when they saw Lin Dong's unworried appearance, they knew that the latter likely possessed his own means to avoid this kind of danger. Big sis, have you not finished off this demon corpse yet? Ying Huan Huan also came forward. She looked at the demon corpse striking wildly within the light formation as she said. Yes, the defense of this fellow is too frightening. We are able to trap it but we cannot finish it off. Ying Xiao Xiao laughed bitterly. Remove the formation. I will deal with it. Lin Dong smiled and said. With his experience from earlier, he was clearly aware of how to deal with this demon corpse that had extremely powerful defenses. Upon hearing this, Ying Xiao Xiao hesitated for a moment before nodding. Since Lin Dong was able to finish off one demon corpse, it was likely that it would not be too difficult for him to deal with a second one. Immediately, she waved her hand and the Dao sect disciples in the air swiftly withdrew their Yuan power, scattering the light array that trapped the demon corpse. Roar! The scarlet color within the eyes of the demon corpse soared when the light formation was scattered. Its body moved and transformed into a black light that charged towards the Dao sect disciples around it. Bang! However, its body had just charged forward when the demon corpse standing behind Lin Dong also rushed out. The latter was just like a cannonball as it ruthlessly struck the former's body. Immediately, the two directly landed on the ground, smashing the surface and causing an enormous pit to be formed. Two demon corpses frantically tumbled on the ground. Numerous cracks were formed on the ground wherever they tumbled past. Such frightening strength caused quite a number of Dao sect disciples to be quietly speechless. Lin Dong lowered his head and watched the demon corpses that had tangled together. He curled his hand and a light formation appeared. In the next instant, his body suddenly rushed downwards and directly appeared in front of that demon corpse. After which, he curled his hand and his palm directly slammed onto the Dantian at the demon corpse's abdomen. Sizzle sizzle. The black color on the dry skin of the demon corpse that possessed a powerful defensive strength swiftly disappeared at this moment. With a push of his palm, the strong defense that caused Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest to feel helpless against was once again penetrated by Lin Dong. His palm immediately closed and the white light cluster at the demon corpse's dantan was grabbed and pulled out. Done. Ying Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan and all the Dao sect disciples in the air were stunned as they watched this scene. After which, they turned to face each other. They were completely quiet at that moment. It was really impossible for them to imagine that the demon corpse, which did not show any reaction regardless of the violent strikes they threw at it, would actually be dealt with by Lin Dong in such a simple manner. You. Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan had stunned faces as their bodies gradually descended. They looked at the white light cluster in Lin Dong's hand for a while. 
Soon after, they looked at his hand, which had formed a light array earlier, and fell into a deep thought. It seemed that Lin Dong had used some sort of technique to break the frightening defense of the demon corpse. Having lost that defense, the demon corpse would appear to be no different from a crab that had lost its shell. Its fighting strength would be reduced. Senior sister Xiao Xiao and senior brother Wang Yan have both stepped into the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. This mysterious life bone bead has a greater effect for the both of you. Lin Dong tossed the white light cluster in his hand towards Ying Xiao Xiao. After which, he threw the mysterious life bone bead that he had obtained earlier towards Wang Yan. Although this mysterious life bone bead also had some use to Lin Dong, it would not be as effective for him compared to being consumed by the Ying Xiao Xiao duo. If these two had enough luck, they might even be able to touch the door towards the mysterious life stage. In this way, their fighting strength would undoubtedly soar. This would be quite a great help when they subsequently met the members of Yuan Gate. Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan received the mysterious life bone beads. They were momentarily startled before they hesitated and said, You have the greatest credit in subduing the demon corpse. I don't need it. I'm good with receiving this thing. Lin Dong patted the second demon corpse that had been subdued. Although his Yuan spirit was only able to control one demon corpse, leaving another one as spare was not a bad thing. Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan only nodded when they saw Lin Dong's insist. They flipped their hands and kept the mysterious life bone beads. Senior Sister Xiao Xiao, it seems that the copper cauldron that I have bought from Unique Devil City a couple of days ago contains an ancient treasure map. Can you identify which part of Unique Devil region it is located at? A thought subsequently crossed his mind when Lin Dong kept that demon corpse into his Qianquan bag. His mental energy surged out and formed a map in front of him. Ancient treasure map? Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan were momentarily startled. Their eyes swiftly gathered towards the light map. However, a stunned expression quickly surfaced on their faces. Junior brother Lin Dong, this ancient treasure map, could it be the Burning Sky ancient stash? Ying Xiao Xiao asked. Oh. This time around, it was Lin Dong's turn to be startled. He had not even said the name of this ancient treasure. How could Ying Xiao Xiao know about it? Does senior sister Xiao Xiao know about this Burning Sky ancient stash? An ominous feeling surged out from Lin Dong's heart. Originally, he thought that no one knew about this thing. How could? There are quite a number of ancient stashes within Unique Devil Region. This Burning Sky Ancient Stash is an extremely renowned one. As for this map of yours, it is likely that it does not possess much value. This is because many people know the location of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Lin Dong's expression immediately turned a little ugly when he heard Ying Xiao Xiao's words. The thing that he thought of as a treasure was actually trash. However, everyone might know its location, but no one has been able to successfully open the Burning Sky Ancient Stash till this day. Additionally, Yuan Gate has also targeted this Burning Sky Ancient Stash for many years. They will definitely head there this time around. To still decide to head there even after failing so many times, it is possible that they already possess some confidence in opening it. Open the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Lin Dong frowned deeply. His heart pounded as he suddenly recalled the mysterious light token that had been melted from the Copper Cauldron. Chapter 768, Hurrying to the Ancient Stash We should also head to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were slightly stunned and they heard Lin Dong suddenly uttering these words after pondering for a moment. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash is one of the few extremely renowned ancient stashes in this unique devil region. Many super sects had targeted it over the years. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash will definitely be the place that attracts the most people during this great sect competition. We will likely end up meeting Yuan Gate if we head there. Ying Xiao Xiao voiced her thoughts. It doesn't matter if we meet them. It is only a matter of time. Moreover, if they are also interested in the Burning Sky Ancient Stash, it is likely that they will attack only after they have obtained the Ancient Stash. Lin Dong smiled faintly and said. That's right, there are quite a number of ancient stashes in Unique Devil Region, and there are also many powerful individuals from within these super sections. Have none of them tried to scout this place? Lin Dong suddenly thought of something. Regardless of how strong those ancient stash seals were, people like Ying Xuanzi or the Yuan Gate sect masters should be able to brute force their way in. Unique Devil Region is a forbidden ground for experts of that level. Not only will the Demon Chi riot because of their entry, but the ancient formation that seals this place will also reject them. Ying Xiao Xiao explained. The weaker one is, the weaker the rejection of this place would be. This is one of the key reasons why those super sect experts do not appear in Unique Devil Region. There is actually such a reason. Lin Dong came to a sudden comprehension. Does Senior Sister Xiao Xiao think that we should not head to that Burning Sky Ancient Stash? Lin Dong asked once again. After all, Ying Xiao Xiao was currently the commander. They could only move if she agreed. Since you have already decided to head to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash, we will do as you say. However, you should also be prepared. If we end up meeting Yuan Gate, the Yuan Gate's three little kings cannot be compared to those fellows from earlier. 
Ying Xiaoxiao mused for a moment before gently nodding her head. She stared at Lin Dong and replied. Senior Sister Xiaoxiao, you can be rest assured. Although I dare not guarantee the safety of every disciple in our Gao sect, if Yuan Gate really dares to attack, at least two of the three little kings will die. Lin Dong softly said. There was a great disparity between his level of strength on the exterior when compared to the three little kings. However, if he was really forced until the extent where he would have to risk his life and unleash all of his cards, he had the confidence to kill two of the three little kings. Everyone could see an evil look suddenly rising onto Lin Dong's face when the latter uttered these words. Immediately, their hearts felt both a chill and some excitement. They were aware that Lin Dong would not boast for no reason. Since he dared to utter such words, there was definitely some ground behind such confidence. Senior brother Lin Dong, please be rest assured. In the worst case, we will engage in a bloody battle with them. If they wish to step on the face of our Dao sect, we will also break one of their legs. All the Dao sect disciples around spoke with flushed red faces. That's right. In any case, I have long been irritated by looking at those damn people. Ying Xiaoxiao could only helplessly shake her head when she saw the excited faces of these Dao sect disciples. After which, she softly said, since that is the case, we should leave immediately. If I am not wrong, the Yuan Gate disciples will hurry towards the Burning Sky Ancient Stash after entering Unique Devil Region. Therefore, we should also quickly head there. Understood. Lin Dong nodded. Let's go. Ying Xiaoxiao did not say any more when she saw this. Her body moved and she transformed into a light figure that rushed outwards. Lin Dong, Wang Yan, Ying Huanhuan and the many Dao sect disciples immediately followed behind her. After which, they turned into a large cluster of bright lights that bolted towards the deeper parts of the wastelands. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash was situated at the middle area of Unique Devil Region. There was quite a great distance from Unique Devil Region's outer parts to it. Even though Lin Dong's group traveled at their fastest pace, they would need 10 days to reach their destination. Because they were already a little behind Yuan Gate, the Dao sect disciples even traveled at night during these 10 days. Despite taking such actions, the results were not very substantial. This was because there were extremely troublesome demonic monsters within Unique Devil Region. The only thing that caused Lin Dong's group to sigh in relief was that the demonic monsters they met were not as difficult to deal with as those demon corpses. Otherwise, even though Lin Dong possessed a method that could specially deal with them, it would be extremely difficult for the ordinary Dao sect disciples. Moreover, the cooperation between the Dao sect disciples was becoming increasingly better while they traveled and battled demonic monsters. Moreover, they no longer lost their heads and panicked like they did initially. Clearly, only a true battle would enrich one's experiences. Lin Dong's group also met with quite a number of treasure seekers who had entered Unique Devil Region while they traveled. Although the strength of these people were not considered weak, no one dared to head over and find trouble with them like Lu Tao's group. After all, not everyone were as bold as Lu Tao's group. The Dao sect's prestige was quite a great deterrence to them. Other than these treasure seekers, Lin Dong's group also met some disciples from other sects that possessed quite a great reputation in Eastern Xian region. Although these sects were not as powerful as Dao sect, they could also be considered to be ranked amongst the super sections. Hence, some conflict occurred due to a variety of reasons when they met. However, a battle ultimately did not erupt. It was likely that both parties were able to restrain themselves. Ten days gradually flowed past amidst their hurried travels. After experiencing quite a number of tough battles, the Dao sect members had finally stepped into the middle area of Unique Devil Region. Earth Hall Disciples, form a defensive formation. Flood Hall Disciples, hold back the remaining demonic monsters. Sky Hall and Desolate Hall Disciples, attack. Hundreds of light figures were suspended in the air within this chaotic ground. Their positions were extremely orderly. They were able to advance and withdraw in a rather well-coordinated manner. A lady was issuing orders in an orderly fashion a short distance away. Bang bang. Majestic and formidable fluctuations swiftly spread apart in the sky. Wave after wave of ferocious attacks came in all directions as they ruthlessly landed on the ten enormous dark black demonic monster below, which were being trapped by a light array. An attack of such numbers directly flattened these monsters as fresh blood scattered in all directions. Lin Dong and a couple of others were hovering in the air. They lowered their heads to watch the intense battle below before nodding involuntarily. After all, they were all disciples of Dao sect. The cooperation that they had, which was originally not bad, was honed over these ten days of actual battle until the Dao sect's group fighting strength had finally taken shape. The battle below ended quickly. After which, some disciples landed and began to swiftly clear the battleground. The remaining disciples landed and sat on the ground to replenish their exhausted Yuan power. At this moment, Ying Xiaoxiao had also rushed over from a short distance away. She looked at Lin Dong and the others before raising her head to watch the dark sky in the north. She said, in another half a day, we will reach the area where the Burning Sky Ancient Stash is located. Oh, we're already reaching. Lin Dong's eyes immediately became focused as he said, no wonder there are more and more people appearing nearby. 
Yes, the allure of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash is extremely great. Even those from the eight super sects will travel here from all directions. Moreover, there will be even more people from other factions. All of them will gather outside the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded and explained. From a certain point of view, the Great Sect competition will also officially begin here. The people from the other super sects will also come huh? Lin Dong smiled slightly. After which, he raised his head and looked towards the distant black sky. The area in a distance appeared to be silently burning. After having experienced the previous dullness, it was finally going to become lively. I truly look forward to it. The Dao sect disciples once again stood up after half an hour of recuperation. Without further ado, their large group once again transformed into a cluster of lights that whistled towards the northern sky. The black land swiftly pulled back while they flew. This continued for around half an hour before someone suddenly discovered that the darkness below had begun to weaken. A dark red color replaced it on the land, appearing like a burning flame. This scene caused everyone's minds to be jolted. They knew that they had reached the burning sky ancient stash. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. A large cluster of lights once again crossed a black mountain range before them. Finally, they slowly came to a stop in the air. Numerous fiery hot eyes looked to their front. Lin Dong's figure also came to a halt at this moment. He lifted his head, only to see an indescribably large bright red basin in front of him. If one was to look down at this basin from the sky, one would discover that it was actually an extremely large handprint. From the looks of it, it appeared as though a god had left an imprint of his palm on the ground. At this moment, countless rushing wind sounds appeared above this handprint basin. At a glance, a sea of densely packed people that stretched on endlessly could be seen. From the looks of it, it seemed a majority of the many people who had entered Unique Devil Region had gathered in this place. The temptation of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash really did live up to its reputation. Chapter 769, Getting Someone Else to Do One's Dirty Work It seems that most of the people who entered Unique Devil Region this time have come here. Ying Xiaoxiao watched the locust-like human figures shuttling within the enormous basin and said a surprise flashed across her eyes. Although there were quite a number of people who came here in past competitions, the numbers have never reached such a scale. It seems that everyone has come in hopes of getting a share after hearing that Yuan Gate seems to be confident in opening the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Lin Dong nodded slightly. There was some surprise within his heart. Although he was unaware of just what use the light tablet formed from the melted copper cauldron had, it was definitely related to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. However, could it be that Yuan Gate had also obtained something similar to this light tablet of his? Let's head over to... Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes looked towards the middle of the bright red basin. After which, her body rushed forward while Lin Dong and the rest immediately followed behind. After approaching this middle area, Lin Dong's group could clearly sense quite a number of powerful hidden presences begin to appear. It seemed that this place was truly filled with hidden experts. There were quite a number of nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts present. As expected, the other super sects have all arrived. Lin Dong's eyes suddenly swept over certain spots in the central area. He could see a few large groups of people. These people were all disciples of the other super sections. Even those from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace were amongst them. After the appearance of this large group of disciples that included Lin Dong, many eyes from the area began to shift over. However, mocking expressions that suggested that they were watching a show involuntarily flashed across the faces of these people when they saw the former. Everyone knew that Yuan Gate would definitely be present at this burning sky ancient stash. From the way they saw it, these Dao sect disciples, who had an extremely deep grudge with Yuan Gate, should think of ways to avoid this place instead. However, from what they could see, it was obvious that the Dao sect disciples did not do so. Hence, the Dao sect disciples would definitely meet the Yuan Gate disciples. A good show would likely be unavoidable at that time. It's Big Brother Lin Dong. Su Rua, who was with the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace disciples, gazed at Dao sect disciples flying over from far away. Joy immediately surged on her face. The Dao sect disciples have also come huh? Ling Qingzhu also raised her head and looked in the same direction. Immediately, she knitted her brows slightly. After which, her gaze turned towards most central spot in the area. A large group of people were quietly seated there and gave off a faint but astonishing undulation. Those were the disciples from Yuan Gate. I wonder just what these fellows are thinking. Don't they know that Yuan Gate would also be here? And yet they still swaggered over in such a manner. Do they really think that Yuan Tsang and the two are kind individuals? A handsome man stood behind Ling Qingzhu. He was called Wu Kun and was also one of the top experts amongst the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace younger generation. He had seen the confrontation between Lin Dong and Lei Qian at Treasure Seeking District back then. Similarly, he had also seen the subsequent exchange between Lin Dong and Ling Qingzhu. Although the latter still appeared indifferent, he was able to sense an unusual fluctuation under Ling Qingzhu's calmness due to him being acquainted with her for many years. 
This fluctuation of Ling Qingzhu's state of mind caused Wu Kun to feel somewhat uncomfortable. This was because he was clearly aware that such a situation rarely occurred for Ling Qingzhu. Big Brother Lin Dong is definitely not a reckless person. He will give serious consideration to whatever action he takes. Since he dares to bring the Dao sect disciples over, he is definitely not afraid of Yuan Gate making things difficult for them. Su Rua involuntarily retorted after Wu Kun spoke. The opponents that Lin Dong had met in the ancient battlefield back then also far surpassed them in terms of strength. There were many people who were gloating just like how it was at this moment. Each time however, that young man, who had merely come from a low rank empire, was able to survive with a smile on his face. Behind him was a bloody aura that rose to the skies. Although Su Rua had currently joined Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace, Su Rua still believed that the skinny figure, who had led her and her elder brother to walk out from Wanxiang City and eventually stood at the peak of the Hundred Empire Mountain, was the one person in this world that could not be shaken. She firmly believed that no one in this world would truly be able to knock down that figure. Don't tell me that you think that he will be able to exchange blows with the three little kings? Wu Chao smiled faintly. He had seen the face-off between Lin Dong and Lei Qian back then. Although the latter was forced to withdraw in a dejected manner at that time, it was due to his earlier boasting. If the two were to directly face each other, Wu Chao did not believe that Lin Dong would truly be able to contend against Lei Qian. Su Rua was stunned for a moment. The current her was after all no longer that timid young lady from back then. Therefore, she was clearly aware of the strength of the three little kings from Yuan Gate. However, after some hesitation, she seriously nodded and said, Big Brother Lin Dong is not afraid of them. Perhaps. Wu Kun shrugged his shoulders noncommittally. Given his status, there were seldom any disciples within Nine Heaven's Supreme Purity Palace who dared to argue with him. However, this Su Rua in front of him was clearly not within this category. Although she had joined Nine Heaven's Supreme Purity Palace for less than a year, the improvement in her strength could be considered frightening. Moreover, he was also aware that if the latter was to really go all out, it was likely that only Ling Qingzhu amongst the younger generation of the entire Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace would be able to subdue her. Ling Qingzhu quietly listened to the argument between the two. The extent to which Su Rua worshipped Lin Dong caused even her to be a little surprised. She could be considered to have some understanding of this junior sister, whose reputation within Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace was currently soaring. Although her character was weak when she had just arrived, her heart clearly had a certain persistence. Although Su Rua was usually quite respectful towards her, it was far from the blind worship of Lin Dong that she had. Of course, being unaware of what happened during the Hundred Empire War back then, she was naturally unable to understand this. The pair of siblings, who had been chased after by others to the point of not daring to even enter Wanxiang City had met three people at a bonfire during that icy cold night. At that moment, the gentle and friendly smile on the face of the skinny young man was akin to salvation towards this pair of siblings, who were had almost fallen into despair. The Dao sect disciples slowly landed in the middle area before the eyes from all over the place. Their eyes briefly swept around and coincidentally looked towards a spot right at the front. It was the place where the Yuan Gate disciples were. We have indeed encountered them. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes. There was little surprise within them. Clearly, he had expected such a situation. Ying Xiao Xiao gave a hand signal. The many Dao sect disciples began to sit down and recuperate. However, there was caution within their eyes. They were scattered apart in an orderly manner. If anything happened, they would be able to immediately form a formation and meet their enemy in battle. The effect of the training over the past ten days was clearly rather substantial. Everyone be careful. Lin Dong softly whispered to Ying Huan Huan beside him. Yes. Ying Huan Huan nodded. She spread her hand and a jade green zither appeared in a flash. Her appearance was also that of someone waiting cautiously. Soon after Lin Dong's group had landed, numerous rushing wind sounds suddenly appeared. Lin Dong raised his head, only to be momentarily startled. This was because that person who had come was actually Xue Ling from Sword Sect whom they had met some time before. Lin Dong's group frowned slightly when they saw him. Could it be that this fellow was still bearing a grudge towards them because of the matter from last time? Heha, <laughs> it's surprising that you have all managed to escape from the demon corpses. Your abilities are not bad. Xue Ling landed from the air. Immediately, his eyes looked towards Lin Dong's group with some surprise as he laughed. Seeing that Xue Ling did not appear to be hostile towards them, Lin Dong's expression also warmed a little. He smilingly said, Brother Xue is also quite skilled. Those two demon corpses were not easy to deal with. Asterisk Sai Asterisk, we were not able to deal with them. We were helplessly chased for a long time, and having no other choice, we drew them towards a place with many people before secretly fleeing. Xue Ling spoke in a helpless manner. Lin Dong's group immediately exchanged glances when they heard this. This fellow was really ruthless. When he realized that he could not resolve the matter himself, he had actually used others as a diversion. Those whom the disaster had been lured towards were truly unfortunate. No one knew if they managed to finish off the two demon corpses in the end. However, all of you are quite bold. 
You are aware that Yuan Gate is here, yet you have still come. Xue Ling looked towards the direction of Yuan Gate in the distance. After which, he said, on the account of you having the intention to share the mysterious life bone beads equally last time, I shall remind you as a friend that Yuan Gate will definitely come and clear this place later. All of you should be careful. Given a little if there is no other choice. Do not let things end up like the last great sect competition. Thanks. Lin Dong cupped his hands together towards Xue Ling and smilingly said. Xue Ling cupped his hands together and did not speak any further. He led a couple of sword sect disciples to return to the area where they had been at. Lin Dong's eyes suddenly narrowed after Xue Ling left. This was because he saw two disciples stepping away from the Yuan Gate area. After which, they walked towards two factions that seemed to be considered super sects, but had yet to reach the level of the eight great super sects. Soon after, the two groups began to stand up. They slowly marched towards the Dao sect disciples in plain sight. From the looks of it, they bore ill intent. Getting someone else to do your dirty work huh? Lin Dong lowered his eyelids. A cold gleam bubbled within his eyes. Chapter 770, Brother and Sister's Reunion Those are the members of Ghost Blade Gate and Fire Cloud sect. These two sects have quite a reputation within Eastern Xian region, however they have rather close ties with Yuan Gate. Although they can't be considered as vassals of Yuan Gate, they will mostly follow the Yuan Gate's lead for many matters, looking at the present situation, Ying Xiaoxiao's expression sunk slightly before explaining to Lin Dong. Lin Dong faintly nodded before raising his head. He looked at the two groups approaching from a distance. Under the convergence of everyone's gazes, they finally arrived at a position that was not far from Lin Dong and the rest. A man dressed in black slowly walked out from the group of Ghost Blade sect disciples. A formidable and cold aura radiated from his body. His powerful presence was testament to the fact that he was an expert that had stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. As the man dressed in black walked forward, a man dressed in red also walked out from the nearby group of Fire Cloud sect disciples with a grin on his face. As his fists loosened, a wave of heat spread outwards. My humble self is Meng Duan of Ghost Blade Sect. Fire Cloud Sect, Yanghua. The two men walked out, smiling as they clasped their fists together and greeted Lin Dong and the rest. However, this was not a single trace of friendly intent within those smiles. Is there something I can help you with? asked Lin Dong casually with a flat expression on his face. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure that you understand why we have come. Yanghua of Fire Cloud Sect faintly smiled. Without beating around the bush, he directly said, Brother Yuan Tsung and the rest do not wish to see you all, therefore he had sent us here to deliver his message. If there are any problems, settle them at that final place. Brother Yuan Tsung and the rest are considerably merciful and don't want to preemptively take action. I believe that if you people leave this place and head for the final place earlier, perhaps, you all might be able to smoothly leave Unique Devil City and avoid excessive losses, said Meng Duan who also had a faint smile on his face. This can be considered a rather good deal for you all. It's best to avoid the incident that happened in the last great sect competition. Upon hearing the remarks of the two men, the faces of the Dao sect disciples turned completely dark. This Yuan Gate was too arrogant. Not only had they said such things, they had not even bothered to send a Yuan Gate disciple and let someone else deliver their message in their place. One truly did not know what level of contempt they had for the Dao sect. Even Ying Xiaoxiao's face was erupting with anger at this matter, while a malicious fury had already surged up within the eyes of the nearby Wang Yan. If not for him forcefully controlling himself to the utmost degree, he might have already exploded with violence. Many thanks to the two of you for delivering the message. However, while the majority of the disciples' faces were dark, there was not a single trace of anger on Lin Dong's face. Instead, he merely smiled and replied. Upon hearing Lin Dong's reply, Yang Hua and Meng Duan grinned. Looks like this fellow was rather tactful. Stunned expressions appeared on the many faces of the surrounding crowd who had cast their attention at the three individuals. In the next moment, the gaze that they sent towards Lin Dong filled with disdain. However, however, just as Yang Hua and Meng Duan had assumed that the Dao sect disciples would be sensible, Lin Dong's tone suddenly took a complete turn as a sinister expression instantaneously erupted forth from the smile on his face. Could it be that those blockheads don't have legs and mouths? Lin Dong did not deliberately cover up the sinister and cold tone of his voice as it rang out. Hearing this, Yang Hua and Meng Duan's smiles instantly froze, while waves of disturbances erupted in the surroundings. Brat, do not make the mistake of paying a price you can't can't afford just to flaunt your glib mouth. Yang Hua and Meng Duan's expressions darkened. It was likely that they had been infuriated by Lin Dong's mockery. Trash like you don't have the qualifications to strut around in front of our Dao sect. Lin Dong replied. The chilling gaze in his eyes was as sharp as a blade. Scram. You have guts. Yang Hua and Meng Duo were infuriated by Lin Dong's reply. They suddenly stepped forward as majestic Yuan power erupted out and surged towards Lin Dong, enveloping him. 
Upon seeing this, a cold glint flashed past Lin Dong's eyes, however he did not make any actions to defend. With a thought, a black glow suddenly shot out from with the group of Dao sect disciples behind him. The speed of the black glow was extremely swift and fierce. In the blink of an eye, it had already appeared in front of Yang Hua and Meng Duan. Death Seeking Fool Yang Hua and Meng Duan merely sneered in the face of this surprise attack. With a gush of majestic Yuan power, powerful palm forces unceremoniously swept towards the black silhouette. In response to the ferocious attacks from the two men, a pair of withered arms extended out from the black glow and directly collided with the two men's palm force. Bang bang! A deep and low sound rang out as the palms met each other. In the next instant, the sneers on Yang Hua and Meng Duan's faces instantly froze, before their faces turned completely flushed as they spurted a mouthful of blood. Their bodies violently shot backwards, gouging a long scar on the ground while cracks extended from both sides of the scar. The originally noisy surroundings was immediately silenced by this sight. Soon after, a series of low but tumultuous uproars scattered outwards. Countless gazes locked onto the black glowing figure who had sent two nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts flying with a single palm strike. Such a thing was hard to achieve even by the topmost outstanding disciples of the other sects. As gaze after gaze locked onto the black figure, they saw the black withered face. In the next instant, a series of startled voices rapidly rang out. Is that a demon corpse? Why does Dao sect have a demon corpse? Could it be that this demon corpse is controlled by them? How is this possible? Even Thousand Puppet Sect would find it hard to control such a demon corpse. Also, Dao Sect does not have such expertise, how did they manage to control it? Pockets of startled voices rapidly resounded across the sky, while quite a number of people stared at the demon corpse with astonished gazes. It was obvious that they knew what it was. Demon Corpse Upon seeing it, the Sword Sect disciples who had withdrawn earlier all gawked, especially Xue Ling. The pitying look on his face that was due to Dao sect not willing to leave instantly turned grave. He stared tenaciously at the demon corpse before taking a deep breath. From the looks of it, this was the same demon corpse that had chased after Dao sect earlier. Not only had it been dealt with by them, moreover, they had used some unknown method and taken control of it. Was it Lin Dong who did this, thought Xue Ling as he stared at the slim figure, while his pupils contracted slightly. This fellow seemed to be one amongst the Dao sect disciples who had concealed his hand the deepest. No wondering Xiao Xiao and Wang Yen would both listen to him at times. It actually is a demon corpse. At the Thousand Puppets sect area, those who were experts in refining puppets were looking at the demon corpse with astonished gazes. The gaze of the youth dressed in grey called Guo Li turned dignified and grave upon seeing the demon corpse. Looking once again at Lin Dong, there was a sliver of dread now present in his eyes. He knew just how hard it was to control this demon corpse. If you don't scram, then die. Within the uproar and commotion happening around him, Lin Dong faintly raised his head and looked at the alarmed faces of the Ghost Blade sect and Fire Cloud sect disciples before saying in a soft voice. Overwhelmed with shock, dumbstruck expressions appeared on the faces of the disciples of the two sects as they looked towards Yang Hua and Meng Duan who had suffered heavy injuries. In the next instant, they hurriedly carried the two of them away, cutting sorry figures as they scattered away. Looking at the two dejected groups leave, the entire area sank into silence once again. The development of this situation was truly somewhat unexpected. If you want to say something, come over and do it yourself. Scheming behind one's back is disgraceful. Contrary to the atmosphere which had quieted down, Lin Dong slowly raised his head as his eyes locked onto the direction of the Yuan Gate disciples, while his cold and frosty voice rang out. As his voice rang out, a disturbance occurred with the group of Yuan Gate disciples as ominous glints erupted from the eyes of quite a few of them. Bang! The disturbance lasted for a while till a sturdy and strong figure whose killing intent blotted the skies finally stood up slowly and turned around. Revealing the sinister and ruthless expression on his face, this person was indeed the Little Thunder King Lei Qian. Since you don't want the face I've given you and wish to seek death, I'll grant it to you all at this place. You trash that are unable to tell good from the bad, exclaimed Lei Qian fiercely. As Lei Qian spat out those words, two figures beside him stood up under the focus of the innumerable surrounding gazes. Just a single demon corpse has given you all so much confidence, huh? Wearing a blue robe, the little Yuan King Yuan Tsung stared at Lin Dong before smiling faintly. Since that is the case, let me destroy it. Swish. Just as those words echoed out, an iron sword suddenly slid into his hand before slashing down gently. Bang. As the slash descended, the Yuan power of the area seemed to flare up as a sword aura that blotted the skies seemingly split apart the land as it slashed down furiously at the demon corpse at a speed that was inconceivable to the naked eye. Lin Dong was also caught within the radius of the sword aura. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes slightly as he stared at the approaching sword aura that was rapidly growing larger in his eyes. 
Just as he was about to take action, he suddenly turned his head towards another section of the sky, where a majestic gray light was present. Whizzing across the sky, it heavily colliding with the sword aura, creating a loud sound that resounded out. Chen Gui. This is a grudge between our Yuan Gate and Dao sect. Why are you interfering? A majestic fluctuation erupted and swept outwards while some fluctuations appeared within the eyes of the little Yuan King Yuan San. In the next moment, a gloomy and cold voice rang out. Chen Gui. The fellow who is ranked first on the sect's wanted list. Why is he helping Dao sect? As Yuan Tsang spoke those words, pockets of uproar started appearing in the surrounding area as expressions of extreme astonishment appeared on quite a few people's faces. Swish. While the entire area was in an uproar, a rainbow glow shot over from the distant skies before finally transforming into two figures. A sliver of doubt flashed past Lin Dong's eyes as he looked towards the figures in the air. In the next moment, as his gaze focused on the beautiful figure that was petite and familiar, his pupils instantly contracted. In that instant, an expression of extreme shock crawled up his face, something that Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest had never seen before. Heh <laughs> heh, brother Lin Dong. Just as Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were puzzled over Lin Dong's reaction, the figure in midair turned her body around, revealing an exceptionally exquisite and beautiful little face where a joyous smile was present. However, just as such a smile appeared on her face, she hurriedly restrained it. She had noticed that the shock on Lin Dong's face was withdrawing bit by bit. What substituted it was not the ecstasy of a brother and sister's reunion, but a furious shade that was caused by an excessive amount of shock. Qing Tan, why are you here? Chapter 771, Qing Tan Qing Tan, what are you doing here? Lin Dong's voice was currently filled with both shock and anger. Amongst these two emotions was a slight but unconcealable fear, the kind of fear that arose when things suddenly went out of one's control. This was the first time Ying Xiao Xiao and Ying Huan Huan had seen Lin Dong in such a state. Immediately, they involuntarily turned their gazes towards the exceptionally pretty girl in the air. The young girl was about Ying Huan Huan's age and wore black clothes. She had a slim figure and her features were rather pretty, while her beautiful eyes seemed to be filled with spirit, as if there was a talking fairy within them. From the looks of it, this was Qing Tan, who had left in a different manner than Lin Dong after he had left the Great Yan Empire. Behind her, a man stood high up in the sky. The undulations from the latter were rather powerful and his face was covered by half a ghost mask, giving him a slightly eerie aura. This unique appearance was not unfamiliar to Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest. He was number one on the Eastern Xian region's wanted list, Ghost Mask Chen Gui. For them, he could be considered an extremely famous character. Currently, the two people in the sky had evidently become the focal point of this area. Of course, more gazes were directed towards Ghost Mask Chen Gui. After all, the reputation of the number one name on the sex wanted list was rather intimidating. In the air, the happy smile on Qing Tan's face had clearly been scared away by Lin Dong. She hastily landed from the air and obediently stood before the latter, yet she did not dare to look at the Lin Dong's face. With her slightly bowed head, she looked just like an ignorant little girl who had been caught after secretly slipping out of the house. You, you. Lin Dong was somewhat dazed as he gazed at the young girl that stood before him. The face that was so familiar that it had practically been imprinted on his soul caused a strange feeling to gush out from the depths of his heart. For a time, all he could do was point at the young girl and mumble incoherently. Chen Gui had now also landed behind Qing Tan. When he saw how obedient this junior sister disciple of his, that even his most stern master could do nothing about, had become, he was also somewhat taken aback. Soon after, he looked towards Lin Dong, whose expression was constantly fluctuating between anger and shock, wanting to say something but realized that it did not seem appropriate for him to speak. Hence, he could only continue on in this manner while standing behind Qing Tan. What have you done? Why are you here? You've left home? Lin Dong possessed a certain resistance towards shock after all. Thus, after a long time, he finally regained some of his wits as his alarmed and furious voice boomed out like a cannon. Not really, mum and dad know that I've left. Qing Tan tiny hands were entangled together as she replied. Why didn't you obediently stay in the Great Yan Empire, why does a girl like you have to run out into the world? Lin Dong angrily said. He was unable to imagine why an ignorant little girl would dare to enter a place like the eastern Xian region that was filled with danger. Did she not realize that if something happened, both him and their parents would be unable to bear it? When he thought about the worst that could have happened, even someone like Lin Dong felt a little suffocated. He knew that he would truly go insane if that scenario became reality. You could leave and go out into the world, why can't I do the same? Qing Tan raised her tiny face in an unfair manner, however, when she saw the fury that once again shrouded Lin Dong's forehead, she quickly pulled back as the little bit of courage that she had managed to gather instantly disappeared like smoke, I also want to protect mom, dad, and the rest. I can also become strong. It must be so tiring for you to try so hard by yourself, I also want to be of help to you. I no longer want to be like before, where I can only powerlessly stand and watch. 
The young girl's words clearly stunned Lin Dong for a moment. He gazed at the tiny face of the young girl that was filled with grievance and could not help but reply in a somewhat vexed manner, why foolishly worry about such things? Though his tone was vexed, the fury on his forehead had started to fade a little. The young girl's words had stirred his emotions and made him feel a small bit of happiness. It seemed that the little girl from before had grown quite a bit. Ching Tan's tiny mouth shrunk, however, the bright girl knew that now was not the time to contradict a Lin Dong that was about to explode with anger. Mom and Dad know that you've come here? Lin Dong kneaded his somewhat aching head as he asked. Mm hmm. Ching Tan repeatedly nodded her head. They've agreed? Lin Dong asked again. Upon hearing this, Ching Tan hesitated for a moment. Just as she was about to nod her head, she saw Lin Dong's expression suddenly turn stern. Immediately, she hung her head in defeat as she replied, Mom does not agree, and we argued because of this. Just as the words left her mouth, Ching Tan hastily shut her mouth. She looked at Lin Dong from the corner of her eyes and sure enough, she saw the face that had only just eased up a little once again darken. Now that your wings have hardened, you even dare to argue with your mother? Lin Dong laughed in a chilling manner. Ching Tan lowered her head as she mumbled, scold me if you must, but... As she spoke, the young girl's eyes turned red. Soon after, she lifted her head and gazed upon the face that had grown increasingly mature and determined compared to two years ago, as she choked out a few words. I missed you. The various expressions on Lin Dong's face finally froze due to these words. The young girl had followed in his footsteps and left the place where she could be as willful as she wanted, the home where she could make trouble as she pleased. All alone, she had similarly experienced various things. All of this was so that he no longer had to struggle in a manner that caused one's heart to ache. Lin Dong's throat trembled a little. Soon after, he slowly extended his hand and patted the young girl's head, his voice somewhat hoarse as he spoke, you've grown up at last. After which, he laughed bitterly before continuing, asterisk sigh asterisk, forget it, I'll let you off this time. As his words fell, joy surfaced in the eyes of the young girl before him, as if she had suddenly been bestowed a great pardon. With a sweet smile, she reached out with her arms in an exceedingly natural manner and clung onto Lin Dong's arm like she had always done many years ago. When Ching Tan clung onto Lin Dong's arm, a sly smile secretly appeared from the corners of her lips. However, just as this smile appeared, she sensed a bright pair of eyes staring at her. She lifted her head, only to finding Huan Huan, seated behind with her jade-like hands atop the dark green zither. The latter's gaze was currently tightly fixed onto Ching Tan and had clearly discovered her sly smile. Ching Tan secretly stuck out her tongue before winking at Ing Huan Huan. With those large eyes, she conveyed a message, don't expose what you know. Ing Huan Huan could not help but feel like laughing. Looks like this girl called Ching Tan understood Lin Dong very well. She even know what method to use to pacify a Lin Dong who was almost about to explode with anger. However, Ing Huan Huan could also tell that Ching Tan's emotions from before were genuine. Ing Huan Huan naturally did not plan on exposing Ching Tan's sly actions. Hence, she winked at Ching Tan and the two girls of similar age came to a certain consensus, perfectly concealed from the usually calm and prudent Lin Dong. Big brother Lin Dong, this is my senior brother disciple, Chen Gui. It's thanks to his escort that I was able to come out this time. Ching Tan turned around and pointed at Chen Gui as she introduced him to Lin Dong with a smile. I am Lin Dong, many thanks to brother Chen, my sister has troubled you much. Lin Dong immediately clasped his hands together. His tone was extremely sincere and grateful. Ah, I do not deserve such praise, brother Lin Dong is too courteous. I have only done as my master has instructed. Upon seeing this, Chen Gui hastily clasped in hands together in response, causing Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan and the rest to be a little taken aback. After all, Chen Gui was said to be an extremely eccentric and indifferent person, someone who would not be so easy to communicate with. Master? You've entered a sect? What sect is it? Lin Dong was a little taken aback. He quickly looked towards Ching Tan and inquired. From the looks of it, he was afraid that Ching Tan had entered a dubious sect. Hehe, <laughs> our sect is not located in the eastern Xian region, but in the northern Xian region. Our sect is known as the Palace of Darkness, has Brother Lin Dong heard of it before? Chen Gui promptly explained. Palace of Darkness? Amazement flitted across Lin Dong's eyes, while he felt some shock in his heart. It was clear that he was not unfamiliar with this faction. Palace of Darkness, the overlord of the northern Xian region. If one were to talk about its reputation, it did not lose out to a titan like the Yuan Gate at all. How did you end up in the northern Xian region? Lin Dong was evidently rather stunned by the fact that Qing Tan had joined the Palace of Darkness. While I was in the Great Yan Empire, an elder from the Palace of Darkness was following me in hopes that I would join the Palace of Darkness. Qing Tan replied. Oh. Lin Dong slightly raised his eyebrows. He did not expect that Ching Tan had already been taken notice of by the Palace of Darkness Elder at that time, both he and Little Martin had not sensed anything. 
However, Lin Dong gently sighed in relief knowing that Qing Tan had joined the Palace of Darkness. The Palace of Darkness could be considered an overlord of a region. Qing Tan should be quite safe with them. These are my fellow Dao sect disciples. Lin Dong turned around and shrugged his shoulders at Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest as he chuckled, This is my sister, Qing Tan. After completing his introductions, he gently patted his hands as he once again cast his gaze in the direction of the Yuan Gate disciples and grinned, his smile regaining its chilling aura. Qing Tan, move back a little, I have to first take care of a small problem. Chapter 772, Challenge The eyes of the entire place had gathered towards the area where Dao sect was. Clearly, a slight change that had suddenly occurred caused the current situation to change slightly. Although everyone were uncertain why that Chen Gui would intervene and help Dao sect, the situation was undoubtedly one where Dao sect had gained an extremely powerful helper. Faced with the rank number on the sect's wanted list, it was likely that even little Yuan King Yuan Tsang would feel a little restraining fear. It is unexpected that even Chen Gui has appeared. Ling Qingzhu's eyes gazed into the distance. A slight fluctuation flashed across her eyes as she softly muttered. Who is that girl called Qing Tan? Wu Kun asked in a somewhat surprised manner. From the looks of the situation, the girl in black seemed to have quite a deep relationship with Lin Dong. Chen Gui seemed to have intervened and aid Dao sect because of her. She seems to be big brother Lin Dong's younger sister. I have heard them mention it in the past. Su Rua looked at Qing Tan, who was extremely close with Lin Dong. Envy flashed deep within her eyes as she spoke. So it's like that. Wu Kun nodded slightly. Immediately, his eyes looked towards the direction of Yuan Gate. He said, although they have the help of Chen Gui, there is still some gap between the strength of Dao sect and Yuan Gate. This matter is becoming increasingly complicated. Lin Dong slowly stepped forward in front of the eyes from the entire place. After which, he looked towards the direction of Yuan Gate. A chilling light flowed within his eyes. This area does not exclusively belong to your Yuan Gate. Whether my Dao sect disciples wish to remain here is not something that your Yuan Gate can decide. The eyes of little Yuan King Yuan Tsang narrowed. A glint flashed through them like the edge of a blade. His finger gently slipped down the iron sword in his hand as he spoke in an apathetic manner, Don't tell me that you have the courage to provoke my Yuan Gate just because you have gained a helper? What helper? If your Yuan Gate wishes to fight, I will accompany you. Lin Dong spoke in a free and easy manner. What an arrogant tone. Someone like you actually dares to act arrogantly in front of us? Do you really think that you are almighty just because you have relied on a clever little trick to win once? Lei Qian's eyes were dark and stern as he sneered. Won't you know whether it is a clever little trick or not if you try again? Lin Dong smilingly said. Lei Qian's eyes became stern when he heard this provocation by Lin Dong. A murderous aura rose within his body. However, he was much more cautious this time around. His eyes immediately looked towards little Yuan King Yuan Tsang. Yuan Tsang narrowed his eyes and stared at Lin Dong. After which, he laughed faintly, since someone wishes to seek his own humiliation, you should fulfill his wish Lei Qian. A ferocious smile immediately emerged on Lei Qian's face when he heard this. Both of his fists slowly tightened as he strided forward and cried out, Lin Dong, since your Dao sect refuses to leave, I shall give you an opportunity. Rely on your own strength and step forward to battle me. If you win, my Yuan Gate will not say any other unnecessary words. If you lose, you shall bring everyone from your Dao sect and swiftly get lost from this place. Do you dare to accept? Lei Qian's voice rumbled across the basin while being wrapped by his powerful Yuan power. It reverberated beside the ears of everyone present. After his experience from the previous time, Lei Qian had clearly become much smarter. He no longer restricted himself with his words. Moreover, he had directly specified a direct head-on fight. Additionally, he even had added rely on your own strength. In this way, Lin Dong would be unable to use the demon corpse. Humph, the demon corpse is also controlled by Lin Dong, why is it not considered his strength? Your skin is really thick. Ying Xiao Xiao immediately laughed coldly when she heard these words. Stop uttering nonsense. If you are unwilling, we engage in an all-out battle and see just who will emerge victorious in the end. Lei Qian smiled in a venomous manner. You. Ying Xiao Xiao felt fury in her heart when she saw how shameless Lei Qian had become. Before she could say anything however, Lin Dong waved his hand gently and slowly stepped forward. Swoosh. The eyes from the entire place were immediately locked onto Lin Dong's body when he stepped out. From the looks of it, Lin Dong was actually really planning on accepting this challenge from Lei Qian. Lin Dong. There was a slight change on the faces of Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yen. Lin Dong might have forced Lei Qian to withdraw in a dejected manner the last time around, but he had only won through a trick. This time around, Lei Qian, who was going to go all out, and would obviously not give Lin Dong such an opportunity. If Lin Dong was to take the initiative and give up the advantage of the demon corpse, how would he battle Lei Qian? Let me fight instead. 
A voice suddenly sounded behind Lin Dong when he stepped forward. After which, everyone was stunned to see Qing Ten step forward. At this moment, her hand was holding a black scythe with a somewhat exaggerated appearance. That scythe was even larger than her entire body. Strange symbols were vaguely visible on the blade, while an unusually dark and cold sharp ripple spread out it. The girl in black was holding the large black scythe in her hand. That appearance was quite comical and cute. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were stunned as they stared at Qing Tan. After which, their eyes paused on the black scythe in her hand. They could vaguely sense a majestic ripple from the scythe. Evidently, this black scythe was a pure Yuan treasure. Lin Dong was also momentarily startled when Qing Tan spoke. Immediately, he knitted his brows and spoke in a deep voice, go and stay in one corner. Although he could sense that the current Qing Tan was no longer that little girl, who had become very weak after being tortured by the cold Qi, he was still unwilling to see her step forward to fight with others while he was around. Oh. Qing Tan, who was originally acting in a mighty manner, was directly beaten down by these words of Lin Dong. She could only pull back bitterly. Lin Dong, will it be alright? Ying Xiao Xiao hesitated and asked. Their Dao sect indeed hoped that they would not have to engage in a big battle with Yuan Gate here. However, if Lin Dong had to take such a risk, it might be better for them to truly engage in an all-out fight with the other party. Lin Dong shook his head slightly. After which, he slowly stepped forward. Those somewhat cold eyes were directly locked onto the ferociously smilingly Lei Qian in the distance. His voice was calm. I shall receive this challenge. A series of uproars suddenly sounded out in the basin after these words were heard. Clearly, everyone did not expect that Lin Dong would actually dare to directly abandon the advantage of the demon corpse and accept this challenge from Lei Qian head-on. Such an action is truly not wise. Wu Kun from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace had a surprised look on his face as he muttered. There will no longer be any fooling around like last time. Lei Qian will not give him even the slightest opportunity. This, he is seeking his own humiliation. He is not a fool. If he does not have the confidence, he will not easily accept the fight. Ling Qingzhu shook her head slowly. Her clear eyes looked towards the skinny figure that was walking out from amongst the Dao sect disciples while she softly said. Oh. Wu Kun declined to comment when he heard Ling Qingzhu's words. Together with the demon corpse, Lin Dong might still have a chance against Lei Qian. However, on the precondition of not being able to use the demon corpse, Wu Kun was unable to think of what qualifications Lin Dong had to fight with Lei Qian. Ha, huh, you have guts. The ferocious smile on Lei Qian's face immediately grew wider when he saw that Lin Dong actually dared to face him in battle. Moreover, there was an abnormally wild joy dancing within his eyes. His loss in Unique Devil City had undoubtedly caused fury to rise within his heart. Now, he finally had the opportunity to personally get back his face. Although he had suffered a little at Lin Dong's hands due to his somewhat strange skill, Lei Qian had the confidence that he would definitely be able to cause Lin Dong to be unable to even retaliate should he go all out. This was his confidence as one of the three little kings of Yuan Gate. This time around, he wanted to completely crush Lin Dong under his feet in front of everyone. Chapter 773, Intense Battle Against Lei Qian Two figures slowly stepped out in front of the countless number of eyes within the enormous bright red handprint basin. Majestic Yuan power swept out at almost simultaneously, causing the atmosphere to suddenly become extremely tense. Crack Lei Qian's tightly clenched fists emitted cracking sounds. Soon after, bright silver Yuan power spluttered out from within his body like lightning. It wrapped around his entire body as an unusually wild and violent ripple was scattered from it. Brat, this time around, I will let you understand the true gap that exists between us. Lei Qian raised his head and looked towards the nearby Lin Dong. His face was filled with a ferocious smile. Lin Dong's expression was calm, while green light surged on his body. Immediately, both his hands and legs began to shake and transform into green dragon limbs. Moreover, a pair of green wings began to extend from his back. It transformed into dragon wings and spread apart immediately. Green dragon scales surfaced on Lin Dong's body. The scales sparkled under the sunlight, while an icy cold and sharp luster was reflected. The dragon fist was slowly clenched. Lin Dong's eyes became increasingly cold as he sensed the majestic beast-like strength. This physical body enhancing martial art seems to be quite good. However, I wonder just how punches of mine it can endure. Lei Qian's mouth parted into a sneer. In the next instant, the ferocity on his face abruptly intensified as his foot suddenly took a step forward. Bang! Thunder rumbled the moment Lei Qian's foot landed on the ground. After which, everyone saw Lei Qian's body seemingly teleport. In a flash, a bolt of lightning had already tore through the sky. The lightning glow rapidly expanded within Lin Dong's eyes. Lei Qian's speed had already reached an astonishing level. Swoosh! The green dragon wings on Lin Dong's back suddenly flapped. An afterimage remained on the original spot while his body swiftly withdrew. Boom! 
Lin Dong's body had just pulled back when the lightning glow suddenly arrived. A fist containing wild and violent strength shattered the afterimage with a punch. TCH, you are quite quick in fleeing. However, can you really escape? The corners of Lei Qian's mouth involuntarily curled when his punch missed. Immediately, he bent two of his fingers and directly pointed them towards the direction in which Lin Dong had withdrawn. Lightning Light Space Tearing Finger A lightning-like silver yuan power light beam suddenly shot out from the tips of Lei Qian's fingers, booming as it tore through the air. In a flash, it had already caught up with the swiftly retreating Lin Dong. Moreover, it had directly targeted the fatal spot on his throat. Clearly, Lei Qian did not have any intention of showing mercy in his attack. Desolate Demon Eye A demonic gray eye swiftly appeared between Lin Dong's brows. After which, gray light that contained a powerful destructive force shot out and collided with the silver beam of light. Bang! A deep noise resounded in the air as a wild and violent fluctuation swept apart. The two attacks had actually annihilated each other. I will just see how many times you can block me. Lei Qian did not become angry when he saw that his attack was broken. Instead, he smiled in a sinister manner. His strength far surpassed that of Lin Dong. If they were to compare the extent of their Yuan power, he would be able to exhaust the latter to death many times over. This kind of Yuan power consumption was naturally something that he was most happy to see. After Lei Qian's cold laughter sounded, one could see that the lightning glow around him had suddenly condensed. After which, it transformed into a lightning hand. This lightning hand's fingers were curled. In the next instant, it thrust at the air. Lightning rain explosive finger. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Wild and violent light beams seemingly filled the sky. They contained a shockingly lethal strength that swept over the sky under the watching gazes of countless shocked eyes. The scope of this attack had directly covered all of Lin Dong's retreat paths. This attack could be considered ferocious. Lei Qian's reputation of being the Little Thunder King was indeed not in vain. Just this attack alone would cause many Nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts to have a change in expression. Lin Ding lifted his head. His eyes were grim as he watched the torrential rain of lightning that came sweeping over the sky. He could sense extreme danger from this attack. Who? A cluster of white air was slowly exhaled from Lin Dong's mouth. Immediately, an extremely thick green light surged out of his eyes. Roar! Majestic green light suddenly swept out from Lin Dong's body at that instant. The green light lingered around his body before beginning to agglomerate together. A moment later, a low and deep dragon roar suddenly sounded out. A hundred feet large green dragon light figure suddenly appeared at this moment, while a powerful pressure spread across the sky. In that instant, it appeared as though a genuine giant dragon had descended. Green Heaven Materialized Dragon Skill, Green Dragon Descent As Lin Dong's proficiency in the Green Heaven Materialized Dragon Skill gradually increased, his understanding of this martial art had also gradually deepened. He was now already able to rely on the Heavenly Dragon Aura within his body to agglomerate a Green Dragon. Moreover, this Green Dragon undoubtedly possessed a greater divinity compared to the past. Its might was ferocious and unfathomable. The green dragon swam in the sky above Lin Dong's head. After which, it swung its large light tail violently. Space itself appeared to have become distorted at this moment. The lightning rain that was pouring down from all over the sky immediately blasted apart with a bang wherever the light tail passed. They were just like brilliant fireworks. Bang! The green dragon light tail swept out in an unreasonable manner and forcefully exploded the lightning rain. After which, its strength was not the least bit weakened as it directly slammed downwards at Lei Qian. Humph! Lei Qian's expression had clearly changed slightly at this moment. However, he did not pull back but instead coldly snorted. Resplendent lightning surged out, causing his hair to completely stand on ends. After which, he clenched his fist as it furiously blasted out. Lightning Dragon Sky Roaring Punch A similar ferocious and uncontrolled dragon roar was emitted from within Lei Qian's body. After which, majestic lightning gathered and actually transformed into an enormous lightning dragon. Bang! The lightning dragon's roar rumbled across the sky. It carried a wild and violent strength as it directly collided with the green dragon in front of watching crowd's eyes. At that instant, they appeared like two colliding meteorites. Their momentum was earth-shaking. A wild Yuan power storm swept across the sky in a crazy fashion. The scale of the collision caused the expressions of many people to change drastically. Bang bang! A storm unfurled in the sky. Two figures revealed miserable appearances as they shot backwards in the sky. Each of them drew a hundred meter long line in the sky before they forcibly stabilized their bodies. Countless eyes instantly looked over. A low clamor sounded when they saw the miserable appearances of the two individuals. However, most of them were shocked that Lin Dong was able to fight with Lei Qian to such an extent. After all, regardless of how ferocious his martial arts were, Lei Qian was an expert at the half a foot to mysterious life stage. 
It was common sense that the strength between the Yuan power of the two should be akin to the distance between heaven and earth. He does have some ability. Wu Kun from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace had a surprised expression flashing across his eyes when he saw the scene. He rubbed his nose and spoke a little bitterly. He had originally believed that Lin Dong was only seeking his own humiliation by provoking the other party. However, from the looks of the current situation, this fellow's actual battle power had far exceeded his exterior strength. Big Brother Lin Dong is still so formidable. Su Rua spoke in an excited manner. The degree of worship in her eyes was still increasing. It is still too early to be happy now. Ling Qingzhu shook her head at this moment. A pair of clear eyes were locked onto Lei Qian's figure in the distant sky, while a glimpse of a solemn expression flashed across her eyes. Bang bang. Dark clouds had began to gather in the sky. After which, everyone felt the Yuan power around them vaguely show traces of becoming berserk. Bolts of lightning suddenly whizzed down from the dark clouds in the sky. In an instant, the entire place had turned into a world of thunder. Lei Qian was suspended in the lightning-filled sky. His somewhat dark face contained a sternness that caused one's heart to beat faster. Soon after, he slowly extended his hand under the many watching gazes, and thunderbolts gathered around his body. At that moment, it appeared as though a lightning god had descended. Next, I shall let you witness my Yuan Gate Supreme Martial Arts. You can call yourself blessed to be killed by this. Lei Qian's voice was just like a muffled thunder. It contained a monstrous murderous intent that rumbled like thunder. In the next instant, his hand had suddenly formed a mysterious seal. This is... Ying Xiaoxiao's group watched the seal formed by Lei Qian's hands. Their pupils immediately constricted as a grave voice suddenly echoed. One of the three great divine codes of Yuan Gate. Lightning God Codex. Chapter 774, Lightning God Codex. Rumble. Countless thunderbolts came pouring down from the dark clouds in the sky from every direction. The deafening roar reverberated over the entire basin. It appeared as though the land itself had began to tremble slightly at this moment. Lei Qian's figure stood amidst the thunderbolts that permeated the sky while lightning flowed around his body. Along with the silver glow that spread over his entire body, he appeared just like a lightning god when viewed from a great distance. Lightning God Codex Numerous exclamations continued to appear while lightning thundered across the sky. It was likely that people had recognized this extremely well-known and powerful martial arts of Yuan Gate. He has actually been forced to use the Lightning God Codex. Looks like that brat really has some ability. Little Spirit King Ling Zhen watched the scene in the sky and could not help but smile in surprise as he spoke. Lin Dong seems to have cultivated both Yuan power and mental energy at the same time. Otherwise, with his 7 Yuan Nirvana stage strength, he would not be able to pester Lei Qian to such an extent. Yuan Tsung replied indifferently. However, that will end here. Ling Zhen slightly smiled and nodded. Lin Dong's ability to pester Lei Qian to such an extent had indeed greatly exceeded their expectations. However, in the face of Lei Qian, who had now used the Lightning God Codex, he did not think that Lin Dong would have the ability to continue dragging out this battle. Victory or defeat would likely be determined in the next exchange. It is likely that Dao sect will act more obediently if we cripple this brat. What we need to do now is to observe the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. We do not have the time to get entangled with them. We will properly settle the score with them once the matter here is settled. Ling Zhen spoke with a smile. His smile was enchanting, but there was a dark ruthlessness surging deep within his eyes. Yuan Tsang smiled indifferently and did not say anything else. Both of his hands were placed behind him as his eyes looked towards the skinny figure amidst the lightning that permeated the sky. An unconcerned arc was lifted from the corners of his mouth. Bang! Following the change in the obscure seals formed by Lei Qian's hands, the dark clouds in the sky swiftly began to wiggle. Immediately, it gradually turned into a funnel-shaped dark cloud. Countless lightning bolts gathered at the tip of the dark cloud. Its brightness was unusually glaring. The ferocious smile on Lei Qian's face became increasingly wide under the glow of the lightning that covered the sky. He suddenly clenched his hand and the lightning at the tip of the dark cloud suddenly spluttered out wildly. Boom! Light poured down like a thunderbolt and gathered above Lei Qian's head. Finally, the light agglomerated and formed an enormous thousand feet long lightning spear. The lightning spear was saturated with lightning which continuously danced across its surface. Wave after wave of shockingly destructive power frantically spluttered outwards. Distortions had even started to appear in the surrounding space. What berserk fluctuations! The expressions of Ying Xiaoxiao's group were grave as they watched the enormous lightning spear taking shape in the sky. Anxiety surged within their eyes. Ying Huan Huan's jade-like hands, which were on the zither strings, had similarly tensed up at this moment, while her pearly white teeth bit into her lips. There seemed to be an icy blue luster vaguely surging deep within her eyes. However, even she did not notice this scene. Lei Qian has become much stronger compared to before. Chen Gui stared at the sky. 
He hesitated for a moment, before looking towards Qing Tan beside him as he asked, Do I need to intervene? He could see that Lin Dong's strength seemed to be at the Seven Yuan Nirvana stage. At the same time, he also sensed quite a powerful mental energy ripple. It was likely that Lin Dong possessed rather great accomplishments in both areas. However, there was still quite a big gap between him and Lei Qian. At this moment, the latter had already activated his trump card. Lin Dong's situation was not good at all. There's no need. However, Qing Tan merely smiled sweetly and shook her head in response to his good intentions. She raised her head as the light from the lightning in the sky was reflected on her unusually beautiful face. There appeared to be a fanatical expression vaguely present on it. Brother Lin Dong will not lose. The young lady merely smiled as she uttered these words. Her black dress and enormous black scythe gave her a strange yet bewitching appearance. Cheng Dui was momentarily startled. Soon after, he nodded quietly. It was the first time that he had seen such an expression on Qing Tan during all these years. The young lady before him would not reveal such an expression even in front of his most respected master. Lightning God Codex Ha huh? Lin Dong's figure appeared just like a small boat in the vast ocean amidst that wild and violent thunderbolts that permeated the sky. It appeared as though he would capsize at any moment. His eyes stared at a ferociously smiling Lei Qian in the distance, who was raising his hand high above his body. Lin Dong could sense an extremely dangerous fluctuation from the enormous lightning spear. Since you wish to go all out, let me accompany you. Lin Dong muttered to himself. Soon after, he slowly extended both of his hands in front countless watching gazes. Next, an unusually obscure light array began to slowly take shape in his palm. Lin Dong's eyes focused slightly when the light array was formed. Majestic Yuan power and mental energy began pour in like a flood. Swoosh! That originally palm-sized light array suddenly began to expand at a shocking speed as the energies were poured in. In a short couple of breaths, it had already expanded to a couple hundred feet in size. From a distance, this light array slowly rotated as it stood in front of Lin Dong, while a ripple that could not be described quietly spread out from it. What is this? Lin Dong's actions had clearly been captured by countless eyes. Surprise surfaced in everyone's eyes when they saw the slowly rotating light array appear in front of them. An unorthodox skill. Nothing more than futile effort. Lei Qian was also startled because of this. Immediately, the ferocious smile on his face became even denser. From the looks of it, it seemed that Lin Dong was actually planning on receiving his attack head-on. This was undoubtedly seeking death from his point of view. Since you wish to die, I shall fulfill your wish. The enormous lightning spear above Lei Qian's head was already complete. Bright lightning flickered wildly on it, while wave after wave of astonishing fluctuations continued to sweep apart. Lei Qian's hand reached forward. After which, he clenched it abruptly. Everyone watched as the enormous lightning spear slowly shifted. In the end, it had directly locked onto the faraway Lin Dong. Lightning God Codex, World Extinguishing Spear A thunderous roar suddenly emerged from Lei Qian's throat as the green veins on his hand pulsed like dragons. In the next moment, his arm trembled. His body leaned forward slightly and his arm swung out furiously. Bang! The entire place appeared to tremble violently at this moment. Immediately, everyone watched as the enormous lightning spear transformed into a thousand feet large lightning bolt. It violently shot out. The glow from the attack reached out, appearing just like a world-extinguishing lightning dragon that was brandishing its claws. Such a sight was truly dreadful. Who? A frightening pressure seemed to have covered the area a thousand feet around Lin Dong in an instant, while the latter released a deep breath. Immediately, his eyes became stern as his hand slammed onto the large light array in front of him at lightning speed. Ancient Universe Formation, Reverse Rotation a resonating voice was transmitted from Lin Dong's mouth. In the next moment, the enormous light array began to wildly rotate in the reverse direction as strange lights frantically began to gather within the light array. Disintegrate. Lin Dong's eyes were cold. Two of his fingers thrust forward and landed on the light array. Immediately, the entire light array trembled. A strange light beam that was dozens of feet in size emitted a swoosh sound as it surged out of the light array. Sizzle sizzle. That light beam did not possess an overly astonishing aura. However, some extremely sharp individuals could feel all the natural Yuan power that was originally present suddenly disappeared in a strange manner after the light beam passed by. Such a disappearance was extremely thorough, as if it had been, completely annihilated. The usually indifferent expression of little Yuan King Yuan Tsang changed drastically at this moment. Bang! When Yuan Tsang's expression experienced a drastic change, the two ferocious attacks in the sky that had attracted the attention of countless pairs of eyes, had already arrived before each other and finally collided. Countless people watched this scene in fear. Victory and defeat would be determined in this exchange. Chapter 775, Might of the Reverse Rotation 
The two terrifying beams of light finally violently collided in an extremely glaring manner in front countless pairs of eyes. Chi. The expected earth-shaking loud noise did not appear when the collision occurred. The majestic light beams interweaved with each other in a glaring fashion and were crazily eroding the other party. A soul-stirring ferocity was felt from it amidst the silence. All eyes were staring intently at the two majestic lights that occupied two halves of the sky. They were clearly aware that this exchange would determine the victor of the fight between those two individuals. Boss, what is it? Little Spirit King Ling Zhen suddenly discovered the changes in Yuan Tsang's expression. He was immediately startled and involuntarily asked. Something is not quite right with the attack from that brat. Yuan Tsang stared intently at the light beam that had shot out from the light array. His voice contained a slight trace of grimness. Although he was unable to sense just where this uncomfortable feeling of his had come from, his instincts told him that this light array of Lin Dong was definitely not something ordinary. Ling Zhen's heart jumped because of Yuan Tsang's expression. Immediately, he laughed, don't tell me that you think the attack of that fellow is really able to block Lei Qian's lightning god codex? Yuan Tsang's expression was slightly dark but he did reply. Impossible. Ling Zhen's eyes also narrowed when he saw such a response. His muttering voice contained a trace of shock. Lei Qian's attack is weakening. Yuan Tsang spoke in a grim voice. Ling Zhen hurriedly raised his head when he heard this and his expression abruptly changed. He was also able to sense that the originally extremely wild and violent lightning in the sky had quietly lost some of its might at this moment. On the other hand, the ray of light from Lin Dong remained tepid. An aura that could not be shaken was being emitted from that lukewarmness. How is this possible? Ling Zhen's eyes had finally began to gradually turn grim at this instant. These words also sounded within Lei Qian's heart when they emerged from Ling Zhen's mouth. The weakening of his attack was naturally something that he had sensed first. Immediately, an expression of disbelief drew past his ferocious looking face. Impossible. This expression had merely appeared on Lei Qian's face for a moment before it was being replaced by a more ferocious one than before. He did not believe that the Lightning God Codex that he had displayed with his current strength would actually be received by Lin Dong, who was only at the Seven Yuan Nirvana stage. Bang! Vast and mighty Yuan power whistled out from Lei Qian's body without holding back. After which, it turned into monstrous lightning that wildly poured into the struggling lightning in an attempt to destroy Lin Dong's resistance. However, regardless of how much power he poured in, the mysterious light beam from the light array continued to remain unwavering. Wave after wave of berserk energies began to be separated and annihilated at an astonishing rate, while the light beam was eroding by the lightning. Lin Dong's face had remained calm and without any ripple since the beginning. It appeared as though the scene in front of him was not strange. However, paleness had also flashed across his face while the light beam forcefully broke through the other party's attack. The might of the ancient universe formation was indeed frightening. However, the Yuan power and mental energy it consumed had also reached quite a terrifying level. Lin Dong deeply inhaled a mouthful of somewhat searing hot air. In the next moment, an extremely serious expression suddenly shot out from both of his eyes. The seals formed by his hands changed at lightning speed as a deep voice echoed from his throat. Break. After this word escaped Lin Dong's mouth, the mysterious light beam, which was originally devouring the other party's attack at a gentle and steady pace, suddenly unleashed a shocking offensive. Faced with the light beam that had suddenly become wild and violent, the lightning that permeated the sky began to rapidly collapse at a rate visible to the naked eye. Swoosh. The strange light beam penetrated the lightning that permeated the sky by crushing it with complete ease. In the end, it ruthlessly smashed towards the shocked Lei Qian in front of countless shaken eyes. Lei Qian has lost. Ling Qingzhu, who had been observing the battle in the sky, finally commented softly at this moment, as the face under her veil twitched slightly. It was likely that even someone as calm and indifferent as her had difficulty retaining her complete calmness when watching the scene. Joy surfaced on Su Ruo's face. She smiled brilliantly and said, I knew that big brother Lin Dong would not lose. By the side, Wu Kun rubbed his face. Immediately, a somewhat unnatural smile was lifted on his face, through which he hid the shock within his eyes. If he had not witnessed it with his own eyes, he would have great difficulty believing that Lin Dong was truly able to emerge victorious in a direct battle against an expert of Lei Qian's level. This time, it was definitely not a victory using tricks like previously. Lei Qian had already unleashed a trump card like the Lightning God Codex. Yet, the result. Bang! The mysterious light beam tore through the lightning-filled sky. Finally, it bolted towards Lei Qian at lightning speed in front of those countless stunned eyes. The moment the collision occurred, everyone could clearly see the lightning Yuan power on Lei Qian's body vanish at a shocking speed. Bang! A deep and deafening sound resounded across the sky. Lei Qian's expression immediately became pale as a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out wildly. His body also became like a bird with broken wings as it began its swift descent towards the ground. 
Lin Dong's eyes were cold as he watched Lei Qian falling to the ground. A cold glint suddenly flashed across his eyes. The green dragon wings on his back flapped violently as his body rushed out amidst the exclamations that permeated the sky. In a flash, he had appeared in front of Lei Qian. His fist was clenched and a black tree trunk had appeared within it. After which, he ruthlessly swung it down. Bang! The black tree trunk contained a frightening force. It smashed heavily onto Lei Qian's body. Strength poured out and the sound of breaking bones could be heard from Lei Qian's chest. Ugh! Another mouthful of fresh blood was spat out uncontrollably. Lei Qian's eyes were somewhat horrified as they looked at the young man's face at close proximity. At this moment, the malevolence that filled this face was even more intense than his own. Moreover, he had genuinely seen the existence of a murderous intent within Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Dong wanted to kill him. This thought caused a chill to suddenly surge through Lei Qian's heart. Lin Dong's ruthlessness had exceeded his expectation. The malicious smile on Lin Dong's somewhat pale face grew even wider as he looked at Lei Qian's terrified face. He had never shown mercy when fighting with others. He was clearly aware of the enmity that Yuan Gate had towards them during their journey here. This kind of enmity could not be resolved. Therefore, he was certain that Yuan Gate would definitely attack them in the end. Since this was the case, he should take this opportunity and break one of his opponent's hands. He should kill Little Thunder King Lei Qian now before planning what to do next. The killing intent within Lin Dong's eyes surged. After which, he raised the black tree trunk in his hand again and violently swung it down at Lei Qian's head. Brat, you dare! However, when Lin Dong was planning to beat this already fallen foe, a stern voice suddenly resounded across the sky. Little Yuan King Yuan Tsung moved his body and directly rushed over. Senior Brother Chen Gui In the distance, a cold look surfaced on Ching Tan's pretty face when she saw that Yuan Tsung was about to intervene. Swoosh! Before her voice could fade, Chen Gui had already rushed out at lightning speed. In the end, he appeared in front of Yuan Tsung and blocked him. Swoosh swoosh. Ling Jun's expression also changed after Yuan Tsung was stopped. He waved his hand and rushed out. The six soul generals of Yuan Gate as well as some of the more powerful disciples also followed his lead and whizzed out. Attack! Ying Xiao Xiao, who had been watching the Yuan Gate party, did not hesitate when she saw this scene. A cry sounded out and she directly darted forward. Wang Yan, Ying Huan Huan, Qing Yi, and the rest behind her immediately followed. The bright red heavenly phoenix zither had once again appeared in Ying Huan Huan's hands. Clearly, they were prepared to engage in an all-out war. The elites from both sides had moved. Upon seeing this, the eyes of the disciples from both parties suddenly became ferocious too as waves of mighty Yuan power began to erupt in the sky. Within this short instant, the atmosphere of the entire area had become unusually tense. A chaotic battle was about to erupt. Chapter 776, Confrontation In a flash, numerous people stood in confrontation in the sky. Majestic Yuan power soared up towards the heavens, causing the atmosphere to be strained while sparks swiftly arose from the tense atmosphere. The originally noisy area had also rapidly became deathly silent. The members of many factions stared at the sky as caution appeared within their eyes. They were clearly worried that they would be implicated when the battle started. Chen Gui, are you really intending on interfering with the grudge between my Yuan Gate and the Dao sect? Yuan Song's expression was a little gloomy as he gazed at Chen Gui who was blocking him. A cold tone was flowing in his low voice. I was assigned this task. Chen Gui merely smiled faintly and said in the face of these threatening words. Lin Dong, our Yuan Gate will be an irreconcilable enemy if you kill Lei Qian. Ling Zhen kept the foldable fan in his hand. His eyes were staring intently at Lin Dong, who had grabbed Lei Qian by the throat, as he slowly spoke. Isn't it already the case now? Lin Dong smiled as he said. His young and somewhat pale face seemed to be unusually cold in the eyes of Ling Zhen and the Yuan Gate disciples. Lin Dong, are you planning to start a war with our Yuan Gate here? Yuan Tsung lowered his eyelids. His hand slowly tightened its grip on his sword. There appeared to be a strange gray glow rising deep within his eyes. Believe me, that ending is not something that you would wish to see, even with Chen Gui's aid. Yuan Tsung lifted his face, which could not be considered handsome, after speaking. An unusually dark, cold, and bloodthirsty arc was lifted on his face. Do not force my hand. Otherwise, Chen Gui will not be able to stop me. Lin Dong's pupils shrunk at this moment. He stared at Yuan Tsung. For some unknown reason, a slight unease had begun swelling in his heart. Oh. In that case, I now really wish to give it a try. Chen Gui laughed faintly. A chilling aura surfaced on his face which was wearing a ghost mask when he heard Yuan Tsung's words. Is that so? Yuan Tsung's eyes became increasingly dark. Ling Zhen and the others also leaned their bodies forward after appearing to sense the hostility in Yuan Tsung's tone. 
An unusually majestic yuan power fluctuation spread out in a wave-like manner. In response to this, the faces of Ying Xiaoxiao, Wang Yan and the remaining Dao sect disciples behind Lin Dong immediately tensed up. Bang bang. A rumbling sound was suddenly emitted from the middle of the basin while both parties were facing off against each other in such a hostile atmosphere. Countless eyes were shocked as they turned towards that spot. After which, they saw that a slight distortion had appeared in that space. Numerous unusually ancient halls seemed to vaguely appear within the distorted space. An ancient aura that could only be formed by the accumulation of time seeped out from the space and spread over the entire area. Burning Sky Ancient Stash Many wild joyous exclamations sounded out following the appearance of this usual phenomenon. After which, those many pairs of eyes had suddenly became fiery hot and greedy. They did not gather here to watch a fight between Yuan Gate and Dao Sect. Their aim was the Burning Sky Ancient Stash that was hidden here. Earlier, they had placed their attention on the fight between both parties because they were waiting. Now that the main course had appeared, they had naturally begun to shift their attention. The Ancient Stash is about to appear huh? Lin Dong's narrowed eyes looked towards the distorted space. He did not expect that it would appear at this moment. Although space was being distorted, everyone could see the vaguely visible ancient halls inside. However, this space had yet to show signs of being completely opened. It seemed to be lacking a key. Every gaze in the place was finally thrown towards Yuan Tsang without any prior agreement. The reason they had come was because they had obtained news that Yuan Gate would be able to open the ancient stash this time around. Given the situation at this moment, it seemed that it would be up to Yuan Gate to open this ancient stash. Yuan Tsang had clearly also sensed the gathering of these gazes. Immediately, his eyes flickered as he spoke indifferently, Lin Dong, our aim this time is the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Only if you release Lei Qian will our Yuan Gate be able to open the Ancient Stash and allow everyone to share the treasures inside. If you continue to be stubborn, it is likely that no one will be able to open this Ancient Stash today. At that time, you will end up angering everyone. I believe that you will not be able to bear this burden. Yuan Tsang's words was not spoken stealthily. Instead, it spread loudly under the cover of Yuan power. Finally, it resounded besides everyone's ear. This fellow is really cunning. Ying Xiaoxiao's expression changed a little. This act of Yuan Tsang clearly intended to cause Dao Sect to be placed in a position that opposed everyone. Through this, he would force Dao Sect to release Lei Qian. This tactic was really cunning. The expressions of Wang Yan and the rest also sunk slightly. This was because they could sense that some gazes were already thrown towards them a short while after Yuan Tsang uttered those words. There were few friendly intentions within them. Instead, there was only an impatient urging. Lin Dong, what should we do? Wang Yan asked in a low voice. This situation was such that they were forced to face many due to a single sentence from Yuan Tsang. It would not be good if this continued to drag on. Lin Dong knitted his brows slightly as he stared at Yuan Tsang. Immediately, he glanced at the red-faced Lei Qian, whose neck was grabbed by him. A moment later, he finally laughed faintly, since brother Yuan Tsang is so magnanimous, I will naturally have to give you some face. It was merely a spar earlier. I have no intention of taking any lives. The Yuan Gate disciples' faces involuntarily twitched when they heard these words. They could clearly sense the surging killing intent from Lin Dong earlier. All of them understood that Lin Dong was definitely intent on killing Lei Qian earlier. This was completely different from what he had said. Brother Lin Dong is truly someone who can see the big picture. A smile surfaced on Yuan Tsang's face. However, this smile was filled with a kind of extremely dark and malicious feeling no matter how one looked at it. Since this is the case, please release Lei Qian. Consider yourself victorious in this bar. It was likely that Yuan Tsang was definitely suppressing a violent anger and murderous intent when uttering these words. Given his status, there were hardly anyone amongst the younger generation of the eastern Xian region whom he regarded seriously. There was even less need to talk about lowering himself in this manner. However, Yuan Tsang was after all an extraordinary person. Even though his heart was suppressing his killing intent, a smile had still surfaced on his face. However, this smile caused one's hair to stand on ends. Lin Dong tilted his head as he watched Yuan Tsang. Immediately, he smiled brilliantly and nodded. Everyone were involuntarily a little speechless when they saw this. From a certain point of view, both parties were the type of people with great patience. They were aware that an old tiger that bared its fangs was not frightening. The one that was frightening was a poisonous snake that could lay quietly in ambush and wait to deliver a fatal blow. Lin Dong and Yuan Tsang seemed to belong in this category. How unfortunate. Lin Dong glanced at Lei Qian, whom he held in his hand. The corners of his mouth curled. He ceased hesitating and casually tossed Lei Qian aside. However, no one discovered that an unusual black glow had quietly entered Lei Qian's body when Lin Dong's hand removed itself from Lei Qian's throat. Lei Qian, who was tossed aside by Lin Dong, was quickly rescued by a couple of Yuan Gate disciples. After which, those unusually vicious eyes on his pale face stared intently at Lin Dong. 
A roar emerged from his throat, Lin Dong, once you land in my hands, I will make it such that you will beg for death. However, Lin Dong merely smiled faintly in the face of Lei Qian's vicious roar. It was as though he did not hear anything. All of us have really underestimated you. The smile on Yuan Tsang's face withdrew slightly when he saw Lin Dong release Lei Qian. After which, he began to slowly speak. You are the most difficult person from Dao sect to deal with this time around. You are too kind. Lin Dong laughed. His appearance infuriated Lei Qian to the point that the latter had the impulse to spit out blood. A dark look also surged onto the little spirit King Ling Zhen's face. Only little Yuan King Yuan Tsang continued to have an impassive face. However, the great sect competition will not end so easily this time around. Lin Dong, trust me when I say that you will pay the price. Yuan Tsang stared at Lin Dong and spoke with a faint smile. Lin Dong nodded while sharing the same thought. A brilliant smile had also surged onto his face at this moment. His subsequent words, however, caused Yuan Tsang's expression to involuntarily become ugly despite his willpower. If you have finished your nonsense, can you please open the ancient stash? Chapter 777, Opening of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash Lin Dong, do you really think that you can act arrogantly before our Yuan Gate just because you have defeated Lei Qian once? Little Spirit King Ling Zhen cried out coldly. His face had once again darkened when he heard Lin Dong's words. A sinister chill had also surged onto Yuan Tsang's indifferent face. Immediately, however, it was forcefully suppressed. Both of his eyes contained an intensely cold look as he stared at Lin Dong. After which, he waved his hand towards Ling Zhen, turned around and left. There will ultimately be a time to pay you back for the victory you gained through words. Hopefully, you will still be able to laugh at that time. Yuan Tsang turned around. However, his dark and cold voice, which contained a rich murderous desire was transmitted backwards. Everyone could tell that this most outstanding person amongst the young disciples of Yuan Gate had been infuriated by Lin Dong. Ling Zhen and the other Yuan Gate disciples also stared at Lin Dong's group with maliciously cold eyes. After which, they turned around and followed Yuan Tsang. Only after the withdrawal of the Yuan Gate disciples did the hostile atmosphere gradually disappear. Quite a number of Dao sect disciples relaxed their tightly clenched hands. Perspiration was present on their palms. Although they felt a little anxious in their hearts, their eyes could not hide their excitement. Dao sect had fought with Yuan Gate many times over the years. However, they had never felt as greatly satisfied as today. Are you alright? Ying Huan Huan also secretly sighed in relief when she saw Yuan Gate withdraw. She kept the heavenly phoenix zither in her embrace. At the same time, she glanced at the somewhat pale Lin Dong as a worried look involuntarily flashed across her large eyes. I have exhausted myself a little too greatly, but it won't hinder me much. Lin Dong shook his head slightly. This fight was not considered a relaxing one for him. Lei Qian did indeed live up to his reputation of being one of the three little kings of Yuan Gate. If it was not because Lin Dong had reversed the rotation of the ancient universe formation, it was likely that he would have difficulty defeating the latter. However, we can be considered to have completely fallen out with them. So be it. I was originally planning on trying to peacefully get through this great sect competition. However, Yuan Gate has picked on us since the beginning. Giving in too much at times will result in an opposite effect. Ying Xiaoxiao sighed softly. During this journey, she had finally become aware that the grudge between Yuan Gate and Dao sect was already quite deep. Attempting to avoid it was really too idealistic. Lin Dong silently nodded. He did not intend on purposefully and completely angering Yuan Gate. However, the latter was too domineering in their actions. Sometimes, things could not be avoided just by giving in. Everyone should be careful when we enter the Burning Sky Ancient Stash later. Lin Dong reminded everyone. For some unknown reason, he had the feeling that this Burning Sky Ancient Stash was not simple. It was likely that its interior was not as peaceful as those ancient treasure troves he had encountered in the past. Brother Chen Gui, I will have to trouble you to take care of my little sister when the time comes. Lin Dong glanced at the lady in black beside him before speaking to Chen Gui. The current me does not need you to worry about such things. Qing Tan frowned a little. Clearly, she was very displeased that Lin Dong was still treating her like her completely helpless self of the past. However, her protest clearly failed to obtain any result. Lin Dong merely glanced at her and ignored her. He he, brother Lin Dong, you can be rest assured. Master had sternly warned me not to allow any accident to happen to junior sister when we left. Chen Gui smilingly nodded. Lin Dong smiled. After which, he lifted his gaze. Those disciples from Yuan Gate had already gathered in front of the distorted space a great distance to their front. After which, Yuan Tsang, who was leading them, slowly stepped forward in front of countless fiery hot eyes. They do indeed possess a method to open the ancient stash huh? Lin Dong muttered. His brows twitched when he saw this scene. Yuan Tsang clenched his hand in front of numerous gazes as a fiery red glow appeared in his hand. Within that cluster of light appeared to be a burning flame. 
Yuan Tsang tossed with his hand. That cluster of red glowing flame left his hand. After which, it was accompanied by a fiery tail as it directly shot towards the distorted space. Sizzle sizzle. The fire made contact with the distorted space. Immediately, circular fiery red glow began to fluctuate and spread. Soon after, everyone watched as the distorted space began to slowly crack apart. After tearing the distorted space, an endless fiery light appeared. An extremely ancient aura was emitted from it. It appeared as though they had returned to a prehistoric land. Bang! Following the tearing of this distorted space, the atmosphere had also suddenly become fiery hot. Those countless gazes had become extremely hot at this moment. The Burning Sky Ancient Stash was an extremely renowned ancient treasure ground in Unique Devil region. It was rumored that there were not only many powerful ancient martial arts in it, but also natural treasures and quite a number of precious objects left behind from ancient times. Amongst them were even pure Yuan treasures. These rumors were sufficient to cause many to covet this ancient stash. In the past, no one was able to open this Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Therefore, they were powerless even though they coveted it. Now, however, this ancient stash was about to be opened. Hence, the greed within everyone's hearts became just like a tiger having fled its cage as it came pouring out. Swoosh. The silence merely lasted for a moment before a rushing wind sound suddenly appeared. Numerous human figures near the torn space had charged anxiously towards the opened ancient stash. Yuan Tsang's eyes were indifferent as he watched these human figures anxiously charging in. However, he did not show any signs of stopping them. Let's wait first. Lin Dong's eyes hardened. He waved his hand and stopped the Dao sect disciples who were similarly a little anxious. Countless figures had already charged into the bright red world and Lin Dong extended his hand to stop the Dao sect disciples. However, the instant their bodies entered, they suddenly began to ignite in a strange manner. Immediately, miserable cries were emitted from the bright red space, causing the expression of numerous onlookers to change. Many human figures quickly turned into fireballs. In the end, they scattered, appearing as though they had turned into ashes. This sudden scene was just like a basin of cold water that directly extinguished everyone's greed. Horror appeared in many people's eyes. It seemed that this burning sky ancient stash was not a place that everyone could enter. The Yuan Gate disciple at the front had suddenly begun to pull back as a large group. Finally, only a couple of dozen figures remained. The auras of these figures were all quite powerful. All of them, without exception, had stepped into the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. These eight Yuan Nirvana stage disciples directly flew into the Burning Sky Ancient Stash under Yuan Tsang's lead. This time around, no miserable screams were emitted. Clearly, their strength had all reached the level where they could endure that fiery heat. Eight Yuan Nirvana stage disciples will follow us into the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. Everyone else will quietly remain here. Ying Xiaoxiao immediately made a decision when she saw this scene and announced in a low voice. Some disciples from Dao sect involuntarily felt disappointed when they heard these words. However, they also understood that if they were to forcefully charge in without sufficient strength, it was likely that their fates would be the same as those few unlucky fellows earlier, becoming ashes that remained in this place. Clearly, this made it easier for people to accept this decision. The Dao sect disciples swiftly separated themselves. There were similarly dozens of disciples at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Truth be told, Lin Dong's exterior strength was the weakest amongst them. Of course, no one would genuinely think that this strength of his on the surface was his true strength. After a short chaos in this sky, many factions also began selecting their elite disciples. After which, rushing wind sound appeared. Numerous human figures were thrown into the bright red world like locusts. This time around, something like being burned into ashes did not occur. Let's go. After seeing that the selection of disciples had completed, Lin Dong ceased procrastinating any longer. He cried out softly and his body took the lead to rush forward. The disciples from Dao sect immediately followed closely behind him. Dozens of light figures rushed through the sky. The bright red world behind the distorted space also began to rapidly magnify in Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Dong also inhaled a deep breath of searing hot air the moment he entered. Both of his eyes had an excited expression flashing across them. He similarly possessed a rather great interest in this burning sky ancient stash. Of course, what he really wanted to know was how the light token, which he had obtained from melting the copper cauldron, was related to this burning sky ancient stash. Chapter 778, Mysterious Realm when Lin Dong entered the distorted space, he could clearly sense a kind of extremely wild and violent heat suddenly erupt from within his body. The heat appeared to be attempting to ignite his body. Humph. The unexpected change in his body did not cause Lin Dong to feel any panic. Although the heat was wild and violent, it was clearly not considered troublesome to someone like him who was already prepared. A thought immediately passed through his mind as majestic Yuan power surged and directly suppressed the heat. While Lin Dong was suppressing that heat ripple within his body, he suddenly discovered some signs of chaos in the surrounding space. 
After which, he was surprised to discover that Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest, who had originally entered the Burning Sky Ancient Stash with him, had actually disappeared at this moment. Caution swiftly surfaced within his eyes while vast and mighty Yuan power circulated quietly. He quickly began to scan his surroundings. The scene that appeared before him was not the expected cluster of ancient halls. Instead, it was a bright red land. A wave of heat rose from the ground, causing the air to feel a little distorted. Is this the Burning Sky Ancient Stash? Lin Dong knitted his brows slightly as he watched this bright red magma-like land before him. Soon after, his body slowly descended. When his feet touched the ground, wild and scorching energy immediately invaded his body. It made one feel somewhat irritable. The irritation in his heart was immediately discovered by Lin Dong. He quickly circulated his devouring power and completely devoured the scorching energy within his body. Something is wrong. Lin Dong muttered to himself. He looked at the vast bright red land. There was no one else but him here. The number of people who entered previously was rather substantial. From the looks of it, this burning sky ancient stash was not simple. Those who hoped to find treasures immediately after entering would be disappointed. Since I have already arrived, I shall see just what kind of tricks this ancient stash can play. Lin Dong's eyes gazed into the distance. Soon after, he started to walk forward with a smile, directly heading towards the distant bright red land. As Lin Dong walked, he observed countless gullies of various sizes on the bright red land. It appeared as though countless great battles had occurred here in the past. One could even see some broken weapons within the bright red sand. It was a place that seemed to give off an aura of desolation. Seems like, a big war had occurred in this place. Lin Dong slowly walked for over a dozen minutes before he began to frown slightly. The scars on the ground made him understand that an extremely intense battle had definitely occurred in this land. Is this a test of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash? Lin Dong discovered a scorching energy seemed to permeate this land which caused one to become unusually irritated. However, this energy did not cause any trouble for Lin Dong who possessed devouring power. I wonder how Huan Huan, Qing Tan, and the rest are doing. Lin Dong walked for quite a while in this aimless manner before curling his mouth as this thought flashed across his mind. Russell When this thought had flashed across Lin Dong's mind, some faint footstep sounds were suddenly heard from somewhere nearby. He immediately lifted his head, only to see a petite figure miserably approaching from within the sand-filled wind. Qing Tan? Lin Dong was startled when he saw that familiar petite figure. Soon after, he rejoiced. Big Brother Lin Dong At this moment, the delicate little figure had also seen Lin Dong. Joy quickly surged up her pretty face. After which, she swiftly dashed towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong watched Qing Tan as she dashed over. A smile had also surfaced on his face. However, this smile had only lasted for a moment before it suddenly stiffened. This was because there was a cold glint flickering within Ching Tan's hand as she pounced towards his chest. Chi. That dagger which flickered with a cold light formed a tricky arc as it stabbed at Lin Dong's throat. Just as he was about to be stabbed, Lin Dong's expression darkened. A palm that contained a majestic force slammed into Ching Tan's body. Nag. A deep sound rang out as Ching Tan's body flew backwards. However, it crumbled when it landed, and a cluster of bright red fog rose up before attempting to tunnel into the ground to flee. However, Lin Dong was even faster. A thread of devouring power light shot out from his finger just before the fog could reach the ground. It formed a net that trapped the fog. The bright red fog attempted to escape and frantically rammed into the net. However, the fog became increasingly weak after a few collisions. Lin Dong's eyes were indifferent as he watched the weakening bright red fog. He could sense that there was no consciousness within. These things seem to be rather mysterious. Puff. An expression of deep thought flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. After which, he pinched the cluster of bright red fog, destroying it. He once again raised his head, a grave look in his eyes as he stared at the bright red realm. The originally ordinary land appeared to possess a trace of strangeness at this moment. This place, just what exactly is this place? Lin Dong's eyes held a malicious coldness within them. The scene from earlier was far too strange. I seem to have been trapped. Lin Dong muttered to himself. A cold light immediately flashed across his eyes. He once again lifted his foot and walked forward. He was interested to find out just what this damn place wanted to do. Lin Dong continued to roam around the bright red realm. The situation that followed did not exceed his expectations. After Ching Tan's appearance, Ying Huan Huan, Ying Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan and the rest appeared one after another. However, all of them would attack Lin Dong the moment they appeared. Although they did not manage to injure Lin Dong, it caused a nefarious flame to gradually rise in his heart. This damned place seemed to be creating these people to attack him based on his memory. Bang! Lin Dong once again blasted another imposter apart. His expression had become exceptionally gloomy. 
These things seemed to come at him endlessly, and he was unable to stop the cycle no matter how he many times he attacked. Are there more? Lin Dong suddenly raised his head after blasting another figure apart. Yet another figure had vaguely appeared in the distorted space a short distance to his front. A moment later, it fully appeared within Lin Dong's sight. Soon after, his face involuntarily began to twitch. This was because the one who had appeared this time was Ling Qingzhu. This is never going to end. Lin Dong's expression was dark. He took the initiative as he body rushed forward. A fist struck forward and a majestic force blasted towards the figure that appeared a short distance away with that lightning speed. The beautiful figure which had just appeared was clearly a little startled and it saw that it was attacked the moment it appeared. With mysterious yet graceful footwork, it dodged the fist. Eh. Lin Dong was momentarily stunned when he saw that his attack had been avoided. He quickly laughed coldly, their intelligence seems to be increasing huh? Lin Dong had already approached the figure after his voice sounded out. At this distance, he could already see Ling Qingzhu's pretty face which was hidden behind a veil. He had even captured the latter's slight frown in his eyes. Bang! However, this did not stop Lin Dong from attacking. His formidable palm attack mercilessly slammed struck at Ling Qingzhu. A furious expression seemed to flash across Ling Qingzhu's face upon seeing Lin Dong continue to attack. She lifted her jade-like hand. It contained mighty Yuan power as it collided head-on with Lin Dong's attack. Bang! Mighty Yuan power rippled outwards, and even the ground was split apart. The unprepared Lin Dong also hurriedly took over a dozen steps back. Immediately, his face filled with surprise. Why did the imposter that appeared this time around possess such strength? What are you doing? The figure opposite him had already knitted her brows while Lin Dong was stunned. There was an additional trace of fury within her cold voice. You can speak? Lin Dong was once again taken aback. Immediately, he seemed to have thought of something and his expression turned ugly, you are the real Ling Qingzhu? Ling Qingzhu looked at Lin Dong with a strange expression. After which, she slowly nodded. Upon seeing this, embarrassment immediately surfaced on Lin Dong's face. It was likely that he was aware of the great amount of face he had lost. Chapter 779, Central Hub Previously, I encountered quite a number of illusions that were created by this realm, they were all people whom I am acquainted with. After which, Lin Dong was a little embarrassed as he looked at the beautiful lady before him. He spread his hands outwards and explained himself. Ling Qingzhu glanced at Lin Dong. After which, she gently inclined her head. She did not have any intention of making a fuss over this matter. You didn't meet any? Lin Dong was a little puzzled by her reaction. He immediately knitted his brows slightly and inquired. Those illusions earlier caused him to feel extremely irritated. Although they did not cause him any actual harm, the feeling of being attacked by people he knew with was not pleasant at all. You're overthinking. Ling Qingzhu's eyes were a little strange as she stared at Lin Dong. After which, she answered calmly. What? Lin Dong was momentarily stunned. He was unable to make sense of Ling Qingzhu's words. Ling Qingzhu involuntarily lifted her eyebrows when she saw Lin Dong's somewhat lost expression. She spoke indifferently, after so many years, you seem to have lost your intelligence from before? There is clearly a formation within this burning sky ancient stash and we are all trapped within it. Although I do not know what formation it is, there are many things here that are not created by it, rather, they are created from one's heart, illusion and reality have been mixed together. It is rather mysterious. Lin Dong slowly frowned. He was not stupid. He began to come to a realization after hearing Ling Qingzhu's words. You are saying that those illusions appeared only because I let my imagination run wild. Ling Qingzhu nodded and said, calm your heart and focus your mind. These illusions will naturally fall apart without any need to attack. The reason you met those illusions is because you did not control your thoughts. Lin Dong was speechless. He did not expect that those troublesome things actually originated from himself. Now that he thought about it, that first illusion seemed to have appeared when he was worried about Qing Tan and the rest. It is quite a strange formation. I never expected that it was actually capable of such feats. Lin Dong voiced his thoughts. Although Ling Qingzhu made it sound simple, just how many people could truly calm one's heart until it became as quiet as still water? Even with Lin Dong's character, he had fallen into the trap after entering this place, much less others. After all, not everyone possessed Ling Qingzhu's icy cold character. This formation's illusions are only a form of hindrance. There is a mysterious and scorching energy permeating this realm. Once that energy invades one's body, it would affect one's mind and result in one losing control and turning crazy. Ling Qingzhu glanced at Lin Dong in a strange manner after she mentioned this point. This was because the latter seemed to be unaffected by the scorching energy. Lin Dong spread his hands. Since he had the devouring ancestral symbol to guard his body, that so-called scorching energy would be devoured once it entered his body. Hence, he did not face any troubles in this aspect. In that case, is the place we are currently at an illusion or reality? 
Lin Dong's feet lightly prodded the bright red ground, causing some dust to float upwards as he spoke. This is the most peculiar aspect of this formation. It causes one to be unable to distinguish between reality and illusion. Ling Qingzhu gently shook her head. She had also roamed around this place for some time. However, she had yet to find a way to escape. No matter what kind of formation it is, there must be a central hub. If we can reach it, we should be able to find a way to break this formation. Lin Dong lifted his head. His eyes narrowed as he looked to the front and said. The space here is distorted. Can you locate the central hub? Ling Qingzhu knitted her brows. She was similarly aware of this fact. However, this realm had been distorted by the formation. If they randomly roamed around, they would only end up being stuck in this formation forever. I should be able to. If you trust me, you can follow me. After all, it must be fate for us to meet here. Lin Dong smiled. After which, he lifted his foot and walked into the distance. Although the bearings of this space had been shielded by this formation, Lin Dong was still able to rely on the mysterious stone talisman within him to sense an extremely obscure ripple from a certain direction. Ling Qingzhu gazed at Lin Dong's back. She hesitated for a moment before finally following him. This place was quite strange. Hence, she naturally did not wish to give up if there was a way to escape. However, following Lin Dong in this manner felt a little unnatural for her. The two of them journeyed across the bright red land. However, they did not talk much. From a certain point of view, the relationship between the two was a little complicated. This complication clearly caused the two of them to be unable to treat the other party as an ordinary friend. This somewhat silent atmosphere lasted for nearly half an hour. Lin Dong led the way at the front. He relied on the stone talisman in his body to continuously sense the obscure ripple that was being emitted from this strange space. Ling Qingzhu quietly followed behind Lin Dong. Occasionally, her eyes would drift towards the back of the skinny figure in front of her. These five years had caused the latter to undergo quite a dramatic change. How is Lin Langtian currently doing? Ling Qingzhu suddenly spoke after a long silence. Lin Dong's footsteps paused. He turned his head and asked with a faint smile, why do you suddenly ask about him? Ling Qingzhu did not reply. She merely stared at Lin Dong with her clear eyes. She had remembered the high, mighty and indifferent attitude that Lin Langtian had when facing Lin Dong in the ancient tomb at Great Yen Empire five years ago. At that time, it was likely that Lin Langtian would have never imagined that the weak young man whom he looked down on, would have reached this level five years later. He joined the Hundred Empire War together with me. However, he was killed by me at atop the Hundred Empire Mountain. Lin Dong said with a flat voice. I guess you can say that he was someone that you wanted to surpass in the past, right? You are truly persistent. Once you have set a target, you will definitely surpass him. Perhaps I have also become your target after our separation at the mountaintop back then? I truly do not know if I should feel honored or uneasy. Ling Qingzhu spoke in a soft and slow voice. Lin Langtian seriously wounded my father back then and there was a deep enmity between us. You and him are different. Lin Dong frowned and said. Those words that I said to you back then had hurt your pride. Don't you hate me for it? Ling Qingzhu smiled faintly and said. It was the truth, without sufficient strength, emphasizing too much on one's pride will only cause others to mock you. Moreover, at that time, I must have seemed like a toad one in your eyes. Lin Dong shrugged and replied. You do not truly mean what you say. There is quite a great deal of resentment in your words. Ling Qingzhu laughed for a moment. After which, she said, I do not care whether you hate me or not. I will still repeat those words even if I was given another chance. However, I do admire you for reaching this stage within a short five years. The lips under Ling Qingzhu's veil were lifted when she spoke these words. This was because she was clearly aware of the starting point of this young man in front of her. This was the reason why she felt surprised at the latter's current achievements. Otherwise, in her eyes, Lin Dong's rather formidable strength would still be insufficient to command her sincere respect. Of course, even if he really reached such a stage, she would merely smile at him. A woman with her character was just like an impregnable city. Regardless of how much one coveted her and tried, they would only end up defeated. Such a woman was perhaps the most difficult creature in the world to conquer. How rare. You actually know how to admire others. Lin Dong lifted his brows slightly. He watched Ling Qingzhu's pretty face, which was covered by a veil. His mouth teased while a rare joy surged within his heart. Even someone like him was moved by the fact that he was able to make the cool Ling Qingzhu utter such words. Ling Qingzhu laughed faintly. It was likely that someone with her intelligence was naturally aware that the young man in front of her would likely possess some alpha male feelings within his heart when he heard her words. Therefore, she did not give Lin Dong the chance to continue as she faced him with indifference. Lin Dong smiled and withdrew his gaze when he saw this. After which, he narrowed both of his eyes and looked at the distorted space in front. He focused his eyes slightly and said, it seems like we are about to arrive at our destination. Oh. A shocked expression flashed across Ling Qingzhu's face when she heard these words. She lifted her eyes and looked over. 
she appeared to see some vague figures standing in the distant distorted space. The two increased their pace. After a couple of minutes, those black standing figures finally appeared in front of them. It was a rather large stone altar. The altar gave off an ancient feeling. It was likely that it had existed for quite a long time. This place is the central hub of the entire realm. Lin Dong stared at the huge stone altar and softly said. Ling Qingzhu's eyes also looked towards the large stone altar in front of her. Her eyes suddenly shrunk as she said, there's someone there. Her eyes immediately looked towards the other side of the huge stone altar after her voice sounded. Some faint sounds of footsteps were transmitted over from that spot. Soon after, three figures slowly appeared. Finally, they appeared in both her and Lin Dong's sight. It seems like enemies frequently crossing paths. Lin Dong's eyes gradually turned gloomy when he saw the three familiar figures. That was because those three figures were the three little kings of Yuan Gate. The Yuan Tsang trio had clearly seen Lin Dong when the latter discovered them. Immediately, a stunned expression flashed across their faces. Soon after, a sinisterly cold expression and mockery slowly surfaced. In their eyes, Lin Dong had undoubtedly delivered himself to their doorstep. Chapter 780, Confirmation Sha Sha The Yuan Tsang trio slowly appeared from the other side of the altar. In the end, they stopped some distance away from Lin Dong. Yuan Tsang's face was indifferent. Only when he saw Ling Qingzhu beside Lin Dong, did a faint disturbance appear in his eyes. However, soon after, his eyes turned increasingly dark and solemn as he stared at Lin Dong. Lin Dong, it seems like even the heavens do not wish to give you an easy time. How long has it been? To think that you have actually sent yourself directly to our doorstep. Little Thunder King Lei Qian's gaze was filled with bitter resentment as he stared at Lin Dong. His expression was still a little pale, however, it was much better than before. Clearly, he had brought along some extremely effective healing medicine. Little Spirit King Ling Jin gaze was also a little ominous as he stared at Lin Dong. The foldable fan in his hand shook gently. Overall, he looked as though he had come with ill intent. Lin Dong stared at the Yuan Tsang trio as his expression turned a little ugly. Clearly, he had not expected to actually encounter them here. This was definitely not an ideal situation for him. If the Yuan Tsang trio were to join forces, it would definitely be very difficult. Your ability to locate this place has truly taken me by surprise. Yuan Tsang looked at Lin Dong. He did not attack immediately. Instead, he merely spoke in an indifferent voice. They were able to reach this place quickly because they held quite a lot of information related to the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. However, Yuan Tsang did not expect that Lin Dong would actually reach this place soon after they arrived. This is where the central hub that controls this formation is located, right? Lin Dong shrugged. His gaze turned towards that large stone altar as he spoke. Lin Dong's eyes narrowed slightly as he sized up the large stone altar. His finger involuntarily drew past his palm. He could sense that the stone talisman within his body was emitting a strange fluctuation at this moment. This altar. Lin Dong lifted his head and his gaze turned towards the sky above the altar. The space there appeared to be bright red in color. His eyes flickered as though he sensed something. Qing Zhu, how are you? While Lin Dong was observing the area, Yuan Tsang's eyes turned towards Ling Qingzhu as a gentle smile surfaced on his face. Though he was not very handsome, his face had a unique taste to it. When he smiled, it gave one a refreshing feeling. Ling Qingzhu inclined her head. She glanced at Lin Dong beside her and said, Does senior brother Yuan Tsang know where we are now? This is the Burning Sky Array of the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. It is the guardian of the Ancient Stash. Everyone who enters the Ancient Stash will fall into this Burning Sky Array. Huh. However, this burning sky array has yet to be activated. Otherwise, even we will not be able to reach this place. Yuan Tsang spoke smilingly. Burning sky array. Lin Dong's eyes focused slightly. This formation was already so powerful before it had been activated? What if it was activated? Just how powerful would it be then? Currently, everyone who entered the burning sky ancient stash has been trapped in this burning sky array. Don't worry, Qing Zhu. After I take control of the formation, I will ensure that the disciples from Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace will not face any harm. Yuan Tsang laughed. Of course, some creatures that do not know how to appreciate kindness will likely be burnt into ashes in this burning sky array. Lei Qian laughed sinisterly. Lin Dong's expression immediately turned dark and cold when he heard these words. His eyes were maliciously dark as he stared at Yuan Tsang trio and said, If anything happens to my Dao sect disciples, I'm afraid that your Yuan Gate disciples can forget about walking out of this unique devil region alive. Such arrogant words. Even Zhou Tong back then wasn't as arrogant as you. Just who do you think you are? Ling Zhen's eyes turned cold as he laughed chillingly. It is unexpected that you still have the courage to utter such haughty words at this moment, 
Don't tell me that you think that the current you actually possess the qualifications to behave in such an arrogant fashion? A cold smile also surfaced on Yuan Tsang's face as he stared at Lin Dong and mocked. Boss, let's finish off this brat here to prevent any further troubles. Lei Qian laughed sinisterly. His eyes were filled with bitterness and resentment. A chill flickered within Yuan Tsang's eyes. Immediately, he nodded slightly. Now that Lin Dong had coincidentally landed in their laps, it was the best opportunity for them to finish him off. Killing intent surged within Lei Qian and Ling Zhen's eyes when they saw Yuan Tsang nod. Their bodies immediately moved and formed a semicircle formation, surrounding Lin Dong in the process. From the looks of it, they intended to join hands and swiftly finish off Lin Dong. Lin Dong's expression sunk slightly as he watched this scene, while the Yuan power within his body began to circulate. With his current strength, a battle against Lei Qian alone was already difficult. Now that the three little kings of Yuan Gate were going to join forces, regardless of how much confidence he had, he knew that this was not going to be easy. The Yuan Tsang trio floated up in the air. An unusually majestic Yuan power fluctuation slowly swept out as a heavy pressure covered Lin Dong. Lin Dong waved his hand and a demon corpse appeared in front of him. Now that it came to this, it was likely that he had to use his various trump cards. Just as Lin Dong took out his demon corpse and prepared to engage in a massive fight with the three little kings, a fragrant breeze blew from behind him. He was stunned to see Ling Qingzhu suddenly move to stand in front of him. Qingzhu? What does this mean? Yuan Tsang demanded in a deep voice. His eyes changed when he saw Ling Qingzhu standing in front of Lin Dong. Senior brother Yuan Tsang, the reason I was able to come to this place is because Lin Dong was leading the way, hence, I owe him a favor. Therefore, if you wish to attack him now, I am afraid that I will not idly stand by. Ling Qingzhu's veil trembled slightly. Her cool voice appeared to have suppressed even the heat of this place. When that alluring voice was transmitted into Lin Dong's ears, even he was stunned. Clearly, he did not expect that Ling Qingzhu would actually voluntarily step forward. Moreover, her reason for helping him clearly did not possess much conviction. This was because Lin Dong still owed her from five years ago. Yuan Tsang's expression gradually turned unusually dark and solemn. There appeared to be a thunderbolt of fury surging deep within his eyes. Ling Qingzhu had actually stepped forward to protect Lin Dong. This clearly a blow to his usually indifferent self. Ling Zhen and Lei Qian also glanced at Yuan Tsang at this moment. They were clearly aware that the latter fancied Ling Qingzhu. Although there was no progress between the two of them during these two years, Yuan Tsang undoubtedly saw Ling Qingzhu as his woman. Yet, Ling Qingzhu had stepped forward to protect Lin Dong. The two of them exchanged glances before they chuckled coldly. They knew that it might still all right if Ling Qingzhu did not step forward. Now that she did, it was likely that Yuan Tsang would definitely kill Lin Dong. Lin Dong, are you going to hide behind a woman? Yuan Tsang stared at Lin Dong in a dark and solemn manner as he slowly said. Lin Dong's eyes were a little dark. He sighed softly a moment later before he slowly walked past Ling Qingzhu. Ling Qingzhu knitted her brows slightly as she watched Lin Dong walk past her. She spoke in a faint voice, after these five years of training, you should understand the importance of survival even more than I do. Trying to act tough for a moment may salvage your pride, but from the way I see it, it is extremely short-sighted. It is likely that I will have to withdraw the compliment I gave you previously. Lin Dong's footsteps paused. He silently contemplated for a moment before turning around. As he looked at the veiled face, which could cause the downfall of a country, he smilingly replied, didn't you ask me how I was able to reach such a place in merely five years? The answer is very simple. It was because I told myself back then I will only allow a woman to save me once in my life. Additionally, I do not like to act tough. I know how powerful the three of them are. However, you should also know that the current me is also no longer that weak fellow from five years ago. If they want to kill me, the price to pay will be so expensive that they will not be able to afford it. Ling Qingzhu gazed at the young man as a grin appeared on his face. Her pearly white teeth gently bit her lips. The young man from back then was petty and weak. When faced a Ling Lang Tian he could not contend against, he chose to swallow his pride and endure humiliation. Ultimately however, he let reality tell those people that the one who had the final laugh, was the one who was the most successful. The reason why she showed compassion to Lin Dong and gave up on killing this young man, who had disgraced her, was not because she had discovered a stunning potential within him. Neither was it because of pity. The biggest reason was because of the tolerance that this young man displayed when he was unable to contend against Lin Lang Tian. She could see Lin Dong's current success. However, from his words, she could also sense the various bitterness concealed within those years of training. Ling Qingzhu clear eyes drooped slightly as she withdrew the complicated emotions within her eyes. Finally, she shook her head and did not say anything. A price we cannot afford? Are you certain you are not crazy? Yuan Tsang looked down at Lin Dong from high above and sneered. However, Lin Dong merely smiled faintly and nodded in the face of his sneer. His hands were clenched under his sleeve. 
Two grey stone beads had quietly appeared between his slender fingers as an obscure fluctuation that could not be described quietly surged. I am certain, do you want to give it a try? Lin Dong lifted his head, a brilliant smile on his face as he stared at the Yuan Tsang trio. Craziness faintly surged within his smile. Chapter 781, An Unexpected Twist The four individuals faced off in front of the enormous stone altar. Faintly, a taunt and darkly chilling mood flowed all around. The eyes of those four individuals possessed killing intent that was difficult to conceal. Do you guys want to come and give it a try? Yuan Tsang's eyes clearly turned a lot darker and sterner when he heard Lin Dong's words. His eyes stared at Lin Dong. The latter's face did not contain the slightest fear. Instead, there was a kind of madness surfacing on it. This madness caused Yuan Tsang's pupils to shrink slightly. The current him had already withdrew his contempt for Lin Dong. After all, he did not like to fail in the most unexpected places. Although there was no need to fear the strength Lin Dong displayed on the surface, the various incidents earlier had allowed him to understand that one would be a genuine fool if one merely relied on Lin Dong's superficial strength to evaluate him. Although Yuan Tsang did not understand why Lin Dong still dared to fight them head on at this stage, he vaguely felt like Lin Dong was not attempting to do the impossible. Lin Dong definitely had something up his sleeve. The so-called hefty price that he had mentioned might not merely be empty words. Yuan Tsang's eyes flickered. He was not an indecisive person. It was just that he was clearly aware that Lin Dong was not someone who would act tough. Boss? Lei Qian and Ling Zhen watched Yuan Tsang as thoughts rapidly passed through his mind, only to end up being momentarily stunned. They did not expect that the latter would pause because of Lin Dong's words. Boss, no matter how capable this brat is, he cannot oppose the three of us. Don't be intimidated by him. Lei Qian spoke in a dark and gloomy manner. Ling Zhen's eyes flickered a little. He glanced at Lin Dong but did not say anything else. He was clearly aware of Yuan Tsang's character. If the latter did have any concerns, there was no way that he would be intimidated by Lin Dong. Let me control the formation first. Yuan Tsang's eyes slowly withdrew from Lin Dong as he spoke in a faint voice. Lei Qian was immediately outraged when he heard this. He was just about to speak when Yuan Tsang looked at him coldly and spoke and in low voice, Why are you so anxious? Once we control the formation, will he still be able to escape? Lei Qian, wait a little longer. What boss has said is the most foolproof method. You can be the one to decide how to deal with him later. Ling Zhen also opened his mouth to speak. All right. We'll allow him to jump about a little longer. Lei Qian clenched his teeth and nodded. After which, he looked at Lin Dong with a ferocious gaze. Yuan Tsang's expression was indifferent as he stared at Lin Dong. Soon after, his body drifted backwards and landed on the enormous stone altar. He did not like to take risks. Although he did not really believe that Lin Dong had a way to oppose the three of them, he still did not wish to take that risk. Hence, he chose to temporarily suppress his murderous desire. Once he took control of the burning sky array, Lin Dong would definitely be unable to escape death even if he possessed some ultimate trump card. After Yuan Tsang withdrew to the altar, Lei Qian and Ling Zhen hovered into the air, while their eyes were tightly fixed onto Lin Dong. Yuan power surged on their bodies. Clearly, they did not wish for Lin Dong to interfere. You wish to control the burning sky array, huh? Lin Dong seemed to have guessed Yuan Tsang's intention after seeing the latter's action. Strangely however, there was no panic on his face. He appeared as though he was not aware of the predicament he would be in once Yuan Tsang took control of the formation. Do you know the consequences if he takes control of the formation? Ling Qingzhu's eyes looked at the altar and asked in a faint voice. At that time, the lives of everyone who has entered this burning sky ancient stash will be in the palm of his hand. Even if you have some way of escaping, none of your Dao sect disciples will be able to escape. I know. Lin Dong smiled. Ling Qingzhu involuntarily bunched up her eyebrows when she saw his reaction. Then, why are you still so calm? Controlling the burning sky array will indeed mean taking control of the lives of everyone within this array, however, the key thing is, is the burning sky array so easily controlled? Lin Dong laughed softly. This place is the central hub of the burning sky array, and Yuan Gate must have definitely obtained some information. Are you so certain that he will not succeed? Do you plan to use all the lives of your Dao sect disciples as stakes in this gamble? Ling Qingzhu asked. This place is indeed the central hub of the burning sky array. An arc was lifted from the corners of Lin Dong's mouth. He immediately raised his head and looked at the bright red sky before muttering, let's wait and see. He won't succeed. Ling Qingzhu frowned gently. However, she did not continue probing further. She turned her head and turned to look at Yuan Tsang on the altar. At this moment, the latter was continuously emitting vigorous Yuan power light pillars that were poured into the huge stone altar. Bang bang. A deep rumbling sound was suddenly emitted by the large altar following Yuan Tsang's actions. 
Immediately, the enormous stone altar slowly began to tremble. Wave after wave of intense light continued to be emerged from the altar. In the air, Ling Zhen and Lei Qian looked at each other as joy surged within their eyes. From the looks it, it seemed that the information that they had received was correct. One light pillar after another shot out from the top of the altar. These light pillars interweaved with each other, forming an enormous light array. Lin Dong's eyes narrowed slightly when he saw this strange light array. The light array descended and coincidentally wrapped around the altar. However, this scene caused the corners of Lin Dong's eyes to twitch. This was because the light array did not seem to be protecting the altar. Instead, it appeared as though, it was suppressing the altar. Something is not right. Lin Dong stepped back a little and arrived beside Ling Qingzhu as he softly commented. A grave expression had also appeared in Ling Qingzhu's eyes at this moment. She seemed to have sensed something as well. Yuan Tsang's brows frowned slightly as he stood on the altar and watched the light array which had covered the altar. Soon after, he hesitated for a while. After which, he suddenly slammed his palm onto an ancient stone pillar in the middle of the altar. Boom! The stone pillar exploded, and a light pillar immediately scattered. Soon after, the light array that enveloped the altar also suddenly turned much dimmer. Bang! The altar suddenly shook violently when the light array dimmed. Slight cracks appeared on the surrounding bright red land. What is going on? The Ling Jin duo in midair were shocked and they saw this scene. This was not supposed to happen after they took control of the formation. On the altar, Yuan Tsang's expression changed a little. He immediately clenched his teeth and slammed a palm forward, shattering all the light pillars that had shot out from the stone pillar. Bang bang bang. One light pillar after another swiftly disappeared, while the altar also began to tremble with increasing intensity. In the end, a black aura emerged from the cracks. Lin Dong's eyes suddenly shrunk when he saw the black aura, as a shocked expression appeared on his face. This aura were not foreign to him. That was because it was practically the same as the unknown creature that was being suppressed by the Great Desolate Tablet. Those foreign creatures were also being suppressed by this altar. Lin Dong inhaled a breath of cool air. Although the aura here did not appear as frightening as the one suppressed under the Great Desolate Tablet, that level of terror was definitely not something that they could handle. What are they? Lin Qingzhu had also discovered the black aura. Her eyes hardened as she inquired. Things are gonna be a lot more troublesome. Lin Dong's eyes were grim. He suddenly raised his head and looked at Yuan Tsang on the altar as he cried out in a stern voice, You fool! Are you really taking control of the formation? Do you intend to release the beings that are being suppressed by this altar? Ling Zhen's and Lei Qian's expressions were somewhat grim and solemn when they saw the unusual black chi that rose from the ground. This did not seem to be something that should happen after taking control of the formation. It is not up to you to bother about such things. Yuan Tsang's eyes turned dark and cold. Immediately, he looked at the last stone pillar in front of him. Hesitation flashed across his eyes before he finally clenched his teeth ferociously and ruthlessly shattered the last stone pillar. Crack. The light array that covered the altar immediately disappeared when the final light pillar vanished. At the same time, the trembling also came to a halt. The Yuan Tsang trio sighed in relief when the altar stopped shaking. However, just as the sighs left their mouths, they suddenly detected an extremely wild and violent dark chili fluctuation suddenly appear under the altar. Finally, it charged out in a maniacal manner. Bang! The large stone altar exploded at this moment and stone fragments shot out explosively. A monstrous black fog also swept out from the ground. Immediately, an indescribable evilness spread across the sky. These three bastards! Lin Dong's expression was ugly as he gazed at the evil black fog that had broke out of the ground. He could not help but curse. These three bastards had actually released the thing that was being suppressed by the altar. Chapter 782, Cauldron A monstrous black fog swept out from the bottom of the altar and spread outwards. An unusually dark, cold and evil aura scattered around. What is it? Ling Qingzhu's eyes were grave as she watched the black fog spread. The dark cold evilness within it caused her expression to change involuntarily. That evilness was something that she had never encountered before. She was also aware that some special cultivation methods would cause such a fluctuation to appear. Compared to this however, there was an inherent difference. This fluctuation appeared to be completely out of tune with this world. Moreover, it seemed to be attempting to completely remove any form of life in this world. The main culprit behind the ancient Great World War, from the looks of it, it was not completely destroyed back then, and this fellow was sealed here. Currently, it is trying to make use of this opportunity to escape. Lin Dong's eyes were grim as he spoke. The main culprit behind the ancient Great World War. Ling Qingzhu knitted her brows and softly asked, what should we do now? Lin Dong laughed bitterly. How would he know what to do? This creature was not something that they could deal with. What are they planning to do? 
Lin Dong suddenly heard Ling Qingzhu startled voice while he was laughing bitterly. He hurriedly lifted his head and saw the Yuan Sun trio approaching the monstrous black fog. As they approached, majestic Yuan power ferociously swept out from within their bodies. After which, it transformed into a triangular-shaped light curtain that enveloped the black fog. From the looks of it, they were thinking of capturing the black fog creature. Idiots. Lin Dong's expression immediately changed drastically when he saw this scene. He directly grabbed Ling Qingzhu's wrist and suddenly withdrew explosively. While the Lin Dong duo was withdrawing, the triangular light curtain in the sky had already slammed heavily onto the monstrous black fog. TSK TSK, even ants like you actually dare to attack this general? You are indeed despicable creatures. The black fog surged as an unusually deafening strange evil laughter was immediately emitted. The black fog cleared and the three faces of the triangular light curtain, which contained powerful Yuan power, emitted a sizzling sound and disappeared the moment it touched the black fog. It had no effect at all. The Yuan Song trio's expressions underwent some changes when they saw that their attack was completely useless against this strange creature. Soon after, their bodies hurriedly shot backwards. Asterisk sneer asterisk. While they shot backwards, a large hand made of black fog from the black fog creature immediately grabbed at the three of them. Bang bang. Majestic Yuan power hurriedly whistled out when the three of them saw this. However, their attacks were automatically eroded and annihilated the moment they touched the large black fog hand. It looked as if their attacks were completely ineffective against it. Lin Dong, who had withdrawn to a distance, had a cold and indifferent expression as he watched the three miserable figures being attacked by the black fog creature. It was their own fault for getting into this mess. Release your hand. A cold yet soft voice was suddenly emitted from beside Lin Dong. Only then did he discover that he was still tightly grabbing Ling Qingzhu's wrist. Immediately, he let out a soft cough and casually released his hand. This creature seems to be extremely difficult to deal with. Ling Qingzhu gently rubbed at the spot where Lin Dong had forcefully grabbed earlier. Her voice was still cold. However, her eyes no longer looked at Lin Dong when she spoke. There was a slight ripple in her tone. Lin Dong nodded slightly. Immediately, he frowned tightly. Although it was quite pleasing to see the Yuan Sang trio being bullied by the black fog creature, he was also aware that once this thing refocused its attention, it would not let off anyone who was trapped in this place. At that time, it would be impossible for them to stop this creature with their strength. Oh. The eyes of the tightly frowning Lin Dong suddenly became focused as he abruptly raised his head and looked at the bright red sky. An extremely powerful fluctuation had suddenly emerged from that spot. Ling Qingzhu also raised her head when she saw Lin Dong's action. She softly commented, there's a something going on over there. Boom. An extremely melodious gong sound suddenly spread from the bright red sky after her voice sounded out. A bright red ripple began to sweep downwards from the vast sky at a speed visible to the naked eye following the gong sound. As the ripple traveled, Lin Dong immediately discovered that the distortions in the area had actually began to disappear. Soon after, Lin Dong sensed countless powerful auras emerging in this domain. The formation appears to have been lifted. Ling Qingzhu said. Clearly, she had also sensed the emergence of those auras. These auras were likely from those who had entered the burning sky ancient stash with them. Lin Dong nodded, but his eyes fixed onto the sky. The space there fluctuated and became distorted. In the end, an indescribably large cauldron seemed to have appeared, while they, seemed to be within this cauldron. It seems like, we were not trapped in the burning sky array. Instead, we have been trapped in this object's stomach. Lin Dong pointed at the enormous cauldron that had appeared in the distorted space. Soon after, he inhaled a deep breath of air. His eyes were a little shocked. The burning sky ancient stash that they had barged into was actually a cauldron. It should be an extremely powerful pure Yuan treasure. Ling Qingzhu's eyes were grave as she looked at the inner wall of the cauldron within the distorted space and softly commented. Lin Dong's eyes focused. He had seen the heavenly phoenix zither in Ing Huan Huan's hands. Though it was extremely powerful, this cauldron which could actually create its own realm and swallow all of them into it, was clearly even more powerful. Such a treasure should be considered top tier even amongst pure Yuan treasures, right? Boom. At this moment, a monstrous bright red light suddenly swept down from the cauldron that was so large that it seemingly covered the entire realm. Moreover, the direction that it was surging towards was where they were located. The bright red light directly formed an extremely huge light array in the sky when it swept downwards. Soon after, a curtain of light descended and enveloped the black fog creature. Bang bang bang. The black fog struck at the light array. However, it was no longer able to easily break free like before. However, that enormous force still shook the light array until it trembled continuously. This cauldron seems to be controlled by someone. A surprised look involuntarily flashed across Lin Dong's eyes as he spoke after seeing this scene. Ling Qingzhu nodded slightly. Her eyes were filled with surprise. 
It was likely that the strange situations unfolding before her caused even her to have difficulty maintaining a cool and collected state of mind. Damned old ghost Fen Tian. You have already died yet you still continue to linger around. The black fog creature struck wildly against the light array. A deafening sound rumbled and spread over the area. It seems like the light array will not be able to hold for long. Lin Dong watched the light array that was turning increasingly unsteady from the strikes. His heart involuntarily pounded. If this array was broken and that creature broke free, there was no telling just how many people would die. Buzz buzz. While Lin Dong worried, a bright red fluctuation suddenly unfurled in the sky. This ripple had just spread when Lin Dong suddenly sensed a great resistance emitted from the space around him. Immediately, the space behind him began to twist and was actually trying to suck him in. What is going on? Ling Qingzhu asked with a frown because of this scene. Lin Dong's eyes flickered for a moment. He quickly said, do not resist. It seems like the cauldron wants to spit us out. Lin Dong gave up all resistance after his voice sounded out. He allowed the rejection force from the space to pull his body into the distorted space behind him. After which, everything quickly turned dark. This darkness did not last for long before Lin Dong sensed a bright red light shooting into his eyes. His vision was quickly restored. The scene that appeared before his eyes was no longer a crimson land. Instead, it was a bright red mountain range. At this moment, a bright red cauldron that was thousands of feet in size quietly stood in the air above these mountains, while wave after wave of scorching ripples were continuously emitted by it. Lin Dong stared at the bright red cauldron that was suspended in the sky, before he exhaled gently. He knew that the place they had been trapped in earlier should be the stomach of this cauldron that was now before them. Chapter 783, Red Robed Man A fiery aura rose up from the crimson mountains. From a distance, they looked just like burning mountains. An appearance that was extremely dazzling. Lin Dong's gaze was tightly glued onto the enormous cauldron that hovered in the sky above the mountains. The cauldron was bright red and there were images of flames on its surface. The fiery hot ripples that were being continuously emitted by it seemed to intend on incinerating the entire sky. Clearly, this cauldron was the place where Lin Dong and the others were trapped previously. Swoosh. Soon after Lin Dong appeared on this mountain range, Ling Qingzhu and the Yuan Tsang trio also quickly appeared nearby. Subsequently, the surrounding space quickly turned distorted as numerous figures were spat out from the distorted space. Within a short few minutes, the sky above the quiet mountain range were filled with a sea of people. Following the appearance of this sea of people, the place also became much noisier. Quite a number of people were surveying their surroundings with cautious expressions. Some people even had bloodstains on their bodies. From the looks of it, they had quite a hard time in the burning sky array. Lin Dong A joyous voice suddenly appeared from amongst the human figures that spread across the sky. Lin Dong turned his head, only to see a large group of figures rushing over. The ones leading them were Ying Xiao Xiao, Ying Huan Huan and Wang Yan. Are you alright? Lin Dong sighed in relief when he saw that the three of them were fine and hurriedly asked. We're good. This burning sky ancient stash is too strange. Ying Xiao Xiao shook her head. Her face had a grave expression. Clearly, she also had a taste of just how powerful the burning sky array was. Big Brother Lin Dong Another young lady's joyous and melodious voice sounded from the distance. Soon after, Lin Dong saw Qing Tan and Cheng Gui rushing over from the distance. Lin Dong was finally completely relieved when he saw the two of them hurrying over. It was fortunate that everyone was fine. At this moment, the sky was in complete chaos. The members of the various factions hurriedly gathered together. For a time, the noise seemed to be about to overturn the sky. Be careful. Lin Dong watched the chaotic sky. After which, his eyes were thrown towards the enormous cauldron as he softly cautioned. This cauldron might be a treasure but he did not believe that it was able to suppress that unknown creature. If the situation changes later, all of you must leave immediately. Lin Dong reminded. This burning sky ancient stash did not possess numerous treasures as everyone had imagined. Instead, it held a group of demons that would kill everyone. When Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest saw Lin Dong's grave expression, they nodded although they did not understand. Lin Dong, look at that spot. Ying Huan Huan suddenly pursed her lips. Her delicate finger pointed at the tallest mountain in this mountain range. There was lava flowing down from the top of it. It was just like a live volcano. Oh. Lin Dong narrowed his eyes. His sight followed the direction where Ying Huan Huan was pointing towards. A moment later, his eyes suddenly focused. He seemed to have seen a human figure seated in the lava at the mountain peak. There is actually someone here. Lin Dong's expression changed. He focused as he looked over, only to discover an extremely shriveled figure. His body was covered by a bright red robe. Moreover, Lin Dong could not sense any life energy from his body. It looked just like a shriveled corpse. Is he dead? Lin Dong knitted his brows and muttered. 
No. Ng Huan Huan shook her head. An icy blue color flashed across her large eyes as she softly said, it seems, he can still be considered alive. Still, considered alive? Lin Dong was clearly stunned by Ng Huan Huan's strange reply. One was either dead or alive. What did it mean by still considered alive? I am not certain either, however, I can sense that his life force has not completely vanished, moreover, his aura is a little familiar. Ng Huan Huan knitted her brows and contemplated for a moment before explaining. Her last sentence was basically spoken in a whisper. Others might not be able to clearly hear what she had said but Lin Dong could hear some of it. His pupils shrunk slightly. It was naturally impossible for Ng Huan Huan to have met the red-robed person seated in the lava. However, this did not mean that her previous reincarnation had never met him. The so-called familiar feeling was very likely something that her previous reincarnator had given her. She met him before reincarnating her. Boom. While Lin Dong's eyes were focused on the human figure in the lava on the mountain, the cauldron in the sky suddenly began to tremble. A loud collision sound suddenly spread. TSK TSK, old ghost Fen Tian, your broken cauldron cannot suppress this general. A monstrous black fog suddenly spread out from the bright red cauldron while it shook. A piercing and hearty laughter that contained an endlessly sinister feeling swept across the mountain range. The black fog gathered outside the cauldron. One could vaguely see a scarlet light flashing within it, like the eyes of a devil. It caused fear in those who had been looked upon by it. So many ants. The scarlet light swept over the human figures that filled the sky. Soon after, a sinister voice emerged from the black fog. In the next instant, countless black rays of light suddenly shot out. Chi Chi. The black rays of light swiftly penetrated some people who were not able to dodge. Next, everyone were stunned as they watched the bodies of those who were struck begin to gradually wither away. In the end, not even their bones remain as they turned into ashes and scattered. The entire sky immediately became chaotic. Shocked expression surged over everyone's faces. Leave quickly. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath of air and immediately cried out in a deep voice. This unknown creature that had survived since the ancient times was clearly not something that they could match up to. Remaining behind would only be akin to seeking their own deaths. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest hurriedly nodded when they heard this. They could similarly sense a rich danger from the black fog creature. Lin Dong and the rest swiftly pulled back. Numerous black rays rushed past all around them. None of those struck by it could withstand it and were directly reduced to ashes. For a time, ashes drifted over the sky, appearing like a storm of grey. Lin Dong stood at the back of the group. His eyes were extremely cautious as they watched the black rays that shot over from all directions. His pupils suddenly shrunk in the next moment. A black ray of light had finally found its target and shot explosively towards them. Lin Dong's eyes turned grave and uncertain as he watched the black ray that shot towards them. This was because even he did not have the confidence to receive this attack that contained an extremely mysterious energy. However, regardless of how uncertain he felt at this moment, he could not withdraw. This was because Ching Tan, Ying Huan Huan and the rest were behind him. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath of air as majestic Yuan power surged out. However, he was just about to intervene and block the black ray when a figure stood in front of him first. That bouncing jet black ponytail belonged to Ying Huan Huan. You. Lin Dong was clearly greatly shocked by Ying Huan Huan's action. He was just about to berate her when the latter shook her head and softly said, you cannot block that attack. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong was taken aback. It was not because of the words. But the additional trace of the bone-deep icy chill that was present in Ying Huan Huan's voice. This coldness was not something her original self possessed. Swoosh. The black ray arrived like lightning, while an icy blue color gradually surged out from Ying Huan Huan's big eyes. Behind her, Lin Dong watched as her jet black hair started to show signs of turning icy blue. Lin Dong's eyes became focused at this moment. Soon after, he clenched his fist as a black tree trunk flashed and appeared. Clearly, he was planning to immediately take action if something went wrong. At this moment, he no longer had the time to care about whether he could block the strange black ray. Swish. The black ray finally rushed over in the next instant. Finally, it unleashed a ripple of death in front of the eyes of Lin Dong and the rest. Humph. The split second before the black ray could strike Ying Huan Huan, the red-robed human figure seated in the lava on the mountain in the distance suddenly opened his eyes. A flash of light flickered deep within those eyes. Ice. Ice Master. The red-robed human figure raised his head. His eyes looked through space before finally stopping on Ying Huan Huan's figure. An unusually hazy and hoarse voice that was filled with an ancient flavor slowly echoed outwards. Chapter 784, Red Robe vs. Black Fog Swoosh! The black ray suddenly arrived. A frightening sensation of death spread out from it. Even Lin Dong's expression changed drastically at that moment. 
This attack was not something that they could survive. Ing Huan Huan clenched her pearly white teeth. Her jade-like hand landed on the heavenly phoenix zither. However, just as she was about to attempt blocking the attack, the space in front of her suddenly distorted. After which, a red-robed figure suddenly appeared in front of her. He grabbed with his hand and directly shattered the black ray. This sudden and unforeseen event also caused Lin Dong and the rest to be momentarily stunned. Soon after, their eyes looked towards the red-robed figure and their pupils shrunk slightly. This was because Lin Dong discovered that this person was actually the red-robed person seated in the lava. He is actually alive. Cold sweat appeared on Lin Dong's palm. Even he had no choice but to be particularly fearful of these old monsters. The red-robed person's deep-set eyes paused on Ing Huan Huan after blocking the black ray. A somewhat dazed look of pondering flashed across his shriveled face. A long while later, his mouth moved but no voice was emitted. Ing Huan Huan's large eyes looked at the red-robed person who had come to their aid in a strange manner. The most bewildering thing was that her heart did not feel even the least bit afraid when she faced this unknown person from ancient times. Lin Dong extended his hand and pulled Ing Huan Huan behind him while the two were gazing at with each other. He held the black tree trunk in his hand, a cautious look on his face as he cupped his fists together and said, Elder, we have no intentions of disturbing you. We will leave quickly. After having such close contact with the red-robed man, Lin Dong could sense that the latter's aura appeared to be quite strange. It felt as though he was not a living person, but instead more like a half-dead person, as if, it was a different type of demon corpse. However, this person currently appeared to possess some consciousness. The mysterious state of being neither dead nor alive. The red-robed man seemed to have not heard Lin Dong's words. His eyes merely remained focused on Ying Huan Huan. Seeing his appearance, Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest also became nervous and Yuan power quietly surged within them. The red-robed man suddenly gently bent his body towards Ying Huan Huan while all of them were nervous. After which, without saying anything, he turned and left. He stepped through the air and walked towards the black fog creature that was raging in the sky. He. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were stunned when they saw this scene. In the end, they looked at the uncertain expression on Ying Huan Huan's face. Clearly, they did not understand why the red-robed man would treat the latter in such a fashion. Lin Dong's tightly clenched fist relaxed slightly. It seems that the red-robed man was aware of Ying Huan Huan's identity before she had reincarnated. Moreover, from the looks of it, that person's status was likely quite remarkable. Otherwise, this neither dead nor alive red-robed man would not pay her such respect. What is he planning to do? Wang Yan watched the black fog creature and the red-robed person in the sky and could not help but ask. Lin Dong was also observing this scene. From the looks of it, the red-robed man seemed to be intent on attacking the black fog creature. Bang! In the sky, Yuan power as vast as a sea of fire suddenly swept out from within the red-robed man while Lin Dong's group were observing. After which, it directly formed a large fire curtain that enveloped the black fog creature within. Sizzle sizzle. Black rays heavily blasted into the fire curtain. However, it had difficulty obtaining the same unstoppable effect it had earlier. Instead, it was incinerated by the rising flames, as sizzling sounds were emitted. Old ghost from Tian, it has been so many years since we met. To think that you have actually been reduced to such a state, a state where you are neither dead nor alive. TSK TSK. It looks like you have failed the reincarnation tribulation, right? The black fog that permeated the sky surged. The scarlet light within directly locked onto the red-robed man who had arrived and laughed in a sharp voice. The reason I am living like this, is to suppress you. The red-robed man raised his head. His originally dazed eyes had a sharp flicker gathering within them as his hoarse voice slowly sounded. Suppress this general? TSK TSK, you lowly creatures. If it was not because that fellow had ignited his reincarnation and sealed this crack between the worlds, would your world still exist? The black fog wiggled. A sharp voice continued to be emitted. But in the end, we won, this time, I will suppress you again. The red-robed man's tone was rough. Soon after, he beckoned with his hand and the enormous cauldron that was suspended in the sky suddenly whizzed down. A monstrous flame spat out from the mouth of the cauldron and swept towards the black fog creature. TSK TSK, a weak creature like you actually dares to have delusional thoughts of suppressing this general. The black fog also surged out at this moment and directly turned into a 10,000 feet large hand that forcefully scattered the fire pillar that was shooting towards it. Swoosh swoosh. Countless hundreds of feet large fire pillars continuously shot out from within the cauldron at this moment. The flame flowed and swiftly turned into a monstrous fire array. After which, it directly covered the black fog creature. Devil swallowing the world. Scarlet light flickered rapidly as it watched the enormous approaching fire array. Clearly, it had also sensed some danger. In the end, the monstrous black fog spread, while an indescribably dark and cold evilness scattered from within it. Space showed signs of collapsing after being eroded by the black fog. Bang! 
The fire array and the black fog finally violently collided together. Immediately, the entire world seemed to tremble intensely at this moment. Tons of flames and black light swept apart in a crazy manner, flattening several surrounding mountains. Such destructive strength could be described as world shaking. Bang! A large hand of darkness suddenly flew out and slammed heavily onto the bright red cauldron. A loud sound appeared and the enormous cauldron flew backwards before landing on the ground with a loud crashing sound, directly smashing a thousand feet large pit on the ground. TSK TSK, your broken cauldron seems to be weaker than before. A pleased and ear-piercing laughter was emitted from within the black fog after it sent the bright red cauldron flying with a palm. Is that so? The red-robed man replied in a hoarse voice. Red light flowed deep within his eyes. In the next moment, he beckoned with his hand as eight rays of bright red light suddenly shot out from within the cauldron. The light rays gathered in the sky and finally turned into eight bright red light tablets. Lin Dong's eyes immediately hardened when he saw these eight bright red light tablets. This was because he had discovered that they were exactly the same as the bright red light tablet that he had obtained before. Swoosh swoosh. The light tablets shot out and suspended themselves in the skies above eight extremely large volcanoes. The volcano trembled, rumbling as monstrous lava shot out. In the end, eight enormous lava doors were formed in the sky. Eight lava doors hovered the sky. It was obvious that they made up a frightening formation. However, there seemed to be one corner missing at the northeast location. It was obviously not complete. Everyone, leave this place now. Lava danced in the sky. At this moment, even the air itself had become extremely hot. The bodies of some gradually began to become boiling hot, while the hoarse voice of the red-robed man echoed. Buzz buzz. The surrounding space immediately twisted when his voice sounded, transforming into several spatial vortexes. Leave quickly. Countless individuals immediately fled as a swarm when they saw the spatial vortexes appearing. They would undoubtedly die if they even the tiniest bit caught up in a fight of this level. At this moment, they clearly did not harbor any thoughts towards the ancient treasures in the stash. All of you should also leave. Lin Dong tilted his head and spoke solemnly towards Ng Huan Huan and the rest. What about you? Ng Huan Huan seemed to have sensed Lin Dong's intention to stay behind as she hurriedly asked. Don't worry, I will be fine. Wait for me on the outside. Lin Dong swiftly replied. After which, his eyes suddenly hardened. This was because he saw that the Yuan Tsang trio had actually secretly rushed out and fly towards the bright red cauldron that had fallen on the ground in the distance. Those three fellows were actually planning to steal the cauldron. Go! Ying Xiaoxiao also saw the Yuan Tsang trio's actions and her expression changed slightly. All of them had witnessed the might of the cauldron earlier. If this thing was obtained by Yuan Tsang's group, it would be quite dangerous for them. However, she was also aware that she was unable to assist him by remaining behind. Therefore, she acted decisively as she directly pulled in Huan Huan and the rest and quickly jumped into the spatial vortexes. Phew. Lin Dong sighed in relief when he saw Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest leave. After which, his dark gaze shifted. Those three fellows had created such a big mess, yet they were still intent on stealing treasures. They were truly a little too shameless. No matter what, that cauldron must not land in their hands. Chapter 785, Suppression Currently, the entire sky had turned extremely chaotic and numerous spatial vortexes had formed in the sky. Swarms of people flocked to the vortexes with the intent of escaping this place. Besides those who were trying to escape, there were some individuals who were not rushing to take action. Moreover, their gazes were mainly directed at the enormous cauldron that had fallen to the ground, while greed flickered within their eyes. Previously, the red-robed man had used the cauldron to unleash a frightening attack. In their eyes, this object was definitely an extremely powerful pure Yuan treasure. If they could obtain it, their strength would definitely soar. Swoosh swoosh. Rushing wind sounds sounded out in the air. Several human figures were finally unable to control the greed in their hearts. They were the first to rush towards the bright red cauldron in an attempt to seize it. Lin Dong frowned slightly when he saw this scene. However, he was in no hurry to act. The bright red cauldron was a mysterious treasure and it would be a little too comical if it was so easily obtained. Moreover, the red-robed man was the true owner of the cauldron. Although he was still engaged in an intense battle with the black fog creature, he could likely make these greedy fellows suffer with a thought. You are not leaving yet? A beautiful figure flew over from the distance. After which, she glanced at Lin Dong and asked in a surprised manner. Aren't you also still here? Lin Dong smiled at Ling Qingju and said. I am not after the cauldron. I only want to observe the battle here. Ling Qingju spoke indifferently. Soon after, her eyes gazed at the area where the great battle was taking place. If that creature is allowed to escape, it will likely cause a great deal of trouble. Although she did not know exactly what that black fog creature was, she could tell from its aura that it was obviously not a benevolent creature. 
If it was allowed to escape, it was likely that everyone who had entered Unique Devil Region would end up dead. Lin Dong gently nodded his head. He clearly understood that if it was not because these creatures must be eliminated, those experts from the ancient times would not have gathered together to fight them. Lin Dong's eyes turned towards another side of the sky while this thought flashed within his mind. Eight large lava doors had already formed a formation in that area. Bright red lava surged out in all directions, forming a lava curtain that came pouring downwards, an incomparably spectacular scene. Bang bang! Trapped by these huge lava doors, the black fog creature also began to fiercely resist. Wave after wave of monstrous black fog swept out, while an endless dark chill continued to erode and eliminate the hot lava. However, from the looks of it, the black fog creature was also extremely afraid of the large lava doors. Its attacks had become more strenuous, and its sharp mocking laughter was no longer heard. The red-robed man hovered in between the eight large lava doors. His stern gaze was fixed onto the churning black fog below. However, his expression was not relaxed. His eyes would occasionally sweep towards a corner of the large array. In his eyes was a faint worry that could not be detected. Swoosh. At a certain area, over a dozen figures had already landed around the bright red cauldron that had fallen to the ground. Before they could act however, a majestic force came sweeping over and directly sent all of them flying. Yuan Tsung, do not go too overboard. This object does not belong to your Yuan gate. The group of figures which had been sent flying looked in the direction where the force had originated with furious gazes. After which, their expressions changed as they cried out in stern voices. It might not be in the past, but it is now. Lei Qian laughed coldly. Everyone should leave quickly in order to avoid causing trouble for yourselves. Ling Jun smilingly advised. Do it, sever the connection between the cauldron and the red-robed man. He is currently busy with that creature and should not be able to get away from it for the time being. We will snatch the cauldron and leave. Yuan Tsung glanced at the group indifferently. After which, his eyes turned towards the bright red cauldron. A heat that could not be hidden surged within his eyes. Yes. Lei Qian and Ling Zhen hurriedly nodded when they heard this. The three of them made a tossing action with their hands as three horn-like things flew out. They transformed into a light curtain that extended and wrapped around the entire bright red cauldron. A faint sound wave spread out from the light curtain. It was likely that this horn-like objects were also soul treasures. As the light curtain covered the cauldron, the flickering luster on the ladder dimmed. It was as though it had been somewhat isolated from the world. Take it now. The Yuan Tsang trio immediately rejoiced when they saw this. They intended to move the cauldron away. Oh. The three of them were just about to act and the shriveled face of the red-robed man at the large lava doors in the distance suddenly changed. His eyes abruptly shot over. Soon after, fury surged within them. Bang! While the red-robed man was distracted, the originally huddling black fog creature below suddenly unfurled in all directions. This time, the black fog creature clearly narrowed its attacks as it frantically attacked a corner of the large array. The place it attacked was the very spot that was lacking in the great formation. Bang bang! The red-robed man's expression drastically changed when he saw this scene. He clenched his hand and frightening lava light pillars immediately shot out from the eight lava doors. They interweaved with each other and mercilessly shot towards the black fog. Bam bam! The light pillar powerfully smashed into the black fog, immediately causing a mournful sound to emerge. However, the black fog creature did not withdraw. Instead, it endured the heavy blow and charged at the lacking corner of the array. After all, once it left the array, it would regain its freedom. The red-robed man watched the black fog creature as it tried its best to charge out of the formation and hurriedly adjusted his attacks, desperately trying to stop it. He also knew that if the creature was allowed to escape, even he would not be able to trap it again. Nag bang! Wild and ferocious attacks exploded on the monstrous black fog. However, the black fog still continued to swiftly approach the missing corner of the formation. TSK TSK, Old Ghost Fun Tian. Your lava door formation seems to be lacking a door. TSK TSK, it seems like it is fated for this general to escape today. A sharp voice was once again emitted from the black fog when it neared the missing corner of the formation. The red-robed man's shriveled face twitched a little. A thought passed through his mind as he split his focus to activate the cauldron. However, the cauldron on the ground in the distance merely trembled slightly but did not fly over. While he was distracted, his control had clearly been greatly thrown off by the strange soul treasure of Yuan Tsang's group. These bastards. Lin Dong's eyes became somewhat grim as he watched this scene. Did they not know just how much trouble would be caused if this creature was set free? The black fog is about to break out of the formation. Ling Qingzhu suddenly said from beside him. There was an additional trace of anxiety in her voice. Lin Dong's eyes flickered. In the next moment, he suddenly took a step forward. He clenched his hand and a bright red light tablet appeared in front of Ling Qingzhu's stunned eyes. Soon after, Lin Dong's hand jerked as the light tablet whistled out. Elder. 
The red-robed man turned his attention for a moment when he heard Lin Dong's cry. After which, he saw the bright red light tablet rushing over. Immediately, joy and surprise appeared on his shriveled face. The missing formation door has actually been obtained by you. The red-robed man glanced at Lin Dong from far away. After which, he waved his sleeve. The light tablet floated to the space above the final volcano. Immediately, a large lava door was once again formed and completely establishing the Great Array. Bang! The moment the last large lava door was formed, the entire place seemed to have suddenly turned crimson. Monstrous lava shot out, forming a huge lava mountain above the array, while a frightening fluctuation swept out in an uncontrollable manner. It looks like even the heavens do not want you to leave. The red-robed man lowered his head. He watched the black fog creature being forced back by the fluctuation from the enormous lava mountain. A somewhat ugly smile had finally surfaced on his shriveled face. Bastard. A furious voice was finally emitted by the black fog creature after being forced back by the extremely hot fluctuation. Evidently, the sudden and unexpected change had also caught it by surprise. That brat. The scarlet light within the black fog looked in the direction where Lin Dong was located in the distance, while the sound of gnashing teeth faintly echoed. The array was now complete and it was powerful enough to completely suppress it. This time, you will no longer have any chance to escape. The red-robed man looked down at the black fog from high above as his hoarse voice sounded. Soon after, he waved his sleeve and the enormous lava mountain came whistling downwards. Immediately, it pushed down onto the black fog. Sizzle sizzle. The black fog creature struggled with all its might. However, its efforts were like a mantis trying to block a car. The large lava mountain fell, directly shattered space. In the end, countless lava light rays shot out from under the mountain. It was just like a prison that covered the black fog before finally pulling it under the mountain. No. Bang. The large lava mountain suddenly fell amidst the miserable screech. The land crumbled before the lava rapidly cooled and turned into a mountain that flickered with red light. The black fog creature had once again been suppressed. Phew. Lin Dong watched the black fog creature being suppressed and sighed in relief. He shifted his gaze and his expression immediately changed. This was because he saw that the Yuan Tsang trio were already carrying the Crimson Cauldron and fleeing in the direction of a spatial vortex. Humph. However, the moment Lin Dong's expression changed, the red-robed man also turned around. A cold aura immediately covered his face. Chapter 786, Fun Tian The shriveled face of the red-robed man contained some iciness as he looked at the Yuan Tsang trio, who were carrying the bright red cauldron and were about to flee this realm. After which, he extended his hand and suddenly clenched it. Buzz. The crimson cauldron in the distance immediately trembled intensely after he clenched his hand, before a terrifying ripple was emitted. In an instant, the three horn-like soul treasures were shattered in front of the drastically changing expressions of the Yuan Tsang trio. Go! This turn of events caused Yuan Tsang's pupils to shrink. However, he was very decisive and did not harbor any thoughts of resisting. A stern cry sounded as he took the lead and shot towards the spatial vortex. Lei Qian and Ling Zhen, who had ugly expressions, hurriedly followed behind. A red glow flashed deep within the red-robed man's eyes. He waved his sleeve and the enormous cauldron swiftly flew upwards. Subsequently, a fiery red pillar of light shot out. It violently struck at the spatial vortex just as the Yuan Tsang trio were about to enter it. Bang! A wild and violent fluctuation engulfed the trio, as a pale white color instantly surged up their faces and they spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. All of them were frightened to death and none of them dared to stay behind as they used the resulting momentum to escape into the space vortex in an extremely miserable manner. Finally, they disappeared. After he chased away the Yuan Tsang trio with a wave of his palm, his eyes were a little solemn as he surveyed the remaining individuals. Promptly, he fanned his sleeve as a wild gust rose and directly fanned all the remaining people into the spatial vortexes. Lin Dong could not help but grin as he watched all those miserable figures being fanned away. Soon after, he saw the red-robed man's eyes shoot over towards him and Ling Qingzhu. Cough, this young one shall. Lin Dong coughed dryly when he realized the red-robed man was staring at him. He was just about to withdraw obediently when the latter opened his mouth and slowly said, Young one, many thanks to you this time. Lin Dong was momentarily startled. He immediately spread his hands outwards and replied, I was fortunate enough to obtain a piece of Elder's formation. Moreover, if the creature escaped, it will likely bring about quite a great deal of trouble. You know about this creature? A look of surprise clearly flashed across the red-robed man's shriveled face. I had once seen a similar creature that called itself King. Lin Dong said. He was naturally talking about the creature that was being suppressed by the Great Desolate Tablet. King. However, the red-robed man's expression immediately changed somewhat when he heard this word. His body quickly moved and he directly appeared in front of Lin Dong. 
His deep eyes stared intently at the latter. Moments later, he suddenly extended his hand and grabbed Lin Dong's wrist. Lin Dong was also surprised by this action. However, when he thought of the enormous gap between the both of them, he forcefully calmed himself down. This gap was not something that any technique or trick could make up for. The red-robed man grabbed Lin Dong's arm. Soon after, his eyes swiftly flickered. A long while later, he finally relaxed his hand. He stared at Lin Dong, his mouth quivering as he used a voice that only Lin Dong could hear. I never expected, that you actually possess the devouring ancestral symbol and, the ancestral stone. Lin Dong's heart gently trembled for a while. He was not surprised that the devouring ancestral symbol had been discovered by the red-robed man. However, the so-called ancestral stone, could he be referring to the stone talisman? Elder, the ancestral stone, what does it do? Lin Dong hesitated for a moment. He wrapped his voice with Yuan power before transmitting it to the red-robed man. The red-robed man mused for a moment. His eyes suddenly looked towards Ling Qingzhu by the side. Immediately, a cautious expression surfaced in her eyes when she saw this scene. Before waiting for the former to speak, her body floated backwards. I shall take a look around this place. Lin Dong's expression could not help but turn little strange as he watched Ling Qingzhu drifting away. This was because he had remembered their absurd act in the ancient tomb in Great Yan Empire five years ago was also caused by a Nirvana stage expert who had died a long time ago. From the looks of it, Ling Qingzhu was still traumatized by that incident. The red-robed man moved after seeing Ling Qingzhu disappear into the distance. He landed on the mountain peak that had been formed from the lava earlier, while Lin Dong also swiftly followed behind. While I still possess some consciousness, I shall tell you a little. The red-robed man sat down and spoke in a hoarse voice. Elder's consciousness cannot be continuously maintained? Lin Dong frowned and asked. Strictly speaking, I have already died a long time ago. However, I have used some techniques to retain some life chi. Henceforth, I transformed into this living dead state. However, now that this creature has once again been suppressed, my consciousness will soon begin to scatter. If you come to this place in the future, you will perhaps only be able to see a puppet that uses its instinct to guard this mountain. The red-robed man's tone was calm. It was as though he was not afraid of death. Lin Dong felt some respect. The broad-mindedness of these ancient experts were indeed worthy of his respect. Ha! Huh, when faced with true danger, there will always be people who will abandon their numerous grudges. That great world war nearly destroyed the entire world. In the end, only after Lord Symbol Ancestor broke the cycle of reincarnation, did he finally save the world. An ugly smile surfaced on the red-robed man's face as he spoke. Symbol Ancestor? Lin Dong was slightly startled. Just who was this person? To actually command such great respect from this red-robed man. He is the savior of this world. If it was not because he ignited his reincarnation and used his life to seal the crack between the worlds, that great world war might have continued for countless years. The red-robed man faintly smiled. The ancestral stone in your hand is something that Lord Symbol Ancestor left behind. Oh? Lin Dong was somewhat moved. Although he knew that the mysterious stone talisman had an extraordinary background, he never imagined that it would be something left behind by the leader of that great world war, the Symbol Ancestor. During the great world war, the ancestral stone sealed three kings in a row. However, it was eventually wounded severely. Currently, it should be in a dormant state. Whether you can awaken it will depend on fate. The red-robed man slowly said. Lin Dong nodded. At the end of the day, we did not truly win the Great World War back then. At most, we can only say that we managed to save our world by paying a terrible price, these Yimo will not give up. Perhaps, a great battle will erupt in the future. However, we will have to rely on all of you when that time comes. The red-robed man spoke in a hoarse voice. Lin Dong was quiet. It seemed a little too early for the current him to talk about such matters. Our meeting is part of fate. Since you have obtained the Ancestral Stone, perhaps Lord Symbol Ancestor has somehow chosen you, soon, I will lose my mind. Perhaps there are some things that I can give to you." The red-robed man beckoned with his hand. The couple of thousand feet large crimson cauldron rapidly shrunk. Finally, it reached the size of a palm and fell into Lin Dong's hand. This is the Burning Sky Cauldron, my essence Yuan treasure. However, it is likely that I will no longer be able to use it in the future. Although you are unable to unleash its full potential with your current strength, it is still a pretty formidable weapon. Lin Dong was stunned for a while when he saw the Crimson Cauldron slowly drifting to his front. Soon after, he silently nodded. He did not put up an act, but instead, he extended his hand and carefully received it. The red-robed man pondered for a time after handing the cauldron to Lin Dong. Suddenly, he extended his hand. Rich life chi gathered in his palm. Finally, it turned into a dragon eye size pure white pill. An astonishing life chi scattered from within the pill. You should consume it. It will allow your strength to soar significantly. However, the current you is unable to fully consume it. 
most of its medicinal strength will be left within your body. This will likely be quite beneficial towards you. Lin Dong was dazed as he stared at the red-robed man. As the life chi was forcefully squeezed out the from within him, his originally shriveled skin turned much paler. Elder. Lin Dong pursed his lips. Clearly, he was unable to accept these valuable gifts. I believe in the ancestral stone's choice. The red-robed man smiled faintly. Lin Dong was quiet for a moment. Finally, he nodded gently. He respectfully extended his hand and took a dragon eye-like pill from the red-robed man. Lin Dong immediately felt his Yuan power gallop and surge when he received the pill. May I know Elder's name? Lin Dong received the pill and respectfully inquired. I am Fun Tian, others frequently call me Old Ghost Fun Tian. The red-robed man laughed. This young one will always remember Elder Fun Tian's great favor. Lin Dong spoke in a deep voice. Ha, huh, there is no need to remember. This old man only wishes for you to help me with something. The red-robed man said. Elder, please speak. That friend of yours, please take good care of her. The red-robed man spoke in a hoarse voice. Lin Dong's eyes flickered for a while. He naturally understood that the red-robed man was referring to Ying Huanhuan. Elder and her, were both of you acquainted in the past? Lin Dong hesitated for a moment. I have received pointers from Milady. The red-robed man laughed. He continued, it looks like Milady has successfully passed the reincarnation. Ha, huh, she is indeed the disciple that Lord Symbol Ancestor values the most. Lin Dong's heart trembled for a while. Soon after, he solemnly cupped his hands together. Elder can be rest assured that I will protect her. I will thank you then. The red-robed man smiled a little. Immediately, a worn-out expression surged onto his face. Both of his eyes also began to slowly shut. Elder, is there any way to save you? Lin Dong hurriedly asked when he saw this scene. The red-robed man's eyes were kind. He appeared to smile. After which, both of his eyes slowly shut completely. Subsequently, a hoarse voice was transmitted into Lin Dong's ears. Once you have comprehended reincarnation, return to this place. Chapter 787, Absorbing A complicated expression appeared in Lin Dong's eyes as he watched the red-robed man. The red-robed man whose eyes were now tightly shutting while seated like a statue. He could feel that the man's life force had already been thoroughly depleted. The current him was truly dead. Perhaps, not long from now, he might open his eyes once again. However, at that time, he would turn into a puppet, one that would defend this place due to the will left in his heart. Lin Dong will carve Elder's kindness into his heart. Lin Dong straightened his body before respectfully bowing towards the red-robed man in front of him. Even if the latter had not given him so many gifts, just his actions alone were enough to win Lin Dong's deep respect and admiration. Perhaps, only those elders who had experienced the great calamity in the distant past would be able to sacrifice their lives for such a noble cause. Lin Dong looked at the pill within his hand that looked like a dragon's eye. Contemplation flashed within his eyes, before he sat down. As of now, it was safe within this ancient stash, and this was the best place to digest and absorb the pill. Let's absorb it here then. After pondering for a short while, Lin Dong did not hesitate anymore as he gently placed the dragonite-sized pill into his mouth. Bang! After the pill entered his mouth, Lin Dong's face instantly turned beet red. He could feel an abnormal, boundless and vigorous Yuan power erupting within his body. Chi Chi. Green light rapidly surged out from Lin Dong's body before his entire body started to rapidly dragonize, in hopes of resisting the battering force of the boundless Yuan power from the pill. Furthermore, green scales started to appear on his meridians and bones, continuously strengthening his internals. Despite this, Lin Dong could still feel the waves of throbbing and ripping pain originating from within his body. Under the impact of the battering Yuan power, minute creaking and cracking sounds could be heard from his meridians. Who? Lin Dong breathed out deeply. With a thought, the demonic corpse appeared in front of him, before a golden light beam shot out from it and tunneled into Lin Dong's body. At such a time, it was obvious that Lin Dong did not dare to split up the power of his Yuan spirit. If not, his situation would become dire should a hiccup occur. Following the return of the portion of his Yuan spirit, the palm-sized Yuan spirit shade within his Dantian turned a little more corporeal. It beckoned with a tiny hand as the devouring ancestral symbol appeared, accompanied by the sudden eruption of overbearing devouring force. Bang bang. Boundless Yuan power akin to surging tides whizzed throughout Lin Dong's limbs and bones as a fiery sensation started to rise from within him. Like steam, it started to pervade the entirety of Lin Dong's body. The surging Yuan power circulated throughout his meridians before finally pooling towards the devouring ancestral symbol within his Dantian. Gurgle. 
Following the insurge of boundless Yuan power, the black hole formed from the devouring ancestral symbol started to increase its revolution speed. In the next moment, drop after drop of exceptionally pure Yuan power liquid started to bubble out of the ancestral symbol before dripping onto the Yuan spirit shade seated on the dragon Yuan wheel. Chi Chi As the exceptionally pure Yuan power liquid came into contact with the Yuan spirit shade, faint white mist emerged, which rapidly fused with the shade. As the boundless irrigation continued, the palm-sized Yuan spirit shade gradually started to turn even more corporeal. At the same time, the dragon Yuan will below it started to emit a faint golden glow as it absorbed those drops of liquid that had fallen onto it. Immediately, the edge of its blade became even more formidable and sharp. Meanwhile, in another part of Lin Dong's body, a cluster of white light was continuously blossoming with a warm glow. This place was the origin of the boundless Yuan power. An astonishing amount of Yuan power unceasing bubbled forth from here like an unending ocean. Within the cluster of light was the dragon eye sized milky white pill. As it whirled and spun, boundless Yuan power rapidly gushed forth from within it. This pill was created from the condensation of the last bit of life force within Fen Tian's body. Although there was already not much life force within his body at that time, with his strength, just a single sliver was considered as boundless as the vast oceans that the current Lin Dong. If the Yuan power within this pill was to be completely released, even with the Green Heaven materialized dragon skill, it was enough to cause him to explode several times over. Of course, the most important point was that this pill did not have the slightest trace of rejection towards Lin Dong. Perhaps this was deliberately done by old man Fen Tian, as it appeared extremely gentle and did not release its Yuan power in a berserk fashion which would cause problems for Lin Dong. This was only discovered by Lin Dong while he was absorbing it, causing the appreciation that he had for Fen Tian to rise to another level. In the future, if he was truly able to reach the reincarnation stage, he would definitely try to rescue and reawaken old man Fen Tian. Huff. A soft sound of aspiration rang out within Lin Dong's mind before he started to focus all his attention on absorbing the boundless Yuan power. Under this endless devouring, the Yuan spirit shade within his Dantian turned all the more corporeal. Compared to how superficial it was in the past, it was obviously much stronger. As the Yuan spirit gradually turned more corporeal, Lin Dong could sense that his strength was violently surging at an extremely delightful rate. In this fully concentrated condition, five days passed in the blink of an eye. A youth sat quietly atop a cliff. Majestic undulations continuously rippled from his body, crushing and shattering the rocks around him. In front of the youth was a pure and cold lady. At this time, her long and narrow pupils were quietly watching the youth that was in the middle of his training. Under her veiled face, some indescribable emotions flashed past. He has truly changed. Ling Qingzhu muttered to herself. Although she had habitually kept up her quiet and cold nature when facing Lin Dong, now that no one was around, she revealed some of her emotions. Perhaps there was no woman out there that could truly remain as tranquil as a lake when faced with the man that had taken her virginity. Even for someone like Lin Qingzhu. Ling Qingzhu's jade-like hands gently touched her bright and clean face that was akin to jade. Traces of recollection appeared in her eyes as she stared at the young man's face. The face from five years ago, the face of the immature but obviously headstrong youth, faintly started to overlap with the one before her. The current him no longer needed to look up at her. He was no longer the young wolf that was attempting to run on the path of the strong. Now, he was a goshawk, one that had just started to spread its wings and fly, one whose name would eventually resound across the entire universe. The youth from back then had finally reached this step. In response to this, a faint smile surfaced on Ling Qingzhu's face. She knew that this was truly an impressive feat. Eh. While Lin Qingzhu was smiling faintly, a sudden change happened to her face as she raised her head. She immediately saw that the closed eyes of the youth before her had unknowingly opened and was firmly staring at her. As their eyes met, it was obvious that Ling Qingzhu was caught somewhat unprepared, which led her to be in a daze in response to Lin Dong's suddenly opened eyes. As their eyes met, a smile suddenly appeared on Lin Dong's face. While Ling Qingzhu was still in a daze, he extended his hand and pulled off the veil covering her face. As the veil slid off, a soul-stirringly beautiful face appeared before Lin Dong's eyes. The beauty that could cause the downfall of nations caused a look of admiration and breathlessness to appear on Lin Dong's face. You. Only after her veil was torn off, did Ling Qingzhu regain her senses. Those tranquil eyes that were akin to a lake finally lost their tranquility and calmness, as an embarrassed and angry look appeared on her face, while she hurriedly retreated. Truly beautiful. Lin Dong raised his head and looked towards the blushing lady under the illumination of the sunlight. At this moment, she was fairy that had descended from the heavens, a sight that was all the more alluring and beautiful. Chapter 788, 8 Yuan Nirvana Stage The slim lady's cheeks were flushed due to blushing, while her eyes which were originally as calm as amber were now filled with embarrassment and anger. This rarely seen appearance of hers was extremely soul-stirring. You. Ashamed and angry, Ling Qingzhu stared at Lin Dong. 
It was obvious that she was somewhat unable to believe that he would actually be so audacious. After being stared at by Ling Qingzhu in such a manner, Ling Dong finally regained his senses, and could not help but feel extremely awkward. His previous action was rather quick and he did not put much thought into it. Only after he tore off Ling Qingzhu's veil, did he finally realize what he had done. However, it was obvious that no explanation would be of any use in this situation. Therefore, Lin Dong could only release a dry laugh. The embarrassment and anger on Ling Qingzhu's face did not last for long. Her willpower was indeed extraordinary, as even in such a situation, she quickly stabilized her mood. Sending a furious glare at Lin Dong, she took back her veil and covered her soul-stirringly beautiful face once again. If you do this again, don't think about keeping your hand. After covering her face with the veil, Ling Qingzhu shot a look at Lin Dong and said with a clear and cold voice. Lin Dong grinned and laughed. He knew that if another person had tore off Ling Qingzhu's veil, she would have likely immediately drawn her sword and attacked. Furthermore, her response let him know that the position he had in her heart was somewhat different from the rest. Of course, this did not mean that Ling Qingzhu fancied him. Lin Dong was no fool and he knew that his charm was not that formidable. Although he was pretty talented, he was not overly dazzling in the eyes of Ling Qingzhu, who was already used to meeting various monsters and geniuses. A large part of this was likely due to the incident that had occurred back then. Other than that, perhaps the changes that occurred to Lin Dong over the past few years had also caused Ling Qingzhu to feel somewhat astonished. As she gazed at the smile on Lin Dong's face, Ling Qingzhu gently clenched her pearly white teeth. Just as she was about to speak, she discovered a berserk fluctuation suddenly unfurl from Lin Dong's body. Nirvana Tribulation When she sensed the familiar fluctuation, Ling Qingzhu was startled for a second, before looking at Lin Dong with a peculiar glint in her eyes. It seems like this fellow had gained quite a bit during this five days of seclusion. Has it finally arrived? When the fluctuation emerged from within his body, a radiant smile appeared on Lin Dong's face. Soon after, he took in a deep breath and closed his eyes once again. Green light sparkled continuously on the surface of his body. Indistinctly, a deep muffled roar rang out from his body. This time around, Lin Dong closed his eye for approximately half an hour. Under the attentive gaze of Lin Qingzhu, Lin Dong opened his eyes again. At this moment, there were small beads of perspiration on his forehead. It's done said Lin Dong as he smiled towards Ling Qingzhu. Oh. Ling Qingzhu faintly nodded her head as she diverted her gaze from Lin Dong's body, while secretly feeling quite amazed. This was the eighth Nirvana tribulation and was definitely not a weak one. When she had passed it previously, she had used quite a bit of time. Furthermore, she was nowhere as relaxed as Lin Dong had been. Finally at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. Muttered Lin Dong as he stood up. As he clenched his fists, he felt the surging power within his body, causing a happy expression that was hard to conceal to appear in his eyes. The life chi pill from Tian had given him was indeed extremely beneficial to him. Furthermore, after this breakthrough, he could still feel that the life chi pill existence within his body. The current him was unable to absorb the boundless power within it. Looks like you have received most of the benefits from this trip to the Burn Sky Ancient Stash, said Ling Qingzhu as her eyes swept across Lin Dong. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong could not resist and broke out into laughter. It was true after all. Before this, he had heard that the Burning Sky Ancient Stash contained numerous treasures. However, only after entering did he realize that not only were there scarcely any treasures, there was instead a huge problem inside. After escaping from the Burning Sky Array with great difficulty, he encountered the Black Fog creature that had been set free. Some unlucky fellows had even lost their lives because of this. However, after paying such a huge price, everyone who entered had to leave empty-handed and were even forced to flee in a miserable manner. At the end of the day, the only one that seemed to have truly profited was Lin Dong. Everyone else could only leave dejected and depressed. How long did I cultivate? asked Lin Dong after turning his head around. Five days. Five days huh? muttered Lin Dong as he slowly nodded his head. His gaze turned towards Ling Qingzhu as he smiled and said, why didn't you leave first? For these five days, Ling Qingzhu had evidently stayed nearby. She could have left this place earlier, and continue leading the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace disciples instead of wasting her time here. There are quite a few artifacts left from ancient times here. I merely wanted to explore, replied Ling Qingzhu in an indifferent tone as she turned her gaze away. Oh! said Lin Dong with a chuckle. He did not probe any deeper. As his laugh faded, it was followed by another word, thanks. Although the two of them did not talk about it, Lin Dong knew that Ling Qingzhu had stayed behind because she had the intention of protecting him. Although he would not be disturbed in this place, Lin Dong felt slightly touched by her actions. Ling Qingzhu declined to comment and replied, If your cultivation is done, let's get going. Lin Dong nodded his head and stood up. Soon after, his gaze was cast towards Fen Tian, who was sitting like a stone statue, and gave a respectful bow towards him. 
Elder Fantian, if this young one is able to reach the level you spoke of, I will definitely save and awaken you. As soon as he spoke those words, Lin Dong no longer hesitated. With a turn, he shot off and flew towards the spatial vortex that was still present in the distant sky. Ling Qingzhu shot a glance at Fen Tian, who had lost all his life force, as a pensive look flashed past her eyes. Soon after, she moved and caught up to Lin Dong before the both of them shot into the spatial vortex at the same time and rapidly disappeared. Following the departure of the two, the Crimson Mountain Range fell into silence once again. A desolate and ancient feeling stealthily pervaded the air. In the end, it enveloped the entire domain. Within the Crimson Basin, a patch of space suddenly distorted before transforming into a spatial vortex. Two figures stepped out one after another and proceeded to fly away. Lin Dong floated in mid-air while sweeping his gaze across the basin. The vast crowd that was originally here was now no longer present. Looking as far as his eye could see, there were only a few people present, a far cry from the explosive atmosphere that had once filled this place. Looks like everyone has left. After observing this scene, Lin Dong could not help but to smile and remark. Yes. There is still over half a month's worth of journey from here to the unique devil region. Most likely, the disciples of the various sects would have started training again, replied Ling Qingzhu as she nodded her head. Shouldn't you head back to take charge of the situation? asked Lin Dong. Wu Kun has some leadership capabilities and he should be able to handle it, while Su Ro is not weak as well. As long as they do not meet with too great a trouble, they should be alright, replied Ling Qingzhu indifferently. I should be directing this question at you instead. Your Dao sect has a deep grudge with Yuan Gate. Aren't you afraid that Yuan Gate will take action against your Dao sect when you're not around? I believe that Qing Tan and Chen Gui should be following senior sister Xiao Xiao and the rest. With Chen Gui around, Yuan Tsang would be somewhat restrained. He will likely not act until the final moment. After all, the deeper areas of Unique Devil Region are rather dangerous. If they meet with a formidable demon by chance, it would also be a huge headache for them, replied Lin Dong. Naturally, for safety's sake, it's best to return to the group. Lin Dong smiled before waving his hand at Ling Qingzhu and asked, Shall we go together? Upon hearing his words Ling Qingzhu slowly shook her head, before shooting a look at another direction within the deeper regions of Unique Devil Region and replied, You go ahead, I still have something that I need to do. That direction, is the area with the highest concentration of demons within Unique Devil Region. Why do you need to go there? Lin Dong gazed at the direction Ling Qingzhu had indicated. His eyebrows involuntarily furrowed as he asked. According to the information that I've acquired from an ancient text, there is a Supreme Purity Celestial Pond in the depths of Unique Devil Region. It was left behind by a powerful practitioner from ancient times. Ling Qingzhu hesitated for a while before saying in a soft voice, I've trained in the Nine Heaven Celestial Arts of the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace. This martial art is excessively fearsome, which caused me to injure my meridians and internal organs after an accident during my training. Therefore, I need the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond to heal my injuries as well as to counterbalance the residual effects of the Nine Heaven Celestial Arts. Lin Dong was stunned. He had obviously not realized that Ling Qingzhu was actually suffering from internal injuries. Why not bring along the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace disciples? It will not be an easy journey, asked Lin Dong with a frown. It is exactly because it will not be easy. Even if I bring them along, they would be of no use, and it would instead cause more unnecessary injuries and deaths, replied Ling Qingzhu indifferently. Soon after, she did not elaborate any further and the green lotus appeared beneath her jade-like feet. Let's separate here. We'll meet again at the teleportation array at the exit. Take care. As her words faded, Ling Qingzhu did not hesitate and immediately transformed into a green ray of light that shot towards the horizon. Moments later, the green ray of light suddenly stopped. She turned her head in astonishment, and noticed a thin youth following closely behind her. A radiant smile had surfaced on his youthful face. It doesn't seem gentlemanly to let a girl go to such a place by herself. Therefore, let's go together. I might as well take the opportunity to repay your favor. The youth looked towards Ling Qingzhu who wore an astonished expression on her face. He spread out his hands in a carefree manner and smiled. Chapter 789, Supreme Purity Celestial Pond Darkness covered the inner areas of Unique Devil Region. Occasionally, dusky rays of lights would shine through, however, they would be devoured by the darkness in the blink of an eye. From time to time, brutal roars could be heard resounding in the distance, echoing endlessly across the land. Swoosh! Two rays of lights flew rapidly through the air at low altitude. Their vigilant gazes continuously scanned the surroundings while vigorous Yuan power surrounded their bodies. These two figures were Lin Dong and Ling Qingzhu, who had left the Burning Sky Ancient stash together three days ago. Their goal was naturally the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond at the depths of Unique Devil Region. Ling Qingzhu was clearly somewhat astonished that Lin Dong had followed her that day. 
In the beginning, she obviously wanted to reject him. She was noble, arrogant and aloof, hence she did not like to owe others favors, especially when this person would be Lin Dong. Her noble and arrogant nature made it even more difficult for her to accept this. However, in the end, after seeing the radiant smile on the youth's face, an indescribable feeling rose from her heart. The rejection hanging on her lips was slowly swallowed back. Her character was cold, distant and proud. When communicating with others on a daily basis, she was cold yet noble. However this cold and noble demeanor was always somewhat different when she faced Lin Dong. Although this difference might be minute and subtle, the fact was that it existed. The origin of this minute difference was evidently the unclear and complicated relationship between the two of them. We've already entered the depths of unique devil region. The demons here are all extremely formidable. In addition, although these demons are troublesome, we still have to be wary about others as sunlight flirted past, Ling Qingzhu gazed into the distance for a while, before tilting her head and talking to Lin Dong. Others, hearing this, Lin Dong was stumped for a moment. He was evidently slightly shocked, disciples from the other sects have come here as well. Not the disciples of the other sects. Ling Qingzhu shaked her head and continued, there are quite a few treasure seekers within the depths of unique devil region. Anyone who can reach this place is absolutely no pushover. They can be considered experts even within the entire eastern Xi'an region. These people are overwhelmingly powerful, and it would hardly be a surprise if some of them have already reached the profound life stage. Additionally, these people will not hesitate to attack super sect disciples if there are treasures or ample enough benefits. Profound life stage Lin Dong's pupils contracted a little. Looks like those outside would not be able to compare to these people in the deeper areas of unique devil region. Even amongst the super sects, profound life stage experts would possess rather remarkable statuses. In unique devil region, the amount of rejection one faces will increase with one's strength. However, the rejection force faced by those of the profound life stage is not overly unbearable. However, us and them have always minded our own businesses, and they will not interfere in the great sect competition. However, this place is basically not encompassed by the great sect competition. Therefore, we have to be careful. Ling Qingzhu softly explained. Lin Dong slowly nodded his head. People who were able to survive in such an environment would not be easy to deal with. If they were to be attacked, it would truly become quite thorny and problematic. There's still half a day before we reach the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. It's situated in a rather hidden location and should not be discovered so easily. In addition, the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond will only appear once every month. From what I've calculated, it should make its appearance today. Therefore, we have to increase our speed such that someone else does not reach it first. Although that place is rather hidden. Lin Dong nodded his head again. Just as he was able to say something, his eyes suddenly focused on a particular spot in the distance. An extremely violent and wild fluctuation radiated out from that spot. That is. Faintly narrowing his eyes, Lin Dong saw that the origin of that wild and violent fluctuation was an extremely gigantic demon. Currently, a figure was floating in the air before it. Extremely swift and fierce attacks were pouring down on the demon like a rainstorm, completely suppressing it till it was unable to move a single inch. Such strength. Upon seeing this scene play out, astonishment flashed past Lin Dong's eyes. This demon possessed the strength of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage, however, that person was able to completely suppress it. From the looks of it, his strength should have at least reached the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. That's a treasure seeker who has come to the deeper areas of Unique Devil region. Let's go, do not converse with him. It is taboo to do so in this place, said Ling Qingzhu while shooting a look at the distance. Lin Dong nodded his head. Without reducing their speed, the two of them took a detour and went around the far-off battlefield. Bang! While they were taking a detour, the demon collapsed onto the ground with a loud bang. It had been killed by a middle-aged man with red hair. His gaze was filled with vigilance as it turned towards Lin Dong and Ling Qingzhu. Following which, the middle-aged man dug an object out of the demon's body and quickly stashed it before swiftly retreating. His vigilance is remarkable. Upon seeing the man's reaction, Lin Dong faintly smiled on the surface, while he secretly turned somewhat solemn. The man who had just retreated had a fiendish aura. It was clear that he was a man who constantly lived on a knife's edge. Such a person was the hardest to deal with. If all the treasure seekers within the deeper areas of Unique Devil region were the same, it would truly be a headache should a conflict erupt. The duo looked to each other. Both of them could sense the graveness within the other party's eyes. With a shift of their bodies, they increased their speed and shot off towards the distance. Although their destination was only half a day away, they met quite a few demons along the way. By the time the two of them had arrived at their destination, it was already long past the half-a-day estimate. This is the place. Ling Qingzhu extended her slender and jade-like fingers and pointed at a mountain range that appeared from within the darkness. Her usually noble and aloof self silently released a sigh of relief. Looking up, Lin Dong was barely able to make out the mountain range faintly in the darkness. From a distance, it looked like an ancient pitch-black beast creeping along the ground. 
one could faintly hear the brutal roars of demons resounding out from the mountain range. Let's go. Lin Dong said with a smile. Restrain your presence as much as possible, there are quite a number of demons here. If we're besieged, we can only flee, reminded Ling Qingzhu. Yes. Only after seeing Lin Dong nod his head, did Ling Qingzhu breathe out softly. The green lotus below her feet started to dissipate before the Yuan power glow retreated into her body. After doing this, the two of them stealthily headed towards the gigantic mountain range. Chi. Afraid to disturb the demons within the mountain range, the two of them had substantially lowered their speed. Ear-splitting roars brimming with brutality would emerge from various locations from time to time. Lin Dong followed half a step behind Ling Qingzhu. His mental energy was already thoroughly released as he tried to keep track of the minute traces of activity within the surrounding darkness. Be careful. Suddenly, the mental energy that was sweeping out undulated. Lin Dong's eyes focused as he suddenly grabbed Ling Qingzhu's wrists, while his gaze was locked onto a particular spot to his front. A pitch-black panther with wings was hibernating on the ground. From a distance, it appeared to be a black rock. With the aid of the demonic energy that pervaded the entire unique devil region, these demons were evidently able to conceal themselves perfectly. So much so that even Ling Qingzhu had been unable to sense the panther previously. Yes. Ling Qingzhu nodded her head slightly. In the dusky environment, a pair of bright and clear eyes shot a look at Lin Dong. Noticing her gaze, he smiled and released his hand, before seemingly talking to himself, such a pleasant sensation. Although Lin Dong's voice was very soft, it still traveled into Ling Qingzhu's ears. A trace of embarrassment and anger instantly flashed within her eyes. Next, she gently inhaled and her chest rose up and down. Ignoring Lin Dong, she continued on, making a detour around the winged demonic panther as she shot deeper into the mountain range. As Lin Dong gazed at the beautiful figure that appeared extremely graceful and alluring in the dusky sky, he could not help but give a bitter laugh. Usually, it was still manageable. However, every time he saw Ling Qingzhu's noble yet frigid face, he could not resist the urge to say something that would make her break that facade. This thought had a somewhat evil tendency. While he bitterly laughed, Lin Dong swiftly caught up to Ling Qingzhu once again. The two of them cautiously traveled within the mountain range and took a fairly strange route. After approximately half an hour, the dusky sky in front of them suddenly grew much brighter, as a valley appeared within their sights. Lin Dong was able to feel an extremely boundless energy fluctuation originating from the valley. Like specters, the two of them flew towards the cliff wall of the valley. From there, they looked into the valley and spotted a pond sparkling with rainbow lights within the depths of the valley, causing the entire valley to appear extremely splendid and magnificent under its illumination. That is the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. Ling Qingzhu gazed at the rainbow pond as a soul-stirringly beautiful smile of relief finally appeared on her face. Chapter 790, The Yang Brothers From atop the valley, Lin Dong gazed into the valley before focusing on the rainbow pond. Astonishment flashed within his eyes. Evidently, he never imagined that there would actually be such pure energy within the demonic energy-filled unique devil region. It is said that a powerful practitioner from ancient times had died here. The practitioner's bones sunk into the land and prevented the demonic energy's encroachment. At the same time, this supreme purity celestial pond was formed. Ling Qingzhu's soft voice rang out from the side. There is a demon guarding this place and it is very powerful, as he shifted his gaze towards the front of the supreme purity celestial pond. Entrenched on the dark ground was a gigantic black monster snake. This snake had three heads and its fierce and sharp fangs glistened with a cold glint. Saliva dripped from them, corroding the rocks below them. From the body of the three-headed monster snake, Lin Dong was able to feel an extremely malevolent energy fluctuation. According to his estimates, the strength of this monster snake was perhaps not the least bit weaker than Lei Qian, who was half a step into the profound life stage. This thing is rather hard to deal with. However, on the bright side, these demons are not intelligent and only know how to instinctively hunt and kill. This makes it easy to lure them away. Lin Dong muttered. Yes. Ling Qingzhu nodded her head. She knew that tangling with a demon that was not afraid to die would only lead to trouble. If it was not thoroughly dealt with, it would never give up. With a wave of his sleeve, the demon corpse appeared in a flash. Just as he was about to control it to lure away the monster snake in the valley, he suddenly frowned and shot a look towards the darkness behind him from the corner of his eye. What is it? Sensing Lin Dong's change, Ling Qingzhu could not help but ask. Nothing. After hesitating for a while, Lin Dong shook his head. With a thought, the demon corpse shot out. A fist blasted forward, bringing along a swift and fierce force as it violently smashed into the body of the monster snake. Bang! A deep sound rang out. The originally hibernating monster snake suddenly opened its scarlet eyes, before furious hisses emerged from the three snake heads. Following which, a black ray of light which contained an intense aura of corrosion shot towards the demon corpse. 
The demon corpse dodged in midair, completely evading the black ray. Turning around, it proceeded to flee the valley. Hiss. In response to the fleeing demon corpse, the monster snake roared furiously towards the sky. It was obvious that it was not intelligent enough to think. Directly relying on its instinctive rage, it waved its tail and gave chase to the demon corpse in a flash. Rumbling noises rapidly resounded from the valley before fading in the distance. It settled. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong smiled and clapped his hands. Nodding his head towards Ling Qingzhu, the two continued forwards and descended to the edge of the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. Bending down, Ling Qingzhu extended her hand into the water. As she felt the special energies that permeated the water, a joyous expression flashed across her face. Could you, help me guard the valley entrance for some time, asked Ling Qingzhu. Raising her head, a bashful expression which had an utmost flavor of a delicate girl flashed past those clear and pure eyes. Eh, all right. Lin Dong gawked. After understanding her reason, Lin Dong laughed dryly before turning around and heading off. As she watched the Lin Dong's leaving figure, Ling Qingzhu gave a gentle sigh of relief. She removed her veil, and was just about to remove her clothes and enter the pond when a hand suddenly extended from behind her, preventing her from continuing. You. This sudden turn of events caused Ling Qingzhu to be alarmed. She hurriedly turned her body, and saw Lin Dong who had circled and returned. Instantly, an angry scowl appeared on her beautiful face. We're being targeted without waiting for Ling Qingzhu to vent her anger, Lin Dong slowly said. His eyes were focused on the darkness outside the valley. What? After hearing these words, Ling Qingzhu immediately knitted her eyebrows. An indistinct cold glint started to flow within her her clear pupils. After sneakily following us for so long, it should be time for the two of you to reveal yourselves right? As he stared at the darkness in the distance, Lin Dong said in a deep voice. At the beginning, he had faintly felt that something was wrong. This feeling was extremely minute to the point where he assumed it to be a misconception. However, just as Ling Qingzhu was about to remove her clothes and enter the pond, he was finally able to sense those very faint presences in the distant darkness. Since you don't want to reveal yourselves, I can only force you out. Lin Dong gazed at the still peaceful darkness before him, as a cold glint flashed past his eyes. Bending his palm, green light condensed to form two razor-sharp scales, that transformed into green flashes as they shot out explosively. Clang clang. The scales shot into the darkness, and a clear ringing sound resounded out immediately. Sparks erupted, as the foliage of the dark forest shook. In the next instant, two figures shot out under Lin Dong and Ling Qingzhu's cold gazes. He <laughs> he, this brat is quite sharp at the entrance of the valley, the two men looked down from above at them and said with a strange smile. Lin Dong's gaze turning extremely gloomy as he stared at the two men before him. Both of them were wearing black robes, while their appearances had some similarities. It would appear that they were siblings. The appearances of the two men was not bad, however those pair of long and narrow eyes continuously wandered around Ling Qingzhu's alluring body. The smiles that appeared on their faces added a trace of obscenity to them. Such a beautiful lady. The number of girls that we brothers have seen are too many to count, however, this one is the best. The greedy gaze of one of the men rested on the extremely cold face of Ling Qingzhu before saying with a giggle. We originally felt the energy fluctuations of this place. Never did we imagine that we would have such a harvest. The other man added on with strange grin on his face. Lin Dong's eyes brimmed with gloominess as he looked towards the two rather loathsome men. The fluctuations radiating out from their bodies indicated to him that they were experts who were half a foot into the profound life stage. This meant that they were not the least bit inferior to Lei Qian. However, this did not raise a single bit of dread from him, which led him to stare at them with chilling intent in his eyes. A sinisterly icy voice slowly rang out from his mouth, if you don't want to die, scram. Atop the valley wall, the two men in black robes faintly narrowed their eyes, as sinister intent erupted from them. They glared at Lin Dong in a chilling manner and grinned, a brat at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage actually dares to utter such words in front of us. You truly don't know how high the heavens and how deep the earth is. Beauty, this brat can't protect you with just that little bit of ability. Why not follow us brothers? At that time, you can enjoy the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond as well, he <laughs> he. Hearing the frivolous teasing by the two men, Ling Qingzhu's beautiful face turned as cold as ice. However, this only increased the itch within the two men's hearts. You better start treating your wounds. The Supreme Purity Celestial Pond will only appear for a limited amount of time. Let me deal with the two of them, tilting his head, Lin Dong looked towards the frosty Ling Qingzhu. A smile that was perfused with a murderous aura appeared on his face. This murderous aura was exceptionally thick. Lin Dong did not know why he was unable to restrain himself from emitting such a murderous aura. However, his rationality was telling him that he did not wish to let any of the two fellows go. These two men should be the Yang brothers, who are quite infamous within Unique Devil region. The one on the left is the older one, Yang Zhan, while the other is the younger one Yang Wei. They are experts who have taken half a step into the profound life stage. 
It said that they are extremely vicious and cruel individuals, with naturally lascivious characters. They were previously on the wanted lists of some super sects, however, they hid within unique devil region. Even though super sects were somewhat helpless and couldn't do anything about them, shall we fight them together? Ling Qingzhu hesitated for a while, before asking Lin Dong. The strength of these two men were not inferior to Lei Qian. If it was only Lin Dong, it would be quite strenuous for him to deal with them. We don't have the time to wait here for a month, replied Lin Dong with a smile. If they were to miss this chance, the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond would only appear the following month. Due to the great sect competition, it was clear that they could not stay here and wait. All right, be careful. I'll finish as quickly as possible. Upon hearing Lin Dong's reply, Ling Qingzhu still had some hesitation. Soon after, she gently bit her lip and nodded at Lin Dong. Her body moved and she entered the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. Her wonderful figure was like a graceful carp swimming towards the depths of the Celestial Pond. In the next moment, a white dress floated up. As he watched Ling Qingzhu enter the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond, the smile on Lin Dong's face slowly withdrew. His pitch black eyes were sinisterly cold as they shifted and locked onto the the two men on the cliff edge. Haha, <laughs> don't go so fast beauty. We brothers will accompany you in a moment. The two young brothers looked at the ripples appearing on the surface of the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond with fiery gazes, while the fire of lust in their eyes started to grow increasingly hot. No need. You two will accompany each other to hell. Lin Dong's body slowly floated up in the air. Soon after, an evil grin appeared from the corners of his mouth. With a clench of his fist, a crimson palm-sized cauldron appeared in a flash. Chapter 791, Martial Emperor Law Heh <laughs> the kids these days are getting more and more insolent. Kid, I don't care where you come from. Once you come to a place like this, no matter who you are, if you lose your life, no one would know who did it. Atop the cliff wall, the older brother Yang Zhan looked towards Lin Dong, who had floated up into the air, and could not help but mock with a sneer. Brat, if you're smart, you should hurry up and scram. If you anger me, the second master of the Yang family, you will be begging for your death, added Yang Wei with a malevolent smile. Indifference filled Lin Dong's eyes as he looked towards the two sneering men. Ignoring their words, the scarlet cauldron in his palm suddenly started give off an intense scarlet luster. In the next instance, the cauldron grew dramatically in size, transforming into a gigantic cauldron that was dozens of feet large. This cauldron was naturally the burning sky cauldron that Lin Dong had obtained from old man Fen Tian. It was a genuine pure Yuan treasure and Lin Dong had personally witnessed its formidable power back then. Even the black fog life form had been destroyed by it. Of course, the current Lin Dong was unable to bring out the terrifying might of the cauldron that old man Fen Tian had displayed. Therefore, the cauldron's size was far from being able to reach the size it had back then. Nonetheless, when the scarlet cauldron expanded in size, astonishing hot fluctuations still erupted unceasing from within. In an instant, the temperature of the area increased substantially. Swish. With a wave of his sleeve, boundless Yuan power immediately poured into the burning sky cauldron. Flames seemed to rise from within it as the cauldron gave off increasingly irritable fluctuations. When old man from Tian passed the burning sky cauldron to Lin Dong, he had erased all his brands within it. Hence, Lin Dong was able to control it with ease. Although he was not able to reach old man from Tian's level of mastery, the ability he displayed could not be considered unproficient. Startled expressions appeared on the young brothers' faces due to the fluctuations radiating out from the burning sky cauldron. Soon after, thick greed gushed out from their eyes. It's a pure Yuan treasure. The brothers licked their lips. The fire within their eyes was now much more intense compared to before when they were looking at Ling Qingzhu. They had been in unique devil region for many years and their eyes were naturally extraordinary. Therefore, with one look, they could tell that the burning sky cauldron within Lin Dong's hand was definitely no ordinary treasure. Such a lucky brat. He actually got his hands on such a precious treasure. No wonder he dares to act so rampant in front of us. Haha, <laughs> however, since you've revealed your treasure, there's no need for you to leave now. Said Yang Zhan with a grin. Yang Wei released a strange laugh, as exceptionally boundless Yuan power slowly started to swell and sweep out from his body. Ill intent filled his eyes as he stared at Lin Dong. Want to steal my treasure, let's see whether you guys have the ability to do so. It was clear that Lin Dong had spotted the sudden rise in greed within their eyes. With a laugh, Lin Dong's eyes turned all the more cold and chilling. Brat, let's see if your mouth will still be so sharp later on, sneered Yang Zhang. The brothers shot a look at each other, before turning into black shadows as they shot forward simultaneously. Two fists rumbled through the air, causing it to explode as two violent gales enveloped Lin Dong. The young brothers had no intention of sounding out Lin Dong. In addition, they did not underestimate him just because he was at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage. The two had joined forces and attacked together. After mixing around in unique devil region for all these years, they have seen too many cases of people underestimating their opponents which resulted in them getting blindsided. 
Such opponents were the toughest to deal with, therefore, after Lin Dong saw this scene, an additional feeling of seriousness appeared within his eyes. Although this duo was loathsome, their attitude towards battle forced him to become even more wary. Bang! The green dragon wings on Lin Dong's back extended. With a sudden jolt, his figure rapidly retreated, while his hand started to form a seal. A scarlet column of fire spurted out of the burning sky cauldron, and smashed head-on against the fist gale created by the brothers. Such a powerful attack. When they saw that Lin Dong was actually able to block their attack with such ease by using the burning sky cauldron and his 8 Yuan Nirvana stage strength, a feeling of astonishment flashed within their eyes. However, what came after that flash of astonishment was an even thicker feeling of greed. Let's go. With a shout, the two brothers instantly shot forwards. In a flash, they appeared on Lin Dong's left and right. A vicious glint filled their eyes as they sent their fists rumbling forth. Soul Breaking Palm Boundless and sinisterly cold Yuan power crazily gathered in their palms, bringing along an extremely fierce and chilling force, as they instantly enveloped every vital point on Lin Dong's body. Green light erupted from within Lin Dong's body as green dragon scales rapidly appeared. Lin Dong's arms and legs wiggled and expanded. In the next instant, with a grasp of his dragon fist, the Yuan power within his body roared and exploded out without restraint. Bang! Without any indication of backing off, the malevolent and cold green dragon fist smashed head-on against the swift and fierce palm force from the two brothers. At the instant of impact, violent winds swept outwards as Lin Dong explosively retreated a dozen steps. The green light on his body flickered, completely blocking the force that was invading his body. Delightful! After forcefully receiving the brothers' palms, Lin Dong could not help but raise his head towards the sky, as he laughed heartily. After having advanced to the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage, the strength of his physical body was growing more and more powerful. With his tough physical body tempered by the Green Heaven materialized dragon skill, he was now able to fight evenly with opponents at the half-step to profound life stage. This brat has such a formidable physical body. After this exchange, there was slight change of emotions within the brothers' eyes. It was obvious that they had become aware of Lin Dong's formidable physical body. Don't waste time, finish him off quickly. Yang Zhan and Yang Wei's gazes met. Soon after, cold glints gushed in their eyes. When taking action within the deeper areas of Unique Devil region, one has to end the fight as quickly as possible. If not, the battle will attract the attention of powerful demons. When these creatures show up, it would become rather troublesome. Bang! Boundless dark gray Yuan power simultaneously swelled and erupted from the duo's bodies. Indistinctly, it transformed into a gigantic dark gray shadow behind them. After its appearance, an astonishing fluctuation was faintly emitted. Hehe, <laughs> brat. After entering the ancient treasury back then, us brothers managed to obtain a few ancient martial arts. You are truly fortunate to be able to experience it. Even if you die, it won't be a waste, as the gray shade behind them start to condense and solidify, an extremely boundless energy fluctuation started radiate faintly from it. This. Sensing this fluctuation, Lin Dong's pupils faintly contracted. At this very moment, he could feel a faint sensation of stabbing pain originating from his dragon scale covered body. Obviously, the martial art that the Yang brothers had unleashed was definitely extraordinary. Never would I have thought that these two fellows actually possess such a formidable martial art. I wonder where did they obtain it from? Lin Dong's eyes sparkled as this thought continued to circulate within his mind. The majestic gray shade finally solidified behind the Yang brothers. In the next moment, a low shout suddenly rang out from their mouths, Martial Emperor Law, Destruction Fist. As the shout rang out, an ancient fist suddenly rumbled out from the majestic gray shade. The fist that appeared was covered all over by ancient looking patterns. As the fist rumbled forward, a strange and peculiar fluctuation started to faintly radiate from it. The force generated by the fist directly tore apart space, locking all of Lin Dong's possible escape routes. Its power and momentum was extremely terrifying and dreadful. Lin Dong's expression was grim as he watched the ancient fist that had penetrated through space and was heading towards him. Soon after, majestic green light suddenly screamed out from his body, transforming into a gigantic green dragon. With a fling of its green dragon tail, it viciously smashed against the ancient fist. Bang! Wild Yuan power swept everywhere in a berserk fashion as Lin Dong instantly retreated explosively. His body violently smashed against the mountain cliff, as a gigantic fissure started to spread from the point of impact. Looking extremely miserable as he stabilized his body, Lin Dong suddenly raised his head. Eyes burning with fire, he stared at the Yang brothers and grinned, Good, I'll help the both of you keep this martial emperor law. As he said those words, Lin Dong changed his hand seals, causing the burning sky cauldron floating in midair to suddenly start rotating. Soon after, a flaming light array instantly spewed out, enveloping the Yang brothers within. At the same time, a terrifying fluctuation started to spread from the light array. Sensing this fluctuation, a dreadful expression rushed forth on their faces. 
This array technique was the burning sky array of the burning sky cauldron. Chapter 792, Might of the Burning Sky Array Chi Chi The flaming light descended from the air, directly engulfing and enveloping the Yan brothers within it. The heat from the rising flames was sufficient to completely melt the gigantic rocks on the mountain cliff. The Burning Sky Array was one of the signature moves of the Burning Sky Cauldron. If Lin Dong was stronger, he would be able to suck the two of them into the Burning Sky Cauldron, and then trap them within the Burning Sky Array like he had now. At that time, he would unleash the full strength of the array, and even a profound life stage expert would be reduced to ashes. Of course, the current Lin Dong did not have strength to achieve such a feat furthermore, he had just gotten his hands on the Burning Sky Cauldron, and he did not have a clear understanding of its capabilities. Even so, the weaker version of the Burning Sky Array that he had summoned was more than what the Yang brothers had bargained for. As the flaming light array enveloped the brothers, streams of scarlet fire whizzed around like blazing pythons, and formed a fiery prison. Fluctuations appeared on the Yang brothers' faces as they stared at the flaming light array. The blazing hot fluctuations that filled the air caused them to feel some fear and trepidation within their hearts. Attack together and break this array. However, the Yang brothers were veterans. They looked at each other and fiercely nodded their heads, before boundless Yuan power started screaming out of them. Two extremely swift and fierce palm strikes mercilessly slammed onto the same spot on the flaming light array. Bang! A deep sound rang out from the point of impact. However, their attacks did not achieve their desired result. Under their combined attacks, the flaming array was still as circular as a fortress. What a powerful array upon seeing their attacks fail, their expressions changed once again, as heart-palpitating fear finally flashed in their eyes and a sense of unease arose in their hearts. Lin Dong floated in the air as he looked down upon the duo trapped in the array. Suddenly, a sinisterly chilling glint bursted out of his eyes. Next, it's time for the two of you to taste the might of the burning sky array. As those words faded, Lin Dong's hand seal suddenly transformed. Instantly, a sky full of flames surged within the burning sky array. Wave after wave of scorching and berserk fluctuations erupted and frantically engulfed them. The blazing fluctuations radiated within the burning sky array. At this instant, the Yang brothers' faces suddenly flushed red, as the heart-palpitating fear within their eyes intensified. This was because, they had discovered that the blazing fluctuations were unexpectedly invading and corroding their bodies. It was as if it wanted to ignite and burn the Yuan power within their bodies. What a strange array. Horror flashed within their eyes. This was obviously the first time that they had seen such a formidable array. These fluctuations was actually able to influence the Yuan power in their bodies. Beads of sweat began to form and flow from their foreheads, while they did their utmost to circulate their Yuan power in an attempt to resist the corrosion of the berserk and blazing fluctuations. At this time, if something were to happen within their bodies, they would die without a doubt. Bang! While they were trying to resist the corrosion from the fluctuations, the flames that blotted the skies condensed in a flash, transforming into two flaming tornadoes. Furiously twisting in the air, wave after wave of astonishingly destructive fluctuations radiated from them. Go! As he watched the flaming tornadoes form, a cold glint flashed within Lin Dong's eyes. He abruptly extended his finger, as the flaming tornadoes swept towards the Yang brothers like two giant hissing pythons. The terrifyingly fiery fluctuations became even more wild and berserk. Upon seeing this, the two hurriedly retreated. Boundless Yuan power whizzed out from them, as their hand seals started to change. Once again, the dark gray shade appeared behind them. Snort. However, just as the shade took form, Lin Dong coldly snorted. With a clench of his fist, the berserk and fiery fluctuations spread outwards. Before the shade could take shape, it exploded with a bang. Even if the duo wanted to unleash their martial arts, it was obvious that they would face great disturbance while within the burning sky array. Bang. Preventing the brothers from exhibiting their martial art only took an instant. In that same instant, the blazing tornadoes arrived. Under the terrified gazes of the brothers, the tornadoes furiously slammed into their bodies. A deep muffled sound resounded out, as two figures shot out pitifully, before smashing into the surface of the flaming light array. Due to the blazing hot temperature, the two men were roasted once again, till their faces turned bright red. At this time, even their breathing had turned hagged and rough. Since you guys have entered my array, give up any thoughts of escaping, said Lin Dong with a faint smile as he looked towards the two who were in a sorrowful state. He was pleasantly surprised by the power of this burning sky array. This burning sky cauldron was undoubtedly a pure Yuan treasure. If Lin Dong were to engage in a head one fight with the two brothers, it would definitely be a bitter fight, a fight that would be nowhere near as easy as relaxed as the current situation. Furthermore, the blazingly hot fluctuations within the burning sky array would endless corrode the Yuan power in the people trapped within. In other words, the longer one stayed within the array, the more Yuan power one would use up. If this continued, there would come a time when one's Yuan power would be completely depleted, which would result in one being totally incapable to put up any resistance. 
Within the burning sky array, the Yang brothers' faces had already turned extremely ugly, as they finally understood the situation they were in. Due to the disturbance of this array, it was unexpectedly difficult to even display their martial arts. This was equivalent to Lin Dong removing 50 to 60% of their methods that they had. Okay brat, us brothers will admit defeat now. We will no longer interfere. How about we call it quits, said Yang Zhang in a deep voice as he gloomily stared at Lin Dong. With a skin-deep smile on his face, Lin Dong stared at Yang Zhang, while ridicule filled his eyes as he replied, Do I look like an inexperienced brat who has just came out to the world to the two of you? Brat, don't get too conceited. We were only caught unprepared. However, if we were to truly struggle, you will definitely suffer as well, replied Yang Wei in a stern voice. Still smiling, Lin Dong stared at the brothers. With an indifferent voice, he said, It's possible for me to release the two of you. However, the condition is that you give the martial emperor law to me. In your dreams. Hearing his words, Yang Wei's face changed as he started cursing and swearing, We risked our lives to steal it from the ancient treasury. If you want it, we will exchange it for that cauldron of yours. Looks like you two are still not aware of the situation you are in. Sighed Lin Dong, with a snap of his fingers, the flames within the burning sky array suddenly rose dramatically. You. Sensing the violent and explosive increase in heat, the Yang brothers could feel the Yuan power in their bodies fade away at a more rapid pace. Immediately, their expressions grew much uglier. All right, I'll give you the martial emperor law. Let us go, shouted Yang Zhang suddenly after clenching his teeth. Elder brother. Upon hearing his brother's word, Yang Wei was instantly alarmed. Just as he was about to speak, he was stopped by Yang Zhang with a wave of his hand. Eyes flashing, he said, our lives are the most important. Shock flashed past Yang Wei's eyes, before he nodded his head. Lin Dong was all smiles as he watched this scene. An undetectable cold glint flashed within his eyes. Yang Zhang clenched his hand, before a black jade appeared within it. With jerk of his arm, it turned into a black ray of light that shot straight at Lin Dong. Swoosh! The black jade shot out of the array and appeared before Lin Dong in a flash. Seeing this, Lin Dong faintly smiled as he extended his hand to catch it. Bang! When Yang Zhan saw Lin Dong move, he icily chuckled in his heart. With a change of his hand seals, the black jade instantly exploded, as an extremely thin golden shade shot out. With an indescribable speed akin to lightning, it headed straight for Lin Dong's throat while carrying a swift and fierce fluctuation. Yuan spirit? Isn't it a little too weak? This sudden turn of events caused Lin Dong's eyebrows raise, however, there no trace of panic within his eyes. Instead, a smile appeared from the corners of his mouth. With a thought, a similar golden ray shot out of his body, and heavily impacted against the weak golden light. Bang! A deep sound rang out, as the incoming golden ray was reflected back. Its golden glow swiftly dimmed, and in the end, it transformed into a palm-sized golden shade which looked identical to Yang Zhang. Obviously, this was the Yuan spirit that he had refined. However, this Yuan spirit was especially incorporeal when compared to Lin Dong's. You have actually refined a Yuan spirit? Seeing his sneak attack failing, Yang Zhang's expression abruptly changed. Somewhat shocked, he stared at the golden shade floating before Lin Dong. The Yuan spirit of the former was several times more corporeal than his own. Bastard! Yang Zhang clenched his teeth and cursed, before hurriedly summoning back his Yuan spirit back into his body. Since you've already called it out, why summon it back? Upon seeing this, Lin Dong smiled. His hand reached forward, as black light shot out from his palm. It transformed into a black hole, and appeared before Yang Zhang's Yuan spirit. Devouring power gushed out, and devoured the Yuan spirit in a single breath. Spurt. When his Yuan spirit was devoured by the black hole, Yang Zhang's face instantly turned deathly pale, before spurting a mouthful of blood. His aura rapidly weakened, while his face was brimmed with shock and terror. Devouring Ancestral Symbol? A terrified and voice that was filled with despair rang out from Yang Zhang's mouth. With his sharp eyes, he was able to identify the source of the black light that had come out of Lin Dong. You have good eyes. With a faint smile, Lin Dong withdrew his devouring ancestral symbol. Soon after, he lowered his head to look at the duo within the burning sky array, before he said with a smile, I shouldn't drag this on any longer. Please accompany each other to hell. As his words faded, the smile on Lin Dong's face suddenly turned ice cold. With a sudden change of his hand seal, the burning sky array frantically started to revolve. In the next instant, berserk and terrifying flames that seemed that have turned into lava erupted within the burning sky array, and devoured the Yang brothers. A.H. As the lava-like flames swept out, the miserable shrieks of the Yang brothers abruptly echoed in the area. Chapter 793, Martial Emperor Unusually berserk and violent flames unfurled in the sky. 
The heat directly melted the valley wall, creating an enormous hole. Lin Dong's expression was indifferent as he watched the rising flames. The miserable cries within the flames continued for a while, before they finally disappeared completely. The two auras inside also totally vanished after the miserable cries disappeared. The flames continued to burn for quite some time, before gradually beginning to weaken. When the flames were extinguished, the two figures inside had already turned to ashes. Two experts at the half-step to profound life stage were actually directly incinerated into ashes by the burning sky array. It is indeed worthy of being a pure Yuan treasure. Lin Dong involuntarily licked his lips when he saw this scene. This burning sky cauldron was truly extremely powerful. From a certain point of view, it could be said to be even stronger than the heavenly phoenix zither in Ng Huan Huan's hands. However, it consumes too much energy. Lin Dong clenched his hand. The burning sky array was not maintained for very long, but the Yuan power within his body had already been greatly exhausted. This pure Yuan treasure might be powerful, but it was not something that anyone could use. No wondering Huan Huan would feel so exhausted after using the heavenly phoenix zither. The flaming light array gradually disappeared at this moment. Finally, it turned into a flaming light, and entered the burning sky cauldron. Following the disappearance of the flaming light, two black Jinkuan bags appeared. Lin Dong was clearly paying close attention to the activity within the burning sky array while he activated it earlier. This was because he was extremely interested in the martial emperor law the duo possessed. Hence, he had placed a little of his focus to protect their Chinkuan bags. Otherwise, they would also be turned into ashes within the burning sky array along with the Yang Zhan duo. Lin Dong beckoned with his hand. The two Chinkuan bags flew over and landed in his hands. A thought immediately passed through his mind as his mental energy entered. Normally speaking, these Chinkuan bags would possess the mental energy brand of its owner. However, the Yang Zhan duo had already turned into ashes along with their Yuan spirits. Hence, their brand had likewise naturally faded. Therefore, Lin Dong's mental energy was not obstructed in any way as it directly entered and began to search profusely. The things within the Yang Zhan duo's Chinkuan bags were quite messy. However, it could be considered rather abundant. There were all kinds of martial arts, however, none of them caught Lin Dong's eye. This search continued for a whole ten minutes. Only then, did a grayish black jade piece appear in Lin Dong's hand. A mysterious ripple was vaguely being emitted from within it. This fluctuation was completely similar to the martial arts that the Yang Zhan duo had unleashed earlier. It is this thing. Lin Dong held this grayish black jade piece, while joy flashed past his eyes. He could sense the tyrannical power of this martial emperor law. Such a martial art had definitely reached the heavenly martial art level. However, the Yang Zhan duo had not completely mastered it. Otherwise, even if Lin Dong had the aid of the burning sky cauldron, it would not be so easy to finish the two of them off. A thought passed through Lin Dong's mind as he held the jade piece. His mental energy swiftly entered it. Buzz. Lin Dong's mental energy had just entered the jade piece, when a buzzing sound was suddenly emitted from his mind. Soon after, everything in front of him turned black. The scenery changed, turning into a vast starry space. This sudden change did not cause Lin Dong to panic. He understood that this should be the mental imprint left within the jade piece. A distortion suddenly appeared in the vast starry space while Lin Dong was quietly focusing his mind. A human figure slowly walked out from the distorted starry space. When the latter approached, Lin Dong realized the figure was clothed in grey clothes, and his figure was as tall and straight as a mountain. His appearance was not handsome, but he gave off a majestic aura. At this moment, his radiance seemed to be even more dazzling than the bright starry space. The person stood under the starry space before stepping forward. A fist danced, while a profound martial art was displayed in a natural manner as his feet easily shifted. At that moment, it appeared as though the entire starry space was trembling because of this. A deep and hoarse voice, that seemed to have originated from the ancient times, resounded heavily within the starry space, while the martial arts was being displayed. My entire life can be divided into three stages. In the earlier stage, I battled 3,800 times, but I failed to achieve a single victory. In the middle stage, I fought in 5,300 bouts, but I lost 5,000 of them. Lin Dong was evidently extremely astonished when he heard these words. This elders honestly was rather ferocious. He had actually won only 300 of his over 9,000 battles. This was truly a model example of someone who kept fighting despite continual setbacks. In the final stage, I fought 8,000 battles, and lost, 10. However, Lin Dong was once again stunned when the following words. Soon after, he inhaled a breath of cool air. A mere 10 losses in 8,000 fights, wasn't the contrast a little too stark? It must also be said that this person was a true battle fanatic. Such a mindset caused Lin Dong to become speechless upon hearing about it. Lin Dong had also gained some comprehension after being surprised. This elder's previous defeats clearly allowed his experience to accumulate. He had discovered his inadequacy during his fights, and continued to polish himself. 
it was likely that he could already be considered a grandmaster at the final stage. He was likely a pinnacle existence even among those at the top, and there was naturally not many who could defeat him. Of course, what made Lin Dong even more curious, was just what kind of absolute powers did this battle fanatic elder end up losing those ten battles to. While I was alive, others bestowed upon me the title Martial Emperor. I continued to accumulate martial arts and eventually created one of my own. It is called the Martial Emperor Law. In the Great World War, I relied on this martial art to kill three generals and heavily injure a king. Although I fell in the end, this was sufficient for me to stand proud in this world. Lin Dong's expression turned completely grave at this moment, and his heart felt slightly shocked. This martial emperor was truly someone who defied the natural order. He was actually able to rely on his own strength to kill three generals and seriously injure a king. This ability was likely considered top-notch even during those ancient times. Lin Dong also understood a little about those unknown creatures. The black fog creature, that old ghost from Tian had once again suppressed earlier, should belong to the general level. On the other hand, the one being suppressed by the great desolate tablet was at the king level. Although the martial emperor had fallen after completing this feat, his strength had likely already reached a stage that could shock the entire world. Martial Emperor Law It is difficult for an ordinary person to learn it. Anyone from the subsequent generations studying this martial art must not proclaim that you have obtained my inheritance if you fail to completely master it. That final low and powerful sentence was filled with pride. It was likely that this martial emperor was also an extremely proud person. Hence, he did not wish for his martial art to land in the hands of a mediocre person and ruin its radiance. That figure in the starry space had also reached the final part of his technique while this final sentence faded. In the end, a punch was unleashed. Immediately, the entire starry space began to rumble and shake. Stars from all over fell from the sky and crashed in the ground with a bang. Huff. Lin Dong let out a deep breath. His eyes faintly contained some shock. The name of this martial art was indeed worthy of its reputation. It was simply a waste for such a martial art to land in the hands of the Yang Zhan duo. The domain began to collapse the moment the stars fell. Lin Dong's surroundings changed, as he once again recovered his sight, and returned to the valley once again. This martial art is great. Lin Dong held the jade piece as he stared blankly at it for a moment. Finally, his lips parted into a grin. The martial art that the figure from earlier had displayed was already completely engraved into his mind. Its majestic aura was even stronger than the great desolate imprisoning heavenly hand that Lin Dong practiced. His gains this time was clearly far greater than expected. Martial Emperor Elder, it is likely that your martial arts name will no longer be dishonored now that it has landed in the hands of this young one. Lin Dong softly muttered to himself. The Martial Emperor was prideful when he spoke. Similarly, Lin Dong also had a pride that belonged to himself. He did not wish to compare himself to the Martial Emperor. However, now that this martial art had landed in his hands, he would definitely bring out the radiance it deserved. After Lin Dong's self-mutterings faded, he flipped his hand and kept the jade piece in his Jinkuan bag. His descended from the air, and sat down beside the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond, as he quietly waited for Ling Qingzhu to fully recuperate from her injuries. Half an hour swiftly as he sat in silence. Lin Dong's eyebrows gradually knitted together as time flowed by. Finally, his eyes narrowed as they paused on the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond, which was still so calm that there was not the slightest ripple on its surface. It seemed to be a little too calm. Another half an hour passed while Lin Dong was frowning. Soon after, he finally stood up. His expression was grave as he stared at the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond and mumbled, something is amiss. Lin Dong's eyes flickered. He hesitated for a moment as he stood beside the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. Finally, he moved his body and directly leaped in. That splash sound as he entered the water echoed in the valley, and was unusually sweet to the ear. Chapter 794, Unexpected Turn of Events at the Bottom of the Pond Splash Lin Dong's body felt an extremely pure and mysterious energy surging over from all directions the moment his body entered the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. Finally, this energy steadily tunneled into his body. While being nourished by this energy, Lin Dong could faintly feel a slightly piercing pain that originated from inside his body. However, this piercing pain was not the same pain that resulted from injuries. Instead, a vaguely comfortable sensation was spreading in addition to this pain. It felt just like when a wound was being healed. This is, such powerful healing properties. Shock and amazement surfaced on Lin Dong's face, before swiftly turning into pleasant surprise. This was because he had discovered that the source of the piercing pain was from some of the injuries left within his body. Lin Dong had fought countless life and death battles over the years. Quite a number of them were bloody battles, hence, his body was naturally plagued with various internal injuries. Although some of the serious injuries could be swiftly healed by relying on his strong physical body, there would ultimately be some bruises that remained hidden. These slight injuries were normally difficult to be sensed by even Lin Dong himself. Although they were minor wounds which did not hinder Lin Dong much, the accumulation of such wounds was frightening. 
Should they be accumulated until a certain point, it would no longer be a trivial matter once they blew up. It was due to this, that Lin Dong felt joyfully surprised as he felt those hidden injuries within his body being healed by the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond's energy. It seemed that he had unknowingly resolved a potential problem that might give him a headache in the future. Lin Dong quietly sighed in relief. A thread of devouring power subsequently spread outwards, as the speed at which the energy surged into his body rose greatly. Lin Dong no longer paid any attention to it after seeing this. Yuan power surged within his eyes, as he began to search for Ling Qingzhu's figure within the pond. Where has she gone? Although Lin Dong was currently underwater, he was still able to see everything clearly. However, what puzzled him, was that he was could not find Ling Qingzhu anywhere in the pond. Could she have gone below? Lin Dong's gaze swept around. He looked at the somewhat dark pond bottom and frowned. After some hesitation, his toes pushed off, and his body rapidly swam to the bottom of the pond while being wrapped by green light. The Supreme Purity Celestial Pond was not massive. However, its depths was unusually extensive. Moreover, there were quite a number of meandering water tunnels within it, hence, its terrain was exceptionally complicated. Lin Dong's body shuttled through these water tunnels. His mental energy was fully activated at this moment. He followed the most minute responses and adjusted his direction. This search continued for a whole ten minutes. However, Lin Dong still failed to accomplish anything. This fact caused Lin Dong to knit his brows tightly. The situation was a little unusual. Oh. While Lin Dong was feeling faintly puzzled in his heart, his expression suddenly changed as his spreading mental energy finally detected something. His gaze hurriedly looked at the bottom left position. After which, he rushed out. His body drew past the water flow, emitting splashing sounds. Lin Dong was extremely fast. A couple of minutes later, he had already reached the spot where his mental energy had sensed some unusual activity. After which, he saw a cluster of emerald green light blossoming at the bottom of the pond. A suet jade-like naked body was curled up within the light, her fine black hair scattered behind her. From a distance, she appeared like a mermaid in a slumber. This lovely figure was Ling Qingzhu, who had entered the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond earlier. Finally found her. Lin Dong undoubtedly heaved a sigh of relief when he saw Ling Qingzhu. Quickly after, his pupils suddenly shrunk. His eyes suddenly looked at the area below Ling Qingzhu. Rays of jade green light were shooting out from that spot, and coincidentally connected to the light cluster around Ling Qingzhu's body. There is indeed something strange going on. Lin Dong's expression suddenly became a lot more grim after seeing this scene. He suddenly waved his sleeve, and a force swept towards the bottom of the pond, directly blowing away the mud. After the mud scattered, it was possible to see a sinisterly white skeleton lying at the bottom of the pond. Fluorescent light spread over the skeleton. Those jade green threads of light shot out from the skeleton, before connecting to Ling Qingzhu's body. Light continuously flashed on the connected light threads. There seemed to be something continuously surging out from Ling Qingzhu's body, before finally being poured into the sinisterly white skeleton. Lin Dong stared intently at the white skeleton. Those black eyes of the latter seemed to flicker with a jade green light. This skeleton was actually absorbing the life force within Ling Qingzhu's body. Lin Dong's pupils abruptly shrunk to the size of pinholes. His hand turned into blade as it furiously hacked downwards. Sharp palm force whistled out, and ruthlessly chopped at the jade green light threads. Buzz. However, the palm force which could slice a mountain, did not have any effect when it landed on the light threads. Instead, it was repelled. Lin Dong's expression changed when he saw this. His body moved, and he swam towards the light threads. Devouring power surged on his palm, before he grabbed the light threads. Chi Chi. White fog immediately erupted from the light threads when Lin Dong's hand grabbed them. Devouring power seeped in, and directly devoured all of the energy that was within this connection. Crack. The jade green light threads finally dimmed rapidly at this moment. In the end, it cracked and crumbled. The light around Ling Qingzhu's body also quickly disappeared when the light threads crumbled. However, her tightly shut eyes still did not show any signs of awakening. Lin Dong moved. He reached out and grabbed Ling Qingzhu's naked body. The icy cold sensation that met his touch caused his heart to quiver violently. His eyes initially swept over her in an uncontrollable manner. After which, he violently inhaled a breath, and took out a large robe to cover the body that caused all sorts of desires to rise within his body. Although the robe was wet the moment it was taken out, and ended up adhering to Ling Qingzhu's body, outlining her enchanting curves. It was at least much better compared to the completely naked body from earlier. Lin Dong did not have the time to think things through after hugging that enchanting and delicate figure. He merely looked at the skeleton in the mud with cautious eyes. At this moment, the skeleton was actually trembling in a strange manner. Soon after, it unsteadily sat in the mud. There was an extremely weak light flickering within its eyes. A chill surged through Lin Dong's heart the moment he saw this scene. 
From the ancient aura that came seeping out of this skeleton, it seemed like this thing was definitely something from ancient times. Even though Lin Dong had seen all kinds of ancient objects over the years, this was the first time that he saw such activity by a skeleton-like object. This fellow. Just what kind of powerful desires did he have? He was still able to stir like this after thousands of years. Lin Dong's eyes were grave as he watched the trembling skeleton. He was just about to bring Ling Qingzhu and leave this strange place, when he saw the skeleton suddenly stiffen. After which, its bones began to crumble. In the end, it emitted a bang, and turned into dust that quickly dissipated. Lin Dong could vaguely hear a voice that was filled with an endless unwillingness being quietly transmitted underwater when this skeleton turned into dust. Lin Dong was stunned as he watched this scene. Soon after, his eyes flickered. It seemed like this skeleton had finally reached its limit after enduring until this moment. That voice from earlier should have caused it to completely disappear from this world. Buzz. While Lin Dong was quietly sighing in relief, a jade green light suddenly flashed and appeared at the spot where the skeleton had disappeared. With a swooshed sound, it rushed past the pond bottom and galloped towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong cautiously watched the jade green light that rushed over. After which, he discovered that this seemed to be an extremely mysterious spirit light emblem. He could sense an extremely majestic ripple from within this light emblem. This is, a spirit emblem? Lin Dong's pupils shrunk as he muttered. The so-called spirit emblem was the entire essence of an extremely powerful practitioner that had been left behind. It could be considered an extremely rare and precious mystical treasure. Su Rua had attained her current achievements, because of the spirit emblem she had obtained from the ancient realm back then. Moreover, that was merely beginning. Even Lin Dong's heart felt boiling hot when faced with such a treasure. However, he was about to move and grab it, but the jade green light dodged him. Finally, it directly entered Ling Qingzhu's body in front of his speechless eyes. Looks like it has no affinity with me. Lin Dong mocked himself, and shook his head. Such great opportunities always brush past him. Lin Dong ceased having other thoughts after mocking himself in this manner. He was just about to hug Ling Qingzhu and leave, when he felt the person in his embrace move a little. After which, he lowered his head, and saw a pair of clear opened eyes on a blazing red beautiful face. Two bright pairs of eyes met each other at the bottom of the pond. Yet, the both of them were strangely silent. Chapter 795, Outcome Two bright pairs of eyes met each other in the serene depths of the pond. The strange and quiet atmosphere continued between the two. Lin Dong felt a little embarrassed in his heart. Although a preposterous deed had happened between the two of them, it had occurred to Du Ling Qingzhu falling into a trap. Now however, the two of them were clearly completely awake. Moreover, Lin Dong could feel the soft body in his embrace. There was also a scalding heat being emitted at this moment. The wet thin clothes did not hide much. The heat that was transmitted across the thin fabric also caused Lin Dong's breathing to suddenly become a little heavier. It was likely that any ordinary man would not be able to maintain complete calmness in such a situation. Release me. Ling Qingzhu had also detected the slight change in Lin Dong. Fear immediately flashed in the depths of her eyes. She struggled a little, before finally uttering those words. The current Ling Qingzhu had clearly lost her usual cool and calm self in this unusual situation. At the same time, she had also forgotten just what kind of fatal allure it was to a man, when a usually pure and noble goddess revealed such an extremely rare timidness. It was a that of drastic transformation, when the brilliance of a goddess was peeled away, and turned into a delicate woman. Bang! Hence, after she spoke, she did not see Lin Dong release her. Instead, a lustful flame surged within the latter's black eyes. Next, her eyes suddenly widened as Lin Dong's face rapidly expanded in her eyes. That arm which hugged her body completely fixed her in place. In the end, she sensed Lin Dong's hot mouth landing on her lips in an overbearing and fearless manner. The scalding heat from her lips caused Ling Qingzhu's body to instantly stiffen. Very quickly however, she regained her wits. Her delicate hand became just like the paws of a cat, as they viciously scratched Lin Dong's back. Immediately, many bloody marks appeared, while her body struggled violently. However, Lin Dong completely ignored her violent struggling. Both of his arms were like iron pliers, which firmly hugged the lovely figure in his embrace. That great strength appeared as though he was attempting to crush her into his body. Bang bang bang. Ling Qingzhu's jade-like hands resisted in front of her, and a palm landed on Lin Dong's chest. The resulting deep and muffled sound caused one to be scared witless. Clearly, the former was both extremely embarrassed and furious at this moment. Ling Qingzhu was extremely powerful. When this palm landed, Lin Dong was still somewhat unable to endure despite his powerful physical body. His body immediately leaned forward, and caused the two bodies to press tightly on each other. Soon after, his lips withdrew as he viciously glared at the woman in his embrace. He spoke with a heavy breath, I will take you here and now if you move again. You dare. Ling Qingzhu's face was filled with embarrassment and fury, as she clenched her teeth and rebuked. 
Although she spoke in such a manner, her struggles had clearly weakened. It seemed that she was indeed a little afraid of Lin Dong turning crazy this moment. Lin Dong grinned. He felt the intense pain that was transmitted from his chest and back. However, his heart had a joy that could not be hidden. It had been five years. That noble and arrogant woman from back then, whom he could only look up to and not touch, was once again being ruthlessly taken advantage of by him today. That somewhat perverse joy practically had an even greater satisfaction compared to when he killed Lin Leng Tian back then. Lin Dong, you are asking to die. While Lin Dong's heart was filled pleasure, the voice of the woman in his embrace suddenly turned cold. Immediately, he lowered his head, only to see that the embarrassment and fury on Ling Qingzhu's face start to vanish. In their place was her usual and familiar coldness. After all, this woman's willpower was quite extraordinary. Even at this moment, she was still able to swiftly suppress the disturbance in her heart, and regain her normal state. Lin Dong's expression also altered slightly when he saw this. Even though he had managed to cause Ling Qingzhu to be unable to resist him, this was only because the latter had panicked. Given the latter's strength, if she was to really calm down, Lin Dong would definitely not be able to do much. Bang! Lin Dong's prediction was correct. After Ling Qingzhu calmed down, an unusually mighty fluctuation suddenly spread from her body. A great force unfurled, and directly jolted Lin Dong's arm away. The force was so great, that even he was forced to take a couple of steps back. Ling Qingzhu had also taken this opportunity to escape Lin Dong's control, as her figure drifted backwards. The face with a soul-stirring beauty, however, was covered with frost at this moment. Clearly, Lin Dong's act of taking advantage of her earlier had greatly infuriated her. Lin Dong quickly became clear-headed when he saw Ling Qingzhu's expression. He immediately cried out inwardly, this is bad. While Lin Dong felt an ominous feeling in his heart, to his front, Ling Qingzhu extended her jade-like hand. Promptly, she clenched her hand gently, as a blue longsword appeared in a flash. A formidable aura abruptly unfurled. Run. Lin Dong's scalp skin turned numb upon seeing this. It seemed like this woman had gone mad. Without any hesitation, he immediately turned around and rushed out of the pond. He did not doubt that the Ling Qingzhu at this moment would not give any face or take their relationship into account when she attacked. Swoosh swoosh. Lin Dong's body had barely moved, when two unusually sharp sword glows suddenly shot at him from behind. In the end, they skimmed past his body, and directly cut two enormous water channels in the pond. Lin Dong, I will kill you. Ling Qingzhu's voice, which contained embarrassment and fury amidst the coldness, was transmitted from behind. Subsequently, Lin Dong felt sharp sword glows rushing over from all directions. Swoosh. Lin Dong was naturally not foolish enough to stay behind and suffer those sword attacks. His green dragon wings extended. With a swoosh, he rushed forth. Countless formidable sword glows were like swimming fish, as they chased after him at lightning speed from behind. The supreme purity celestial pond in the valley was completely quiet. However, this silence did not last for long, before an enormous whirlpool formed within the pond. In the next moment, a green figure burst out from it. Next, sword glow shot out in all directions. The surrounding mountain walls were instantly blasted apart. Many huge sword scars had appeared on them. Lin Dong glanced at the mess around him after rushing out from the pond, and the corners of his mouth twitched involuntarily. It turns out that Ling Qingzhu was actually this frightening when she flipped out. Bang! The surface of the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond once again exploded. Water splashed over the sky as a beautiful figure appeared. Subsequently, a completely wet black robe flew out. A white dress shook and swiftly covered her jade-like body. As the water fell, a great beauty in a white dress was already standing in the sky. She descended like an azure waterfall, however, her pretty face was still covered with frost. Swoosh! Ling Qingzhu held a longsword in her hand. Her face was frosty as she watched Lin Dong, who was forcing a smile. Without further ado, the longsword danced, and another formidable sword glow shot out, shooting at the fatal spots on Lin Dong's body. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong hurriedly pulled back. He pushed his speed to the limit, and continuously dodged Ling Qingzhu's attacks. I went down to rescue you. Do you need to be so ferocious? Lin Dong hurriedly said as he dodged. If I had not gone down, your life would have been sucked away by that thing. I was worried about you. Ling Qingzhu gnashed her pearly white teeth and coldly stated, What has this got to do with your disrespectful acts? Lin Dong was speechless. A desire had indeed rose within himself earlier, and it was due to this that he was unable to resist doing those things. Even with his thick-skinned nature, he was unable to find any excuses. Humph. Ling Qingzhu snorted coldly when she saw this. Her sword slashed again, and another formidable sword glow, which was a couple of dozen feet in size, furiously cut at Lin Dong. Lin Dong gazed at the sword glow that had once again come slashing at him. He sighed somewhat helplessly and actually ceased having any intentions of dodging it. 
From the looks of it, he seemed to be one to suffer her attack. Swoosh. The sword glow arrived in a flash. However, Ling Qingzhu eventually clenched her teeth just as it was about to land on Lin Dong's body. Her delicate jade-like finger thrust forward, and the sword glow slightly shifted its direction. After which, it narrowly passed Lin Dong's body and viciously hacked downwards, directly cutting a huge scar on the ground. Lin Dong sighed in relief when the sword glow missed. After which, he helplessly spoke to an icy-faced Ling Qingzhu, Are you done venting your anger? Bang bang. A loud rumbling sound was suddenly transmitted from a short distance away soon after Lin Dong's voice faded. After which, the three-headed monster snake, which had been diverted away earlier, once again hissed as it wildly charged towards the valley. Its eyes immediately filled with a violent murderous intent the moment it saw the two individuals in the valley. Swoosh. Lin Dong watched this monster snake's return, and was just about to attack, but a figure flashed had already passed him. Lin Dong was stunned as he watched countless sharp sword glows rushing out from Ling Qingzhu's sword, seemingly covering the sky as they bared onto the monster snake from all directions. Hiss hiss hiss. The three-headed monster snake emitted a sharp and miserable screech when faced with this merciless attack of Ling Qingzhu. Many bloody scars rapidly appeared on its enormous body. Soon after, the monster snake, which had a strength comparable to Lei Qian, was cut into pieces. In the air, Lin Dong stared blankly at this scene. He gazed upon the incomparably miserable fate of the monster snake, before once again looking at Ling Qingzhu's face, as the iciness slowly started to withdraw from it. For a time, his scalp felt somewhat numb. This woman was likely using her actions to warn him, this was the outcome when she became furious. Chapter 796, Fight Bang! In the valley, the enormous monster snake fell to the ground with a bang. Fresh blood flowed, dyeing the ground red as a bloody scent stealthily spread. Ling Qingzhu's face was cool and indifferent as she landed from the air. After which, she arrived at the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. A jade-like hand brushed apart the water, and slowly washed the bloody long sword. Lin Dong involuntarily rubbed his nose while he watched this scene. It seemed that Ling Qingzhu was very embarrassed and furious this time. However, he could understand why. If it was someone else, Lin Dong was certain that his fate would be similar to that of the monster snake. It was likely that the only man in this world who could continue to challenge her baseline in such a manner was Lin Dong. The messy and unclear relationship between the two had clearly made it impossible for them to view each other as ordinary people. This was also the reason why Ling Qingzhu was tolerating of Lin Dong's various excessive actions. Splash. Water flowed down the longsword, and landed into the pond, creating many ripples. Ling Qingzhu lowered her head and gazed at the face so beautiful that it could cause the downfall of nations reflected within the ripples. Her pearly white teeth involuntarily bit her lips. It seemed there were still some remnant traces of the warmth from earlier on her lips. That fellow seemed to constantly shatter the calmness of her still water-like heart. Ling Qingzhu was somewhat baffled. The matter five years ago had undoubtedly messed up both of their original paths. She had once thought that given her character, she should be able to achieve the state her master had described to her, the state of having her heart as calm as a mirror and being completely untroubled. However, that preposterous incident had caused her a tiny imperfection to appear on her bright mirror-like heart. Ling Qingzhu had used five years to weaken and bury away that tiny imperfection. And just when she had thought that she was about to completely forget it, that somewhat fuzzy figure was accompanied by a storm as it staggered with exceptional perseverance, and once again barged into her sights. The young man from back then had unknowingly already started chasing her footsteps. He had transformed tremendously during these five years. However, that exact same stubbornness from five years ago, had not been erased with the flow of time. Five years ago, a young man had once silently endured in a miserable manner before Lin Liangtian. Now, he had become the most outstanding disciple amongst the younger generation of Dao sect. His achievements could even be considered top-notch amongst the younger generation of the entire eastern Xian region. Such improvement and metamorphosis was something that even Ling Qingzhu had difficulty ignoring at this moment. She was aware that it would perhaps no longer be easy for her to expel this person who had barged into her world again. Ling Qingzhu's expression was somewhat complicated as she gently pursed her lips. After which, she heard the soft sounds of footsteps being transmitted from behind her. Her delicate body stiffened unnoticeably. The complicated expression in her eyes also quickly withdrew. Lin Dong walked over from behind. After which, he sat down beside Ling Qingzhu. He tilted his head and watched the side of her enchantingly bewitching face. Suddenly, he smiled and said, Do you still remember the words I spoke five years ago? I've forgotten. Ling Qingzhu lowered her long eyelashes and replied indifferently. I knew of the gap between the you and me in the past. Therefore, I struggled with everything I had. After you left back then, I also left Yen City by myself. After which, I honed and trained myself in the outside world. At that time, I only had two aims. To to kill Lin Liangtian, and to stand before you again. 
The young man raised his head beside the pond and looked at the somewhat sinisterly black sky before laughing. I am not trying to boast to you. All that I wish to convey, is that your judgment of me is ultimately wrong. I have achieved what you had deemed impossible. Ling Qingzhu's delicate finger skimmed over the long sword. Soon after, she turned her head and watched the brilliantly smiling young man. After a long silence, she finally spoke softly, you have struggled for five years because of those words? You should be aware that there were many times that you might have failed on that journey. There will be no chance for you to redo everything again should that happen. But I eventually succeeded. Lin Dong stretched his waist. He had roamed the great desolate province, charged out of the Great Yen Empire and into the Hundred Empire War. Finally, he had entered Eastern Xian region. There might be many dangers, but he had ultimately succeeded. Back then, I said that a woman I have slept with will definitely be mine. These words might appear a little vulgar now that I think about it but... Lin Dong smiled. His eyes stared directly at Ling Qingzhu and said, You are my woman. Swoosh. Water splashed and the brilliant longsword was accompanied by a chilling aura as it pointed at Lin Dong's throat. Ling Qingzhu looked at him, her voice was cold as she spoke, Do you truly think that I will not kill you? Lin Dong did not say anything. He stared at Ling Qingzhu. Those eyes were without fear. There was no trace of any intention to weaken his position. Ling Qingzhu gritted her teeth. Finally, she put away her long sword. She clenched her hand and said, It is best for you not to say such words. If these words reach my teacher's ears, she will kill you even if you are a Dao sect disciple. Lin Dong frowned. Every sect master of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace must train the Dao of their hearts. A heart must be as clear as a mirror, and not a single speck of dust will be tolerated. Given her character, if my master knew about us, she will definitely intervene and help me remove the imperfection in my heart. Ling Qingzhu watched Lin Dong and said, You are that speck of dust, the imperfection in my heart. Dao of the heart. It is heterodoxy. Lin Dong knitted his brows tightly. Immediately, he looked at Ling Qingzhu and said, In your opinion, how should this imperfection in your heart be removed? Ling Qingzhu was clearly startled by this question. Originally, she thought that there was no need to think about the answer. At this moment, however, she had difficulty speaking under Lin Dong's gaze. Hence, she could only shake her head while feeling lost as she replied, I do not know. I do not know if you these words of yours are an attempt to get me to back off. However, my determination will never change. If your teacher wishes to stop me, I will wait until I am stronger than your teacher, before directly snatching you from the hands of the Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace. Lin Dong watched Ling Qingzhu, who had given the uncertain reply. A smile surfaced on his face as he grinned and declared. Ling Qingzhu felt neither able to laugh nor cry in the face of these words. She somewhat helplessly shook her head as she replied, Even the sect master of your Dao sect, Ying Xuanzi, has to be polite to my teacher when he sees her. You should stop setting random goals. Lin Dong smiled and he did not say anything more on this topic. It was similarly possible for him to feel the complicated emotions Ling Qingzhu had towards him. This was already pretty decent. At the very least, she did not possess that indifference and alienation that she used to treat other men when facing him. From a certain point of view, this was quite a good start. Thank you, for what you did at the bottom of the pond earlier. Ling Qingzhu quietly sighed in relief when she saw the fearless Lin Dong had actually moderated himself. Soon after, she changed the topic and said. Why did you provoke that thing? Lin Dong frowned slightly. If Ling Qingzhu's intention was to heal herself, she could clearly do it at the middle of the pond. There was no need for her to intentionally head to the bottom of the pond. That skeleton should have some relations to my Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. I received calls from it after entering the pond. However, I did not expect that it actually intended on snatching my life force. Ling Qingzhu bunched her eyebrows together as she explained. Relations? Lin Dong was startled. That skeleton's existence was clearly far older than the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Therefore, it was likely that there was no direct relation between the two. From the looks of it, it was probably some relation in martial arts or secret arts. No wonder that spirit emblem entered your body. Ling Qingzhu nodded. She could sense the addition of the majestic spirit emblem within her body. This was considered a lucky opportunity for her. It seems like this Supreme Purity Celestial Pond will lose its powers in the future. Lin Dong gazed at the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond with some regret. The rainbow colors within it were gradually fading. The reason this Supreme Purity Celestial Pond had appeared in Unique Devil Region was clearly due to the protection of the ancient skeleton. Now that the skeleton had turned into dust, this place will likely once again be eroded by demonic qi in the future. Lin Qingzhu nodded. Soon after, she stood up and said, let's leave. She had already achieved her goal for this trip. Clearly, there was no point in them for them to remain in this place. Lin Dong smiled and nodded when he heard this. He waved his sleeve, before a black light shot out from the distance. Finally, it was kept in his chinkuan bag. It was the demon corpse that he had used to lure the monster snake away earlier. 
The two prepared to leave after the demon corpse was kept. However, Ling Qingju had just moved her body when she suddenly became startled. She beckoned with her hand, and a golden light shot out from the space in front of her. Finally, it entered her hand. This is our Nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace's Yuan Spirit message. What happened? Ling Qingju received the golden light as her brows knitted slightly. Finally, her finger pressed on her smooth forehead. A change appeared on her face a moment later. What happened? Something happened to your people? Lin Dong asked in surprise when he saw this. No. Ling Qingzhu shook her head. Her clear eyes looked at Lin Dong. After a brief hesitation, she said, It seems like Yuan Tsang and the rest have attacked the Dao sect disciples. Chapter 797, Start of the Battle When Ling Qingzhu's words sounded out, she could see the smile on Lin Dong's face disappear bit by bit, before a frightening gloominess slowly appeared. At the same time, an intensely cold murderous desire also surged. What happened? Lin Dong asked in a low voice. It seems like the Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples met two days ago. They ended up in a dispute because of some friction. After that, Yuan Tsang and the rest attacked. Ling Qingzhu said. No matter how one looked at it, this matter was likely due to the Yuan Gate's provocations. After all, the, the Dao sect disciples were weaker. Moreover, their main pillar of strength, Lin Dong, was absent. Even if they met Yuan Gate, it was likely that they would give in. Therefore, the reason that things had developed into such a state was most likely the Yuan Gate disciples' intention. After both parties exchanged blows, the Dao sect disciples have been progressing towards the teleporting formation area while Yuan Gate gave chase. It seems like the latter can no longer control themselves. Did my Dao sect disciples suffer any injuries or death? Lin Dong's eyes were dark and chilly as he inquired. Chen Gui is helping Dao sect disciples. He has temporarily stopped Yuan Tsang and is shouldering quite a great deal of pressure. However, it is rumored that some injuries and deaths have still occurred. Ling Qingzhu hesitated for a moment, but finally she did not hide anything. Bang! A brutal and evil aura suddenly surged out from Lin Dong's body when those words sounded out. His expression had also become exceptionally savage. It appeared as though he could hear the miserable cries from just before those Dao sect disciples died, as well as the proud arrogant laughter from the Yuan Gate disciples. Those trash! Lin Dong's body trembled slightly. His expression was ferocious. He knew that this day would arrive sooner or later, but he did not expect that Yuan Gate would be so impatient and begin their attack at such a time. Currently, the Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples have been continuously fighting for a couple of days, should we immediately hurry to the teleportation formation area? Ling Qingzhu softly asked. Lin Dong nodded. He lifted his head and looked towards the dark north. A scarlet light faintly flickered in his eyes, causing his ferocious face to appear exceptionally frightening. He was currently unaware of the exact number of dead and injured Dao sect disciples at this moment. However, he knew that if some accident was to occur to Qing Tan, Ying Huan Huan and a few others, he would definitely massacre the Yuan Gate disciples. Not even one will remain. A brutal bloodthirsty aura spread out from Lin Dong's body. That brutality was even greater than the demons in Unique Devil Region. How much time do we need to reach the teleportation formation from here? Lin Dong asked in a gloomy voice. Five days. But if we hurry at full speed, we should be able to catch up to them in three days. Ling Qingzhu thought for a moment before replying. Let's go. Lin Dong's body shook slightly, as the green dragon wings extended from his back. Without saying anything more, he flapped his wings, turning into a flash of green light that tore through the darkness, and swiftly rushed towards the distant sky at lightning speed. Ling Qingzhu watched Lin Dong, who was covered all over by a savage aura as he left. Her hand involuntarily tensed, as a trace of worry flashed across the depths of her pupils. Since the beginning of this great sect competition, she was aware that Yuan Gate and Dao sect would definitely never come to a compromise. Dao sect had suffered great losses during the last great sect competition. Even the great senior sister of Sky Hall had been surrounded and killed by Yuan Gate. The battle this time around would likely surpass the previous one. In the previous great sect competitions, Yuan Gate would always gain the upper hand in the battle with the Dao sect disciples. This had also boosted the Yuan Gate disciples' arrogance. However, this time around, it was a little different. In this great sect competition, the Yuan Gate Disciples' strength might appear to be stronger than the Dao Sect Disciples on the surface but Dao Sect had Lin Dong this time. This person was usually good-natured. However, he would immediately turn into a murderous devil if someone touched his sensitive spot. He would become the greatest variable in this great sect competition. If the Yuan Gate was to act recklessly, it was likely that they would have to pay quite a terrifying price this time around. Ling Qingzhu recalled Lin Dong's ferocious face, which was filled with a savage aura earlier. She was aware that the young man, who was helpless while being chased and attacked by her, was about to explode. It was likely that there would be a bloodbath in this great sect competition. 
Ling Qingju sighed softly. Immediately, she ceased thinking about this matter. A green lotus formed under her feet. After which, she turned into a bright ray of light that quickly chased after Lin Dong. Swoosh. Two bright rays of light flashed across the dark sky at a shocking speed. The wind pressure from their fast speed shook the ground below, and formed a long scar over it. These two bright rays of light were naturally Lin Dong and Ling Qingzhu, who had exited the depths of Unique Devil Region. They had already traveled for two whole days. The both of them did not even stop and rest for a moment during these two days. Green light covered Lin Dong's body. The green dragon wings on his back would flap occasionally, and his speed would soar greatly. At this moment, his face was still covered with a dark and solemn expression. They had met others who were participating in the great sect competition along the way. Lin Dong was able to obtain more information about the fight between the Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples from them. In the battle between the two parties, one party was chasing, while the other was retreating. The ones chasing were naturally the Yuan Gate disciples, and the ones continuously withdrawing were naturally the Dao sect disciples. Clearly, Dao sect was using all of its strength to defend against the continuous chase and ruthless attacks by Yuan Gate. They fought while retreating. Perhaps one should say that they were still bitterly waiting for the return of the person who could truly lead them to victory against Yuan Gate. Lin Dong, we are about to reach the teleportation formation area. Ling Qingzhu looked into the distance, before turning towards Lin Dong beside her and commented. Yes. Lin Dong nodded but did not say anything else. If it was in the past, he might even tease Ling Qingzhu a little. However, he did not have the mood to do so now. Ling Qingzhu also understood Lin Dong's current state. Therefore, she pondered for a moment, before speaking, I am aware that a fight between you and the disciples of Yuan Gate is unavoidable. However, you should be careful of Yuan Tsang. Oh? Lin Dong's eyes moved. He frowned and looked at Ling Qingzhu before saying, he should be at the initial profound life stage, right? In the current great sect competition, it was likely that there were only three people amongst the younger generation who had truly reached the initial profound life stage. They were Yuan Tsang, Ling Qingzhu, and Chen Gui. An initial profound life stage expert was indeed extremely difficult to deal with. However, when the time came for them to exchange blows, Lin Dong would make him pay a price that he would never be able to imagine. Yuan Tsang's strength is indeed at the initial profound life stage. However, in order to become the leader of the Three Little Kings, he also possess many tactics. Even I feel a faint sense of danger when facing him. Therefore, he is definitely not as easy to deal with as he appears on the surface. You need to be careful when you end up exchanging blows with him. Ling Qingzhu muttered. Lin Dong eyes hardened. Ling Qingzhu's strength was similar to Yuan Tsang. However, the latter was able to cause her to feel danger. It seems like this Yuan Tsang was not so simple. Many thanks. If it you did not accompany me to find the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond, Yuan Gate would have likely not attacked at this time. Ling Qingzhu's eyes had some apology flashing across them. If I was around, they might not have dragged it out for so long. Lin Dong shook his head. His eyes looked into the distance, as a brutal aura once again rose within them. The reason they are chasing in this manner is likely because they plan on forcing me out. Huh, it seems like Yuan Tsang already hates me to the core. Alright, since you are so anxious to force me to show myself, I shall gladly accompany all of you this time around. However, the stakes that I play with are usually quite high. Let's use our lives as stakes this time. A bloodthirsty savageness climbed onto Lin Dong's lips. A trace of insanity was vaguely present. Unique Devil Region Teleportation Formation Area This was a vast land that was filled with rocks. Many mountains of various sizes stood around the place like humps. An evil aura faintly scattered from the mountains, before enveloping the land. At this moment, this messy and rocky terrain was already filled with a sea of people. Countless eyes looked backwards, as rushing wind sound appeared from all directions. Soon after, hundreds of people covered in a bloody aura appeared in their sights. They are from Dao sect. Some voices immediately sounded as everyone looked at this large group of people. However, there seemed to be a sigh in their tones. Word of the fierce battle between the Dao sect and Yuan Gate disciples had clearly already spread across the entire unique devil region like a whirlwind. Stop! Ying Xiaoxiao suddenly halted at the front of the Dao sect disciples. She waved her hand and cried out in an icy voice. Swoosh! The large number of disciples behind her immediately halted. Alertness surged out in their eyes. Hee <laughs> hee! A faint and indifferent laughter was suddenly emitted from a mountain to their front when the Dao sect disciples halted. Finally, rushing wind sounds appeared. Numerous figures swept over from all directions. After which, they formed a semicircle that completely blocked the road towards the front. Yuan Tsang Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes were ice cold as she watched the three individuals standing at the peak of the mountain. Her jade-like fist immediately tightened. 
It is unexpected that that person still refuses to show himself even after we forced all of you to such an extent. Ha, huh, his tolerance is really remarkable. It seems like he has completely lost all the arrogance he showed at the start, however, since he refuses to reveal himself, my fury can only be taken out on all of you. Atop the mountain, Yuan Tsang smiled and looked at the Dao sect disciples in the distance. A sinister murderous intent slowly surged in his eyes. Chapter 798, Grudge A faint evil aura spread across the spacious rocky terrain. At this moment, it seemed as though the air itself had solidified. This spot was not far from the teleportation formation to leave unique devil region. Therefore, it could be considered to be near the end of the great sect competition. However, many people knew that the real show had just begun. Competition was present amongst the eight super sects of Eastern Xian region. All of them were considered each other as opponents. However, they usually exercised some restraint. The only exception was Yuan Gate and Dao sect. As the strongest super sect in Eastern Xian region, the actions of Yuan Gate were naturally a little overbearing. This caused the remaining super sects to feel some dissatisfaction. However, there was nothing they could do. After all, Yuan Gate was simply too powerful and its three sect masters were all renowned individuals in Eastern Xian region. Although Dao sect was a little inferior to Yuan Gate, they were still one of the eight super sects, and their foundations were naturally not weak. There had always been a grudge between these two parties. However, the real reason this grudge had grown to such an extent was because of a monstrous genius known as Zhou Tong, that Dao sect produced a hundred years ago. Outsiders did not really know much about what had happened back then. All they knew, was that ever since Dao sect produced that individual called Zhou Tong, all the prestige of the younger generation from that time seemed to have accumulated on him. So much so that even Yuan Gate's three little kings from that time were all defeated by Zhou Tong, and the Yuan Gate disciples were completely dispirited during that great sect competition. Amongst those three little kings, one had been killed, one injured, and the last was sent fleeing. That particular great sect competition was likely the one time where the Dao sect disciples felt the proudest. Although they had paid a significant price, it was not worth mentioning when compared to the losses suffered by Yuan Gate. Something else seemed to have occurred after the competition. Suddenly, a shocking news spread. The Dao sect disciple, Zhou Tong, had charged into Yuan Gate alone, killed three great elders of Yuan Gate and turned the place upside down. Finally, he directly forced a Yuan Gate sect master to put aside his pride and take action. Only then was Zhou Tong killed. This matter had undoubtedly stirred an earth-shattering commotion in eastern Xian region at that time. Everyone was stunned by Zhou Tong's boldness and ferocity. Just how strong must one be in order to do something as earth-shaking as charging into the Yuan Gate headquarters alone? Zhou Tong's death had also stirred the fury of Dao sect. At that time, Zhou Tong undoubtedly possessed an extremely respected position in the hearts of the Dao sect disciples. Hence, when news that he was killed by a Yuan Gate sect master reached Dao sect, the Dao sect disciples were completely furious. Cries of revenge rose within the sect. At that time, Yuan Gate and Dao sect were at the brink of a war. Everyone were clearly aware of just how tragic it would be when two super sects waged a war. However, the war ultimately did not erupt. Under the suppression of Dao sect mastering Xuanzi in some of the upper echelons, this matter ultimately died down. However, bone-deep hatred would not diminish with the flow of time. Instead, it would only burrow deeper into one's heart. Hence, a war between Yuan Gate and Dao sect might not have occurred, but the relationship between both parties was quite terrible. This had resulted in both parties being unable to be at peace each time they met in subsequent great sect competitions. An example was the last great sect competition. The Yuan Gate disciples still attacked despite Dao sect admitting defeat. They surrounded and killed the great senior sister of Sky Hall back then, Wang Yan's blood sister. These grudges and enmity accumulated again and again, until now. Many people in the sky and on the mountains did not belong to Yuan Gate or Dao sect. They watched the familiar face off in the distant rocky terrain, as all of them sighed quietly. It seemed like this great sect competition was destined not to be a peaceful one. However, they wondered if Dao sect would become as miserable as they had been in the past. The Dao sect disciples stared at the Yuan Gate disciples in an unfriendly manner, while everyone else looked on. Those eyes of the Dao sect disciples contained a rich hatred. Ying Xiaoxiao's face was frosty as she watched the situation in front of her and clenched her hand tightly. She was aware that the so-called peaceful passing was no longer possible. A great battle between both parties was inevitable. Yuan Tsang, it is merely a great sect competition. There is no need to do things in such a manner, right? Chen Gui frowned. He looked at Yuan Tsang in the distant sky and spoke in a deep voice. Ha, huh, I did not wish for things to develop to this extent as well. However, I cannot stop the repeated provocations of some individuals. If I do not use resort to such means, others might think that our Yuan gate is easily bullied. Yuan Tsang softly chuckled. However, since you, Chen Gui, has spoken, I must give you some face. 
As long as they are willing to surrender Lin Dong and let us punish him, we will not attack them. What do you say? In your dreams. Ying Huan Huan's pretty face was immediately covered in frost as she cried out coldly. Senior brother Chen Gui, why bother wasting words with him? Hand over brother Lin Dong? I might as well hand you over. Qing Tan rolled her eyes at Chen Gui and said. Chen Gui helplessly let out a bitter laugh. I am not the one who asked to hand over brother Lin Dong. His gaze once again looked towards Yuan Tsang after his words sounded. He spread his hands and said, looks like there is nothing to discuss then. Humph, you truly do not know how to appreciate kindness. Ying Xiao Xiao, you should be aware of the hefty price your Dao sect will have to pay in an all-out battle. Are you certain that you are willing to do this for Lin Dong? Lei Qian laughed coldly. Who do you think you are? You want my Dao sect to pay a hefty price? I don't believe that your side will end up any better. Wang Yan's eyes turned dark and chilly as he cried out. Even a defeated foe dares to act so arrogant. It looks like your lucky escape last time has caused your confidence to soar significantly, huh? Lei Qian stared at Wang Yan and laughed ferociously. You can come and try me. Wang Yan's face was filled with ferocity. Majestic Yuan power spread from his body. His strength was actually far stronger than an ordinary expert at the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. There seemed to be some vague traces of life qi mixed within it. Over this period of time, Wang Yan and Ying Xiaoxiao had refined the profound life pill, and a faint life qi was born within their bodies. This enabled them to touch the door to the profound life stage. They were much stronger than before. You have actually improved a little. However, with just this faint bit of life qi, you still do not possess the qualification to act so arrogantly before me. Lei Qian had clearly also sensed that Wang Yan had become much stronger. However, he still laughed coldly and ridiculed. What do you say now? The foldable fan in Little Spirit King Lingzhen's hand fanned gently. The corners of his mouth formed an icy smile as he watched the Dao sect disciples. After which, he looked towards Yuan Tsang and inquired. What do I say? Since they refuse to hand that person over, they should not blame us for being merciless. Yuan Tsang replied faintly. There was a rich murderous intent surging in his eyes as he spoke. They had suffered multiple losses at Lin Dong's hands during this great sect competition. Even the pure Yuan treasure that they had originally obtained in the Burning Sky Ancient Stash was lost because of Lin Dong's interference. If it was not because they were quick to flee, it was likely that they would have been killed by the red-robed person. Such a loss was clearly difficult for the extremely proud Yuan Tsang to endure. Moreover, the Dao sect disciples had always been beaten until they no longer had spirit by Yuan Gate during the past great sect competitions. If any accident occurred this time, it was likely that even their reputation amongst the Yuan Gate disciples would be damaged. In that case, let's do it. The icy smile on Ling Zhen's mouth became even wider when he heard this. He was already anxiously waiting to see the panic and hopeless expressions on these Dao sect disciples. Yuan Tsang smiled indifferently. After which, the three of them slowly stepped forward as majestic Yuan power surged out. In an instant, it appeared as though all the Yuan power in the area had vaguely started to boil. The surrounding onlookers felt their hearts pound a little harder when they watched this scene. They knew that Yuan Gate was about to attack. Huff. Chen Gui let out a deep breath. After which, he stared at Yuan Tsang and took a step forward, I will stop Yuan Tsang. Thank you brother Chen Gui. Ying Xiaoxiao felt some gratitude when she heard this. Lin Dong was currently not around. All they could do was rely on Chen Gui to stop Yuan Tsang. News of the situation here has already spread throughout the entire unique devil region. Lin Dong should have received it. As long as we hold on, he will be able to hurry here. Chen Gui hesitated for a moment but still ended up nodding. He had seen Lin Dong's battle with Lei Qian. The former was indeed quite powerful. However, there was still quite a big gap when compared to Yuan Tsang. Hence, he did not really understand the confidence underlying Ying Xiaoxiao's group. Nevertheless, he did not say anything more despite his incomprehension. I will deal with Lei Qian. Wang Yan held a heavy black sword in his hand and grunted. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded. After which, she raised her head. Her eyes contained some chilliness as they locked onto the little spirit King Ling Zhen. She said, leave Ling Zhen to me. Huan Huan, Qing Yi, the two of you will lead the other Dao sect disciples and stop the remaining Yuan Gate disciples. Ying Huan Huan and Qing Yi nodded heavily. The former extended her jade-like hand as the crimson heavenly phoenix zither appeared with a flash. My fellow disciples. Ying Xiao Xiao slowly inhaled a breath of air that seemed to have become icy cold because of the tense atmosphere. Her eyes rotated and swept over all the Dao sect disciples' faces. Please strengthen our Dao sect. Wild excitement surged into the eyes of all the Dao sect disciples at this moment. At the same time, an unusually deep roar resounded in an orderly fashion. Strengthen our Dao sect. 
Chapter 799, The Disciples' Battle An unusually intense feeling suddenly began to spread after the roar from the Dao sect disciples resounded over the rocky terrain. Countless pairs of eyes from the surroundings gathered on these Dao sect disciples. Their faces did not contain even the slightest fear even though they were about to face Yuan Gate. Instead, there was a concentrated craziness. Under this craziness, surged a hatred that was difficult to conceal. Yuan Tsung looked at the spirited Dao sect disciples in the distance. The corners of his mouth lifted into a mocking smile. Soon after, he waved his hand in an indifferent manner. Do it. Bang. His voice had just faded when several majestic Yuan power fluctuation began to erupt from the black mass of Yuan gate disciples behind him. Gazes that contained unfriendliness locked onto their front one by one. The six great spirit generals of Yuan gate were the first to rush forward from behind Yuan Tsang. Behind them, the Yuan Gate disciples closely followed like floodwater. Charge! Qin Ye's eyes were red as he watched the floodwater like Yuan Gate disciples surging forward, as a deep roar emerged from his throat. In the next moment, his body had already taken the lead to charge forward. Boom! The hostile atmosphere of the place shattered following the charge from the red-eyed disciples from both sides. Thick murderous intent and sounds of fighting rose towards the sky. The countless surrounding gazes contained some seriousness and shock as they watched the two torrents that screamed forward. In the next moment, the torrents collided with a bang before their eyes. Bang! Monstrous killing aura spread upon their collision. After which, vast and mighty Yuan power wildly unfurled. Numerous powerful martial arts were unleashed in an instant. Finally, they ruthless collided against the enemies in front. There was no longer any mercy at this moment. All their attacks sought blood. The Yuan Tsung trio watched the torrents collide together with cold and indifferent faces. After which, they stepped on the air and slowly walked forward. The torrent automatically spread apart before them. Huff. Chen Gui, Ying Xiaoxiao, and Wang Yan stared at the Yuan Tsung trio from afar. They also inhaled a deep breath. Soon after, their bodies moved, transforming into rays of light as they rushed out. You deal with Chen Gui? There should be no problem, right? Currently, many people think that you cannot handle him. Ling Jun smiled teasingly at Yuan Tsung and said. There will no longer be anyone who believes such things in future. Yuan Tsung indifferently replied. Leave Wang Yen to me. This time around, I will not allow him to escape. Lei Qian sinisterly looked at Wang Yen and said. In that case, I will deal with Ying Xiaoxiao. It is unfortunate that such a beauty would have to be destroyed. Truly a regretful matter. Ling Jun fanned the foldable fan in his hand and said with a smirk. Stop uttering nonsense. Attack and finish them off quickly. Yuan Tsung frowned slightly and lightly shouted. His body shot out, transforming into a ray of light that blocked Chen Gui. Next, Ling Zhen and Lei Qian moved at the same time and appeared in front of Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan respectively. Wang Yan, in a moment I will see if you still have the face to act arrogantly before me. Lei Qian stood in Wang Yan's way. The savage smile on his face grew increasingly wider as he mocked. Wang Yan's eyes were dark and cold. His hand slowly gripped the heavy black sword tightly. After which, his body suddenly rushed out. An afterimage appeared, containing a sharp evil sword aura as it pierced towards Lei Qian's throat at lightning speed. Humph. Lei Qian let out a cold snort when he saw this. He clenched his hand and a silver lightning blade appeared. He did not dodge Wang Yan's attack. Instead, he took a step forward and furiously threw a blade glow. Clang. A clear metallic sound suddenly unfurled in the air along with sparks and a wild wind. Two figures were instantly engaged in a life and death battle. Ha, huh, such anxiousness. Ling Zhen watched the two individuals who unleashed lethal attacks the moment they met, and could not help but smile. Soon after, he grinned and gazed at Ying Xiaoxiao, before speaking in a polite and refined manner, I am Ling Zhen. I have long heard of the name of the great senior sister of the Dao Sect Sky Hall, Ying Xiaoxiao. Today. Swoosh. However, he had yet to finish his sentence when Ying Xiaoxiao had already rushed forward with a three-feet sword in her hand. The pointed sword mercilessly attacked the fatal spots on Ling Zhen's body. Oh, you are even more anxious. Ling Jun chuckled. However, this smile was a little dark and cold. He whirled the foldable fan in his hand, and it grew to several times its original size while emitting a glow. Like a shield, it blocked all of the sword attacks that were rushing over. In that case, don't blame me for ruthlessly picking a flower. Ling Jun narrowed his eyes. A cold light flashed across them. He laughed softly as his body turned into a light figure that rushed forth. The foldable fan pressed gently on the empty air, as sinisterly cold wind directly tore through the air and blasted at Ying Xiaoxiao. A grave expression flashed across Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes when she saw this. 
The Yuan power within her body circulated at its maximum as she stepped forward to face the attack. As the fires of battle burned all around, two figures stood at the most central area. The two figures faced each other at a distance of less than 10 feet. An extremely shocking fluctuation spread out from both of their bodies. This fluctuation practically surpassed everyone else present. These two figures were naturally Chen Gui and Yuan Tsang. The surrounding gazes penetrated through the chaotic fights and gathered onto these two individuals. Both of them were extremely renowned younger generation members in the eastern Xi'an region. One was an imposing and formidable individual, who was ranked first on the sex wanted list, while the other was the leader of the Yuan Gate's Three Little Kings. Both of them possessed a monstrous talent and were extremely powerful. It was rumored that they had even reached the initial profound life stage. Forget about the younger generation, their strength allowed them to be ranked amongst the experts even within the entire eastern Xi'an region. There was a diverse opinion on which of the two were stronger. The two of them had once exchanged blows, but they did not fight with their full strength. That outcome could only be considered a draw. Hence, many people were undoubtedly extremely curious about the battle between the two. They truly wished to find out who amongst these two renowned younger generation members was the stronger one. You should not have intervened in the matter between our Yuan Gate and Dao sect. Yuan Tsung looked at Chen Gui in front of him. Subsequently, he glanced at the battle that had erupted over this place. However, he was not anxious to fight and spoke with an indifferent tone. Ha, huh, I can do whatever I want without asking for your opinion. The ghost mask wearing Chen Gui appeared to rather ghastly as he replied with a slight chuckle. Since he was able to become the number one individual on the sex wanted list, he was clearly no ordinary person. Others might be afraid of Yuan Tsung, but he was not. Yuan Tsung involuntarily shook his head when he heard this. The cold aura in his eyes slowly became colder. Back then, we had a brief and hurried fight, and I really have not gotten enough of it. Since we have met today, let's end it. I will be happy to accompany you. Chen Gui said. Yuan Tsung smiled indifferently. He slowly spread out his hands. Immediately, waves of extremely shocking Yuan power surged out from his body like floodwater. That vast and mighty power directly turned into a churning wave behind him, as it rumbled in the sky. Chen Gui's eyes flashed when he saw this. Monstrous grayish-black Yuan power that was filled with a dark Yin aura surged out from his body and transformed into a monstrous cloud. Both of them had reached the initial profound life stage. That vast and mighty Yuan power was undoubtedly many times stronger than the other disciples. Trust me, you will regret your decision today. Yuan Tsung slowly clenched his hand. An extremely simple black metal sword flashed and appeared. He stared at Chen Gui, as an unusual glow flickered within his eyes. It is perhaps a little too early to say such words. Chen Gui clenched his hand. A black sawtooth blade with ghost patterns appeared in his hand. The large blade was lifted, and pointed towards Yuan Tsung in the distance as he faintly smiled. Do it. Allow me to witness just what level the leader of the Yuan Gate's Three Little Kings has reached. Yuan Tsung stared at Chen Gui. The corners of his mouth slowly lifted to form a sinister arc. In the next instant, an afterimage appeared, while his body turned into a shadow that rushed out. Monstrous Yuan power whistled out in a flash. A shocking face-off had instantly begun. Chapter 800, Chaotic Battle Bang Bang Incomparably berserk Yuan power undulations wildly unfurled across the area. A thick bloody scent mixed with killing desire permeated the sky. At this moment, it appeared as though the sky had been dyed dark red. The spacious rocky terrain was currently in complete chaos. Two torrents clashed together. No unnecessary words were spoken. Yuan power circulated and many martial arts were unleashed. Finally, it was ferociously directed by the many red-eyed individuals at the enemy in front of them. Such a chaotic battle could only be described by one word, desperate. Boom! A densely packed crimson light rose from the battlefield. Ying Huan Huan sat down amidst this cluster of light. Her crimson heavenly phoenix zither was placed over her knees. A pair of delicate and perfect jade-like hands glittered with a faint fluorescence as they landed on the zither. Currently, there were two individuals with cold smiles standing in front of Ying Huan Huan. They were both Yuan Gate spirit generals, and had already stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. In the short couple of minutes earlier, the both of them had severely injured over a dozen Dao sect disciples. Finish her off. These two Yuan Gate spirit generals locked onto Ying Huan Huan, who was in their way. They exchanged glances, before they immediately rushed out simultaneously in an extremely well-coordinated manner. Ying Huan Huan's usually pretty and lively face was filled with frost as she watched these two charge at her with ferocious expressions. Her large eyes stared at the two Yuan Gate spirit generals, while an icy blue color surged deep within her eyes. Boom! Delicate fingers strummed the zither strings. Soon after, they suddenly flicked as a melodious zither music sounded out. Two extremely wild and violent crimson sonic waves hurtled out in an instant. They possessed exceptionally shocking speeds as they ferociously slammed onto the two figures that were charging over. 
Bang! The sonic waves exploded on the duo's bodies. An unbridled and aggressive force directly jolted back the duo until they withdrew miserably. Their eyes were already packed with a solemn expression when they landed on the ground again. The current in Huanhuan had also made a breakthrough to the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage a couple of days ago. With the help of the Heavenly Phoenix Zither in her possession, she was already able to stop Two Yuan Gate Spirit General by herself. The both of you will now pay for harming my Dao sect disciples. A cold aura covered in Huan Huan's face. Her eyes were icy cold as she observed those two who had some surprise on their faces. Soon after, those delicate hands suddenly fell, and a monstrous crimson light that mixed with a clear sonic wave resounded. Sharp sonic wave attacks swept towards the two Yuan Gate spirit generals from all directions. The Yuan Gate still has four spirit generals. Qing Yi glanced at Ng Huan Huan's battleground in the distance. Soon after, his eyes grimly looked towards four other directions. The Yuan Gate disciples at those places possessed an extremely fierce momentum while being led by the other four spirit generals. I will deal with one of them. The great senior brother of the Flood Hall, Muli, stated in a deep voice. He was powerful enough to fight with a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Although he might not able to defeat the other party, stopping one should not be a problem. I can also only deal with one of them. Qing Yi clenched his teeth. He had similarly successfully endured a Nirvana tribulation during this period of time, and had stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. This strength however, was only equal to one spirit general. After all, he did not have a pure Yuan treasure aiding him. What should we do about the other two? Mu Li frowned. It was extremely difficult for an ordinary disciple to deal with a Nine Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner. If they were left to their devices, it would be a tremendous blow towards the morale of the disciples. Qing Yi knitted his brows tightly, feeling helpless. The Yuan Gate was stronger than them. All they could do was to try their best in such a situation. Leave the last two to me. A clear voice suddenly sounded from the side while Qing Yi was feeling helpless. After which, Qing Yi saw a slim figure in dark black dress carrying an oversized giant black sickle as she walked out. To his surprise, it was Qing Tan. You. The Qing Yi duo were stunned as they gazed at Qing Tan. I will deal with those two. Qing Tan looked towards the two Yuan Gate Spirit Generals. She gripped the black stickle in her hands and repeated herself. Will you be able to manage? Qing Yi could not help but ask. He was a little worried that Qing Tan was trying to show off. Should an accident happen? Qing Tan glanced at him but did not say anything in response. Soon after however, Qing Yi felt an extremely dark and fiendish black light suddenly surge out from Qing Tan's body. The air where the black light spread seemed to even show traces of solidifying. What a dark and terrible Yuan power! Qing Yi and Mu Li were shocked as they watched Qing Tan, who was wrapped in black light. The latter's Yuan power was a little different from their own. Their Yuan power was a blending of Ying and Yang, however, Qing Tan's Yuan power was an extremely pure Ying. I'm heading out. Qing Tan did not have any intentions of tarrying. After uttering those words, her lovely figure turned into a flash of black light as it rushed out. Finally, her stickle danced and two unusually dark and chilling black lights swept towards those two Yuan Gate spirit generals. Humph, where has this little girl come from? You are courting death. The two spirit generals immediately laughed in anger when they saw that Qing Tan actually dared to attack them. They moved and pounced out like a tiger and leopard. Ferocious and unrestrained palm winds enveloped Qing Tan. Swoosh swoosh. Qing Tan did not pull back in the face of their attacks. A strange cold glint flickered on the black stickle in her hands, and it suddenly cleaved forward in the next moment. Qi. The stickle struck. It was possible to see the space in front of it being ripped apart as cracks formed. In a flash, the sharp blade appeared above a spirit general's head. It looked as though Qing Tan's attack had penetrated through space. Clang. A sword glow shot out from the side and blocked the descending blade. Only then did the spirit general withdraw in panic. However, a piece of meat at the top of his head had already been cleaved off. Immediately, fresh blood began flowing down. Be careful. The stickle in her hands is a little strange. The other spirit general's eyes hardened upon seeing this and cried out in a low voice. Qing Tan glanced at the two shocked faces. Without further ado, the black stickle in her hands was swung once again. Sharp wind swept out anew, wrapping the duo within it. Those two spirit generals also did not dare to be the slightest bit slow as they hurriedly focused and fought with their full strength. We should also start. Qing Yi and Mu Li sighed in relief when they saw that Qing Tan was actually able to stop two spirit generals. They exchanged glances, before their bodies flew out and rushed into the battlefield together. Finally, they blocked the last two Yuan Gate spirit generals. Bang bang. Cries of battle surged from the rocky terrain into the sky. At a glance, everyone was red-eyed and bloodthirsty. Occasionally, someone would spit out blood as he was sent flying backwards. 
They would land outside the battlefield, and no one could tell whether they lived or died. Both parties did not show any mercy when they fought. This was not some sparring competition. Instead, it was a genuine fight between enemies. A large group of nine Heaven Supreme Purity Palace disciples stood on a mountain some distance from the rocky area. At this moment, there was a slight change in their expression as they watched the life and death battles before them. Scarlet light continued to be reflected in their eyes. They are all engaging in all-out bloody battles, the enmity between Dao sect and Yuan gate is indeed difficult to mediate. A person within the crowd sighed. The Dao sect and Yuan gate disciples were like exceptionally unreasonable enemies when they met during the great sect competitions. When they fought, it was as though they possessed a irreconcilable vengeance with the other party. The overall strength of the Yuan gate disciples is after all a little stronger. It is a little unwise for Dao sect to fight head-on against them in this manner. Wu Kun watched the blood-red battlefield before him. His eyes contained a rather grave expression as he spoke. That's right. Moreover, I wonder where the Dao sect's Lin Dong has run off to, could it be that he is really afraid of Yuan Tsang and doesn't dare to show himself? A person interrupted. Big brother Lin Dong isn't afraid of Yuan Tsang. A person at the side immediately issued a rebuttal the moment the voice sounded. That person tilted his head to take a look, only to see that it was Su Rua, who had some fury on her pretty face. Immediately, he laughed dryly and did not dare to speak any further. Su Rua's eyes turned towards the battleground below. The fight there was extremely tragic. Deaths and injuries had gradually appeared amongst the Dao sect disciples. The miserable screams that rang out one after another clearly told Su Rua that this was no longer some practice sparring. Instead, it was a true battlefield. The most critical battle is still the one between Chen Gui and Yuan Tsang. Wu Kun lifted his head and looked towards the sky above. Monstrous Yuan power surged wildly from that spot as two ghost-like figures crossed each other at lightning speed. A low thunder-like sound could be heard each time they collided. Senior brother Wu Kun, who has a higher chance of victory? A disciple asked. Wu Kun hesitated a little when he heard this. Only then did he reply, Qing Zhu had said that Yuan Tsang is an extremely dangerous person. Even she would have difficulty defeating him. Chen Gui might also possess quite a strong reputation, but perhaps... Yuan Tsang will have a higher chances of victory. Su Rua by the side felt her heart tighten slightly when she heard this. She clenched her fist tightly and turned her head. Those eyes of hers were a little anxious as she watched the horizon. She knew that once Chen Gui was defeated at Yuan Tsang's hands, the Dao sect would suffer a complete defeat. Big brother Lin Dong, you need to hurry back. Two rays of light rushed past the sky with extreme speed far from the location where the big battle had erupted. The low sonic boom that was created from their high speed attracted many gazes from below. Lin Dong's expression was taunt. He lifted his head and peered into the distance. There seemed to be a bloody scent spreading from that spot. Senior sister Xiao Xiao, all of you must wait for me. Lin Dong clenched his fist tightly. The green dragon wings on his back flapped as his speed once again soared to its limit.